apps from Orient Create. I've been crafting for over 10 years now and I love stamping, stenciling, creating layers, colors, textures and creating depth and dimension. Orient Create was established in October 2016, collaborating with a group of designers and artists from all over the world, bringing different designs and products in different styles. We proud ourselves of high quality photopolymer clear stamp sets, dyes, stencils, washi tapes and acrylic blocks, all in different sizes and formats. In my shows at Hachanda, I hope to bring you inspiration and different ways of using your craft products. Make sure you don't miss the Holland Create shows on Hachanda. I'm Barbara and I'm Julie and together we're Scarlet Rose Crafts. We're a family run business, been in business for two years and our aim is to bring new and innovative new products to the crafting industry. We've both been involved in crafting industry for many years and we're continuing to move forward with our new company now. The Easy Mat Plate is our flagship product uh, followed by our innovative Easy Shim product. Our range includes diamond trail plates, ultra-sized dies, cards and sticky sheets. We're constantly developing new and unusual products, so watch this space. On our shows, we hope to inspire you with our products so that you can carry on crafting, because our motto is, because we can. So don't miss the Scarlet Rose Craft Shows on a channel. Hi, I'm Bev. Hi, I'm Sam. And we're from Be Crafty. Be Crafty is a family-run company. Sam is my sister. And we love bringing brand new products to Hachanda. We manufacture and design all our own ranges of stamps, inkables, MDF, lots and lots of inspiration that we love to bring and share with you. If you tune in to Hachanda to join us, you'll see that mine and Bev's style are totally different. But what that does is it brings you lots of styles and techniques that you can include in your crafting too. Our ranges are increasing all the time with the lovely hand-drawn images that Sam and myself are trying to bring to you, plus the fantastic new designs that we like to bring in the inkables, in the dinkables and the MDF as well. So you can use them across all different sorts of crafts and bring the best we can to Hachanda too. So make sure you don't miss the Bee Crafty shows on, on Hachanda. Hachanda. Good morning. Uh, right, we've got some lovely new today stamps on the show from Impression Obsession. I've also got a happy hour for you, but before we even talk about any of that, let me uh, introduce, of course, the lovely Karen. Morning. Good morning. How are you? Well, I'm going to be honest, we're both not awake, are we? Uh, oh, you? <laughs> <laughs> Love this. Yeah. No, but we'll be fine. We will be we'll fine. Be yes, we'll be we fine. will be fine by about quarter to... Eight, will it be? We might be away. <laughs> we might be. Um, now, so we've got some beautiful card stock for you, um, which is on a happy hour deal. And look at the shimmer and shine and the glitter of this. Now, it's 50 sheets that you'll be getting, uh, but I'm just holding up the different colours that you've got. You've got your royal, you've got your red, you've got your green, silver and gold. So that's the royal blue, really nice. So that is your happy hour deal it's 13 pounds and 95 pence with a six pound saving only up until the end of the hour item number is five zero six zero six nine now um we've got some lovely word stamps and background stamps they're a bit different so we're starting off with the word stamps uh 27 stamps you're getting here absolutely everyday words um they're gonna be a staple yes they are they're aren't gonna they? be a staple they're not too big they're not too small uh -huh. sometimes you get some that are really really small yeah they're, they're of a nice size 
but they're not all <laughs> they're not sorry <laughs> that's three <laughs> times that's fallen and the card stock's fallen behind me it's one of them <laughs> little anyway. things please little minds don't be alex <laughs> especially early in the morning yeah they're not too big not too small but you can see there with that card it's happy birthday to you dear friend um it's got hey happy thanks to wishes thinking yeah so you can make your own sayings it's Absolutely. not happy birthday or or, or get well or whatever whatever you can you can make your own words and you've done a nice board for us here it's got a really lovely font it's sort of very flowing isn't it it's like yes yes it's uh, it's like a brush lettering isn't it yeah mm, oh yeah yeah it's like a brush lettering but there's there's lots of little words in there so um, that was taken from the full stamp, so mm -hmm. they are they do look close together there. Yeah. But I did it as a one as a one stamp straight onto it, just yeah. to show you the size of it. So it's definitely a big big stamp set. Really nice. Hey, I like the fact we've got hey, hey, happy hey, birthday. beautiful, and it's beautiful in there. Yeah. Hey, beautiful. Love that, and you've got exclamation marks and all sorts. So it's a really nice. Everyday stamps at sixteen pounds and ninety nine pence. Item number is six zero zero two eight one. Then we move on to this is called watercolor clouds, and um, it feels very peaceful looking at it. It is, yes, yeah. You can see there from the black and white image that it's clouds. However, when I first got it, I just you know, like you get your packages and you whoosh the world yeah. open. I forgot to look at what it was and I did it sideways and just did it as like a grunge background. Okay. So it's not just watercolour clouds. It's uh, it, it can be used for all different things. That's really but, nice. Um, in the, I've, I've stamped it in the blue just to show, but yes. I think that's... I can't make clouds. I can't do clouds at all. I think it's the other way around. Is it? Could it be? Yep, turn it round. One more. There, you can see little curls on top now. Oh, I see. Yeah, you can see the little curls on. But you didn't know, did you? No. You, you weren't to know, so it doesn't matter which way that you use it. Absolutely. But I can't, I can't make clouds. I can't do skies. Uh -huh. A paler blue on that one, and then that's going to be a staple for me for my background, right. my skies, when I'm, when I'm doing a scene. Yeah, definitely. that's lovely. And you've done another card for us here. So, yeah, it's not even used. All I've done there is, is embossed it with thick embossing crystals. Uh, I've done it on um, uh, um, oxides on mm -hmm. black. Yeah. But it's just, it, it doesn't look anything like a cloud. It just looks like a really mm. different kind of funky background to Absolutely. me. Absolutely. Now, I should just mention as well, I think this is important, just to say that the everyday words is your photopolymer. But this stamp uh, that we're on is the red rubber and it's already mounted. Um, I just always think that's good to let Impression people know. Impression obsessions uh, tend to do, uh, they do the, the tend to have more red rubber, but yeah. uh, to me, I, I love a, a polymer stamp mm -hmm. because you can see where you're going, but with a red rubber, and especially just backgrounds, yeah. it's, you, you can get more detail in a rubber stamp, and that's where you get the uh, pointillism and yeah. more detail. As, so I do, you, each, each polymer or... Uh, they've got their rubber. own benefits. They've got their own benefits, yeah. definitely. Lovely stuff. Okay, uh, ten ninety nine for that stamp. Item number is two one seven five six eight. Then moving along, uh, we've got some element stamps. Uh, so we have our small and large wood slice and wood sign. Uh, I'm just looking for them. Have I got They're underneath the white bit. Ah, yes. <laughs> there you go. They're not the biggest of stamps, Alex, but yeah. they're very, very, very useful. We tend to do a lot of things on wood slicers. Um, I did, a few weeks ago, uh, did a, an old technique where you could do a wood grain. Yeah. However, that one, you can just stamp your own wood grain and keep going with Which it. Which is good. And it's going to make it easier rather than doing ink to paper yeah. method. But uh, a very useful stamp into your stash or when you're just looking for that focal background. Yeah. And it's I love I you. love a wood grain stamp. Let me just pop those there. Um, or I love wood grain, you know, background papers. So you can make your own then. Here we go. Let me show you the board. 
because sometimes you can't see the detail until it's, it's been stamped. It's fantastic detail. Look right. at even down to the the cracks in in there and 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 the rings. You can see absolutely everything. That's stamped with a Versafine, but absolutely beautiful. But don't forget, if you've got it like that, I've stamped it with uh, oxides. I've stamped it with the isinks, and then spritz it, mm -hmm. and you can you lose a lot of that, but you still get like a circle, absolutely. and you can make all your own background. So it's not just what you see there. Lovely stuff, and I've got a sample here as well. Well, a couple of samples. So we've got this one, and that's so that's using it in a different way because normally when you think wood grain, you think browns and yes, things and mahoganies, yes. but yeah. that's quite nice in the pastel colours. And then you've also done one for us where you've got this smaller. Um, stamp and teaming it with some little friends. Yes, some little friends, which is uh, an, an, an obsession, impression obsession stamp. Yeah, that's one of our, our favourites. Yeah. Yeah. Lovely stuff. Nineteen pounds and ninety-nine pence for those uh, stamps. Item number is nine one one two two four. Next, then we've got our grunge wash and a watercolour wash so again another really funky background yes yeah i've got these in in, in polymer and i found with certain inks i don't get the detail that I, that, uh, that i that i like mm -hmm. with these being in, in rubber every single spot goes onto your paper as yeah. so long as you stamped it correctly stamp press obviously you won't go wrong but in different colours you can do it in rainbow so one's a paint yeah and you can see distinctly where the paint is mm. and then one's a grunge but just to back to, to build your backgrounds up yeah unfortunately with with us having a show at 10 o'clock yeah most of our samples have been intertwined oh i see so you if you if you tune in at 10 you'll be able to see the the, the main samples with the grunge okay. being used no worries again i'll just show you so there you go you can so Look at that detail there, and then going on to this one just so you can see. Lovely. Okay, it's 19.99. Item number is 066384. And then last but not least, we've got, um, as part of our new today's, we've got the slant background. And again, a really useful stamp. Yes, yes, it's got it's got your your, your foreground to your background going back. Do that in one colour. You've got a thick colour at the bottom, and it goes lighter and lighter and lighter. So you've got the perspective of it. However, don't forget, you can't once you've stamped it, you can just chop that up. Right. Yeah. But good point. I I I found that a really reason. I can never get as I as I've stated I can never get backgrounds right mm -hmm. and these are the stamps that are going to be in my stash to put in with all my samples and and also save me on buying coloured cardstock yeah absolutely I can I make agree. my own colours to match everything that I'm doing it's a and the non-generic the, the the not dated or anything they'll just be in your stash yeah when you want a background they're there and um, I've, you've done us some samples here again. Let's have a little look. That's nice. In the, um, how have you covered this? Actually, it's um, th uh, thick embossing crystals oh, that, that I've got at is? ten o'clock, ten o'clock this morning. Ah. But I've stamped that with um, a Versa Claire ink, mm -hmm. and then just, uh, and that's just one coat of the embossing crystals that yep. I've got later, and then cut it. Yeah, looks really effective. It's quite funky, isn't it? It is, isn't it? Use your die cuts, put your die cuts over. Yeah, that looks You've got really a, an instant, an instant background there. And that looks amazing. Nice and quick for batch making then. Batch making, yes, yeah. definitely. Mix it in with the words. You can put any words that you want onto it. Batch making, generic card, man, woman. Yeah. If you're selling or if you you're doing it for charity. Yeah. They're the quick cards that you need that you need for charity. Excellent. Now, um, there is more on the website. Now, we've got a bit of a... We've had, we had this yesterday as well. Um, I'm so sorry about our little technical hitches, but um, on the website, apparently the carousel itself is not loading. So this is the way, if you want to purchase, you can shop by brand. Um, so you literally go to the alphabet, select I for impression obsession, and then you'll be able to find the lovely stamps that we've got on the show. Uh, also, of course, you can just do it the old-fashioned way and give us a call, 01733 602000. Uh, but, yeah, 
uh, shopping by brand is the way to make your purchase for the moment um, and uh, there's loads more as well you can shop ahead if you want to of course all right then um, now if you've got any pictures that you want to send in I know it's early but any any pictures of anything that you've bought from impression obsession that we would love to see what you've been making with him you can send them to studio at tachanda.com or pop them onto Facebook right are you ready to go, Karen? Or I nearly am. I'm stood there chatting away and uh, not even <laughs> thinking about them. Up. Told you I've not woke up yet. So I'll do something with the slam background. Now, I bought some Versafine Claire's. You know, when uh, Paola was on, I got a, a couple to put into my stash. Um, so I've used an, an orange one. And what I'm going to do is I'll just show you how they stamp up and how you can put them together. Shall we do orange or do you want a pink or... You choose. Oh, we'll go orange because I've got orange with everything else. Um, they ca you can use... Uh, I've used his inks as well. So yeah. I'll be using some his inks during, during the, the hour Lovely. just to show you everything that, uh, yeah. that, that, that they stamp with. Um, this is your slant. I, if, I, if I may just pop back to just show you some of yeah, the... Yeah, of course you can. The, these are working progresses. Right. These are what I'm going to be using um, as the day goes on for okay. backgrounds. But uh, And then you've got a wood grain one, and that's the third generation and spritz. Yes. And then this is the, uh, this is the, um, the paint splat. I love that one. Absolutely love that one. It's a very clear, clear crisp. Thing. And then I'm pre-prepared with any words that I want, so I can add to anything, anything that I'm doing. So because it's a rubber, I'm going to use my stamping platform, and I don't need the the mat in between it. And let's get a piece of card and fasten that over. A stamping platform um, gives me the safety that if I don't stamp it right, I can go back in and do it again. And with it being such a large stamp, I, uh, I'm finding that easier for me. And yeah, the words won't, my words won't work. So I'm just going to pop it in there and you'll be able to see the difference when it stamps. This is completely smooth, this part. And you can even see where the you can see where you're missing the inks. But the other is just dots, pointillism. An absolute, I love this, I really do, because it's... It's just such it, a versatile stamp. It's something that's going to be there. It's, it's not one that I'm going to use and then put away. Yeah. It's going to be used... A real go-to. A, a really go-to. Real go yeah. And that was what was short in my, uh, in my stash. Mm -hmm. So, bob that there. And then I, d I have found that sometimes, if you're not popping pressure on it, a little tip is you can get your roller and oh, roll yeah. onto there. Or if you've got another... Um, block. Another block, that's it. You, you have, you have to, you're going to have to speak for me this morning, <laughs> And then I'm just pushing in. But by doing that, I'm giving it even pressure all the way around. Ooh. And then throwing it all over. But you can see I've oh, missed nice. a little bit. But I'm going to go back in and I can That's see nice where I've missed. That's the press, isn't it? Yes, yeah. the idea. Oh, yeah. It's improved my stamping tremendously. Mm -hmm. There we go. And mm. if I'm not happy, I'm happy with that one. Looks like I've got a couple of dots on, on, on my stamp, but I'm not worried. But you can just press in exactly where you are. But if you're not happy with it, you just carry on. I've missed a little bit there, but we'll be cutting that down. And then that's going to absolute beautiful. Turn it the right way around. So if I'd done that in different, don't forget I can do that in different shades as well. Yeah, definitely. However, it, ta it takes that work away from me Absolutely. because you've got you you've got your dark, your spots, and it, it's getting lighter and lighter. But if I did that in a, a green and then worked up to a blue, so shall we try that? Why I'll do not? that in a different way. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to rub that off and just show. It's no good talking about it. I might as well show you what I'm doing, shouldn't I? <laughs> yeah. So we're just going to rub that off. I've no clean cloth. I've forgotten the cloth, but don't worry. So I've turned it over, but let's get a blue and a green, shall we? Cool. What, so you're going to do like an ombre? I'm it? going to do like an ombre and show you how the stamp will, will ombre as well. Oh, we've got a new one then. Oh, yes. Yes. I didn't just purchase these, Mum. Honestly, I didn't. <laughs> so I'm just going to go with green on this bit mm -hmm. here. Very conscious. No, I've not caught any orange. And 
just make sure it's covered. It's a bit of darker green that you would use. Don't forget you can use your verse, uh, most, uh, well, any ink pad that's gonna, that's not too fast to dry in. I wouldn't use the stays on because it'll probably dry too quick. Oh, I see, okay. Yeah, it dries really, really quick. But you see, I've got a green there. Nice. And then let's go, I know it's a dark blue and I'm Doesn't sorry. Doesn't matter. Oh, I'm gone, let's change inks. Let's change inks, yeah, I'll show you. Okay. What's that ink then? This one's, is inks. Oh, is inks, yeah. yeah. Is inks, it's a dye based, is ink. And then what we're gonna do, I wouldn't use my fingers, but make sure that you, you don't want to line across, do you? You don't want an exact line. No. So we want to make it a little bit more ombre. Let's see how we get on here. It's nothing like experimenting live, is there? <laughs> There, that's exactly what I cool. wanted. But yeah. Wouldn't have done it as as sharp as as as, uh, as sharp as that. You would have, uh, or you could use it with a, a blending tool on yeah. top of it. But you can see how you could get a perspective with a, a field and everything else. But that's only quickly done. It's not done as a uh, cool. Yep, just to show you. Lovely stuff. It's always nice to show things. Isn't yeah, it? absolutely. So there, we've got that. That's what I've started with. Yeah. I have stamped two out, um, so you can see one that I've stamped here. So this is one that I've done earlier mm -hmm. and cut. However, let's get the words. So can you see the words, Alex? Say that again. Can sorry. you see the words? Can I see them? Yeah, can you read them? You've got, oh, would you like to choose some words? Oh, I see what you're saying. Can we put something on in words? I do like the hey you. Hey you. Yeah. Yeah. Hey you. How many words would you like? Well, I'm gonna, we're going to go across this part. We're going to go across there. However, then, it, could, it could go more, more than that because we're just showing you the beauty so you can... Well, I was going to say, uh, hey, you, special friend. All right, then. So we're going to go... This is the way I'm going to stick it. Hey, cool. you. Uh, just to let you know at home that lovely jubbly, OK, the website's woken up now, so you can now... Absolutely wonderful. Candle. It's quite annoying that when things like that happen. To, but you can't, you can't, you you can't uh, judge technical things, can no. you? Hey, you. Shall we have it in a square then? We'll Say not that just. Again, sorry. We'll have it in a square well, rather than a straight one. So I'm quite happy there. If yeah. you can see, I put hey, you special friend. Yeah. And all I'm going to do is put my block on it, and I know that that's exactly yeah. as I want it. Lovely. Uh, we need our Versafine. Or you could, you know, just a, a nice... I want it to be really, really, really black. Yeah, really bold. Really, really, really bold. And you can see this is the one that we've cut that we're going to use on the base. Mm -hmm. This is the one that we're going to go to. I don't know, I talk a lot, but I don't want that. So this is the one that I want to stamp into. Yeah and put some card underneath it let's check that that's not dry because i don't want it to uh... is it dry that quick then no it's just me being extra cautious oh, all right. <laughs> <laughs> nothing more embarrassing than stamping live <laughs> and it never works uh, i spent some time just getting another piece of card to put underneath it so i got a bit of uh, a bit of padding and so oh, I see. Uh, don't want that to dry. So we're just holding on to it, letting the ink blend in, and there you can see. There, it's a beautiful writing, front. isn't it? Now normally we what we would do is we would let that dry and then use your trimmer. But however, let's do something different, yeah? Yeah, sure. So we're just doing a nice rough cut out. And then what we can do is get a little bit of black and stick it on some black. We would normally use glue, but we're not going to do We're going to use the tape for speed. Just for speed, yeah. Just for speed. And stick that onto there. And then I'm going to do my own border. And not worry, because it's a funky card, yeah? It's going to be funky. Cool. Looks cool. He's, um, we're, we're doing it off at coffee. We've got the idea. Yeah. I've done the, done the demo, got the idea, but I've just thought, oh, let's, let's do something a bit different. Either that or my brain's not working properly. <laughs> no, it looks really funky. 
So we would then stick this onto black. Okay. Yeah. You'd do it onto a black, black background, or you can pop it into there if you're doing it with a larger you border. You could frame that. You could frame that, yeah. And then we're going to use our uh, foam tape, awkward archer foam tape, of course. Oh, look. Oh, which we one. should have on the website. Oh, definitely. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Your staples. You've got to have your staples. Hey, we don't normally finish anything. We just normally say, oh, and here's one I've done earlier. <laughs> All good. All good. Now, we can see where we've stamped this. Yeah. And all I want to do now is level it up. Oh, I see what you're doing. So, I'm levelling it up so that each line... That I'd... looks really funky, actually. Yeah. Yeah. And then pop that in there. And I've made sure that this levels up. The black on the background makes that e pop even more. Yeah. And there you've got that. However, How cool is that? Here's one that I did earlier. Yep. And you can put it on. I like the one that we've done funky, don't you? Yeah, it's that's, funky. I, that, that's less. It's not as. It's not as uh, regimented. Yeah. Yeah, that's quite that. I like that one. Awesome. Thank you, Karen. Not a problem. I'm gonna do a recap. Yep. Then I'll get reset up. Cool. Um. So for anybody just joining us, let's show you some of our new todays. Um, first off, then we've got the everyday words which Karen was using, and uh, you can see. So that one is your clear photopolymer. Sorry there, uh, and we've got that lovely card there. Isn't that so nice? So they're a nice enough size to be a real focal point, I think. And then here we go. Karen stamped us a little board out, so you obviously you can make your own sentiments then because they're all separate. So, hey, happy, hello, birthday, your thank. So you get the idea, so you can, yeah. <laughs> yeah, Charlotte's just said, I thought you were going to do the whole thing. No, because this would make no sense. Um, but you get the idea of what you could do. But you've got special friends, thinking of you, and all of that. Um, right, £16.99, 600281. And you've got 27 stamps for that price. Really good price. Um, then we move on to our watercolour clouds stamp. Now we move into the realms of your... Uh, red rubber so you get that deep etch and as Karen rightly said because then you're able with the red rubber to get that sort of pointillism effect um, and a lot of detail so let me just bring this one in you can see this lovely sample here there you go how the board the um, how it stamps out on the board and then look you can do it make it but you don't have to have it as clouds you can have it as whatever you like, but they are clouds if you struggle to make a scene and stuff. £10.99. £10.99, <laughs> 10. 10 item number is 217568. And then we come along to our lovely wood slice stamps. I don't know what it is, right, but wood slices, I just, I love the look of them. I don't know why. You know when sometimes you get pieces of artwork that are mounted onto wood slices? I just adore that. Anyway, this is how they will come to you. Now, again, don't be fooled because you might think, oh, I can't see anything on there. When you look at the board, one second. When you look at the board, now you can really see how deeply etched that red rubber is. Because sometimes looking at the stamps, it's, it's a little bit harder to see. But look at that detail. That is fabulous. And then again, I've got a sample here. Well, a couple of samples to show you. So that really works. And then we've got this one with our little, not planks, I can't think of the word. Anyway, you get the idea. <laughs> uh, nineteen pounds and ninety nine pence for the three stamps nine one one two two four is the item number then we're coming along to our grunge wash and our watercolor wash i'll show you the board first have a little look there's the board so you can see all of that detail there you go and then bringing in the stamps there you go that's the deeply etched red rubber, Mount, all mounted for you as well. That's £19.99. Item number is 066384. And then we come along to our slant background that uh, Karen was just using. Uh, it's really getting busy now, I think, because you can see how funky it is. You can see the use of it. So it's a really, really cool stamp. Again, let me show you the size and the board here. Not the right way around. There you go. 
You can see the stamp and the board. Actually, that's strobing a bit, that. Yeah, it is, isn't it? <laughs> um, here we are with some samples. That looks really cool. Just that, a die cut, you've got a card, mat and layer, that's it. And then if I bring this one in, I do like that because Karen's covered it in ultra thick embossing powder. And then we've got another one here. So you can make it look pretty. Can you, just, you can just about see it in the background. You can make, basically you can put pretty things with it, grunge things with it. It's a really good all round stamp that works for everything across the board. That's 12.99, 312627. Then we've got our wood grain stamp. Have I got the stamp actually? I don't think, oh, it's, it's literally there. There you go. So that's your wood grain stamp. Cover a card. So it does what it says on the tin. You've got a really, again, great background here. And then if I pick these up so you can see the wood grain effect. That's lovely. In any colour. I think I, I've got to get myself out of thinking, oh, it's got to be... Uh, it's got, th this is what, no, sorry, I'm distracting myself because y you have got the wood grain in the background and at first I looked at it and went, oh no, you haven't, but you have. And then there's a lovely bit of embossing over the top with something completely different. And then, here we go. Isn't that, isn't that so nice? Just, um, and wood grain stamps are absolutely great for um, gents as well as ladies cards. Uh, £14.99, 627204 is the item number. Then we move on to, it's another cover a card stamp, and it is a grunge stamp. Again, really funky, this one. Liking this. <laughs> We're just looking at this card and what it says. Goodbye 2020, we survived. That's brilliant. Did you do that one, Karen? Uh, yes, that's <laughs> coming up at uh, 10, 10 o'clock, that that's one. That's hilarious. Yeah. <laughs> Because that's how we're all feeling, right? Yeah, it is. <laughs> yeah. Only three more weeks to go and we're out, <laughs> out of this. Well, we're not, but you know what I mean. Anyway, out of this year. Anyway, but this is a really, really cool stamp. Very cool. You could really, you could do something quite spooky with this, actually. It looks like, you know, you're coming out of the fog, even. It's really cool. Um, £14.99. pence. Item number, again, is 158351. Uh, and then we move along to one more cover a card and this is our birthday stamp now this is super useful um, we've had it on before but if you haven't seen it it's so useful let me show you this is going to make again if you're batch making a card a birthday card so quickly love the different colors that have been used the way that's been stamped but this is super super useful um, batch making. It's one of those ones that if you've forgotten about somebody's birthday as well, you can just suddenly make a card in like five minutes and you, you're all right. You've saved yourself. And it's really quite fun. You know, all the balloons. It just says happy, doesn't it? It says celebration with the birthday cakes, the balloons. So it's a really, really fabulous stamp. Fourteen ninety nine. Item number is 842055. And then we've got our baby giraffe. It does come with sentiments as well. It's really cute. It's the look on the giraffe's face. It's very happy. And it's got a little bow you can pop on. It's got the sentiments. Um, Karen's done another board for us here. Let's have a little look at the board. And the sentiments you've got right yet. Yeah, chin up. That's a, that's a nice one. Um, you'll feel up to things again soon. It's been a long time. You have a special spot in my heart, and then hold your head high. That's oh, look, it's even got a scarf for the winter. I need one of these. That's so cute. And then Karen, again, has done some lovely samples. Oh, this is nice. Bit of, like, a, it's like the heart and a bit of glossy accents, a lovely red heart. A bit of glossy accents on the eyes as well to highlight them. Cute. And then if I bring this in. Ah, you can see we've got a crossover here. That works so well with the uh, cloud stamp that is really good and then one more we've got here that's cute isn't it that's the, your chin up keep your chin up um so for those all those stamps 19 pounds and 99 pence five six six four zero two we've also got some seven day savers which launched we're tuesday now aren't we uh launched on sunday 
Um, oh, I love those LED lights. Oh, I love them. The cork lights, they're so nice. Because I've seen, you know, in gift shops, they've got bottles that have been painted with lights in, and they're like, cost 20 quid. Just have a cheap bottle of plonk yourself, enjoy the wine, and <laughs> stick, stick the cork in. <laughs> Great. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Um, now, we've also got some uh, scissors here. Uh, uh, and a scissor set, actually, that comes with craft knives. Oh, we have a vacuum cleaner. I think Adam might have been demoing this a, maybe a couple of months ago, and it's ever so good. Oh, that was so funny, actually, because he was, like, on the floor, looking up at the uh, overhead, cleaning up a load of glitter. It was... <laughs> you know what Adam's like. So funny. Oh, yeah, a reminder of our happy hour deal, which is back here. Oh, here we go. You're getting 50 sheets. There's five different colours. Um, so obviously 10 of each. So you've got the silver, the gold, the red, the green, and the royal blue, all glitter effect. Very nice. You've got a six pound saving, but only up until the end of the hour. So you've got less than half an hour to get it. <coughs> Excuse me, it's 13 pounds and 95 pence, 506069. Okie dokie, uh, over to you then, Karen. Wonderful, thank you very much. I'd uh, just like to say thank you very much to The Miracles, to Cheryl, Sam and Car Caroline. They've yeah. done a lot of the samples oh. and they've made a, 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 a perfect job. Yeah. But you can see if you... if you um, I've got a show at 10 and yes. all you will see then. Tune in at 10 and you'll see them all intertwined. That's why they've been got chosen you. together, but yeah. obviously split, uh, split into two... two um, Two, two shows. Shows, that's the one. <laughs> <laughs> so you've not got your hand up my back. <laughs> I need, I need some help. So this is your um, your wood grain. And as you can see, the crack's absolutely beautiful on it. And then you've got your plank there. So I'm just going to do a quick uh, a quick background. Um, let's start off with, shall we start off with yellow? Yeah, we'll start off with the lightest one. And I'm using a watercolour. Um, I've no idea whose it is. It's it's uh, an old one that I found in my stash from years and years ago. So it's not uh, it's, it's not quality watercolor. That's what I'm stating. What, the card the cardstock. Yeah, it's oh. not uh, it's not a it's not a quality one. So I'm not using uh, what I'm trying to say is it's not I'm not using my best one. Oh, okay. Yeah. 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 And if you. I always try and use something underneath it, even if you stamp it. And I'm not worried whether it's going right or wrong there. I won't be drying this because, uh, you know, for speed and yeah. that. So I'm doing three, and then we'll dry, we'll get, we'll just, you can keep stamping up until you've got that done. Go into green. Mm -hmm. So what I am using is mustard seed. Oh, yeah. Twisted citron. And I'm not using any particular pattern at all. Can you see there? I've not done very well. What so I really you've got like ge generations there. I'm doing generations, yeah. just popping things together. Let's. Uh, shall we do the job properly? Taking the foam out of my stamping oh, plate. Oh, okay. Do you find that helps then? Well, can you see the the stamp there now? Yeah. Yeah, always have something with a, when you're going onto a hard surface, always have something underneath it. Yeah. So your stamping plate's not just for uh, doing your stamping. What you can do as well is you can use the uh, the foam underneath foam, yeah. it. Yeah. It's of a nice thickness and let's change over now to orange, yeah. And it looks absolutely awful. Oh, I don't know though. It doesn't, does it really? But now I've started putting orange in. Yeah. It's a little bit over bright. But what we're going to do is just do what everybody else does: get some spray and spritz it. You spritz onto it, and then you can dry that. And you can't even see that it's it's wood grain. Can you see how it's? Oh, I like watching that run, actually. Yeah. 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 So we can dry that. Uh-huh. Or we can bring one in that we've done earlier. 
Yeah. And dry there. And that shows you your backgrounds. And what I have also done, when that's dry... Yeah. Blah, 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 die cuts, black die cuts, right? whatever you want. So this is a, a paper rose die that we've had previously. And we pop that onto there. Oh, that, that's nice. That does that. Yeah. So this is one that I stamped and did earlier. There. Oh, that looks really cool, yeah. actually. Yeah. And you can see that it's still got the wood grain in it, but it's not a wood grain. I know what you're saying. Uh, however, if I... And then this one. Oops. I'm not, I'm not near you. Alex, <laughs> no, don't sorry. worry. <laughs> now, normally, as clumsy as I am, I'd have probably head nutted that. <laughs> that one I've wet even further. Yeah. This is a stamp that's on at 10. Right. And so, and then what I wanted to just show was this little stamp. This is a this is the one that I like. What shall we use? What colour? Um, Do you want to go with a black? Shall we go with a black? Sure. And then you can see, yeah. see what's happening with it. And I am going on to watercolour. So I'm only just showing you the background stamps. If you tune in at 10, then they'll all start making sense. And bob that there. Can, that's a lovely little... Isn't it? It's really pack. cute. And all you need to do is just hover over. And we'll start. Actually, you could make that look like a brick wall. Well, what I'm actually going to do yeah. is, instead of going that way, I'm going to go in between. Uh-huh. So it's going to make it look like planks. But you are right, it is like a brick wall, but it's not a brick wall because it's wooden, isn't it? Indeed. Yeah. So but I think the nice thing that you're sh showcasing oh. here is that it, you've got options with your stamps. You've got options. The background stamps, yeah. they're, not a, they're not a generic. Can I take one step back just to, to yeah. fetch something in? Yeah, of course you can. So what I have done with this one here is I've, it's a stuck on border, That's cute. but I've gone round it and yeah. made a border out of it. But it looks like a wooden border. It does, doesn't it? A yeah. wooden frame. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, and then again, that's just the, the, the what we've done with the, with the basics of uh -huh. doing the background. And you can second generation it, first generation it. If you want to go through some numbers, I'll get some more sure. some more stamps out just to show you some stamps, if that's all right. Of course it is, Karen. Thank you. All righty. Right, so these wooden stamps, let's um, show you again the um, thick red rubber. There you go. So you're getting those three. But then wait till you see them stamped out. So bear with me. Let me pick up the board. Look at that detail. Isn't that fab? And down to... There's been a lot of thought put into this, actually, because it looks really realistic, even down to the sort of... the cracks, if you will. Um, and then if I bring in, again, those samples... There's that little one that um, Karen was just using. Done in a funky way. And then here are the round ones. Which almost in these colours, they look like bubbles, don't they? Nice soft bubbles. Um, £19.99 pence for these and your item number is 911224. Now, if you want to carry on the theme of the wood grain, then we've got a full cover card of the wood grain. You can see that there. Again, look how deeply etched that is. And let's bring in one of the samples and then you can really see where we're going. Look at that detail. It's fabulous, isn't it? OK, £14.99. Uh, item number is 627204. Then we've also got the clouds. Where are we? Are we on... We're on... Other way, other way, other way, other way. This one. <laughs> um, we've got the clouds, which if you're, you know... If you feel you're not great at making backgrounds and scenes, then this is a really good one to have. Uh, again, it's that deeply etched red rubber, as you can see here. That if I so want to like, I want you to see that pointillism that's in there, all that detail. There you go, lovely, lovely. And then let's um, show you the board this way. There you go.
Uh, so it's a really good one, again, to have in your stash. They're sort of like staples, really, aren't they? Uh, £10.99. pence. Item number is 217568. Uh, website should be up and running now, so if you want to place your order, you can go to hachanda.com or give us a call. Um, 01733 You ready to go, Karen? I am ready to go. Coolia. Yeah. Just need a... Oh, let's do it in... Uh... Let's do it in the stamp press, shall we? No. What we'll do is we're going to we're going to swap the box. Swap the. Swap the what? What are these? Um, locks. Yes. <laughs> 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 I might be able to start talking at ten. So I'm just getting a piece of card, and I'm going to uh, do the giraffe. And don't forget, uh, you, with these you can add the scarf, you can do the scarf, add the scarf later, or you can do some masking off. I've got a, a masking sheet, but I'm just going to pop this onto my card just there and just bring in the giraffe. It's so cute. He's gorgeous. He's he absolutely she, gorgeous. Um, I didn't notice, but Cheryl did that with the red heart. That's and really, I only noticed really nice. it and I thought, wow, yeah. They, they have actually put a heart there, isn't it? Yeah. So if you look at all the rest, yeah. and I never spotted that. I was too in love with the face <laughs> yes. to be in love with the heart as such. So there, that's a lovely, beautiful uh, uh, oh. impression. Karen, However, yeah. So, a little birdie has just emailed in. Is it Claire? Cheryl, sorry, it's Cheryl. Good morning to you, Cheryl. Morning, Cheryl. Happy birthday for last Saturday. Oh, yes. Yes. Thank you, Cheryl. Thanks for telling everybody, Cheryl. <laughs> <laughs> I'm nearer 60 than I am 50. <laughs> Don't you worry about that. I'm you not worried. Fabulous. I'm proud of that. <laughs> Bless you. Thank you, Cheryl. For Thank you, Cheryl. Thank know. you very much, darling. Oh. Yes, and you're the one, the brainstorm that saw the heart. Yes. Yeah. So I missed a little bit here. So all I'm going to do is just go in with the black um, fine liner. So never worry if you do miss any yeah. any parts of it. And then we're going to do the sky. However, to do the sky, we need to mask it off. Okay. And I've got a little mask. If she doesn't tear it, yeah. Oh, that you've already like. I've already done it, yeah. Yeah. I've already made a mask because I've been using it. It was the one that was, uh, you know, you saw where the clouds. Well, I'm just going to do with this one. Yeah. With his head in the clouds. Oh, cute. Because that's just like me in the morning. <laughs> you do realise it normally takes me two hours to come round in the morning. <laughs> Nobody talks to me in the morning. Oh, bless you. <laughs> We, uh, Jacob and I, we have a um, we have a secret code. It's a grunt and a grunt and a grunt, <laughs> and, then, and then later on in the day we'll probably talk. That's yeah. it. There we go. So always cut your mask just a little bit under the black line, because if you don't, you end up with a white line. Got you. White line around it, and then we're going to do these uh, the. I'm going to do a nice little bright blue sky. Put some more paper underneath it so I don't wreck everything. I'm not worried about it going onto those little bits because you would see the sky behind that anyway. Yeah. And you can see from here, if I did show you this, look at the, the detail on that. But this is the way the, uh, the clouds go. So what are the fluffy clouds? Cumulus, aren't they? The fluffy clouds, are fluffy clouds are cl cumulus clouds. Oh, I don't know this. And then the, the liney clouds are stratus. Oh, Karen, right, you said at quarter two, you'd wake up, you've just done it spot on. <laughs> and that, that information's amazing. <laughs> I'm alive. <laughs> oh, I did not know this about the clouds. Yes. Well, it's like, it's like stalactites and malachites, isn't it? Yeah. They have uh, one going up, one going down. You know. Got you. Yeah. Okay. So they yeah, do. Yeah. They have the. Uh, they have things from from clouds. One's a cumulus because it's it's all cluffy, cluff, fluffy, and then the other one I think it's a stratus. And I know it's probably said wrong, but I know what I mean. I know. It's great. <laughs> I'm going to look this up. 
So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to put him over the top. Please excuse me squashing a giraffe. Here we go. This is just a quick one that we've thrown in. Yeah, this what is just a quick one that we've thrown in. And there, you can see the clouds, but yeah. then take off the mask. Oops. Oh, look at that. How cute <laughs> is his that? Ears. Oh, that's okay. I've pulled his ears off. <laughs> <laughs> little things, please, little minds. Oh, but Where look are we at looking that. There? That is so sweet. And then you can start colouring him in. Yeah. However, I have got some somewhere that I've been doing. And this was done with the splodge, the ink, the paint oh, yeah. one. So done exactly in the same way. That looks I've so cute. I've just not mount, mounted it. Yeah. But these backgrounds, I know backgrounds are backgrounds, but they will make sense when you see yeah, the 10 o'clock show. Absolutely. They've They're... all been picked together to work together to make cards quick, easy. Uh, and then journals. You think about putting that in a, a scrapbooking paper. You've been to a you've been to a a safari park. Yeah. Put that in a scrapbook paper. But then put his scarf on because he's feeling poorly Aww. and stuff like that. Uh, there's a card out front where Cheryl's put uh, plasters. Oh, I haven't it's seen the that. One right, that we'll have to have a look at yeah, that. Then. She, she went out and bought the plasters specially to put on the card with the giraffe. That's she says, adorable. She says I've got a giraffe. I says yeah, he's a poorly giraffe. Aww. And then we go just back to the wood one. Yeah. And you can see how that's blended in. You can't even see, but you then go over the top of that one. Yeah. You can then bring ha bring out the eye light and you've got your backgrounds there. Fabulous. Yep. Yeah. So that's me yeah. done for a second. I'll just get cleaned up. Yeah. All right. Not a problem. Shall we put something else together? Uh, just, uh, or have we not got time? We'll see. Let's see. Maybe get set and we'll see. Right, what I'll do is I'll get, we have a, the samples for this, the paint splat and the grudge, I'll just stamp them out so people all can right, see them stamp works, out. Then. Is that's that all right? That is perfection. Mm. Okie dokie, this one then is your watercolour cloud and it does have a nice watercolour feel to it, doesn't it? It's just, yeah, you can imagine like Matthew Palmer-esque doing something like this. Um, let me show you the board and the stamp again one more time in case you are just joining us with a coffee and some cereal there you go that so that is the uh that is the red rubber deeply etched cloud that is how it stamps out or you can do it this way you can do it the other way around it's totally up to you um so that one then is 1099 item number is 217568 then we go on to our wood stamps Oh, don't look at my hands, they're so dry. <laughs> I need some hand cream. There you go. It's all the sanitizer. Uh, <laughs> they're like, in my ear, yeah. Uh, so look at that. And then the board itself. Let's show you this one. So look at that detail. That's fabulous, isn't it? And again, showing you the samples. And I think this just shows you don't have to limit it to being wood grain because in the different colours it looks completely different. And this is 1999. Item number is 911224. Then we move on to our grunge wash and watercolour wash. So I just pick this one up. There you go. I really, I particularly like this one actually. I think it's because it looks slightly um, splatty, if you know what I mean. And then these are the actual stamps. Again, they're already mounted for you. Nineteen pounds and ninety-nine pence, zero six six three eight four. This slant background is so useful. If you missed the start of the show, just um, have a little look on rewind because I think it's just really cool. This is how it stamps out, and you can really gradiate it. If that's a word, I think it's a word. And then look at that fabulous background. And this one. Uh, Twelve pounds and ninety-nine pence. Item number is three one two six two seven. And then we've got our wood grain coverer card, which is a real favourite. There you go. And I like that sample actually, how it's been broken up. And then this is the board that's been stamped out for us. Alexa. 
And then with samples, we've got that one. And then it looks completely different on this sample. And then on this sample, especially in the different colours. Um, 14.99, item number is 627.204. Then we've got our grunge cover a card. <laughs> it's just brilliant. I hadn't spotted that until the ladies in the gallery were like, yeah, that's so funny. Um, that will be coming up at 10. What? Well, literally, there's a stamp that says goodbye 2020. <laughs> I love that. That's how it stamps out. It's really cool. Uh, 1499 158 Then we have our birthday cover a card. I love this. I love this sample. Look at this. Batchmaker card. Oh, it's, it's colours I'm wearing. Um, really, really lovely full of cheer, full of happiness, this one. And you've got birthday cakes and balloons and everything. £14.99, item number is 842055. And then last but not least, we've got the baby giraffe. So what is it what I'm looking out for? Where's the plasters? Oh, it has there! Oh, I see! Oh, that's cute! Yeah, it's got the plasters on. And you've got some sentiments on here. Um, you'll feel up to things again soon it's been a long time chin up which is a lovely one uh, you have a special spot in my heart and hold your head high and it's got a scarf and a bow and it's really cute 1999 item number is 566402 don't forget we have got our happy hour deal um, and we've got 50 sheets uh, ten of each of the colours, which are royal blue, red, green, silver and gold. And you've got mm, eight minutes left to get it at this price. Maybe seven, actually. Uh, 506069. So, Karen, we've got two minutes. What do that's you That's all we need. I've that's got cool. some. I've got the two splats. I've got... That's the that's splat, as if you've splatted something down. And this one here is the paint. Cool. Yep, so all I'm going to do with the splat is go around the inside. I'm going to make it look a little bit. I've got some yellow. Yep. I'm going to go into the inside of each one. I'm doing both at once, so just for speed, take that air out of there. And then I've got the orange one. I'm just using these inks, going around the outside. So I'm going to have it like a two tone. And then just blend it in a little bit. Okay. And I'm using my stamp press. I'm going to push push down equal. Sorry, I've stopped talking because I'm pushing. Oh, that's all right. <laughs> I know it's all good. So all I'm going to do is just not very strong. Hang on, let's change up, shall we? It's not very strong, obviously. Me. Uh, my ink pads are... I need some new his ink pads, but we'll go to VersaClair, shall we? Why not? We're, why not? We're going down to the wire now, Karen. The wire? <laughs> yeah. Here we go. Don't <laughs> excuse how it goes in the middle. Don't worry. We're just doing it quickly. <laughs> This is what I wanted to just show this. Is no this, worries. You know when you have to do the, you do the blending and you get the sunset and stuff yep. like that? So we can do that Ooh, with cool it. Video. And I then like don't that. forget. Oh, that's it, Karen. There we go. <laughs> that actually looks really cool. Liking yeah. that. Thank you, lovely. So we'll see you at 10 o'clock. See me at 10, yes. Thanks ever so much. Thank you, Excellent. everybody. Oh, bless you. Yes, please join at 10 because there's different stamps on the show. So look out for those. <laughs> I haven't seen this little clip here. Sorry, I'm just chatting to myself. Uh, right, next up then, we have got our Heartfelt Creations fabulous one-day special. Please join Catherine as well uh, for nine o'clock. Hi, I'm Ali from Ali Stitch Fingers. Um, I've been sewing most of my life. I absolutely love sewing. I've been with the Chanda now from the very beginning, really. That's when I started to go there. The Chanda family are lovely people to work with, and I'm really enjoying my time with them.
designing is a big part of the journey uh, for me as well. I, I love going out and finding the fabrics to use in the projects and bringing them to you. I love the designing process from start to finish and then the finished project is just the icing on the cake. So make sure you don't miss out, come and sew with me on a chanda. Have you heard of Achanda Freedom? Did you know that as a Achanda Freedom member, you could be making savings on every order you place? For just £5.97 a month, you will benefit from selected Freedom member discounts and complimentary standard delivery on every order you place. You will also receive our exclusive Achanda Freedom members badge, regular newsletters, giveaways and crafty updates. If you shop with a Chanda more than twice a month, then Freedom is for you. Don't forget, your Freedom membership is flexible, so you can pause it if you're going away, or you can cancel it at any time. So what are you waiting for? Give us a call or head to the website, quoting item number 888888, and join her Chanda Freedom today. Hello, my name's Kay from Indigo Blue and we've been established for seven years and together with my husband Alfie, we design and manufacture our own in-house red rubber stamps. We also have our own range of paints, lushes and stencils. We're so proud that we've now got a reputation for such high quality products and the detail that we can manage to get in our stamps. What I really love about Hachanda is I get to demonstrate lots of different techniques for you to understand how to use our products and hopefully inspire you. I've got loads of fantastic ideas buzzing around in my head so I can't wait to get those filtered into our products and out to you at home. So grab a cup of tea, join me and the team from Indigo Blue on Hachanda. I'm John Lockwood from John Next Door and Crafts 2. I've been with Hachanda since the very, very beginning and I've been crafting a lot longer than that. My crafting journey has taken me through all different types of crafting, from stamping and die cutting to colouring and inking and loads of different things. I've been working with Crafts 2 now for over three years and they produce the John Next Door brand, distribute it and make sure that everything is perfect in that. This allows me to work with the fantastic Crafts 2 tools and products as well as some of their other amazing brands such as 2J Stamps, Press Cut and the Craft Artist range of glues and consumables and inks. I really find that this partnership is extremely strong and helps me bring out the best of my products and all the other products within the Crafts 2 stable and the ones that I design. So don't miss the John Next Door and Crafts 2 shows on the channel. Good morning. Well, it's one day special time. Do you know what? We are over 40% of the stock gone. Um, so please look if you haven't yet seen it. It's a beautiful heartfelt collection as ever. Good morning, Nikki. Good morning. How are you? I am good. I am good. good. And you Brilliant. too. Oh, absolutely amazing today, <laughs> <Good> considering <laughs> it's early. Um, we are talking beautiful florals here. Floral shop? Yes, the floral shop. So um, the concept behind this is that you can make quick, easy shaped cards using that urn stamp nice. and die. You can create gorgeous floral displays. Um, gorgeous papers. Uh, I love yeah. the papers. Um, yeah. You know, it, it, it's... For, for any occasion as well when you look at it 
the first thing I thought is all of those flower collections that I've I've got mm -hmm. you can use with, with this absolutely yeah um, and we we are at Tachanda the first to see this fabulous yeah, the collection. full collection <laughs> love this now um, as we often say we start with the paper pack yeah we? because the paper pad is like the core of the collection you really get a great feel for it as you can see that the colors are like denim blues mm. and pale greens that really soft red in there as well so the first thing I looked at it and I thought winter winter cards uh -huh. winter birthday cards winter wedding cards absolutely and I've just to say that it is double-sided but our lovely floor manager sorted it out for me so I don't have to keep flicking it around but they are all double-sided and you get two of each don't you so you do yes so you've you got 12 to designs two of each I mean just look at that I That's mean you could beautiful. make an amazing um, scrapbook page with that or even a card yeah which you've done actually I just commented um, complimented <laughs> you on the card that you've done which I'll show you in a in a short and while and the same as with that one as well you know it, I mean it's a beautiful image just on its own to use on on the, on the front of a card an eight by eight card it's beautiful like you said I love that for a bit of matting and layering as well and if you look closely there's actually little hearts in there which is really sweet Oh, just yeah. there. I'll be honest with Very you. Nice. Do you know what me and Janice were saying last night? The more you look at the heartfelt papers, yeah. the more you see. A hundred percent. Because I didn't notice those hearts, and I've used that paper. <laughs> <laughs> and then, well, same with you know, with the backgrounds, you can see there's lovely scrolls and lovely swirls in there. Um, I always compliment heartfelt on their colour coordination. Yes, because. Uh, one of the things that I I find hard, I don't use blue very often, uh -huh. and this has really opened my eyes up to actually you can put blue with any colour. Yeah. Um, and this is a really nice kind of like dusky denim blue in here. That's throughout. Yeah, it's got that lovely golden beautiful. colour in there as well. Yeah. Kind of got a little bit of a vintage feel to it. Um, I mean, look at that. Um, it's I love it. Beautiful, isn't it? And then, of course, as ever, you've got um, c uh, toppers. Yeah, you you've got your six by up. sixes yeah. in there. As I say, you've got those richer colours in there as well, so you can mat and layer. It's beautiful. Um, right then, so as well as your paper pad, of course, you've got your stamps and dies to match, as ever. Um, and they are so beautifully designed these they are yes yeah. yeah. so the i mean that urn is huge i will show um yeah yeah uh alex will show you the, the size of that but you've then you've got all those accents in there so you've got your leaves you've got your florals in there you've got berries all of these will go with all of your other heartfelt collections yeah. and that's what i love about heartfelt they don't just bring us a collection and then we put it in the drawer never to use again yeah. everything mixes and matches together beautifully and as i say that urn you you can put anything in there yeah you could couldn't you flowers all sorts bro you're so right look at the size of that <laughs> it's amazing um so stamps and dies to match let me show the others as well always i think it's important and then we'll get on with some beauty there's some absolutely stunning samples that, that have been brought in absolutely stunning Look at that. So again, that's that collection. And then one more, just so that you can see what you're getting. So it's a lot of dies, a lot of stamps, and the beautiful paper pad. They make, as I say, they make great fillers. So whether or not you've mm. got the tulip collection, mm -hmm. the um, peony collection, the carnation collection, they're great fillers as well. So yeah. just think about all those other collections that you've probably got as well. Marvellous. Now, this is the card I was complimenting Nikki on, because I, I mean, how much would you pay for this in a shop? in well-known card shops it'd be like seven eight quid oh definitely and I've not even glittered or added any pearls on there I've just used the papers just to show everyone that it isn't all about smaller cards or your scrapbooking you can make those larger cards with those images it's beautiful and with the urn I'm liking that um, a good few samples are literally the they are cards standalone yeah. cards yeah because as i say the urn is a good size to make a nice shape card and it's something that we kind of as crafters i tend to get a bit of stuck in a rut mm -hmm. i tend to do six by sixes yeah yeah 
And the nice thing about this is you can mix and match it with other dyes that you've got in your crafty stash. So this one, you will probably notice that I've used the Gateway dyes from yep. last, uh, was it about two weeks ago we launched these? Yeah. And it works really, really well just using that one urn, but I've cut it in half and just put it each side of that decorative um, die. Really looks good, doesn't it? And then we've got another one with the urn. Oh, that's nice. Nice bit of bling on there. <laughs> Sparkly mm -hmm. urn. Um, and then, of course... Um, using your papers. Yeah, just use the papers. You, mm -hmm. it, you know, you don't have to fill it with flowers because the papers are beautiful just on their own. They are. Look at this. Oh, and look at this. Maybe a bit of glossy accents all yeah, over the look air. At that. Yeah, that's really use beautiful. Use your crackle glaze. You know, it, yeah. I mean, there's so much that you can do oh, with crackle it. Crackle glaze, make it look, it would look old. Lovely, wouldn't it? Yeah, I love that. Um, there we go. Now, you um, may have noticed that blue is on the screen, which means that we've got a freedom discount. There you go, it's £85.44 and pence for your beautiful papers and all of those stamps and dies. Um, it's also on FlexiBuy and not two payments but three payments, again making this really affordable. Three um, payments of £28.48, and pence, 470 Now of course because it's coming from the from across the pond then uh it, the um date it will be from the 15th of december the your dispatch date we're now approaching half the stock gone um so thank you very much for purchasing and enjoy now we've also got some fabulous molds now you you love the molds i love my you? molds and <laughs> especially these ones we have been waiting for these to come in obviously due to what's been going on yeah. this year We've had a few delays with the Zinnia. So we launched the Zinnia stamp and die collection back about, I think it was about two months ago. And I do know everyone's been waiting for the yeah. Zinnia mould. And they are here. They're here. <laughs> you will please to know. Look at these. So this is going to make your life easier. If you're someone that loves flowers, oh, obviously it's going to go that way. But if you're someone that absolutely loves flowers, but gets a bit fed up of doing them manually then that's what these molds are for and then look at this beautiful sample beautiful flowers love these yeah i mean and you can create these so easy and quick and if we do have a few minutes at the end of the show yeah that would be towards great. the end i'll just show you how they work amazing for this mold then it's 18 pounds and 99 pence for your zinnia item number is 874790 getting busy for this already then Moving along, we have another mould. So this go. one's the small Zinnia mould. So you've got quite a few different sizes yeah. in the Zinnia collection. So each mould will um, obviously take the different sizes. So the large one will take the largest of the Zinnia and the smallest. Yeah. And then it's um, the large leaves. And then this one, you've got the medium-sized Zinnias in there as well. And then we also shape, there's a little dot right down the bottom, and you're probably thinking, what's that? Yeah. In the Zinnia collection, we have some little ladybirds. Oh. And you put your little ladybirds in there, and it'll shape them for you. <laughs> That's so cute. I, I can't see one here, but that... I don't might... think I've got one on those cards, But actually, maybe but later yes. as well. Yeah. That would be fabulous. Uh, we're 40% of this Zinnia um, set of moulds, uh, £18.99. and pence. Item number is 151485. Uh, here's the website so you can see everything that else that we've got because we've got our daubers, our lovely finger daubers. Obviously you can get your storage because I know so many people like to get another storage system for each collection that we've got. That's there. And we've got some lovely reviews, haven't we? Look at those reviews. Please send in any pictures for anything that you've been making, any previous heartfelt collections. Send them to studio at tachanda.com or pop them on Facebook. Okie dokie. Over to, oh, you're using the um, urn this morning. I am, so I'm going to show you how you can create a really nice, easy, quick shape card using your urn, stamp and die. As I say, the urn is really big. If I just lay that on my hand, you can actually see. I mean, I have actually got small hands. So what I did yesterday was I put a stamp, um, an ink pad next to it. And you can actually see the size of that. So it's something different as well. Um, as I say, you know, you, we give out so many cards and we make so many cards. But sometimes we kind of forget that you can make shape cards as well and when it's made easy for you we're probably more inclined to do it yeah, i think yeah. rather than go to um 
just a square card. So I'm going to do some heat embossing on this urn and I'm actually going to be doing it on some of the papers from the collection. Mm. So this is that light green. So I'm just going over it with my um, sort of like chalk to stop it from catching where I don't want it to. Yep. And then I'm going to take my urn and I'm just going to pop it on there. Just move my magnet out of the way. Now because it is a big stamp, yeah. I do like to use my stamp, stamp platform. But of course I know a lot of you just prefer your acrylic blocks and that works really well as well. But you will need quite a large acrylic block to hold your urn. So then I'm going in with my Versamark watermark ink, which is like a sticky ink. And the nice thing about when you are using the, um, the papers, you don't actually have to colour it as well. So if you, you want to make a really nice quick one, yeah. you can just do it using your Papers. Embossing, yeah, embossing powders and papers, or you could just ink it. Now, obviously, you can see yesterday I did stamp it in black, so it has come out in black, but because I've got the sticky ink on that, it will, and I'm just going to do this because I'm not 100% sure if I caught that middle, um, it will still pick up yeah. the embossing powder. So just take that out of the way, and then I will do it on the inside of my card. And I'm going to use a really nice copper embossing powder. Oh, that's going to look really grand. It that. looks really yeah. lush. And as I say, it's really easy as well and quick. Yeah. Just make sure I've covered all my urn. There we go. And just give it a little tap. And then just pop your embossing powder back in. Urns remind me of like stately homes. Yeah, something you know. quite grand, yeah, isn't very it? Yeah, so. <clears throat> and then take my urn, take my heat gun. I'm just going to warm that up slightly. There we go. And then you just watch the magic, basically. I absolutely love this, but you can see all the detail oh, in there. So, because I say, because I've done it on the green cart paper, yeah. I'm not going to add any other colour to it. Oh, I love watching And they've got thing. all the shading mm. in there, all the detail that you need. Mm. They have, haven't they? I want one of these in my garden. It's lovely, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> but, That's you know, cool. when, when you actually look at it, um, you could actually cut the bottom part off. So, oh, cut it off from about there. Yeah. And you've just got a pot. Yeah, absolutely. Just one bit for luck. And there you have, if I just hold that up. Oh, look, look at that. that. Isn't that lovely? It's and beautiful. on the paper as well, I think it's really pretty. Well, it makes it look oldie worldy on that it paper does. as well. Yeah. And then you've got your die to coordinate with it. Of course. And then you just pop your die over there. and just pop it through your die cutting machine. Now it is quite a big die, as mm -hmm. I say, so you, the smallest machine that you will put it through would be your A5 die cutting machine. Just take it out, and voila, you've got oh, an urn. Stunning. That is stunning. But as I say, yeah. cut it up, cut that bottom bit off, and you've got a pot. Yeah, it looks beautiful, absolutely beautiful. So I have already done one, so now I've got two. Mm -hmm. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this one and I'm going to take my scissors. And you don't very often see me do this, but I'm actually going to fussy cut. So even when you don't have a die, mm -hmm. you can three-dimensional it up. So I'm just roughly going around there. So I have just got a little bit of that green around the edge. Yeah. And to be honest, that's not too much of a difficult shape. It isn't, to, to be honest, no. Yeah. I just thought it'd be nice to have this piece decoupaged up. Yep. So I'm just going to trim around this. Around there. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. I just love how the light is hitting the embossed. It's lovely, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. Such a good colour to use for this urn. And the thing is as well, you can make them 
to coordinate with your paper so you could do your floral display in your blues and your reds or you yep. can go completely different use your bright pinks I did a really bright pink vase yesterday I'm sorry urn and um, it was like really striking is it this one it is down yeah that's that's the one yeah shall I show you this here you go how funky is this completely different isn't it yeah and to be honest i was explaining to everybody what i did yesterday so uh -huh. i'd colored this from at home yeah and i'd left it in the craft room on the table overnight mm. went in and had my coffee in the morning and went to pick my coffee cup up and spilt my coffee on it oh no but it kind of blended it and then gave it kind of like <laughs> like a bit of a distress look as well happy accident then <laughs> happy accident yeah i just put it on the radiator to dry and i thought this isn't going to work i've lost this <laughs> but i didn't it was like oh wow good stuff so I've cut that out, as I say, seconds, and then I can now decoupage that up. So I'll take some double-sided tape, pop a little bit on the top, mm -hmm. and then just two small pieces. I'll probably cut that a little bit big. I might have to trim that. So just make sure you can't see it through. Yep. I've cut it and just pop that on there and then I've got three dimensional top of oh, the urn. Oh yeah, that makes it look even more look grand. Look at that. Yeah. Isn't that lovely? Can, if I just hold that up, look, you can actually see. See where I've just decoupaged that up. That's great. That looks really fabulous. And again, you could go again. You could do the bottom bit if you wanted. Yeah. Sort of like add that there. In actual fact, come on. Are you gonna do it? Let's do it. <laughs> Might as well as mm -hmm. I've got it there. Yeah. I won't go crazy with my tape this time. I just put one piece on just to hold that. Pop that there. Oh, maybe would help if it was straight. There we go. Nice. Look at that. Very elegant. It's lovely, isn't it? Yeah. As I say, and no colouring involved uh -huh. yet. Because, of course, we've now got to make the card base. So to make the card base, I'm going to do it tent, sort of like tent design, so it's folding from the bottom. All I need then is to take my die and just going to pop the die just over the edge of the crease of my cardstock and pop that through my die cutting machine which will just about fit mm -hmm. and what I would probably suggest is make a batch of these so when you come to make some cards with this collection you've got your urns shaped card blanks all ready to go mm -hmm. And there you have your urn. Oh, it's a card blank. Excellent. And it's then nice to have something different. I'm going to take my glue and just pop the glue up the top. Yep. And down. Now, yesterday, what I did was, on that pink one, I left a gap here. Uh-huh. But I didn't this time. So when I say a gap, I didn't glue the top bit. So I'm just lifting that up and I'll show you why in a second. It means that when I start putting my display together, I can put a few oh, in there so they yeah. look like they're actually coming out the urn. But while that's drying, I'll just leave that lifted up slightly, show you all the elements that we've got. I think I'm using a bit of everything. And I've gone for a bit of a different colour, so sort of like your apricots and your cream mm. and then the berries I've done in that kind of like beigey colour and they are really easy to colour so I've used some watercolour in actual fact this is pink frog watercolour oh is it well it's the smooth that you've got on the website because right. I did check yesterday and it takes your watercolours really well and it really blends well and very easy to colour these are so add a bit of lime green and then go in with a little oh, bit of Oh, it does blend well, doesn't it? does, doesn't it? Yeah. I love this cardstock. It's actually one of my new all-time favourites that I've gone to now. And I wonder 
what okay. flowers these are or berries? Um, not a hundred percent sure, but py Pytherum, is it Pytherum? Ooh. I think I'm not very good to see with those. Myself things. and Janice were having a discussion about it yesterday. Oh, were you? I know Janice we loves kind of her nature. She loves nature. It's not that I don't like yeah. nature, I'm just not very good at learning the names. I've just, um, I mean, I love my garden, I love my plants, but yeah, I'm not quite sure what this one is. So I'm just going over with that, I don't know what colour it is, it's, I think it's called blush. And then going in again, and you can see how that cardstock blends. And just go in and add some shading. Yep. Really easy. But again, if you into your daubers, you can do this with your daubers as well and get a really nice effect. Yeah, it's nice we've got those back in stock because they were out for a while, weren't they? And then I'm just going to blend. So take my blending brush, which has run out, but I tend to use it with a bit of water. Mm -hmm. And that will just blend that and give it a kind of nice distressed kind of... Mm, it's light and shade as well. Look. It's like the sun's hitting it. Yeah, and as I say, it's really easy. But what we'll do on the next one is, because I'm going to colour one of these here... Again, I'm not quite sure what this is. If you know at home, if you're sitting there and saying, I know what that is, please do let us know. Um, so I'll go in with my bl my daubers this time. So go in with some green. On the top there. And do you know, you could make down. these if you wanted to, if you chopped the stems off. I think they look like radishes. Rad yeah, they do actually, <laughs> don't they? <laughs> An alternative thing. You can make a garden scene card then. You could. And then I'm still going to use a bit of green and I'm going to bring the green in and blend that with the dauber. Just lifting it off of the paper slightly so I don't get too much green on there. And then... What other colour should we add? A little bit of yellow, I think, I've got on that one. So, mm -hmm. And then I'll show you the difference with one coloured with the pens and one coloured with the daubers. OK. Just, just whatever your preference is, really. That in. I love my gel pens. I, I love my gel pens, yeah. Gel pens. As I say, it's, it's, it's what you prefer. And I don't know about you, but I go through phases. Yeah. Of using different mm -hmm. sort of pens mediums. and mediums. Just a little bit of yellow there. Maybe a little bit greener than the one that I did with my pen, but there you go. Yep. Still get that blended effect with it. Absolutely, I see that. All good. Completely up to you. And then we're going to go back to the card. So I'm just going to sit all my elements out, have a look to see what I've got. I might add some dimension to some of the berries, actually. And these as well. So again, we're not quite sure what these are. I thought they looked like dahlia buds, but they could be anything. Yeah. So nice apricot colours there. Mm. So I'm going to use my flower shaping tool and just change that one to that one. Turn them over. So I'm going to probably use about three of my berries and just go in. And this makes a big, big difference because it kind of brings them to life. So I'm going round in a circular motion, catching all of those berries. Just going all the way round. So I'll do all three. Yep. Um, just a quick mention while you're doing that, that uh, the flower shaping kit is here. I just love the packaging of Heartfelt. I just it's think lovely, it's isn't it? It's yeah. really luxury kind of yeah, packaging. Yeah, it is. It's like if you went to a posh hotel type thing. Um, so you've got your mat and then inside you've got your actual holder, if you know what I mean, and then you've got several of your ball tools. You've also got, let me pop that the right way, um, there's a quilling tool, I'm sure there is, let me turn there it around. There is, there is yeah. a quilling tool, so that's great for your flower shaping and it will take, it slightly, the kind of mouth on it is slightly wider than a normal quilling tool, so it will take your thicker cardstock. Mm, excellent. There you go, your deluxe. Deluxe is the word, I think. Uh, it's twenty nine ninety nine. Item number is uh, 939385. 
Marvellous. Look. Back to you, Nikki. Almost done. So I've added some dimension. I'm not going to do it to all of them. Just picking a few out, but just want to show you the difference in one that's actually been shaped and then one that hasn't. Yeah. And I think it does make all the difference. It kind of brings it to life a little bit. And then with this one, I'm going to go in with a bigger shaping tool mm -hmm. and just shape around the edge, bring that down. And again, just doming that, I think, makes yeah. all the difference, doesn't it? Yeah, totally. So we'll pop that one there, just do this one. And we'll take that one as well. So we'll do three. I've probably gone a little bit over the top with the amount that <laughs> I put worry. in. If you look at some of them, um, the well, um, urns that I've actually done Shall I show you this one? Look at this got, one. That is full. <laughs> could I have got more any, any more in there? Yeah. I actually Love used it, the elements from the paper pad with that one. So don't forget, oh. you have got the elements that will fit your dies. Cool. So if you do want to make a really nice quick card, you can do so. And I've also um, stamped that one on the red paper. Yeah, which looks Stamped one gorgeous. in red and then cut it out and decoupaged it up as well. Yeah, it looks absolutely stunning, this. Love that. I really like shapes. It's cards. kind of like, I don't know, it's like a gift and a card it all is. in one, isn't You're it? You're so right. Yeah. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to take my elements. Oh, oh hang on. We've had an email then from Kimberly. Oh, that's lovely. Um, good morning. Um, now you're saying that you think the small buds are rose hip buds. Excellent. Oh. And the larger buds. Oh, a rhododendron. They could yeah. be. Ah, thank you so yes, much, Kimberly. Yes, thank you. Thank you. Hope you're having a nice morning as well. So I'm going inside that little kind of opening. And then just building it up, I'm going to add... In actual fact, I'm going to move that. Um... Now, Nikki, while you are just building up yeah. uh, your lovely card, um, just a quick recap because we're halfway through the show and you might just be joining us. Now, we do have a smaller bundle, should you wish to go for it, which is the gorgeous paper pad and then the urn stamp and die set. So if you want to go for that, because you, maybe your budget can't quite stretch, then it's there for you at £46.97, or two payments of £23.49. 30% of the stock has gone of your, what we kind of call the essentials. However, I think it's only about £5 more for your first flexi by payment. Um, to go for the whole collection. Uh, you do have to do three times the payment, as in, not three, you know, it's three, it's three flexi buys, but because um, that's 31.64, but it is also on Freedom. So if you're a Freedom member, we'll spin that around. There you go, yes. So it's about five pounds extra, if my maths are right. Three payments of 28 pounds and 48 pence. And so, Let's have a look at the paper pad. It is double-sided, um, but um, our lovely Kirsty has sorted it out so that I don't have to keep spinning it. If you want an extra one, and a lot of people do go for a second paper pad because it is your consumable, of course, then we have got it individually. And there you go. It's £17.99, and the item number is 499927. But look at this, we've got some wonderful sentiments in here. Uh, finding beauty in the simple things, celebrating life together, let's celebrate, so grateful. Really nice uplifting words. I mean, look at that, that's a real centerpiece, that one. Um, and then we've got lovely 12 by 12s for matting and layering. There's also, which we'll come to in a short while, the sheets where some of the dies match. So if you need to make a card quite quickly, Ah, and this is the one of the ones, then the dies will match these, which is brilliant. Lovely berries. And here's another one. Look at that. So you can cut the urn out just as it is, which is marvellous. So there's some wonderful colourways in here. Beautiful denim blues, wonderful rich reds. It's absolutely glorious. There we go. I think I'm back to the beginning now. Um, and then don't forget that the stamps and the dies are a lot bigger than the packaging. I'll just hold one of them up. 
at this because I did it at the start. There we are. Ooh. Much bigger than the packaging. They're beautiful. And then the samples here are just absolutely stunning. Look at that one. That's gorgeous. Love that. Taking the paper pads. Um, here, this one's really been moulded. Isn't that gorgeous? And I forgot to mention at the start here that it does come with the inspiration sheet, which is just here to make, to make something to get you started. And it comes to you in this very handy bag, which has got a sticker on it, so we'll get rid of that. Uh, this very, very handy bag, which I think after you've used your collection, I, I always see this as like a swimming bag. <laughs> yeah, a little beach bag and all that. Anyway, but it's very useful. Okie dokie. Now, you can, should you wish, get everything individually at the moment. Um, so if you do just want that urn die and stamp set, or just the stamp set, then you, of course, can. Lovely, jubbly. How are you getting on then, Nikki? Right, so I've built it up as far as I want to from the front. And now what I'm going to do is I want to add some more height. Okay, so I'm taking some of these florals and then I'm going to build a little bit more height. If you can see from the back look, it looks really nice and neat. If you wanted, you can colour the back of all of those as well. But now I can get a little bit of height in there. So this is one of the berries that I haven't added any dimension to, but that will just reinforce that and give that a little bit more stability. And then on that top flower there, just glue that so it stands nice and tall. And then I'm just going to take a look and I just want to fill in a little bit here. So I'll take another one of these and just add that there. And this isn't using all of the element. As you see, I've still got some left. And then just add one more just there. And just sort of move them around a little bit to add a little bit of interest. And I'm going to stop. <laughs> or not. Now, what you can do if you want, you can put a decorative die behind there, which is a really nice mm. idea. But that's a stunner. That. Wouldn't that. you love to receive something yes. like that? Yes. Yep, mantelpiece pleaser. That's Certainly what it is, is, isn't it? Yeah, it's absolutely stunning. This. Um, thank you very much, Nikki. Thank you. Uh, just going to mention the moulds that we've got. Do you want me to grab them? Oh, okay. Just quickly, though, the one day special is now over half the stock gone. Um, it's £94. Oh, no, but it's not if you're a Freedom member. It's £85 and 44 pence with a £29 and 49 pence saving. And it's on three flexi buys of £28 and 48 pence. And don't. Don't forget if you're, well, you wouldn't forget if you're a Freedom member, but if you're not a Freedom member, if you become a member, your postage is covered, which is marvellous. 470252 is the item number. Uh, it's going to be dispatched from the um, 15th of December because obviously it's coming from across the pond. Now, a mention of our lovely um, flower moulds because we've got two different options for you. We've got the large one. 40% uh, of the zinnias, because as Nikki rightly said at the start of the show, people have been eagerly anticipating these to come back in stock, so now we've got them. And they just make life really easy. I think this one's for the large one, actually. But look at, look at the beautiful flowers that you can be making, if I put it the right way. No stunning. Absolutely stunning. And so that is 874790. And then if you want the slightly smaller one and this one is also over 40 percent it again just like i've shown you it does come in two parts there you are and then you just pop your paper in your die cuts in squish it pop, pop, pop it through your um, die cutting machine and you'll get those brilliant flowers 18.99 here and it's 151.485 we've got some seven day savers let's take a little look now the rainbow card stock 
excellent. You're getting so many sheets. Lovely bright colours, I have to say. Only $9.99 for all of those sheets. And we can see it's got some five-star reviews. What else have we got? Um, we've got a, um, a handy scissor and craft knife collection. Cup, a pair of scissors. What's that that I can see there? Are those ribbons? Oh, are they? Oh, a really nice ribbon. But, oh, ri oh, right, ribbon and skeins of thread. Beautiful for twelve ninety nine. And we've got a Hoover <laughs> or a vacuum cleaner. <laughs> It's very useful. <laughs> to be fair, as crafters, most of us say that our craft rooms are absolutely a mess with glitter and stuff on the floor. So there you go. It's what we need it for. Um, how are you doing, Nikki? Right. So how about making a winter card? Sounds good. With your paper pad and all of those gorgeous florals. So what I've done is... I've really gone to town with this and got lots of layers. So I'm going to start off with some of the red card stock. Yep. So That's a I'll beautiful just, red, that is. It is, isn't it? Really kind of... It's kind of... like it's, it's, a, it's a dark red, but it's soft in the same... Same sentence, if that makes sense. <laughs> yeah. Does that make sense? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Bright but soft. Like a cherry red, isn't it? And then I've got one of my 6x6 six six panels, so I'm just going to add that one. So this one's going to go flat, yep. and I think I did actually cut off the outer edge of that because it would have been 6x6. Six six. Mm -hmm. So I took off the outside mat that Heartfelt had put on there. And then I've got a frame, so I've cut this out um, by hand. I'll just take all my tape off. Oops, not stick my finger to <laughs> sticking it. Sticking your fingers together. And then that will go around the outer edge. And I've obviously added the pearls already, just so that you can see the finished. Maybe the wrong way. That way. That's it. Yep, looks good. That looks really effective. And already, I mean, that could, I mean, it's itself, like a photo, yeah. it's, it's, that could go on the wall, couldn't it? Absolutely. Add some glitter, maybe, but that makes a really nice, it's beautiful kind of picture. But then I've got another frame. So I've cut this out of the same um, paper using one of Heartfelt's Cut Matten Create dies that fit around the centre uh, there. Yep, excellent. And again, I've already added my pearls on there mm -hmm. take those off that's the boring bit see um, i would do that for you if i could <laughs> yeah we, we actually miss you guys <laughs> <Yeah>. standing <laughs> next to us uh, that's just kind of layered on there and then i've got lots of elements so i've colored all of these in stamped die cut and colored them in i've added some glitter sort of like a really thick snowy glitter so i thought like this could be a winter christmas card yeah, nice. it could be a birthday card sorry or it could be a christmas card or for a wedding got some berries there winter wedding yeah mm. and then i'm just going to and i've got a lot of elements there but i'm not going to use them all and then just build it up so i've kind of colored this in in that same denim blue and i know i'm going to cover this element up but i think it works add some leaves and it's it's one of those things that you can stop when you want to stop if that yeah. makes sense you yeah. can put a lot of florals on there or you can just put a few but i love these colors i really did not i don't think i've ever used this sort of blue color before on a card so it's sort of taking you by surprise. Berries. It has, yeah, and I'm quite liking it, to be honest. Put those berries under there. Just building <coughs> it up. I'm going to leave that one for a minute because I don't want to cover it up. So what what did we say these were? Can you oh, remember, Alex? Oh, oh. That lady that, we'll, that... We'll find it. Emailed in. The small buds are the rosehip buds. Oh, right. 
and the large could be rhododendrons. Thank you, three Merlin. Yeah. <laughs> it does help when I'm putting something together that I, I know what they are. <laughs> and then just, again, I'm just building this up around that. This is the, the picture here that mm -hmm. you can see. You probably recognise that. That is from the um, die collection, from the Gateway die collection oh, is that it? we launched. Two, I think it's only about two weeks ago. See, what's nice is they heartfelt really think about like you said at the beginning of the show all your collections working together rather than being standalone yeah mm. so you know you could put one of those dies on here and then this is going to be my centerpiece so we're just going to trim that slightly put that there but i do want to add a bit more blue in there so that will go behind there you can see I'm just building it up. Yep. And then it's just building those. And then I need a little bit more blue. So this piece that I cut off, mm -hmm. just trim that off. We'll go down here. Just move that up slightly. And then just to finish, oh, we've got some of these. I might as well put some of these in as I've done them. <laughs> what so did you say about knowing when to stop? There. I'm really joking. <laughs> <laughs> what was that? Sorry. <laughs> no, I'm teasing you. <laughs> I mean, they just, I don't know, they just look refreshing and yeah. something a bit different. Yeah, I agree. And then I've cut some red cardinals out of... Oh, where are they um, from? They were, well, we've had quite a few... On the last few Christmas collections, ah. so these are from this year's, which was snowy pines. Oh, I see. And then just pop one there. I just oh, want to that move him over really slightly. Pretty. Yeah, that's a that's a lovely addition to that card. And then pop that yeah. one up there amongst the flowers. And then you could put a oh. happy birthday or merry Christmas. Yeah, just there. I think that's frameable. But it is. I think with heartfelt when you use their papers mm -hmm. and all the dyes it, like you say it is kind of like a mantle pleaser but yeah. something that you wouldn't, oh, wouldn't wouldn't want to pack away no definitely not and that is all year round oh, if you ask me I think it's so pretty off. I've got glue dangling but yeah that's beautiful thank you very much thank Nikki you. um shall I show you some more samples let's have a look now we are approaching 60% of the stock gone of this collection I mean look how grand that is wow this urn has got some huge flowers in it hasn't it look at, look at this. that so that's using the dahlias that we launched a few months back I see yeah they're beautiful and then we've got this one here with a nice sentiment in there oh I don't think you've seen this one that's lovely with the bow isn't it that's so pretty you can shape and you can mould your lovely urns, like so. Um, then we've got this one here, and that's using the paper pads and cutting out. It's so pretty. And then the shaped cards are just gorgeous. They are glorious. Beautiful. I love these. This one's amazing. I'd loved Nikki's idea of having um, some crackle glaze. Yeah, that would just look fantastic, wouldn't it? Stunning. Right then, this does, the, for the one-day special, have a freedom discount. It's £85.44 and pence with a £29 and some change saving. And it's on three instead of two flexi buys, three payments of £28.48. and pence, 470252. But we are approaching 60% of the stock already gone. Uh, then we've got our flower mould, so I think Nikki's going to, just up until the end of the hour, going to show us some lovely techniques with these moulds, which have been highly anticipated. We've got our large mould here. It's uh, a Virginia, and it's £18.99. That's a lovely sample, isn't it? It's really pretty. 874790 is your item number, if I can spit it out. And then you've also got the small... Having said that, I'm going to show you... They're small, it's still large, do you know what I mean? 
So it's a really nice set of moulds. Um, this is 1899. Item number is 151485. The website, let's go to hachanda.com. You can get them individually. Uh, the urn is really busy, which that does not surprise me at all. It's a beautiful set of stamps and dies that go together. And the fact that you can create um, shaped cards with it. There's also the paper pad you can get on its own for $17.99. If you want to top up on your consumables, that is there for you. Okie dokie. Um, are you are you all right to go then, Nikki? I'm ready. Excellent. Yes. So I know you've all been waiting for us here at Achanda to have the Zinnia moulds in. And yes, they are here. So you've got two and the large one holds the large Zinnia, the two larger leaves and the smaller Zinnias. So and with the zinnias they are so versatile so you can pop them in image face down or image faced up and you'll get a different kind of okay. design of zinnia then you've got the large one so this is one from the paper pad and as you can see with the molds they kind of fit in yeah. perfectly just move that around and it will go in just have a kind of a fiddle it'll just sit when when it's in the right place I actually think it might be there. There we go. Perfect. And then obviously then you've got the smaller one, which Alex quite rightly said, these are not small yes. zinnias. <laughs> they are all nicely sized. And again, that will fit in perfectly. And then you've got your medium one there. And then the slightly smaller one. And then you've got a place to put your smaller leaves in as well. That one's not quite in right. And then you have in each one of them, so on the stamps and dies, so I know a lot of you have brought them, you've got your ladybirds. Mm -hmm. Oh, cute! And this is the larger ladybird. Yeah. And we're just going to pop him in there. It just saves time as well because yeah. with using the mould, um, it takes away a lot of the work that we do by hand using our flower shaping mm -hmm. tool. And then they fit in, so you've got feet. So you've got two feet one side and one the other, so you can clearly see that on your mould. Mm -hmm. Now, normally I would spritz with water, just a very fine water before I put it through, but I haven't got my spritzer with me today. Does that so sort of help break the fibres? It helps break the fibres down, and it does... On, I've, tr I've done both, so I've done with and without. Uh -huh. And I would definitely say they, they, they mould a lot better right. with um, spritzing with water. So you will need a machine that's got a wide mouth. So I've just taken out my main plate from this one. This is the Jane Davenport from Spellbinder. So I've just taken my main plate out yep. because I only need the two thinner ones. And then I'm going to pop my mould on top, put my top plate on. Move my glue gun out of the way, and then just Ooh. pop. Whoops, and then just pop that through. Now, what you need to do is just make sure that it's kind of square and not skew whiff going into your machine. And then also, if you feel that it's going through a little bit too kind of easy, you can put some card like in, in the top, yeah. and that will act as a shim. And we'll reveal that in a minute. Then I'm taking the smaller one and popping that through. If you have a larger machine, so if you've got a larger mouth machine, which is an A4, you can actually pop these through together. So you pop them in sort of like the other way, so you turn them around and it will, they will both go through together. I probably, if I was at home, would have added a shim to that because I felt that that was going through a little bit easy. And now the reveal. So I've got one here that hasn't been through the mould. So we've got a flower there, totally flat. Okay, so just pop those out of the way. And that one. All I've done is pop them in my machine. Yep. <clears throat> Nicely shaped. And they come out shaped. Mm -hmm. And then you can form your flowers in a lot of different ways. So that leaf is kind of embossed in the middle going down yep and this one i put <laughs> with the image faced up 
So it's different. I love the leaves. Look at that. <laughs> it's very I mean, pretty. I would still be shaping if I was doing that by hand. Yeah. If I could just... I did have a flower here. And then you kind of layer them together. Use your flower shaping mat still. So I always say when, when the moulds first came out, it, you're not making your flower mat redundant. You still do need your flower shaping mat because mm -hmm. then what we're going to do pop them on and then you will just add a little bit more interest just lift those petals up a little bit more if you want to and again taking my shape until you can see how that lifts up yeah but all that hard work all of this detail here all that embossed shaping has been done for me using that mold and we've got the smaller one And then if you want to, you can push them up even more. And then just take your glue gun, where I don't know where mine's gone, there it is, and just glue them together. Perfect. Look how pretty they are. And they are your zinnia flowers. And they look really professional. And I know there's a lot. We, we, we did amazing on these shows. Uh -huh. um, everyone, I think everyone loves flowers. And the zinnias are a really nice size. So those moulds will take all that hard work out for you. <laughs> look at that. that. Isn't that gorgeous? And just look at the detail that yeah. that mould gives me. And such a nice size. Like, it's really a focal yeah. point. Look at that. Oh, that's so pretty. One, look. Yeah, and you've popped, what have you popped in the centre there? So that's got some tiny prills, which are tiny, tiny pearls in yeah. the centre. But you can use your stamens, you can put anything in the middle to create your flowers. Brilliant stuff, thank you so much, thank Nikki. Thank you. Right, let's finish off then with some more samples, just to give you some inspiration. Now look at this beauty. That's so full, isn't it? And filled with all these beautiful flowers. I was just looking at what you've done on the back there. So to give it some rigidity, there's a bit of acetate. Yes, I did. There. So if you find that it is a little bit floppy, yeah. I put a decorative die behind there. So you can just see that around the top. Yep. And then I've just used some acetate just to reinforce that back a little bit. And yeah. you can still use it as a card. Absolutely. And then let's show you this one. Lovely, Biffy. Oh, right. I'm, uh, Charlotte in my ear is telling me that if you want some stamens, um, we've got some on the end of call. When you go to check out on the website, you can also ask um, when you're phoning. Don't, you won't miss out that way. But um, we've got quite a lot about them. So how about <laughs> at the end of call, you pop these into your basket as well. Um, no extra postage there. Yeah, really nice colours that you've got. So there you go, look at this beautiful one. And you said that was using the gateway card that was, as well? Yes, so that was using the dies that we launched a couple of weeks ago. Yeah. And I'll be demoing, demoing that one at noon today. Noon today, marvellous. And then look at this with the mirror card, that looks so posh. And then here's that big grand one that you've done, which I absolutely love. As I said, I haven't decorated it with flowers yet. I'm not quite sure. I might even put a pocket in there. But you can use all your smaller panels and make, like you say, a grand birthday it's card. Really grand, that one. So pretty. Sorry, I've still got some more just to finish off the hour. Loving this. Beautiful. That's using your papers and some pearls. And this is another favourite of mine because I just love the idea of um, the crackle glaze. That's lovely, yeah, isn't it? Yeah, it's really, really pretty. Okay. Our one day special is approaching 60% of the stock gone uh, and we had a deep stock. You're getting uh, your paper pad 12 by 12, you've got your stamps and dies, you've got your inspiration sheet too and it will all come to you in this lovely bag. I like that. <laughs> 85. I, I do like the fact it's, it's the added extras, isn't it? That it I really is. Like. Yeah. yeah, and you can keep it all in there. Yeah. Thank you very much, Nikki. Thank you. Thank Marvellous. Um, do make sure you are checking out your baskets and joining uh, our Nikki back at noon and, of course, four o'clock. But now we're heading over to our Catherine. <laughs> Catherine is bringing us Zuri, and I think it's a bit of a best-of show. Um, then we've got Stampendous, and after that, 
Tina Francis Tapestry. Love a bit of tapestry. Hi, I'm Sarah. And I'm Vicky. We are the Stamping Sisters from Stam Haddocks. We'd started our family-run business in 1992 when we were importing rubber stamps from the USA. But now we design and manufacture them all here in-house in our shop in Bedfordshire. We make grey rubber stamps and we make them as deeply etched as we possibly can so that you can use them in many different ways. On our shows on Hachanda we like to give you lots of different techniques to use with the stamps, different ways that they can be used and ideas. We hope that we can inspire you to get out your stamps and have a play. Look at all the different designs we've got. We've got Christmas, we've got scenic, we've got cute and furry. There's something for everyone. Make sure you don't miss the Stamp Addict shows on Hojanda. Hi, I'm Abs from Holland Create. I've been crafting for over 10 years now and I love stamping, stenciling, creating layers, colours, textures and creating depth and dimension. Holland Create was established in October 2016, collaborating with a group of designers and artists from all over the world, bringing different designs and products in different styles. We proud ourselves of high quality photopolymer clear stamp sets, dyes, stencils, washi tapes and acrylic blocks, all in different sizes and formats. In my shows at Hachanda, I hope to bring you inspiration and different ways of using your craft products. Make sure you don't miss the Holland Create shows on Hachanda. Did you know you can watch Hochanda 24 hours a day, 7 days a week for free using our app on Roku? Just like your smartphone accesses an app store to add new applications, your Roku streaming player or Roku TV accesses the Roku channel store to add new channels. By downloading the Hochanda channel, you'll be able to access your favourite craft channel on your TV anytime you want to watch. Here's how to do it. Turn on your TV and connect your Roku device. Next, turn the power on and press the home button on your Roku remote. Scroll up or down to select settings. Select your network and select setup connection. Roku uses a wireless connection, so select your router name and add your password. This should be on the side or the bottom of your router. If this is the first time using Roku, then you'll need to set up an account on the device or by going to the Roku website. That's it, now it's time to add the Hochanda app. Simply press the home button on the Roku remote. Scroll up or down using the arrows on your remote to select streaming channels. Then open the channel store. At the top of the channel store, you'll find a list of featured, new and popular categories to explore. Enter Hochanda into the search bar and this will take you to the Hochanda app. Now simply select Add Channel. When you see the Added Channel screen, press OK and return to the home page. Now scroll down to the Hochanda app and press the star button on your remote. You can then use the arrow buttons to move Hochanda to the top of the screen for quick and easy access. And that's it. You can now watch, purchase and catch up with your favourite shows 24 hours a day, 7 days a week on your TV whenever you feel crafty. Hello, I'm Sue Trangmar and I started Daisy Chain Designs 20 years ago. Back in the day, there were very few quilt patterns in the marketplace. And so uh, I started to bring patterns into the UK from America and Australia. And along the way, I've been lucky enough to work with some fantastic British designers. And that is what really the essence of Daisy Chain Designs are. At Daisy Chain Designs, we're passionate about sewing and quilting. We design projects that hopefully will inspire you to pick up your needle and thread and have a go. Uh, we have great fun in designing things from the very start, and then the end product is always very exciting when you actually see it made. So don't miss the Daisy Chain Design shows on Hochanda.
makes me smile every time I see everybody waving there. It really does. Good morning, everybody. You've just got me for this hour, I'm afraid. I'm presenting, I'm guesting as well. That's why I've got my apron on. Uh, well, it's all about Zori again. It's a Zori Rewind. That means, of course, that if you've missed out on any particular moulds, as long as we've got them in stock, you've got the chance to get them. Perhaps you've been waiting for something very special. I know some people are going to be disappointed this morning because the castle is not on this show, but it is going to be here by the end of December. We've got a one-day special coming up later in the month. But this means, of course, if there are any little gaps you want to fill and we've got the stock, this is on immediate dispatch as well. We've already got these in our warehouse, so you don't have to worry about that. We're starting right here with Pegasus because I know a lot of people have missed out on Pegasus before. We are extremely limited. That's why we're starting in the middle of the counter when it's gone it's gone i don't know if this one will come back again at the end of december it may do but i can't guarantee it but we've got stock right now for pegasus if you've missed out let me just show you a couple of samples as well but seriously you need to be quick on this and you need to check those baskets out as well because if you don't and it bounces out somebody else may get it there you can see our wonderful pegasus a sample by sylvia there absolutely beautiful here's another one as well so if you want to keep the clay natural or the resin or whatever you're using to cast, you can do. If you want to use your paints and your mediums, you can do as well. Just applying a wash or some ink over there will bring out every bit of detail. Look at the muscle tone in the legs there. Look at the depth of detail in the wings as well. Absolutely beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. I can't pick a favourite. I seriously can't. But Pegasus has got to be in my top five, I think. Item number Z3, sorry, 036051, 19.99. Now, we do have other options as well. And this is another thing that I want to say to everybody. It's important when you go onto the website that you click on the drop-down box to choose the option. I know so many people are missing out on molds because I get a lot of messages about this. You need to not just look at the initial photograph that's showing on the screen you need to go on the drop-down menu and then it will bring up the photographs some things may go before you get there I can only apologize for that but just back to Pegasus for a moment simply again because if you've got your clear resin as well do you know how lovely would that look hung on a Christmas tree at the moment with some lights behind it absolutely beautiful and of course you can shape these to your jars and your vases and things like that as well Right, let's have a little look at the details there again for you. 036051. Now we're, oh, technically sold out. I did tell you we needed to be quick on this one. Oh, that all stock allocated in baskets. Please check those baskets out. If any bounce back, we will let you know. Now we've got the seahorse for you next. It's the same item number, but we've got a lovely sample again from Sylvia here as well. I've got lots of bits and pieces down my end of the counter where I'm going to demonstrate. I honestly don't know what I'm going to do this morning because I know some things will have gone before I get there. So we're going to make our minds up as we get there. But look at the sample of the seahorse. Absolutely beautiful. And again, this is a good excuse for using your paints, your waxes. Now, what you get in the mould is actually more than you've seen on this sample as well. You do get the two larger seahorses, which have been used there. But you also get two baby ones as well facing left and right which is absolutely amazing now the little seahorse that you can see at the bottom it is very very slightly linked to the medium sized seahorse so if you want to separate those it is just a case of snipping them apart or using a craft knife to separate or you could just put your clay or your medium into that one part of the mold as well you don't have to use the entirety of the mold so a lovely option once again same item number Again, stock for that one. I think I don't think that one's going to hang around too long. It's absolutely beautiful. In fact, I can tell you, we're already at single figures on that one. There we go. You've got Beauty and the Beast also under the same item number. Now, this one launched, uh, was it two or three one-day specials ago? I'm not sure. I'm so pleased Janice isn't in yet because we have to hide these every time Janice is in. Let me just show you a few samples again. So we do have our spider. We also have, is it the bee? It's the bee on this one, isn't it? Absolutely beautiful detail again. Now you can see the detail in the spider there. You can tell I've been prepping already, can't you, with my black fingers? Um, let me show you the bee as well. This one's being coloured up. So again, your different mediums. And remember, these moulds are food grade. There you are, using a little bit of wax. That actually, if I turn that around, that was resin with some alcohol inks in it. So you can see the colours from the back, but then I've used a little bit of wax just over the top there to really bring that detail out. And of course, if you want to shape, there's our spider look. 
you can of course shape whether it's clay or resin you can shape and mold so if you want to fit these around things you can do these are great for your steampunk as well absolutely beautiful right we are limited stock on the seahorse please 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 don't miss out on that check those baskets out zero three six zero five one now we've got wings in the wild is it wild wind i thought that i'm hearing wild and i thought i'm sure it wasn't called that yes wings in the wind if you like your insects this is a great one to go for now you've got let's have a look at the detail on the mold here because you've got on this one not just one not two, but three individual insects here. Now we're calling them moth and dragonflies, but if you decide you'd prefer that to be a butterfly, it could be, it could be whatever you want it to be. You know, you can duplicate the wings here as well and make these more dimensional, you can shape them. Um, food grade, as I say, so your chocolate, your marzipan, your fondants, these molds also, just as a reminder, if you've not seen the shows before, if you have and you've forgotten, these can also go into the oven. So if you're using polymer clay or if you're using them for food and you do need a different set for your food items, of course, up to 240 degrees in the oven. If you want to freeze, minus 70 in the freezer. Do we even go that low in our freezers? I don't know. I don't know. Let me just show you a couple of samples again. So here you can see those insects used. And if you wanted to shape again, of course you can do, whether it's resin, whether it's clay, whether it's your fondants, you can put some shape on those wings if you wanted to, curl the tails if you wanted to as well. This is another one of Sylvia's. And so is this one actually. Let me show you, I've, I've, oh, I love this. Do you know why I'm going to pick this one out and really make a point of telling you about this one? Not only has it got the amazing Zuri moulds on there, or the castings on there, but that hand was hand drawn by Sylvia. Isn't that amazing? Absolutely incredible. What I love about this size mould as well, these are perfect for your jewellery. If you want to make brooches or even turn them into fancy buttons, hair slides, hair accessories, absolutely perfect. 1999, that's Wings in the Wind, 236397. How much of the stock has gone on that one? 30% gone already. Right, Medusa. Oh, another one that has been proven to be a favourite from launch, this one. If you go onto the Zuri Designs Facebook page, you will find lots of inspiration on there as well. And Medusa is absolutely fantastic. Now, you can see the detail in this one, but I think you'll pick out it a little bit better when I show you my, uh, my cast here as well. Now, we have got clay on the show. We've not got the resins on today, but they are, I believe, av available still on the website. What I will tell you... All of the moulds have got exceptional detail and you will pick that detail up with any of the clays we've got on the show today. But when it comes to the resin particularly, you're going to see the finest detail that you will ever get. Now Medusa here, she's been cast and also painted and then waxed and look at the cracks around her eyes, look at the scales on the snakes there as well. Absolutely beautiful. She is perfect to use with your other moulds, other brands as well like Prima where you get, the, again, those steampunks, the wings, the cogs, that sort of thing will work perfectly. 19.99 is the price, 043117 is the item number. She's absolutely beautiful. Then next, now we do have a butterfly here for you as well. And we've, in fact, we've got more than one under the item number again here. So let's have a look at this one. We've got our, do you know, I don't know, I was told this is a bee again, but I think it could be a very ornate fly if you wanted it to be. Um, now, just a little bit of wax on this one as well. There's not a lot of colour on that one, just a little bit of wax that's been wiped over the top. So, yeah, it does look more like a bumblebee there. But again, you can see with that Zori style. In fact, I've just noticed something else I've never even spotted before. That detail in the wings there, it's almost like a honeycomb, isn't it? Again, great for your jewellery, your buttons, your brooches, that sort of thing as well. You've got a beautiful butterfly in there as well with the floral detail built into it. Stunning. Again, all those different mediums, whether it's food or it's crafting items. Remember, for safety reasons, of course, you do want to make sure you get a separate set for your edibles. 1999-699-224. And I'll tell you already, limited stock on this one. Wings of Beauty, that's what it's called. Oh... You see, I, I still can't do it. I can't give you my favourite because I really, truly haven't got a favourite. But definitely, again, I think into my top five would go this one. 
This is our Peacock Splendor. This is absolutely beautiful. It's the same item number. So again, you need to click on that drop down box and you will see the different options for you. This is stunning, absolutely stunning. The detail in the feathers, in the column that the Peacock sits on there as well. I mean, we've, you've probably seen this sample before. It was one from a previous show that I did with polymer clay where I made a cane to give the detail of the peacock feathers and put that into there. But you, you know, if you want to just cast in the clay and then go with your gessos and your colors on top, you can do. If you want to just leave these natural in color, a lot of you have got the A1 resins or maybe the concrete powders that we've had from Viva as well. They will work, all work beautifully in this mold. 699224 once again. So that's your second option under that item number. Just beautiful. Then we have another one that's been a real favorite actually. Now, I've only got uh, one casting here because there's two, actual, two elements in this one, but I've got more at my demo area, so I can show you these down the other end. Now, this is Arian and Boreas. Beautiful, absolutely beautiful. So if I show you Arian first, in fact, I don't know which is which, so I don't know what I'm showing you. But there you can see side on. Isn't that beautiful? Again, not a lot of colour there, just a little bit of dusting onto some A1 resin, that one was. Uh, but it brings out all that detail again. Now the other one is, is face on. If I just pick the mould up and show you. It's face on. There you are. Again, you can see that beautiful mane. It's almost like it's leaves built into the mane there as well. Stunning. What I like about this one as well is because you've got two elements within the one mould, they're not excessive in size, so they work on your smaller projects as well as your larger projects. 995-335 is the item number, just 19.99. Right, we've got a few more things to show you as well. I did mention clay. We have got the clay back. We've got the hearty soft. This is the twin pack. So you've got 400 grams in total. Now these are on a three day delay. 17.99, three days isn't long to wait, is it? Stock up now, 11th of December, stock up. Maybe you've still got some, but you need to stock up. It is a consumable. This is super lightweight. You can get this really fine and it picks up the detail beautifully as well. 040721. Now, we've also got back in stock the liquid paste. Now, we're going to talk a little bit more about this during this hour because we're not just going to talk about the moulds. We are going to talk about the clays and the paste as well. $14.99. Now, that pot will go a very long way. 250 grams, 882370. I'll tell you more about that at the demo area. And then, do you know, I think we've got some other clay on as well. I think we've got another one, which is the air dry polymer. Again, I'll talk to you about that at the demonstration area, but we have got that and it's another fantastic clay. Now, back to moulds again. Remember, let me just tell you again, what we've got on the show today, this is to fill gaps if you've missed out on things or if you've, you know, you've saved up your money, you want to add to your collection. Anything that we've got today is on immediate dispatch. It's already here in our warehouse. Anything that you're waiting for that you can't see today, do come back for the one day special that launches on the 29th of December. I'm going to name a few of them because I know so many people are so desperate for the castle, for the gates, for the mermaid, for the blossoming wings, that's the one with the hummingbird and the beautiful lilies. Uh, there's more as well. So anything that we've sold out in previous shows and you haven't seen for a while, we hopefully, fingers crossed, everything's going to be here and we're going to, uh, we are going to have them for you. But yeah, don't wait until then, just in case, you know, something does go wrong or you miss out on what we've got on today because these, I can't guarantee these are going to be back again. When these have gone, they have gone. So there's something you want in particular today. This is the only hour. Please don't miss out. Right. Now, another favorite. This is beautiful. Now, what you're looking at there on screen is Alpha. Now, we haven't got Alpha in stock today, but we do have the other two molds that are on the same sample. So as we just, just come out on that one as well, there's two more beautiful wools on there. Now, this is White Fang. Now, you get the two different molds or two different elements on one mold. So white fang there, you can see again, we've got a side view and we've got the front view. And I've got a couple of samples to show you here as well. These aren't finished products or projects, but you can see the detail that you're going to get. Look at that. Again, if you just want to use a little bit of wax, isn't that beautiful? You know, I think this is perfect to go in the center of a dream catcher. I always think of that. There's the side view as well, the howling wolf there. Think about your, your little journals and things. These are perfect for your journals, your books, your boxes. Absolutely beautiful. And if you are working with your cakes and your fondants, imagine the cakes that you're going to create with these molds. Amazing. 
I'm still hoping, if you're watching, Sam, what happened to our uh, kitchen show? Just a little reminder. 375652 is the item number if you want to go for white fangs. I keep pushing for this show where we can go with the fondant, the chocolate, and the icing as well. Do you know, even if we get to do that, and I was told it was going to happen at some point, if we get to do that, clay, you know, you still come in and you watch because you can do everything the same with your clays. Just don't mix those moulds up. Right, moving on again. We have got oh, another, another one that I adore, actually. This is Lovable Bugs. Now, I know we've got um, some stills somewhere. I don't know if we can get hold of them for this show. And there are some more samples somewhere around the studio. But I, I've got to be honest, I don't know where they are right at this second. But the Lovable Bugs have been used enormously by the design team of Zuri and also again if you go to the Facebook page you'll see lots and lots of inspiration and samples using these particular moulds. Now you can see you've got the, the bug there and the scarab beetle, the detail again is absolutely incredible. So I know I've mentioned brooches but I just every time I look at that I imagine a nice shawl with that beetle as a brooch to hold the shawl together, I think it's amazing. Item number 352637, 16.99 for that one. You're getting both of those on one mould as well. Oh, another one that is absolutely gorgeous. This is Majesty Warrior. Stunning. Sylvia, if you're watching this morning, could you email in your wonderful pictures again? Because we haven't got those samples in the studio at the moment. Majesty Warrior. Again, every bit of muscle tone you will see when you take the casting from this mould, regardless of whether it's clay or whether it's resin, you're going to pick up that detail. You can see the flow of the mane there and also the tail, you know, the, the, how it's prancing around or galloping. You know, it's absolutely beautiful. If you've missed out on this one before, go for it today. A £3 saving, 16 pounds 755 Then we have Love Nest. Now, this is very different. Now, if you look carefully, I know it's a little bit difficult to see as you're looking at the mould there, but you've got those two little birds that are all curled up together, keeping warm in their nest. What I love about this particular mould is you've got lots of elements that you can use separately. So if you want to use the birds, you can. If you want to take the florals out, you can. You can use those roses or those florals on their own at the top. I've done that quite a few times, actually. Just take the flowers from this one. This is a big mould as well. $16.99, great price on this, a £3 saving, 961603. Then we have the texture plates. Now, these are a little bit different. The same quality silicon, but they're not so deep because they are texture paste. They are beautiful. Oh, what have we sold out of? Damask wall is gone, which is this one. No, this one. Got to take that one away. Sorry about that, but we do have the others. So let's have a look at these. Limited stock for Lancet windows, which you can't see on screen at the moment. I will point out which that one is. Um, we've got the Moroccan tiles, I think the bottom one is there, which is perfect if you want to take those away separately. Now this one is Doodle Medley. This is Lancet windows. This is limited stock. So if you want to go for that one, Go for it now. Fifteen ninety nine for these. Now, these are perfect. I've got some samples at the back here, actually. Well, one of them I can't show you because it's sold out. Um, now, these, again, aren't finished projects, but you can see the detail. This is Lancet Windows. Now, whether you're using your resin again or your clay. Now, what I will tell you here is, with your clay, this is perfect. And I'll show you probably using this one or one of the texture moulds as we go through this show. If I turn this around you can see that is resin. Now, this is the high build resin from Elichem. Don't go with your clear resin on the mats because it is so runny, it will run off the sides because these are shallower. But the high build, which holds its shape, this is the one that I use here, and it picks up exceptional detail. Also, as well, again, it's not a finished project, but I just want to, this is from a previous show as well. This is our medley one, Doodle Medley. Again, a little bit of wax there. That, again, is done with the high build resin. It does look like a bangle, but that was just formed around a tin can. So you can join these together. You can match up the patterns to a, to a point. You can extend on these. But actually, if I'd have thought about it at the time, I would have made a bangle out of this with the resin because you can cut into the resin and you can shape and you can do marvellous things with it. These work great as a backdrop as well to your other moulds. 599-823 is the item number. 15.99. Now I've noticed that the phone lines are very busy. 
Uh, quick, as, quick as an easiest way is the website or the app, of course. Oh, Lancet Windows have got, that's another demo guy. You know, I said I didn't really have anything planned. I've got one, one demo all prepped to go and guess what I was going to use on it? Lancet Windows. Mind you, Medusa's on it as well. We may get to it, we may. Is that one looking vulnerable as well? I'm guessing from the reaction I've just had down my earpiece it is. Right, let's go to a video. We've got freedom to tell you about next while I hop off down to the other end of the counter. Have you heard of Achanda Freedom? Did you know that as a Achanda Freedom member, you could be making savings on every order you place? For just £5.97 a month, you will benefit from selected Freedom member discounts and complimentary standard delivery on every order you place. You will also receive our exclusive Achanda Freedom members badge, regular newsletters, giveaways and crafty updates. If you shop with Achanda more than twice a month, then Freedom is for you. Don't forget, your Freedom membership is flexible, so you can pause it if you're going away or you can cancel it at any time. So what are you waiting for? Give us a call or head to the website, quoting item number 888888 and join Hachanda Freedom today. So I'm ready to go. I've got my clay ready. Now, there's one or two things I just want to show you before I get going. I know we're very vulnerable on certain things. The seahorse is gone. Pegasus is gone. Um, so I can't use those. I've got everything by the side of me here. Uh, wings in the wind is limited stock, extremely limited. We've still got, um, what's the other one with the three? No, that is wings in the wind, isn't it, with the three? Ah, oh, limited stock on that one. Right, okay. Oh, I'm going to ask my producer, please just keep me updated with what I can use because I've got so much here and I know a lot of it I can't go with. But... We can work with white fangs, I believe. And I am just going to bring in, before I go any further, again, these aren't on any particular project, but because we've got um, Arian and Boreas, I did say I'd show you the front view of the other cast there. Now, there's, there's not really been any colour put on that one. It's, it's one of the A1 resins, so it's... It's a stone effect, but you could bring out the detail more. But I just wanted you to see a little bit more of that. Half the stock has gone of that one as well. But we're going to go back to basics, and we're going to talk about the clay. We will start with the air-dry clay. Now, I have got lots of bits prepped, so I don't have to do this every single time. Um, so I'm going to show you how to work with the air-dry clay in any of the moulds and just run through that for anybody that's joining us for the first time. Now, we've had an email in as well. Susan's emailed in, and she's asking, as a beginner... Is it best to use air dry or heat dry clay? By heat dry, I'm presuming you mean polymer clay that goes in the oven. Um, well, I can tell you about both. We haven't got the, we've got the air dry polymer on today, but not the oven one. I absolutely adore the oven baked polymer clay. Susan, if you're starting, I would say you could go with either. Because what you can do with a polymer clay that's going in the oven, you can actually push it into the moulds and put the mould into the oven with the clay in it. So you don't even have to release the clay out that way. You're not going to distort anything. It makes it really, really easy. The only thing I would say about polymer clay is, depending on the brand and depending how it's been stored or how old it is, you might find it a little bit firmer, firmer to work with. Um, you do have to condition it. That's basically warm it up. So roll it between your hands, roll it on your glass mat. If you've got a pasta machine, that is the best way of conditioning clay. And there's lots and lots of techniques you can do with it as well. Hopefully we'll get to cover that in future shows again. When it comes to the air dry clay, that's what I'm going to work with right now. So um, very easy to work with. If you haven't got either clay, I would probably suggest go for the air dry first of all, if you've got to buy something outright simply because value for money and ease of it and there is no oven baking or anything like that and it's very very easy to work with now what i would do um, now this this is directed at anybody that's not done this before but particularly susan if she's new to this your molds when you first use them dust them with a bit of corn flour or even talc as long as it's not an edible product that's going in there if you're using your clays keep this for your, your crafting items the reason i do that when i'm live on air is because i don't have time to let my clay dry sometimes to the to the state that i want it maybe i'm opening a new pack so it safeguards so if somebody new to it again it's a good tip when i'm at home and i always say this to everybody you get to know the feel of the clay 
and by that you'll know its consistency when it's perfect for the mould. Uh, now 40% of white fang has gone. Uh, I'm going to go into the larger one just because I think you'll see it better as well. So when it comes to the clay, should we colour this actually? Just because we've got the coloured clay on as well. I'm going to bring in, we'll, just go, we'll go for a black and we'll make a grey. You can of course colour afterwards with your paints and your mediums. But if you want a solid colour, if you want a main colour, it's always worth colouring beforehand. Now, there, I don't know if we've got it on end of call. I'm hoping we have. When you come to check your baskets out, have a look for this and see if it's on. I've been sent one again, so I'm presuming it's there, but we can't honestly see that at the moment on our system. Now, what this is, is a colouring guide. I'm going to open it up so you can see. I'm not going to use it in this instance, but I might use it as we go through the show. I've only got this one hour, so it's going to be difficult to fit everything in. But what you get is a little gauge. This is for measuring your clay. You get a little scoop and a tool, and you also get a chart. Now, what it tells you is how to mix these colours. So some colours are quite difficult to mix. So you've got lots of different shades of green or teal or different blues there. How do you know how much of one colour to put into your white? Well, this is how it tells you. So with your gauge, they are lettered right from A through to I. So the smallest is A, the largest is I. Okay, so you can mix that. Now, I don't know if these are on end of call. If they're not, a lot of you have already got these. I think we're trying to find out if they are there. So I'm not going to go into too much detail until I know, just in case they're not there. But if you've got them, great tool. But because I'm just mixing grey, I'm starting with some white. And always with your coloured hearty clay, that's what I'm going to mix into this, start with the tiniest bit because it really is highly pigmented. It really will add a lot of colour. It's so much easier to put more in than take it out. If you go overboard with the colour, you're just going to add more and more and more white. There's also another tip I can give everybody here as well. So if you want to know, let's say you've, you've gone for white fang as I am, and you're thinking, well, I'm going to mix some grey or maybe a blue or whatever colour you want to mix. But I don't want to over mix and waste my white clay because I want to mix other colours for other projects. So how do I know how much clay to mix? Well, that's easy because all you need to do is take your white clay, push that loosely into the mould. You don't have to be too precise about this. It's just a gauge. So push that into your mould. Now, if you have got a rolling pin, an acrylic or nylon one is best. It doesn't have to be a clear one. A white one is perfect. The reason I've rolled over there is because I can see what I need to take away because I don't want to waste anything. So what you're looking for is a fairly flat finish on the back. You don't want the dip, so I can see there's a little dip in the ear there, but that's, that's fine because I'm going to add to this anyway. That's fine. I'll go into more detail about putting the clay into the mould properly as I've got the colour. Then what you do, you take that out of the mould. Already it's picked up lots of detail. I'll mix it a little bit more. Then you mix your colour into it. Now this way... You're not using excess amounts of the white clay. So it's a really good way of working with it. So what I'm doing here now, I am actually stretching and working that colour into the clay. Now what I normally advise is when you're working with air dry clay, don't go straight from the pack because it's, it's a little bit too wet. It doesn't feel wet. It just feels a little bit cold, but there is moisture in there. There is a water content in there. So the more you stretch this, the more that's dispersing that moisture in there. And that will make it more stretchy. So even if your clay has gone a little bit dry, you'll find it will revive when you start to stretch it. Now, if it's gone too dry to work with, you've left it out maybe, you've not sealed the packet up properly, try just spritzing with some water and working the water in. If it goes totally dry, you will not be able to revive it. But at that stage now, you can see that little bit of black has given me a lovely grey, so we'll go with that one. I'm just going to dust a little bit more uh, corn flour in there because I've taken... Out what I had. Now what I normally do is take the clay from the pack, give it a bit of a roll out just so that the air can get to the surface. Give that just five minutes. It will vary depending on the temperature and the humidity in your room but if you just let the air get to the surface for a few minutes, flip it over, let the air get to the surface again, that will make it a lot easier to work with in your mould. Now you can either start with a ball of clay or, if you've got it rolled out, you may as well just go 
straighten with this clay as it is. Now the stock levels on white fangs now, half of the stock has gone. So I'm just filling in. I'm going to be a little bit more careful with this one because this is my, my proper cast. Now you can see I'm filling in, pushing in, in with my fingertips. Now what you can do, if you feel you need a tool, and you don't really need it on this particular mould, but some of them are more intricate than others. If you need a tool, um, a ball tool, a cake decorating tool, a Dresden tool, something like that would be very good. Or even the rounded end of a paintbrush will help you push into those areas that might be a little bit difficult to get the detail in. Use your rolling pin. Now, I've done this on purpose because I know this one's filling up a little bit more. I'm really pressing down on that mould. They're very firm. They're not going to break. But what I'm looking for is a nice flat surface on the back. Because if I don't get it, and there's delves, and I can see it's low on that ear there, you won't pick up the detail as much. So doing that, you can see where you need to fill. Now I'm going to put in more than I need on purpose. And I'm going to roll again. I always like to show you what not to do or how to rectify things. Okay, so rolling again. Now you can see where the excess is, where it's gone over the top. But that's so easy just to remove by using a thumb or your fingertip just to scrape away onto that silicon. Because silicon basically is non-stick normally. I mean, your clay might stick if it's too wet. Um, my top tip for that is, rather than leaving it in, in the mold to dry in the mold if it's too wet, take it out, roll it up again and do what I did. Let the air get to the surface. So now that's nice and flat, I'm happy with that. Just going to tidy up a little bit more on the edge and to do that I just use a fingertip to pull in from the edge and it gives me that nice clean finish. Now if you miss any bits it doesn't matter because you can trim it away afterwards but it's it's you know my preference is to make it as tidy as possible before I release from the mold. Now if your clay is too wet this one's not too bad because it's quite a solid piece but something like I'm just bring in the peacock here something like the neck on the peacock if the clay was too wet, as you flex the mould, you may find that areas like that will bend, or the legs on the insects, they would bend or maybe even sort of split. The clay might even split with the mould flexing. It's simply because your clay is too wet. What you're looking for, and hopefully this will work quite well. I mean, it is a little bit drier than I'd, uh, wetter than I'd still work with here, but I think we'll be fine with this one. Can you see as I flex the mould how the clay is just lifting up? So work around. You can flex the mould and give it a little bit of a helping hand as well. And out pops our wonderful white fangs. Look at the detail in that. That is absolutely gorgeous, isn't it? Beautiful. Stunning. Love it. Love white fangs. Another, another firm favourite of a lot of people. Oh, do you know, I'm so pleased somebody sent this in. These are brownies. This is from Penny. Now, if anybody was watching the last one day special, I did tell everybody, and, and it was true, I wasn't fibbing, I did make some chocolate casts with some Belgium chocolate, and I did actually eat them rather than bring them to the studio. The reason being, because I am wanting to do a kitchen show, and I'm saving it for that. The brownies that have been done by Penny there, she's dusted with icing sugar, so it's brought out that detail. I know um, Sylvia's tried shortbread, your fondants will really, really pick up the detail. I can tell you, I really want to do this kitchen show because chocolate, if you've got a good chocolate, picks up the most amazing detail. It's incredible. But do remember, don't mix your food with your crafting items. Get two lots. Right, okay, so we've just seen white fang there. So we've covered the air dry clay to an extent. There's a lot more we can do with air dry clay as well. But I want to move on to other things as well. So let me just grab, we've got some here somewhere I believe, uh, we didn't show it on the still earlier but we've got the air dry polymer as well. Now I am going to bring this in and I am going to, I'm going to use the same mould, I might go with the other wolf actually and I'll be honest why I'm doing that because with the air dry polymer this is a very different clay to work with to the air dry hearty which is super lightweight and super strong. Now, what I'm just going to do before I go any further, actually, is bring these in. Now, I didn't make these. There we go. Oh, I've got a bit of good news for everybody. You know the guide that I was showing you for mixing your colours? I will be able to show you how to use this now. 
It is there as an end of call, but only if you're buying clay. It's not there if you're buying moulds, but if you're adding clay, any of the clays, into your basket, that's where you'll find it. It's because it's come from a different supplier to the moulds. We can show you on the website, actually, so we can see where to find that. Honestly, it's well worth having because it will save you clay in the long run when you're trying to mix certain colours. So you can see there, if you're going for your clay, you've got your twin pack there, which is exceptional value and quality. This is professional grade. There you are, your Padico colour mixing scale. Pop it into your basket. You will get that without adding any extra onto your postage. Well worth having, seriously. Don't lose the tool like I did before. So please send me a new one. Right, let me just bring this back in again because we just worked with the hearty. I'm not going to take credit for this. These were created by Evelyn who supplies us with the hearty clay. Isn't that beautiful? Now Evelyn is a professional cake decorator. These clays can also be used for your cakes, but you always have a barrier and of course if you're wiring anything, then these aren't going to sit directly onto your cake and especially the hearty, the soft one. It wouldn't make, it's not poisonous or anything like that, but the sugar content in your icing would make the clay go very, very sticky. But how beautiful is this? You can wire each individual petal. You can make the clays so thin. Isn't that stunning? And because we've got Christmas upon us almost, look, look at that. Isn't that beautiful? This is the air dry polymer that I'm going to talk about now. Isn't that beautiful? Absolutely stunning. The, Holly leaves and everything has been done with the air dry. Now, the reason I'm going to talk about this one next is, and I, I don't often get to demo with this, and I'll, I'll, again, I'm going to be totally honest with you. It's a much firmer clay than the hearty. It is air dry, but it's very, very different. Polymer means it's a plastic, basically. So this is a completely different sort of clay. It will start to dry quite quickly when you work with it. The nearest thing I can liken it to is if you're working with cold porcelain. That's what it's like. Now you can pre-colour this, you want to use a gouache or an oil paint, or you can paint once it's dry. You can still use things like your Maya Gold, your um, Viva Paints, your Penta, all those different things as well once it, it's dry. But the reason I love this one so much is, not only, as you've seen by those flowers, you can make it very, very thin. It is so, so strong. It's almost unbreakable. It's also weather resistant, whereas the hearty air dry isn't. It's porous. This can go outside. Now, I'm not going to promise this is going to work because with this one, I would, and this is the only clay that I recommend to do this with, I would put this into the mould and let it dry in the mould. So it will take longer. But there are occasions I've managed to do it and release it straight away. So I'm going to give it a go. If it doesn't work, it doesn't work. Now, with your really intricate moulds, again, something like the peacock with the neck or the insects with the legs, then you're going to struggle a little bit more. Now I can tell already that that is quite firm, so I think I've got a pretty good chance of doing this actually. You could also try putting a little bit of vegetable oil into your mould beforehand as well. I've dusted with corn flour, but a little bit of vegetable oil might be better. And But it's the same process. I've not pre-coloured this because I can paint it afterwards or use my different mediums. But we're just going to push that clay in there I'm trying not to overwork this because I know it can make it a little bit more, um, a little bit more, what was I saying? I've lost my track of words now. Um, I don't know what I was saying. Do you know, isn't it funny when you do that? You know, you've got something in your head and you think, I've got to talk about this. And then you start talking, and think, what was I talking about? I can't remember. Uh, yeah, leave this one in to dry. Yeah, don't overwork this one because... It will make it more sticky and you'll find it harder to get it out of the mould. So I, I think that's what I was going to say. Use the same process. Just push in with your fingertips, clean up the edges if you can, roll on the back. Another tip I've got for you as well, if you turn your mould over and press with the heel of your hand or the rolling pin, the heel of the hand is a good one because you don't want to move that around. That will ensure that you're picking up all that detail. Now, was it Susan who emailed in about the air dry or the oven? clay. Um, the air dry polymer has got the same sort of consistency to the oven bake one. But obviously the oven bake one you can actually put in the oven. You don't need to with this. That has worked beautifully actually. Look at that. Now obviously that's not dry and I haven't got a sample on the counter here but we have got the flowers. When that is properly dry and it will take longer than the air dry, give it a good 24 hours, you can flex that. It will have movement in it 
but it's almost unbreakable and the detail is exceptional. And once again, I've only got a small jar here, but if you wanted to shape this, place it around a jar or a tin or a vase at this point and let it dry in situ and it will keep its shape. That can then go outside. So there we are. So let's give you the details for the air dry polymer. Really lovely clay to work with. 11.99, 641, 548. If you've never tried it before, give it a go because it is well worth it. Now we're going to have a little bit of a recap as well. We've still another clay to talk about, and that's the liquid clay. We'll come back to that when I come back to the demonstration area as well. Any questions, remember, that you want to ask, please do email in. Even if it's product we haven't got on the show, like the resins, you know, I'm happy to help talking about mediums and things like that, whether it's working with the clays or the moulds, of course. Now, the Medina paste is the one I've just spoken about. We'll show you that at the demonstration area. I've got some little samples as well. Again, a great product, but not everybody knows what they can really do with it. Now we've got, of course, the moulds to recap on. White Fangs is a mould I was using there for both the air dry and the air dry polymer. You get the two individual elements in there. So the, the forward facing wolf and the side facing howling wolf is also included in there. Let me just remind you how these look when they're, they're out of the mould. I've just got a little bit of wax again on these, but if you wanted to go into more detail, you could. I mean, that lovely sample from Sylvia there, she's used her different colours to paint the face of Alpha. You could do the same with these. Aren't these beautiful? Absolutely stunning. $16.99, we've got a £3 saving today. Remember, when they're gone, they've gone. 375652 is the item number. Then we have the lovable bugs. I don't know if I've got, I don't think I've got a sample of these actually, but believe you me, these are fabulous. I don't know if we can come in very close to the detail on the packaging so you can see what these look like. So if you were going with your, your black resin or your black clay and then just going over the top with some wax, this is the effect that you're going to get. Isn't that beautiful? I, I love these for jewellery. Beautiful for jewellery. Sorry, I'm moving that because... Uh, We've got another picture at the top as well. And I'm a little bit too eager, rather than letting our lovely cameraman do the work for me. <laughs> there we are. Look at that. Isn't that stunning? It really, really is. Do you know, even if you wanted to sort of leave the legs off that and just use it as an ornate shape, you could do. I can almost see an owl's face in there. You take away the head, the top of the head there, and use the, the main part of the body. Oh, it's just stunning. Beautiful. There we go, lovable bugs, 352637. Then we have, oh, I love this. Oh, this is our warrior, our beautiful, beautiful majesty warrior. Stunning. I'm going to show you again, because I haven't got a sample here with me. I'm going to show you the picture again, if I may, because look at this. Do you know, I love this. Do you know, when I, a lot of the time with the moulds, all I do, oh, it's flapping in around a little bit. Let me just hold that down. All I do is go with waxes or stone effect, dry brushing, that sort of thing, because it really does pick out the detail beautifully. But if you want to go very colourful, of course you can do that. Item numbers there for you, 755469. Now, I'm going to remind you again, I know, I'm sorry if I'm repeating myself, but when they're gone, they're gone. I can just see the banner going across saying phone lines are very busy. Please do check those baskets out. We have got queues on the phone. Website, app, you can use those. That's the quickest route, but we will get to you. Uh, please don't miss it. I know there are so many people collecting the moulds, and I know and I understand that you can't afford everything all in one go. And this is why the rewind shows are really good, because it gives us an opportunity to answer questions. It gives an opportunity for you to fill those gaps or if you've missed out before. Do you know, because we've got the one day special launching on the 29th of December, I know we're going to be very busy on certain moulds that we're getting back in stock. If you're getting, or people are asking you what you want for Christmas and you love Zori, ask them to save the money and get you a mould or give you the money to buy, honestly, because you don't want to miss out. Let's have a look on the Love Nest. 961603, again, a huge mould this one because you've got so many elements all within that one cache. You can separate that down. Lovely one to colour this with the florals in there as well and the birds with their feathers. It's just beautiful. 16.99, three pounds saving, 961603. Now the texture plates, I'm going to work with these when we go back to the demonstration area, both the clay and also the paste. Now we've sold out of one of the options, so we've only got the three options now. Uh, Lancet windows, I know, was very limited. Uh, so it, obviously it's still there. There's a little tiny bit of stock. 
Oh, right. I'm going to tell you again. You see, I've got to keep doing this. Sorry. It was a technical sellout, but somebody didn't check their baskets out. And we've had one or two bounce back. So if you want Lancet windows, you've still got the opportunity to go for that one. Let me just remind you of how that looks. This has just got a little bit of the Maya gold paint on it, but it will show you some of the detail that you can create and how the effect is. That was black high build resin underneath. And I've just done a little bit of dry brush in there with some Maya gold paints from Viva. Uh, we've also got the doodle medley, I believe is the other one, which is, oh, I so want to make a bangle now. It wouldn't be quite as wide as this one, but I'm gonna have to do that one day. Uh, look at the detail. Again, this is done with the high build, but you can work with these with your um, your air dry clay as well. A hair grit, a hair slide. Actually, I've, I did bring some hair slides with me. I've been dying to do a hair slide for ages and still haven't managed to do it. That's going to be on my must-do list for the one-day special, I think. But hair slides, and again, Susan, if you're still watching or anybody else that's thinking about polymer clay, polymer clay is great for your hair accessories, your buttons, your brooches, that sort of thing as well. Something that needs to be a little bit more substantial than the air dry clay. Also your resin. Beautiful. I'll show you how to work with those in a little while. 599-823 is the item number. Then we have, oh, we've got, we've got this one, haven't we? Beauty and the Beast. I know, I know Janice really can't handle these and I understand why. But seriously, I love this one. I absolutely love it. Oh, this launched in time for Halloween as well, and I know a lot of people did use it on their projects for Halloween because the moulds are food grade as well. You imagine if you wanted to do a children's party in the future, or an adult's come to that, and you did a jelly, and you put boiled sweets or jelly, spiders, and bugs in. Oh, amazing. It doesn't have to be for the kids. I just want to do that for me. I'm going to do it next year. I'm so going to do that. £19.99 and pence is going to get you this particular mould. You've also got the bee in there as well. Where's my little bee gone? It's here at the back. Let me just show you the detail in the bee again there. Now, I won't have time to show you this at demo because I've got to cover the, or I want to cover the pace. But when it comes to the insects, if you're working with the air dry clay, you know these are the vulnerable points that if your clay is too wet, they're going to, they're going to break away. A really good tip is if you've got some fine wire, put the wire into the legs, into the clay. Just push it, put the clay in first, then push the clay into the, into the, sorry, the wire into the clay, but not right deep down into the mold. And then when you take it out, it's going to hold. Then when it's dry, the clay, you can flex and position the legs as well. You can still move it. That's if you're going for the hearty. I know you can do that. Item number there on the screen just disappeared. I uh, can't remember what it was now. 036... 051, I think, but you'll find it on the website. Ah, I've got it right. I did remember it. We'll bring it in at the bottom for you. Still busy on the phone lines. Next up, we have got... Oh, another favourite. Look at this. We've got Medusa. 19.99. Oh, we haven't got long left. I've two more things I want to show you. One was using Medusa. We'll ne you never know. I'll be quick. 043-117-19.99. I'm hurrying up because I want to try and do a couple of things. Let me just show you very quickly again, our Medusa. There she is. There she is. Lots of detail, but of course you can colour any which way you want. She looks amazing on a canvas with lots of lovely backgrounds. Wings of Beauty, we have got a beautiful butterfly for you. We've also got the bee for you as well. This is a different bee to the previous one we saw on the other mould. 1999-699-224. If you're collecting your insects, another must-have. Then... Same item number. If you haven't got Peacock Splendor yet, go for it. Go for it. Do you know, a friend of mine bought this and took away the Peacock from the column. It isn't on this show, but the mermaid hopefully will be back at the end of the month and sat the mermaid on the column. It looked amazing. And then used some of the feathers as part of the mermaid's tail. It looked wonderful. It really did. Used it with Powertex as well, which is another great product. 699224 is the item number. Again, it's the same as the previous one. Look at the drop down menu for that. And then, of course, Arian and Boreas we've got here as well. Two in one because you've got the forward facing, you've got the side facing mold as well. 1999. It's been another favorite of a lot of people this one 995-335 is the item number there we go now we're just going to go to the website briefly because of course you'll find everything there you'll find all the different clays all the different molds 
at risk of again repeating myself anything that's got more than one item under one item number you know different options click on the drop down menu look for that because the image will change as you click on the title so you may not think oh well i can't see i can't see the peacock where's it gone if it's got something else under the same item number you will probably see the other image first so for instance here we've got the, uh, the silicon plates here look there's the drop down menu whichever one you click on the picture will change if it's in stock you can put it in your basket if it isn't be too late for today because when it's gone it's gone <laughs> i'm so sorry <laughs> right i think i think we've still got a tiny tiny bit of lancet windows left i'm going to try and do a couple of things i've still got some i've still got some resin from before i didn't clean this one out do you know i'm not even going to bother redusting this properly do clean your moulds out. Don't do what I do and put them in your bag and forget. Um, soapy water, dishwasher, you can use them in, you know, you can wash out in there as well. I'm just going to go with the air dry clay first. I've had this out dry and I didn't reseal it. Everybody who's got air dry clay, make sure you do put it in the packet and reseal it. All I'm going to do here is just press down on the top. I do advise actually using a little bit of cornflour or talc or even again vegetable oil but if you do this with your fingertips it's getting a grip you don't want to roll that too thinly because if you do once you go over the top with your rolling pin you may find that you know you have made it too thin and, and areas are showing through too much now I can just see a little bit of pattern coming through there which is fine but there's no holes appearing so you can do it that way once it's got a grip it's got a grip or you could turn it over and go on the back but you don't want it to be moving around so I actually prefer to do it the the initial way that I showed you and then look at this just then to peel away you've got that beautiful background now of course what I would do now I would trim away with a pair of scissors rather than a craft knife because the craft knife, knife can drag and cut to size or cut to a shape or what I do like to do is sort of just tear the edges as well because it gives texture yes you might distort the pattern a little bit but it's nice to give texture and because of that, I've got something just that's been drying out and ready for preparation, which I'll show you in a second. But I know we're nearly out of time, and I did promise, oh, I'm really going to have to rush now, the Medina paste. Because the texture mats are brilliant for the Medina paste. Now, this here is like a paste. You can colour it. You can put pigments in there. You can colour it, or you can colour it afterwards. But I would suggest colouring it beforehand you can literally just paint this on so it's a little bit like um you want something that's fine now if you want to put this into your your other molds your deeper molds something like the peacock would be good because you could you could just brush in an amount and pick up the detail there but the texture plates are brilliant if you've got any fine molds and i know stamperia la blanche have done them as well just going to bring these in look at what you can achieve you literally just paint it in how fine are these now you let it dry it does take a while to dry you might have to leave it 24 hours and it just peels away look how flexible this is that looks like real lace doesn't it it really really does you know so amazing stuff it really is putting that around a jar again or on a book cover or you know you could actually even stitch through that it's very very strong look I'm just scrunching that up now it's extended dispatch on any of the, the um, paste or the clays three days 11th of December that's all it is did you just see did you see that how I screwed that up look and then <laughs> there we are that's how malleable oops and strong it is it's flying away absolutely beautiful um do you know we've got a minute left i'm going to take this right to the wire just because i had this prepped i'm taking it right to the wire right i've got some i've got my juicy see in the lancet window so let's just lancet windows is of course you know the technique i've just shown you there where i tear the sides so you've got that tatty edge it gives great texture on a canvas or something the paint's still wet underneath so i'm not getting the gold effect let's go on medusa she's a little bit drier look at that 
liquid paste you can also use as a glue everybody as well we're gonna have to do another sh yeah I'm gonna have to do another show with that so I can tell you what else you can do with it just get it and play I've got to go I've had so much fun and I have got to go I've got to go and meet Karen now and do that show I'll see you very very soon <laughs> Oh, I've still got my wax going on with Medusa here. Stan Pender's coming up next with Karen. Then we've got Tina Francis Tapestry. It's a good job I can multitask. Heartfelt Creations Floral Shop coming up later. Hi, my name's Barbara Gray from Clarity Stamp. And uh, how did I get here? Well, when my children, Grace and Mark, were born, I left the corporate world and I took up crafting full time. Then I had a moment of clarity, if you'll pardon the pun, and I came up with the transparent art stamp. And the rest is history, really. For the last 27 plus years, I've been pioneering the art of transparent stamping. I love teaching. For me, it's all about that. And so working with Hochanda is fantastic because it gives me the perfect platform to reach out and work with uh, like-minded people and to be able to show um, some of the tricks that I've learned along the way. If you like my style and you like what I do, then please join me, Barbara Gray, on Hochanda. Flexi order has arrived at Hachanda. What is Flexi order? When you place an item on Flexi Buy in your basket, you qualify for Flexi order, which means any other items you add to your basket will also be included in your Flexi Buy payments, so you can spread the cost over multiple monthly payments. After your first payment is made, your entire order will be dispatched. When you add at least £60 worth of any items to your shopping baskets, either online or on the phone, you'll qualify for our Flexi Order offer. This means you can spread the cost of your order over equal monthly Flexi Buy payments, offering you the extra flexibility when you shop with us. Flexi Order, making your shopping experience with Achanda easier. Hi, I'm Andy from Picture This. I've been a painter all my life. Picture This was actually formed on the back of a throwaway remark from one of my art students. This has developed my drawings into a series of photopolymer stamps, clear stamps for the crafting community and the crafting industry. The stamps are all hand drawn by me. They're made in the UK, most important to us at Picture This, and we have so much more to bring. Our shows on Achanda, um, we hope to make them informative, amusing obviously, entertaining, but mainly it's about bringing the creative spirit to you. Make sure you tune in and watch the picture this shows on Achanda. Hi, I'm Julie and I'm Paula and together we are Julie Hickey Designs. We formed our partnership after many years of friendship, after both of us being in the craft industry for well over 20 years. We have a great partnership. I do all the day-to-day -day business side and Julie does all the designing. Our range of stamps and dies are made to the highest quality. Our stamps are the deepest etch that are available and they are made in the UK and they give you beautiful, clean, crisp impressions every time and our dies cut like a dream. 
The thing I love to do most is to share my ideas, hints and tips with you, the Hachanda viewers, so I can inspire you to pick up a stamp and get creating. So be sure to tune in for the Julie Hickey Design Shows on Hachanda. You've got to wave back every single time you see that. I'm going to wave to my guest as well this morning because we've got Karen here, second outing today. <laughs> Show the screen. Ooh. Are you awake now? I heard you when I came in saying, oh, you're, you're not awake at 7 o'clock in the morning. I woke up at quarter to eight, exactly, I know. apparently. <laughs> I know. Bang on the dot. I was there. I was there. Right now, Karen was on at 7. You can catch that show with Impression Obsession. We've got more stamps for you this hour, but it's Stampenders. But actually... The two will work very, very, very well together. So, you know, if you have already purchased, so you want to look back at seven o'clock, do so. We're going to have a mix of different items during this hour. And of course, Karen will be demonstrating. We've got lots of new todays as well. Now, I've really, this is making me smile, actually. We've had a bit of a rotten year, haven't we, all told? We really have. We're looking forward to a fresh start, hopefully in 2021. So what do we need to say? Well, obviously, we need to say hello 2021 but we also need to say goodbye 2020 we survived i love that i love it it is yeah yeah the we survived is is it, you can be using that for anything anything but please don't think it's just for this new year because all the numbers are separate there's not to nine obviously your six and your nine go together Perfect, so yeah. it's going to go on forever and ever so if you want a, a staple for an Happy New Year card, you've Love got it. it there. The only one that I can say that is really to this year is we survived and then may next year be so much better. But we say that to everybody anyway. Yes, Maybe, we do. You know, I Happy New Year reasons. may next year yeah. be better than this yeah, one. Definitely. So it's not, not, it's not generic, it, it's generic all the way around. It is, and but the fact that you've got 19 individual stamps on that one set, even if you, you know, you found limited use for We Survive, look how many more you've got, love that. You've got birthday and anniversary on there, it's not just the new year, you've got the happy, the hello, the goodbye, all those numbers. I love it, £14.99, and pence, brand new today. Got some more samples here as well. So let's just show you this. Oh, I've just spotted something underneath. Oh, guess what we've got it up. Ah. That's one that we've had on before, the mask <gasps> ones, but they should be on the website. But oh. they're the masked mice. It just, uh, Sam did that one and it just seemed to go, back, go really well with it. I love it. I absolutely love it. So yes, you can see how these are going to work with the other, other stamps as well. That's actually how everything prints out. So we've got our little board there so you can see how beautifully they print out. I love the shadowing around the numbers as well and the letters. You've got that little bit there, haven't it's, you? And it just it's works. done for you, isn't yeah. it? You've not got to think about it. It's, it's done for you. And you can accent that accent on them. But don't forget, you can doodle in the LO. You can do what you want with it. Great for your sort of Zentangle type yes, stuff, isn't yeah. it? For your doodles, love it. Five seven five two zero six is the item number. Moving down, of course, Stampenders, very well known brand as well. We've got lots of items for you, really, really good quality as well. Let's look at this one. Oh, we've got hello and this one as well. But this is on my mind. Now this is clever because you can sit all sorts on top of that face, can't you, on top yeah. of that head there? Yes, definitely. It's not just got to be the flowers. I know it looks very much like Miranda there, but no, you, you can put anything in there. You could put a photograph, you could put it at yeah. the bottom of an aperture, put a photograph and think and send it card, you are on my mind. Oh. It's, uh, it's, it's a very, very mixed you one. Just use the flowers on their own and Beautiful. the intermix, as you can see there from Sam, the intermix with other ones as well, just the flowers. Just the flowers and the next one, just the flowers as well. Maybe you're thinking, oh, I know what I've got in my stash. I know what stamps I've already got that will work with just on my mind as well with the face. I mean, you could just put a hat on her as well if you wanted to. Certainly, yeah. yeah. Oh, look at this one. And that's just the, the background stamp from this morning, you're on my mind. Could even be a thought bubble with a, with a verse or something it could, in it. It couldn't it? Yeah. Do you know what would be really good fun? Make hair out of yarn. Yarn or fibres. Or clay. And put, or clay, yes. <laughs> Why didn't I think of that? <laughs> 
<laughs> you could have some real fun with that. You could go really wild, couldn't you, with the yeah. hairstyles? Medusa. Yes. Medusa with the clay, with the make the snakes out of the clay. Oh, you could do all sorts. Oh, I do like that. 13 stamps in total. Let me just show you the board, actually, so you can see them all. £14.99 is the price on this one. The fact you've got those florals in there, the foliage, and also that very useful face, a really good set. 167640 is the item number. I'm smiling to myself now because I'm visualising all these crazy things you can do with that. Uh, right, OK. We could have had some real fun with that, Karen. <laughs> uh, let's have a look at the next item. This is lovely. This is... Do you know, I didn't get to see these before because I was doing the other shows. So yeah. I didn't get to prep with yeah. these. So I'm seeing these for the first yes. time. Yeah. Isn't that fabulous? It's one that you can build up the scene yourself. So you've got the house and the two houses separate, the fields. Uh, you've got bits that you can put in front. You can make a background out of it. As you saw, it went with the goodbye, uh, with the you're on my mind stamp. But yeah. it's one all in perspective. You can make it all Love perspective it. and make a nice little scene with that. But Charlotte, our producer, just said exactly what I was thinking. I was looking at that and thinking vineyard. Yes. Yeah. It could be the uh, furrows in the field as well. Maybe, you, you know, maybe you're a farming family. That would be a great on a birthday card for a farmer as well. But, of course, break this one down any way that you wish. Again, just using the flowers. We've got a sweet little notebook here as well with the sunflowers on there. whoop de doo <laughs> Or stamp onto your wood slices. That's it's just, it just looks a beautiful scene, that, doesn't it? That's very effective. Yeah, yeah. I like that. It's made me think of something else. Dare I? Dare I mention Dremel? We've got Dremel coming back up in um, January. Your pyrography, stamp. stamp it That's what I was going to say. Stamp onto your, your wood and then you, you know, use your pyrography But you're method. not governed by one scene. You can make it whatever well, scene you want. that would look fabulous if you did that on mm. that particular one. Love it. 517461 is the item number. Again, 1499. Oh, we have got new house. Well, I don't know if it's brand new. Is it brand new, this one? Oh, it is. I didn't think I'd seen this one before. Look at this. We've got House Mouse Curious Kitten Stamp. This is a big stamp, Karen. For it House certainly Mouse. is, but it's the mouse Look feeding the this. fish, Aww. trying to bring them to top foot cat. <laughs> <laughs> they're not that daft, are they? They're, they're, going, they're, they're just getting it from the top. They're not that oh, daft. That or is that just my devious mind? Is it just the cat watching the fish getting fed? <laughs> No, I, you know, I have... Depends I have, how devilish you are, doesn't I have, it? Not with a mouse. I've not seen the mouse feeding the fish, but I have witnessed a cat actually take a fish from a bowl. Oh, we used to, when, when, when I was younger, we had a fish tank and we had, uh, we had a Siamese cat and we'd, uh, we'd not covered it up or anything and we got in and all, all neons had all gone. Oh, no. So my dad had to build a, build a unit around it, so he put it into the uh, fireplace so you could see it, it was like a picture, but he had to put it into the fireplace to stop the cat getting... Oh. The cat had opened the fridge and all sorts. Really? Oh, Siamese cats are well, a, 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 a so clever. Well, I think this cat do all of those things as well. It's adorable, but it's very mischievous. <laughs> Nine pounds and 99 pence. Very busy as well, that's what it is. I love this sample here, just with the... Is that a white embossing powder? It's just white embossing powder, yeah. So sure. nice, I'm going to do that it? one as a sample just to show you how, we, how beautiful it embosses. Oh, I love it. Love it. 763449 is the item number. Do you know, I'm, I'm, no, I shouldn't say this, should I? I wonder if there's a way you can mask off the fish in the bowl, but then put it. As, as, no. Go on. No, we'll not do that. 763449. A quarter of the stock has already gone as well. Oh, I love house mouse. Look what we've got here. Oh, look at these. Now, it's a whole set, but you've got smaller elements here. So you've, you've got, you know, you can play with these. This makes me smile, actually. Party and style. Now, they're wearing party hats, but to me, they look like little firecrackers as well. They could be fireworks. They could be shooting off to the stars. <laughs> and then you've got the birthday cake there. Or the cake it doesn't have to be birthday cake even, does it? The little mice carry it. Look, one's, one's decided it's a bit heavy at my end, so I'm going to eat half of it. <laughs> I love that, instead. or if you think of it, as I think of, he's, he's thinking, if you're having first bite, I'm going to push it straight in your face. <laughs> <laughs> this is why I love these. Not only are they cute, there's so much humour in these stamps. Adorable. 552941 is the item number, just 14 99 You've got nine individual stamps on that one. Great that you've got those sentiments included. I'm smiling. I honestly didn't see what was coming up on this show because I wasn't able to prep because I was doing Zora. And I've just spotted what's coming up next.
Oh, now you've found it as well. Oh, I think I need to go and get this. Look at this. We've got the House Mouse Mini Stamp Set. Oh, a third of the stock already gone. There's going to be none left. Amazing. These are adorable. £23.99. and pence. Karen, I love these because, again, you've got those individual stamps. They're a lovely, lovely size. So you can do your gift tags. You can do your cards. You can do your home decor. You can build your scenes up. You can use just the words if you want. You can break them apart. You're also getting an ink pad and an acrylic block with this one as well, which is obviously the perfect size for these stamps. So you, if you haven't ever stamped before <coughs> and you're watching this, what a way to start. Look at this. Oh, these are adorable. They're really, really, my favourite thing. I haven't even told you what it is yet. I'll show you in a second. Look at that. Absolute, a, absolutely know, gorgeous, man. Uh, yeah, that's from Cheryl. That, that's uh, ingenious, that one. That is so clever. Is that resin in there? It must be. Uh, but we've also got oh, uh, ultra thick embossing powder you can use oh, yes, as, as well. Oh, yes, of course. Yeah, you could yeah, do but, oh, a, uh, a pouring glaze or something like that. It's, oh. it's ten, sta ten little stamp sets there for, for, for that. So it works out about <laughs> £2.30. Odd. But even if not everyone is your choice, just gift them up. Put them in a bag. Have a secret Santa with them. Do you know the what my children. Favourite, favourite thing is. Go on. The little footprints. <laughs> I just think they are so perfect. So perfect, that finishes these off. Has somebody drawn those in her? They are one of the stamps. I think, I think Cheryl's drawn those in, yeah, but uh, I'm not sure. Do you know what you've got, though? I, yeah, you've got, you've got ten different you've got, sets I'm there. I'm going to show you the boards that we've got. If you can draw the little mice prints, that just finishes that off for me. Isn't that perfect? But what you have got on one of the stamps, you've got the dandelions. No, you could, you could kind of work with those and fill them in a little bit more. Use those yeah. as little yeah. footprints. There's plenty of footprint stamps, stamps about there, but uh, yeah, absolutely glorious. And each one of those, I put a line in between each one so you knew which each set was, but absolutely beautiful. Oh, no Baby be busy on presents, these. laying well. in a boat. There's all different uh, di di different stories in, in, in them, isn't there? There is. Oh, I've got to show you inside this as well. Did you say Cheryl's done this? Cheryl's done that one as well, yeah. Look, it's a little boat. You could tell a story with these, couldn't you? Yeah. Make a little story up. They're adorable. Twenty-three ninety-nine over half of the stock has gone. One seven nine zero three one. Not surprised. We are so busy. Remember, you do get that block and an ink pad with that one as well. Then moving down again. Oh, what we've got here? So Ooh. it's words. Oh, birthday wishes. I'm, I'm interested to see how this sample's been done. Actually, that I've got here. So you've got sentiments here as well. Lots of different sentiments for you. Thirteen stamps in total. Fourteen ninety nine is the price on this one. Let me show you the board first. When we just had a look at these wonderful sentiments. Again, nice to see those different fonts in there, all in the one set, Karen. Yeah, it's, it's got to become a staple in in my in my uh, stash that one because it's got happy belated birthday in because I am absolutely shocking. <laughs> Shocking. <laughs> I make cards for a living, but I'm absolutely shocking. I'm the you know, worst, worst centre. Like it's like a decorator that never decorates his I own know. house, isn't it? Or a carpet fitter yeah. that's got, got, got bare floors. Yeah. yeah. Uh, well, but, I can tell you, whoop de doos in there, that from that card that I saw earlier, which I really liked. How's that background been done? That's so, very textured. So that background is uh, from this morning. It's ah. a, a full creator card, and I've... Um, uh, it's two actually. You can see the wood grain underneath. You can, you can feel and it. And then I've uh, I've let it. No, no, it's not the wood grain that you can feel. Is it not? No. So I've stamped on with the wood grain, let that dry. Oh, it's then the I've stamped the bits. birthday one on. And as the birthday one was still wet, I put ultra thick embossing powder on top of it. Like so that. all it's actually touched is the uh, ultra thick is the birthday one. Well, obviously, the sentiments nice come from the stamp set we're looking at now. Yeah. But we've still got that one available, that background. If anybody wants it, we do. So you can still get that one. And refer to 7 a.m., of course, this morning. If you want to watch the demonstration, love that. Very simple, but it just says what it needs to say, doesn't it? And that's the, with the, with the water. The background again from 7, but yep. the sentiment from this set here. So that just shows how everything mixes together from the earlier show, despite the brand being different. 274642 is the item number. If you want to go for the birthday wish stamp set, 13 individual stamps there. Oh. <laughs> Did you know frogs are one of my favourite things? Is it? Yeah, I, love I used frogs. to collect frogs when I was younger. Did you? I love I frogs. I once had, uh, I think it was 2,122, and then I moved out and had to get rid of them. It was Look awful. Look at these. These are so funny. 
I loved frogs anyway, but it was when we had the trampolining frog that I really fell in love with them. Trampolining frog. Have you never heard that story? No. Oh, I've told it a few times. It's not too long, so I will tell you if you've not heard it before. When my youngest, who's now 22, was about, I don't know, eight years old, I presume, we had a really big trampoline. Like mine at the same age. And yeah. then we had a really big paddling pool as well. They were both 16 foot wide, and it was a really hot week. So we got the paddling pool out, and uh, he would jump on the trampoline and then go in the pool, and vice versa. And on the trampoline, there were, sorry, in the pool there was a frog. Okay, this one day. And he put it on the trampoline. <laughs> I shouldn't laugh, should I? And he, as he bounced, I know dogs can, frogs can jump, but it was real. <laughs> <laughs> no frogs were hurt, I assure you of that. It was perfectly safe. I did tell him off for doing it, but it was quite funny when you think that. And you saw this frog. And it did go back in the pool, but then we let it into the garden. It went on its way. It was not hurt whatsoever, but I absolutely adore frogs. I do. I, just, I, I, like, just you. I like cute frogs, and those are my type of frog. We were talking to, to ladies last night on the, from the design team. We were saying, gosh, I wish I were that, uh, that supper. I said, well, I used to be when I used to do gymnastics. But, That's yeah. the trampolining frog. That's what he was doing <laughs> as he went up like, in the air. All you, all you need is <laughs> ballet shoes on, isn't it? <laughs> Cut his toes off and just put oh. ballet shoes on. Oh, I <laughs> love it. £14.99. and pence. I might have to just buy this, just, just to, I don't know, make, make an album for my son. Uh, 575719 is the item number. Super busy on lots of things across the board here, actually. We've got more to show you as well. Now, these are really good. I've got these myself. These are fabulous, Karen, aren't you? You've got the Stampendous Boss Gloss and Versamarker Pen. Really good. We've got a sample to show you when we come come back, actually. But if you've not gone for these, go for these because you can, you can use these in different ways. Karen, are you using these in demonstration at all? I can use them uh, a little bit later on, but I'll okay. just do it. I can just do a quick demo with okay. them anyway. Yeah. Nine ninety nine. We'll talk more about those as we go through. Then nine two three four six nine, and we've got embossing enamel. Now this is fabulous. It really is. It's a pick and mix as well. It's the chunky clear that you've just seen. The chunky coppers there as well. Uh, then we've got the silver for you, so we've got these different options. The gold is there. Any two for nine ninety nine. Have we got four? Did I see four different ones there? Then? There are four different ones. So you'd have ones. to go for two multiples of two, then go for them all. Oh, you've really got to would. get them all, haven't yeah. you? You have, yeah, we've definitely. One one two one one six is the item number. As Cheryl's just proved with it, with, with this as well, it's not just about um, embossing onto cards and that. She's actually made a pair of earrings, not from the same yeah, colours, but she's yeah. she's melted it and uh, into a pot. I can do a quick demo on it, but I don't you have any moulds. You can stamp into it as well, can't you? If you're quick oh, enough, yeah. you melt it and then yeah. stamp into it as well. Yeah. Right, we've also got a happy hour for you. I'm going to grab that and show you that in a second as well. Uh, but do look at the details on the screen because for twelve ninety seven, you're saving £7 here. This is a really lovely set. You've got the tool set there, you've got the knife, you've got the tweezers as well. Absolutely fabulous value there. There's some tweezers in that tool set, so really, really useful. 149 214. Not just for your paper crafting, they're great for your clay as well. So your tool set, I'm not going to open it up, but you can see what you get in there. There's the tool set. There's the craft knife. And we've also got the tweezers, all for $12.97. Amazing value. That's your happy hour. That price will go up at the top of the hour. Now we've got news on the mini house mouse set. Oh no, it's technically sold out. It is the frogs for me then. We are going to try. We can't say we can get more. We've got to see if we can, but we don't know yet. So I'll keep you updated on that one. But for now, they are sold out. So well done. This is what you get if you go for the pen and the Stampendous Emboss Gloss. Really, uh, well, the Boss Gloss. There you are. You've got that lovely. It's a bit like one of those Dorber pens, isn't it? The sponge it's, on the it's top. It's so yes. So down. if you want to, if you want to do embossing on the, um, a, a big piece, if you yeah. want to put put some embossing powder on a big piece, rather than using all the ink out of your um, pad, yeah. you just rub it over with that and daub it on. And then if you want to, if you're very good at writing, we'll I'll do I'll write a word and emboss it if you want. And hold that against this yeah. so you can see so that that's well. that's where oh, that's you not can... the best card to do it against is it yeah. let's go with the black one so you you've can got, see the nib you've got two nibs you've got a little yeah. bullet nib and then you've got a brush nib so, so if you're very good at this contains so... doesn't it karen the ink so you can go with finer detail yeah 
Still fine detail, but a little bit thicker than the other one, of course. Really, really useful for picking out detail. Amazing. There we are. Carol, what have you got in store for well, us? Well, I don't know now. Our mouse has gone. Oh. <laughs> I've got lots of other little things that I oh, can do. Well, I'll have to adapt things. You've got the big one. Is that what you've got? I've got, got the big hand? one. What I'll do, first of all, is I'll show you how we emboss on that. Okay. And I did emboss it on black, but what I'm going to do is I'm, uh, I'm going to put it on a, on a bag. Oh, I'm going to try it yeah. on that one. Perfect. Yeah. Um, and you don't need your... Um, my words are gone again every time I go to this. My words go... I did that earlier on my show. Did I? Yeah. It's like... Burr, 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 burr. I'm going to bob it there and I'll have a think where I want this. Yes, You're I'm, taking your phone mat I'm out. taking my phone yeah. mat. I know that I'm going to fit the bag there and I'm going to pop that round about there. So if I just... Turn that upside down for a second. <laughs> <laughs> now, can I just explain that? This is one of those cling stamps, isn't it? You don't take off that plastic That's right. Coating. Well, we know we're going to pop it there for, for the time being. Yes, you take it off and it's got this little plastic onto it. Please don't remove it. As you can see, what's going to happen, it's going to tear it and it will tear your cling. This is the bit that clings. If it yeah. stops clinging, just wash it in soapy water. And then all your cling will come back. I might have lost mine because it's had it's had a lot been manhandled quite a bit. So we've got to do this in a in a way where there we go. You see that's all, uh, all we need we've to do. There's a way around it. We just wanted to see you make a fool of yourself. Yeah. <laughs> Say that again. I'm only kidding. Say it again. Go on. It must, must have been funny. We worked it out, but we weren't going to tell you. We just wanted you to make a fool of yourself. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean? No, you want to be oh, make a really fool? Bad. That's a, no, we wouldn't have done that. I, I do that, that why just leaving house. <laughs> people don't believe it's I'm those, as it's those naughty house mouse on yeah, these. Yeah, people don't believe I'm as dizzy as that anyway. Because they're mischievous, they're making me feel mischievous now, you see. Well, I was telling Kirsty floor manager this morning, they, they, they thought it was rather loud when I came in. And I said, I don't speak much to anybody at home. My son's away working from home and I don't speak much. So when I actually get here, it's like, Wee! <laughs> I've got somebody. I've got somebody to talk to. <laughs> yeah. So I'm just embossing it with. Oh, I'm not sure whether it's on there. Now, having it in the stamp platform, if this doesn't work with it being a, a, a brown bag, it's uh, it's going to keep it all straight for me. So I'm going to be able to re-stamp it. Of course. And I've got the white, and Lovely. I've got a piece of card. I am well organised. You are. I've You're got about four demos lined up, but well. I'm, I'm well organised. Has Stuart answered phone yet to see if we can get any more of those stamps? Uh, I've not heard any new yet. Oh. We're working on it. I'm yes. working on it. Yes. Very hard. It's a beautiful little set. And it, it is, isn't on. it? Yeah, yeah. I love those little sets. And they're very, very collectible. So I think we might have missed a little bit there. So we'll just do it again. Okay. Just to be on the safe side. If in doubt, do it twice. And if you did see, I covered it with um, the anti-static bag. I didn't okay. want the... With it being white, I'm going to cover it with white embossing powder. With it being white, I don't want it to... Uh, for, you to for, you, for it to flick everywhere. This can be found... The, the embossing powder can be found on the... Uh, on the Stampendous brand, okay. uh, but it's not the ultra thick. You won't get this result with the ultra thick. Um, another thing is if you don't like, uh, sometimes when you do it with a detailed white, you will get bits onto it. As you can see there, this being a, no, it's not. It's a mouse's ear. I thought it was an air. Karen, I really don't mind to see those speckles, you know, with. Uh, don't you? Yeah. No. It used to bother me at one time, but now because we do so many effects with paint splashes and things yes. and things, I just think it adds to the yeah. background. There is a way around it if you don't like it. Get a white ink because there's a there's a an eyes ink a zinc white yeah. and then just put clear embossing powder on it. You yeah. get this it, it, or if you want rather than using black, use a clear one. And then you can, uh, you, you get away with that. Karen, I've got good news. Has he got some more in? Yes! Oh, yes! Oh, it is two weeks delayed dispatch, but we've managed to get some more. So the 22nd of December is the dispatch from day. Anybody that's missed out, 
you can still get these. It's well worth waiting for. It could be a little Christmas gift to yourself, couldn't it? 35 stamps and the block and the ink as well. These are absolutely adorable. I'm just going to remind you of what you can stamp out with these. Just before we go back to Karen, just so you can see. Oh, you can mix these around as well. You know, go with one of the images, different words. It's entirely up to you. There we are. Oh, aren't they adorable? They certainly are. Do not miss out again. Wonderful stuff there. Oh, I'm so pleased. Just show you how this eat embosses. Look how quickly that goes with the stamp enders. Oh, it's amazing. <laughs> 35 years on, it's still... 35, 40 years on, it still gives me pleasure. I can tell because you're shouting it out loud enough. And <laughs> <laughs> it still gives me pleasure, does this? Do you know, I think it's the same for everybody there, Karen. Sorry. It never, ever gets old, does it? It never, ever, ever gets old. But you did that now and, and put a little label on it. The, one, use one of the small ones, do a small one with a, a, a label on. Yes. And that, yes, now that's I've got them a back. gorgeous present. And to, I'd love just? to receive a present in that. I wouldn't care what were in it, if it were from Poundland or one of them stores that's only 99p <laughs> and a penny, but I'd be more happy with bag. <laughs> oh, oh, this store's available. So that was the quick one. Uh, shall we do a little house mouse yes, now? Please. Or do you want to have a run down with anything? No, you keep going. I'm all right. Great stuff. So what are we going to do? We're going to use, we're going to incorporate some of the backgrounds. And uh, the original one that I did was with a, with a frog. However, I'm going to put an house mouse one in Yay. just to, just to alter it up a little bit. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to do um, the wood grain. We didn't see that this morning, so if I show that Okay, now. so a reminder again, anybody that missed it, 7 o'clock this morning, it was Obsession. No, Impression, impression Obsession. Impression Obsession, yes. I always yes. get those the wrong way around, you know. So yes. you can still find things available on the website and re-watch the show or rewind for the show if you want. But, of course, everything from that show will also work with the stamps we've got on this hour, which are the stampendous ones, including those wonderful house mouse stamps. So I'm just doing it with a Versaclair. And the beauty with... Uh, for me, with the um, oh, the, the rubber stamps is the VersaClear works beautifully. I'm just pressing that in and stamping that out, so you will be able to see that this makes an absolute beautiful background there. Oh, it's lovely that Karen. Do you know yeah. we can bring the number up for that? We found it, I think. So we'll we'll let everybody know because that is a beautiful stamp. And then the the there other one was the grunge. So they're the two that, the grunge and that that's been done These by. These are great, aren't they? Yeah, yeah. Oh, just the background is nice stamps. Oh, well. look at that. Yeah, background stamps for me. Do you want me to show it to the camera? Yeah. Oh, Karen, they're lovely, aren't they? Absolutely gorgeous. Turn that that way, and it goes the right way. But you don't, you know, we do paint. We 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 stain our our wood outside different colours now, don't we? We don't have to oh, go we can green. Oh, any colour, can't we now? Yeah. And then I did this one, so I'll do this one quickly. I did show this this morning, but these are only quick ones with the with the backgrounds. So this is the slant. Well, we, can, we'll, we can't bring the item numbers up for all those from this morning, nope. uh, but you will find them on the website. Yes. But we yeah. are definitely going to use a house mouse, aren't we? Karen? Oh, definitely, yes. And I'm going to mask one off. But this is uh, just, just showing quickly how I uh, got to the parts that I did. Would have normally stamped that a bit, bit better. But just showing the slant one. Just rubbing it. And there you go. There's a little bit of something on my block there and that's that one Love it. and what we've done is we've cut that down into a size so Love we've it. got that one and that one so far and then this Love is it. the part of the demo that I like so we'll get a house mouse Yay. and I have put him on one side here we go we've got one with a little broken leg oh and we're gonna pop him on a little biggish What's he done to his leg? It's got a plas it's got a pot on it. Cat but it's him. that mouse on top of the uh, fish bowl. I'm and just going to say the cat's knocked him off to get to the fish. So Mine's more right. devious than yours. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I could tell you a tale about a mouse, but I'm not. I could tell you two tales about mice, but I'm not. Oh, no, 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 no. 
So, first, uh, I I've got some awful tales about mice <laughs> stood on settee. Mm. <laughs> We've got a nice little square piece here. We're just using the stamp block to uh, use, use the um, foam in it, really. Okay. And I'm going to stamp that in the middle. Let's have a look at my picture. Oh, I don't want to put your stamp in there, but we have had an email coming from Helen. She's asking... When it comes to house mouse, can we? Is there an angel policy that allows us to sell what we make? As long as it's stamped out by stamped and a, a finished product, then yes. Lovely. Yeah. So it's not about Go you. For it, um, Helen. Great question. It's the normal stamp enders. Um, oh, Helen says, "Have a healthy and merry Christmas, everyone." Same to you, Helen. Lovely. Too. Thank you, Helen. Yeah. As long as it's stamped out and you've, you've made a product with it, that that's fine. There's no problems with that. We're just stamping that Owen T Q. Oh, he's even got his crotch. I know. It's a little twig. It's a little <laughs> twig. Oh, you could st you could get a little twig from the garden and stick that over the top, couldn't you? To make oh, it yeah, like yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you, you certainly could. So I've cut one out in um, a masking. And to get... Can you see just in there... Am I in right? Yeah. yeah you find that. And in there, the, you would normally not cut that out, and you can see that that would stay white. However, to cut it out, what I have done is I've chopped up. Because oh, it's masking, right, yeah. don't worry about chopping into yeah, your stamp so you there. Can get into that area. With it being sticky, I wanted that bit out, and that's this is what I'm going to do. And if you did happen to snip away something that you didn't want, you could use a, a micro. Liner, couldn't you? One of those oh, micro definitely. Pens to add a little bit more detail if you want. They, to well. they are, they're lifesavers. They are, those micro they? liners, aren't they? Make sure it's all stuck down. Now I have cut that on the inside of the line to make sure that I don't end up with a, a ghosting round it. Okay. And then the next one we've got is we use that this morning. We're going to use it again. We're going to go in green again. After now, most I can tell everybody, sorry Karen, just sorry. let everybody know, because we can see the banner going across the bottom of the screen. We are yet again busy on the phone. It's been a busy morning so far. Four minute queues at the moment. Uh, please Thank hang you. on in there, but if you can, possibly use the website or the app. It is the quickest route. But thank you very much, and do stay with us. We will get to you. Absolutely amazing. You'll love that. You'll love all these. They're... they're, they're the the ones that Stuart get them allow me to pick them again and they Did were sort it? of like my favourites again. Oh. So I've stamped that in gri uh, the wood slice, okay. and I'm going to go straight over the top. That must be from this morning. That one. It is again from this morning. Unfortunately, I did all the I did all my demos and everything else with them combined because as I chose them, I chose from both sides, but I wanted to work them together. It's fine though because we can see how the different brands do work beautifully. Oh together. yeah, but they'll not just work with these. Uh, all oh. your backgrounds from this. Oh, he's, he is feeling poorly now. He's gone it green. Always <laughs> a bit green, green round the gills there, Karen. He's a little bit behind the gills there, isn't he? <laughs> Definitely. Gonna get my tool out now because I don't want to get my fingers in it, and I'm just gonna lift it up and save it. Oh, for that's later. better. Yeah. So it should have gone in there, but it didn't do. Oh, there is. There's just that tight, tiny little bit of green there. So that's the stamp. That's the pointillism on the stamp. And then I'm going to put this back onto my little bit. They all yeah, come with their that. own individual little bits. And then we're just going to colour. Oh, lovely. Yeah. Um, I've got... And I want to show you how quickly they colour up. Let's have a quick look. What's, some what's really the colours? Lovely stamps for today, Karen. Well, sorry, you've picked some really lovely stamps for both shows today. I am very, very lucky that I've been able to pick these stamps. Very, very lucky. The detailing that wood slice is just amazing. It's amazing, and there's a small, there's a, it's a, a smaller one, and then a plank yeah. as well. So I've got some little browns here, and let's have a look. Uh, I always get a spare oh, bit of... Oh, you could, if, if you've got a fine liner, you could draw or write some names on his pot like the little mice have been all scribbling the names on there. Ooh, ooh I think we're going to do that. They all have names, don't yeah. they? I can't remember them all now. Things like mud pie and... We're just going to do his tummy a little bit lighter. Uh, that's all I want to do, a bit lighter. Let's have a look. His... No, that one's lightest. We'll do his face that colour. And all I'm, all, I'm only doing it with colouring straight in. Look at that, I've ruined it. 
then something a little bit darker. There we go. So we're and they're not taking a lot to colour in. Of course, you no, can do the all your watercolours, all it? your techniques that you want to. But I'm finding that this is this is my way of colouring. Do you know what I think it's worth when you get these home, making some little masks for each of the stamps when you've got a quiet afternoon and you can just sit stamp, cut out, maybe watch a film or something, a Christmas film. Then you've got them ready to go because then when you get the idea and you've got everything there, do you know, it just makes the job so much easier, doesn't it? And that's when your imagination really takes hold. Certainly, certainly, you know, yeah. Once, you, once you've got, I like to yeah. cut quite a lot of masks out. Now, I was thinking, where's his other foot? But it's hidden, isn't it? So I've only got that bit to do. And there we go. And then to shade, I'll just go back over it a second time. I'm so pleased he's still got his tail. Oh, he's still got his tail. I didn't cut his tail off. See, I, I once met a mouse who had no tail. That means he that got... one of my little mice stories. He'd got stuck somewhere then, hadn't he? He might have done. Now I'm just... And re blend it down. That's enough for me. That's that's coloured enough for me. Let's get a different uh, shade you of like nice, real nice. Are you scared of them? No, I used I to I had a lovely little white mouse. I called it Snowy. Oh. And that's how me's cat got that as well. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> what a horrible Siamese cat. No, he wasn't, he was gorgeous. Bear in mind I was only ten. I was only 10 at the time and we don't, so me and my brother don't. people are afraid of mice, aren't they? Now, I, yeah. Again, I understand why we all have our phobias, but I, I for one, absolutely love mice. Well, we don't tell mum we got a little white mouse, me and my brother, so we hid it in my sewing box. Well, obviously, <laughs> <laughs> it weren't. <laughs> Cat got it. <laughs> oh, no. Actually, your hiding a mouse story is, is it's not the same, but similar to the other mouse story I had. It wasn't me that hid a mouse, but somebody did. We went on a school trip and they bought it from the pet shop and hid it in one of the drawers in the dormitory. I can't tell you the rest of the story though. Oh, my brother once got once bought a ferret and hid it. <laughs> my cousin once bought a cat and hid it. Oh, I've done that. Took a cat home and then hid it. And oh, once you've done it about my three daughter, weeks, my daughter, got rescue to keep cat. It. Oh, she was desperate for a cat. There we go. And I didn't mind, but. A dad, no, definitely not. We're going to do that a bit of luminous a, green. There we go. Well, we've we've, we found we've it. put some names on it. So then, uh, oh, back to black eyeliner because I like to do that. I've right got into this eyeliner, eyeliner, eyeliner. This putting lines around. <laughs> Karen, I'm, I'm a little bit worried now. That's not what's around your eyes today, is it? Oh, not not this pen, no, oh, thank but. Goodness. Yeah, I can't do it straight on my face. I can do it straight on a card, but not on the face. And then we'll just stick that together quickly. Loving the green of you, as well. It's, uh, oh, it's, that's a Versa, VersaClair green. I'm loving the new colours that Paula brought to us as well. Absolutely. Bit of black to... Oh, we've got another show like that coming up. I don't know if we have, but if you've never seen the shows of Paula and the Inks, you must, must. Oh, amazing. Have in the future. Amazing, absolutely. Pop that. Oops. <laughs> I knew. Oh, no, I'm not going to say it. You just wanted me to make a fool of myself, didn't you, again? I'm a naughty little house mouse. I've got glasses on as well. <laughs> oh, other day, I was an hour and a half looking for my glasses. Were I you? couldn't find them. Do you know where they were? In the fridge? No, on my face. They were, actually. <laughs> yeah. Do you know, I thought that was going to be the obvious answer. I thought, no, it wouldn't be that easy. They were on me, they were on my face. I'm going to put that one flat. And I know we're covering the backgrounds out, but they just that works really bring well. it all together, Loving don't they? The black with the green. Oops. There we oh, go. Oh, that's lovely. And then I've got two done. And that just, then you can put your greetings on, but there you can see. <laughs> Look at that frog. <laughs> the frog's gorgeous. A <laughs> little bit of white on them, you know, a bit of white pen, and it gives them that movement. Oh, but you don't even it. have to frame Absolutely them around the outside. Absolutely love it. Fabulous work. What a lovely demonstration. Thank, Thank you, you, Karen. Oh, well, let's remind you about the mini house mouse set. It did sell out. It's back on extended. Half of the stock has gone. Let's just remind you again of the board so you can see exactly what you're getting. I'll remind you of one or two samples as well. So Karen's just kind of scribbled with her eyeliner in between these so it separates the different stamps. <laughs> <laughs> but of course,
course, you can mix these around however you wish. Change the words around, you know, mix and match. Oh, you've got a baby in there. I love the one. Oh, the one with the crutch. There's the one with the pencil on the same stamp. That's the get well soon, of course. So if you want the sentiment to go in there, you can do. Cheryl's lovely little sample here as well. I think this is gorgeous. Love those little feet. That just finishes it off hand-drawn there. The detail in the stamps as well, the colouring. Look at the dandelion. That is adorable. Oh, look. Dispatch from the 22nd of December. Make it a Christmas pre present to yourself if nobody else is going to treat you. 179031. New today. Remember, you are getting the ink and you're also getting the acrylic block as well, which, of course, fits perfectly with any of those stamp sets that you're getting within that bundle. Amazing. Love it. Great price on that as well. Now, we've got another house mouse to remind you of as well. Now, Karen chose all of these. This is lovely. I really, they, they make you smile. You can't fail but smile, can you? So this is your birthday splash. Actually, thinking about, we said about the party hats, or they could be going up to the sky as though they're on fireworks, but you, they could be diving into a bowl of jelly or something, couldn't they, as well? Yes. With a splash. Yeah. yeah. the cake. You can have so much fun with these. Oh, use the sentiments as well. You know, again, mix and match with other things you've got. You can have so much fun with these. Fourteen ninety nine, five five two nine four one. There's another sample here, actually. I'll show you this sample. I don't think I showed this before. That's that grunge background again, That's isn't it? That's the grunge background, but you see, with it being the centre part, I've had it going upwards rather than... Um, if I just spin that around, look, they do work as though they're diving into something as well, don't they? They're using the party hats as ha safety helmets. They're going to go down and stick the in the bowl. ground. They could go into the fish bowl of the next one. Yeah, diving into the cake, get covered in buttercream. Oh, you can have so much fun with these. Love it. Now we've got House Mouse and Curious Kitten. I don't think he's curious. I think he knows exactly what he's doing. £9.99, £2.30 of the stock has gone. 763449. Love it. Love it. We saw that in the first demonstration, of course. Now we have got other things on the show apart from the house mouse as well which is still just as beautiful i've got to say uh we've got first of all let's moving away field of flowers here love this this perspective that you can get with these individual stamps build up your scenes you know use your masks again to create you know different depth there you've got flowers you've got so much you can do with these foreground background let me just show you that wood slice again because i think that's so clever what a lovely little scene you know, this year if you've got a real christmas tree Chop up the trunk of it. Use those slices for your crafty projects. It's always worth doing that. Item number 517461 is the item number for this one. 14.99 is the price. Then we've got On My Mind. And uh, the more I think about this one, the more I think you can be really sort of quite go crazy with this one, actually. So you've got the florals in here. You've got the, the face there. So you can put something on the head as though it's thinking or maybe a speech bubble or put a hat or crazy hair on there if you wanted to. Use the stamps together. Use them individually. Do whatever you want with these. Again, you're going to find you've got plenty of other stamps and uh, products that will go with this one as well. Fourteen ninety nine is the price. One six seven six four zero. You could just put a simple Christmas hat on her head, couldn't you? For now, bit of fur around the top. She could be an elf. She could be an elf. Could be Mrs. Claus. Could be whatever you want it to be. One six seven six four zero fourteen ninety nine. And then, oh, uh, hello. 2021 not just for the new year and of course you've got the different numbers in here as well so goodbye 2020 we survived it also says that in this card here as well using the stamps in the background as well there hello 2021 but of course there's many uses for this one you've got birthday words and all sorts of different things 19 individual elements in that one five seven five two zero six now the birthday wishes sentiments this is another lovely stamp set Lovely fonts in here. They do change. You've got sort of different, some, some a little bit more quirky, some a little bit more scripty in the way of fonts there as well. So a nice selection here. 14 99 13 stamps, 274, 642. And then oh, our frog yoga, or our trampolining frog. There he is. I can't unsee that. He's proven very popular. I'm not surprised we saw a glimpse of one of the cards that Karen's done there in that last demonstration. These are great fun. I think I've really got to go and get these. 14 99 12 stamps, 575-719. Now we've also, oh, I'm pleased we've got this back. We've got the mirror stamping plate. Now this is really good if you've never seen it before. If you've got, let's say for instance, we've got one of the house mouse that's facing to the left, but you want him to face to the right. 
you can use the mirror stamping plate and reverse it so you can have things looking at each other. Have them back to back if you want. It's very clever. $14.99, when we've had this on previously, it has sold out, I think, almost every time. 912-516 is the item number. Then, of course, we've got the boss gloss for you. You've got the pen also, which is perfect because you've got the fine nib, you've got the brush nib on there as well. Great for picking out little areas. And then, of course, that bottle you've got there, it has got a, a sponge on it, but you can also take the, the top off and use a paintbrush if you wanted to as well. £9.99, great buy, 923469. And then we've got a pick and mix of the embossing enamel for you as well. Now, there are four different options. It's a pick and mix of any two. You can choose your two. But if you can afford to go for all four, really, I, I urge you to do this if you can, because you can mix these all together. £9.99 for a pick and mix of two, 112, 116. The happy hours have gone. They're finished. No? Oh, I misheard something. I thought, that's strange. We normally get to the end of the hour. we still got it. Don't worry. Oh. <laughs> what I should have said to finish is the happy hour. Twelve ninety seven, a saving of seven pounds, but it will go up. It will go up to nineteen ninety seven at the top of this hour. You've got the tool set that was on the screen, the tweezers and the craft knife as well. Great buy. One four nine two one four is the item number. Right, Karen, have we got any demonstration? I have. If I can just show you that one, but I'm not gonna do that one. Oh, I love it. But I just wanted to show you the frog one that I was going to do. Oh, I need this and set. In the background of that one, we have the um the clouds from this morning oh, wow. you can see that the clouds turn them down to the side you can't see what they are and it's made a beautiful grungy background done in red and uh, in yellow red and yellow <laughs> with green and yellow <laughs> that's so effective yes yeah it really so is. i was going to do that as a demo but i'm not going to because we we're going to do something with house mouse and bit and, and welcome in 2020. Oh. Oh, wow. So I just wanted to show that because it, and obviously with it being a demo, it's not being on counter. Yeah. Can we, can we just go into 2021, not go backwards into 2020? <sighs> Don't make it. I, it can we fast forward It now? just doesn't exist, 2020, does it? Yeah. No. It's just not, not got to exist, but we're going forward and moving forward. That's it. One step forward, always. Actually, in all seriousness, though. There's always positives come out from negatives, and it has been a really, really tough year for everybody, and some a lot worse than others. But the amount of people, Karen, that have taken positives from the year as well, because it's yeah. made you think about different things in different ways, you know, about family, about friends, the fact that, you, you know, when you can't see people, you realise how much you miss those people. And so many people say they're going to make more effort in the yes. future when things... When things get better. Yeah. Definitely, and yeah. And life goals and things as well. Well, my know. life goals changed. I went self-employed. You, you did, didn't you? Yeah. Very what a true. year to do it, but yeah. I still... That, it was this, this year that made me choose to do it. I wanted to do it for 20-odd years, but this year was... Well, if this year can get any worse, we might as well... What have yeah, we got to lose? Exactly. And look at you now, Kate. I know, I know. As mouthy as they are. <laughs> So I'm going to have my piece of paper is smaller than this than the stamp So what I've done is I put some low tack tape on underneath it. I could put it on I can't use a magnet because the magnets are going to get in the way oh, course, I can't put yeah. tape around the inside. So I've just done a little loop yeah. with uh, Just to uh, make sure it sticks now knowing my look it'll pull it straight off No, it hasn't. No, it Yay. hasn't. We're gonna go to an ink. Now, and all I'm going to do is a background again, and I'm just doing, this is one of my, um, I would say, could be one of getting to become one of my favourites, because it's subtle. You can make it strong, but it's a beautiful, subtle and it works background. it anything, whether it's grungy or whether it's pretty. Yes, yeah, I'm doing it pink. So every time I see the weathered wood papers in the paper pads, it doesn't matter oh. how many times we see it in different colours, I always want those bits of paper because I think they're so useful. I always, so you can make your own kind I always of buy them bits of paper but never use them because they're so beautiful. With a stamp you can make your own, yes. whatever you want it, yeah. can't you? So I've missed a bit there, but don't worry, we're on a stamping platform. But this is with it being on rubber, see how fine it is. And we probably made it a little bit deeper there, but... I'm not worried. And that looks just like weathered wood it to does. me. Love it. Take that off. Take that off. It's not ruined anything anything at all. So we've got to... Oh, we're going to do it again as well. 
we're going to put a frame in. We're going to do a frame. So you can cut your frames out. So remember, everybody, 7 o'clock this morning was when Karen was on with impression obsession i got it right way around didn't i yes there they are that's what we're looking at lots of background stamps actually other things besides as well so you can still find them on the website anything that karen's working with now um i'm pretty certain still available but we'll we can't go through all the item numbers on this show but you will definitely find them oh there's some beauties on that as there well. was some real oh, wow. good what we call worker stamps yeah uh, the worker stamps the ones that are going to go in and 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 keep on your side rather than yeah don't put them away in your drum forget about them so we know we need just a little bit more here you see you can see exactly where it's come from here so let's let's do something particular let's okay, got five minutes left Karen. five minutes left yeah. we're going to try something here oh no i can't I can't tell you what i was going to do if I'd have done it in the first place and put a piece of card underneath it, I could have stamped that and got the background with a with the frame in it. Okay. I could have done the, done that and done a frame in it at the same time. Okay. Just as you're prepping there, yep. ready, Karen. I'm just going to remind everybody about the frog yoga because it's very busy. Uh, this has now become my favourite stamp set on the show simply because I love frogs so much and it brings back those very funny memories. 575719 and that card that Karen did show us. I can't reach across and get that, we're not allowed to do that, but hopefully Karen can give us a reminder of that in a little while as well. 1499, 12 stamps, 575719. So there are two. I, I will do one. I'll put one together a little bit. What have we got? A few more minutes. We have got four minutes. Four minutes. So I'm going to do two in one here. Going to do a two for you. Yeah? Okay. I've got the wood grain in there. I'm popping it on some nice paper to make a background. And you can see I've done that deeper with a different, oh, a different um, kind it's of paper. A, a kind of different paper. Oh, so the same ink, the same stamp. Oh, so the absorbency. Of the so paper the absorbency. The yep, and I'm just near enough matching it up into the centre there. You want highlighting with black. Now, uh, let's do this one. Talking to myself as get. Just want you to see how this stamps up. This is the baby. Aww. There we go. I'm just let it sink in a little bit. Oh, oh and here's the sweet? baby stamped oh, Karen, up. That's adorable. So you could put them there. Oh, and then the what we're going to do is we'll do the yellow. These have made lovely birth announcements. If you put a little mouse in the corner and then the details of the birth and the name in the centre of the card. Yeah. Because you could batch make. Oh, you make. can put the date of birth. Yeah. Yeah. yeah you could with that stamp. With yeah. The, um, hello. Twenty. Twenty-one. Yeah. Or whatever so it is. I'm going to stamp that just fits into there. Yeah. However, we could put 2021, 2022, 2023. Hello. And then you see this bit here. I've got the exclamation mark and a little bit of tissue. And I'm just going to stamp this little bit up here. That exclamation mark almost looks like another little party hat with a pom-pom on the top. It does. You use it upside down. Just. I'm just making dots. Ah. Oh. You know when you do writing and you yeah. put three little dots at the side of it? Oh. So remember, it's not about using all your stamp in one go. Just three little dots. We'll stick that one on. Oh, we've half, already Karen. stuck it on. Well. A minute and a half. Mm -hmm. That one goes there. And then my playful black pen. So, go around that one just to highlight it. make a difference doesn't it oh not off i've got a fetish about these black liner pens i keep uh, keep getting them and, and you know keep getting them and getting them 
hello. That is so sweet. Oh, and then you don't need that. Hello. Um, 2021. But I think we'll leave it at that one, shall we? And put a little bit Beautiful. of tape Love into it. Love it. Well, we've only got 45 seconds left, left well, Karen. Can you just grab our frog I card again? I certainly can. can. Just give us another show of that because it's absolutely amazing. We're busy on this set as well. So the house mouse, extremely busy right across the board on those, but the, we've also got the yoga stamps, the frog yoga there, 12 stamps, 575-719. I love, love, love that. Do look at everything on the website, including all those stamps from the previous show as well. Karen, do you know, I've so enjoyed that. It's when are you been back great. Again? Uh, 19th. I'm Not back. Long. Not long. But Ooh. I'll do that on a Facebook on Thursday. I'm crafting together with all brands. Oh, perfect. I'm on at one o'clock, so I'll do that demo there. Amazing. Karen, thank you so, Thanks so, so much. much. Thank you. Good choices yet again from Karen there. Do stay with us, though. We've got much more to come. Who's up next? Where's Alice? <laughs> We've got Tina Francis Tapestry now. Alex is somewhere though. Heartfelt Creations Floral Shop, that's me and Nikki a little bit later. And then Best of Mama Makes, Lottie's here. Hello, I'm Sue Trangmar and I started Daisy Chain Designs 20 years ago. Back in the day there were very few quilt patterns in the marketplace and so uh, I started to bring patterns into the UK from America and Australia and along the way I've been lucky enough to work with some fantastic British designers and that is what really the essence of Daisy Chain Designs are. At Daisy Chain Designs, we're passionate about sewing and quilting. We design projects that hopefully will inspire you to pick up your needle and thread and have a go. Uh, we have great fun in designing things from the very start and then the end product is always very exciting when you actually see it made. So don't miss the Daisy Chain Design shows on Hochanda. Hi everyone, I'm Phil Martin. I've been a paper crafter for well over 20 years now and a designer for just over 10 years. Sentimentally Yours is my multi-award winning brand of clear stamps, rubber stamps. I've now also introduced lots of craft dyes in there, designer papers. I have my mediums where we've introduced the Flawless Media brand into the Sentimentally Yours family. So on our Hope Chanda shows we aim to inspire you, to be educational and to teach you how to get the most from the products that we're bringing to you. The Sentimentally Yours family has grown uh, to include my good friend Julia Watts and our new designer Trudy Howard. Hopefully we're all going to bring something different to the show so you're going to be enriched with lots of different ideas and inspiration. Be sure to join us for our Sentimentally Yours shows on Hope Chanda. Hi, I'm Gina Barrett from Gina B Silkworks. We're a family company specializing in traditional crafts for the modern maker. Most of our products involve textiles and age-old techniques from button making, lace making, weaving, and other forms of passamentary. I hope you'll be able to tune in to the Gina B Silkworks shows here on Hojanda. Hi, I'm Abs from Holland Create. I've been crafting for over 10 years now and I love stamping, stenciling, creating layers, colors, textures and creating depth and dimension. Holland Create was established in October 2016, collaborating with a group of designers and artists from all over the world, bringing different designs and products in different styles. We proud ourselves of high quality photopolymer clear stamp sets, dyes, stencils, washi tapes and acrylic blocks, all in different sizes and formats. Imagine us at Hachanda, I hope to bring you inspiration and different ways of using your craft products. Make sure you don't miss the Holland Create shows on Hachanda.
Hi, I'm Pat. I'm Mark. From Totally Patched. We're a family-based business here in Shropshire. We've been established for about 20 years. The, all of our kits uh, come pre-cut, meaning all the fabric is cut for the actual people who want to make the items, whether they be um, cushions, bags, quilts, or anything else you want to cast your creative memory or mind into. Most of the kits we produce we design ourselves. The design process is usually inspired by the fabric itself. We use only use great quality fabrics, 100% cottons. So, whether you're a beginner or an experienced sewer or quilter, we hope we've got something for all of you. Make sure you come and watch us on Hachanda. And good morning. Now I am working with a new guest that I haven't worked with before. So this is Tina. Hello, Tina. Hi, yeah, you're all right. I am all right. Now, for anybody who uh, hasn't met you, can you tell us a bit about yourself and your company? Yeah, my name's Tina Francis. I run Tina Francis Tapestry, which is a small um, needlepoint and bargello. Um, workshop. Yep. I do um, kits and I also have written the book Modern Bargello. Amazing. So we're going to have a little look at these lovely kits because I, ha even though it sounds really stupid because I do tons of cross stitch and all sorts, yeah. I haven't yeah. heard of Bargello. Well, like, what right. is it? It's very fashionable actually. Is it? It's very okay. fashionable at the moment. It's like a long stitch. Right. Yeah, so like, more like a long stitch and more, more sort of, you know, you race across the canvas, you almost stride across the canvas where cross stitch you're quite concentrated in a small area. Indeed. Lovely stuff. So we're going to start off with our first kit. This is um, uh, called Sending You a Hug, this lovely kit. Um, so what do we get in the kit then? So you get, this kit is, um, the reason behind the name as well is because um, it's about sending somebody a hug if you, if you can't see them. Yeah. Sort of thing. But you get, um, you get all of the walls mm -hmm. and you get um, a seven count canvas which is quite a high count canvas mm -hmm. because people like you say about cross stitch people might have been used to sort of 14 count or 16 count yep. but this is seven count so it's quite large and the walls that you get with it you've got a beautiful like mild sort of pinks and purples a bit like your dress a bit pinks and purples and then <laughs> yep. you've also got the um the block colors as well that go around it really nice and full instructions yeah all of the instructions and um you get everything really apart from the backing and the stuffing for the cushion because sometimes by the time you've made it you might want to put it on your wall yeah, you might do, mightn't yeah. you? Because it's really nice. Yeah. And I have to say, the walls are all lovely and tactile, are they? are, they, they yeah. are. And that's the hug idea of yeah. it, really. It's gorgeous. Uh, so if you would like to go for this kit, you can spread the cost on FlexiBuy, or you can go for it outright at £54.99. Uh, 389853 is the item number. Then we've got some frame kits. Now, what's really nice is you've actually supplied the frames. A lot, yeah. of, a lot of people don't, but... Yeah, and I think that's really nice to have the frame with it because mm. you can then um, have different, you know, different ways. But you can put it straight in. Sometimes, especially with cross stitch or tapestry, we put it in a drawer and then we open the drawer and it's there again, isn't it? Really? Yeah. So straight away, wall ready. That's wall what we call right. it. Wall ready. I like that. <laughs> so you've um, you've added in. Now, so this particular one, what, it's like a, is it like, not a plastic? Yes, it a, is, it's a plastic mesh, yeah. yeah. So it's a plastic mesh and um, it's 10 count, so it's the same as what you would get with tapestry canvas, a 10 count, but it's on plastic mesh and that gives you a really clean line for you to put it straight into the frame. Brilliant, you've even added in the needle for us, so we yeah, don't have to all think the about kits it. Get, all, with all the kits you get a needle. Excellent, and then this one, it's, it's, a, it's a really soft, but it's a, a little bit chunky with the wool and the metallics, brilliant. Yeah, delicious metallics like that. It almost looks like a golden chain, doesn't it? Really, yeah. it's just so beautiful. So it's really nice just to have something special, maybe that you bring out once a year with a real goldness. Yeah, lovely stuff. Um, and of course, again, full instructions with this. Yeah, all of the instructions are in there. Yeah, and you get a chart. So you with Bargello, this is also a Bargello kit. You follow a chart uh -huh. and you look at it, and the charts are quite big and bold. Amazing. Now you can see you've got two options here. This one is your winter bright, lovely with the silver 
um, in there and then we've got the second option which is the winter warm and then in this one you can see we've got some gold in there I'd like a dress in this it's, it's gorgeous it yeah. moves with you it moves with you it does doesn't it oops drop me gold there you go so you could see those threads there so just whatever your color preference is going to be um, it's 24.99 for either option item number is 347541 um, so then we've got, oh yes, the banner stitch kit here. Something a little bit different, actually. Yeah, it is. And that's the great thing with Bargello. It looks great on a wall and um, it's great as a hanging. So um, earlier on in the year, we bought you some ones with turquoises and um, sort of greens and gold, whereas this one has got the gold back in again, like the gold Lurex yarn. Lovely, and we're having a little look at the finished article right here. Mm. So that is so nice as well. It's very grand, isn't it? It is. It's a bit like Knights of the Round Table or something like that, isn't it? A bit yeah. of jousting going on there. Yeah, that's what I can <laughs> see. That's fab. And you've even popped like the rings in for us yeah. to hang it. Yeah, so you get the four rings to hang it up and you get the needle as well again. And that beautiful gold. I love it so much. <laughs> <laughs> I can tell you're very passionate about what you do. Yeah. Very nice. So you can see all, the, all that. The yarn is really soft, beautiful. Mm. Yeah, and that's 100% wool in that one. That wonderful. Kit. And then you've got your um, mesh again. And there are the rings to hang it up. So it's all there for you. And once more, full instructions. £24.99. pence. Item number is 813929. Then we've got the multi-mural kit. Um, which is cool. Oh, yeah, that's behind me as well. So I'll have to move out the way a little bit so that you can see. There you go. Um, and this, again, a little bit different, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. That's so cool. Look at that. Lovely pattern there. Yeah. Yeah. And you, you get to see the canvas as well because the canvas is, you know, the canvas is plastic on that, but it looks quite metallic. It does. It? Yeah, I agree with that. Yeah. Uh, so let's see what you get in the kit. Here we are. Again, you've got the mesh, all the, all the rings. Uh, uh, you've got so much of the lovely wool and once more full instructions are there. Uh, 19.99 item number is 969.276 and then we've got options for you with the pin cushions. Yeah. Um, I love the way you choose your colours, they're really nice. Ah, right, so we got a bit of felt in here, is it? Yeah, you get some, so you get felt, you get the backing, so unlike like the larger cushion kits, in these pin cushion popcorn kits you get the um, felt and you also get the um, canvas as well. Yeah, and the canvas and the stuffing you've provided yeah, the here. Stuffing, and the stuffing is made from recycled plastic bottles. Oh, yeah. so nice. They were doing our bit for the environment, yeah. which is excellent. Let's have a look at these options then. So we've got our first one here. Oh, right. So this one is the jumper warm. Okay. Then moving along. This next one. This one's called the step up. And in this one, you've got like a sort of rusty burgundy um, felt. Marvellous. Then moving along again. This one is the Crooked Flame. Brilliant designs. <laughs> I love the designs. And in this one, the felt is like a, um, um, what do you call it, terracotta. And then the next one. This one is the crisscross. These are all really cool. Here you go. You can see this one. And then the final one that we've got, what's that one? Mm, solar discus. Okay. There we go. Just so you can see, because I don't think we've got a sample of this one. No, here. no, that's that's been lost somewhere in transit. Oh, don't worry. <laughs> don't worry. There you go. Um, needle point what do we mean by that so needle point is like tapestry so it's a half cross stitch okay so um, you use it with wool you again you go through like the interlock um canvas mm -hmm. but so whereas bargello is a long stitch um tapestry needle point is a half cross stitch or a tent stitch right there you have it 19.99 do go to the website and then you can have a really good look at these lovely items 662689 now um as tina mentioned at the start of the show she's got a book out and here it is with lots of ideas in here what projects will we find in this book um, you find lots of projects like from the very start, so there's small bangles and brooches and then it goes right the way up to really big, huge cushions, that, right. you know, really for a lot of big settee cushions. So it's a good way to start to see whether you like to do it and it's yep. on cotton canvas and also there's some plastic canvas um, 
kits in there as well. Yeah. Um, should we have a little flick through? Um, uh, can, you know the projects in here, could beginners do it? Yeah, definitely be beginners could do it because even though we're using like a tapestry needle, it's blunt-ish, but just really be careful, you know, it's not really for, for children because of the sharpness of the needle. Right, good stuff. So let's have a look. I mean, look at those designs. Sorry, I'll just tilt that forward. <laughs> look at those designs tools and materials oh color patterns yeah yeah and just talking about the color wheel yeah. and how we like certain colors wonderful aztec accents there's all sorts in here loads of different projects yeah. oh look at the box yeah so that's the good thing about using plastic canvas you can go 3d yeah so in in the book there's a small box with a lid and then there's a larger box i think it's about 30 centimeters or something like that that yeah. you can fit into you know for your storage amazing yeah. there you go that is on screen then for 9.99 688380. If you do want to ask Tina any questions, please feel free to send your questions to studio at tachanda.com or you can pop them onto Facebook. Right, where would you like to start, Tina? Well, I'm going to do a little bit of stitching with the beautiful mild wool. Okay. Of the, um, sending you a hug kit and just to show you the size of that. So, in Bargello, you've, you've got a length of stitch, mm -hmm. and in the, in the instructions it will say whether it's a four-length stitch or a, or a six-length stitch. And what that means is, is that you count up one, two, three, four, five, six, and you go through the hole. Pull it through. And then with this pattern, the patterns are quite large that we've got. Yeah. And with the, with the patterns, you follow the pattern, and then we're going to go back in again to the middle of the previous stitch. Okay. Do, 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 do. And I, I always say that this sort of thing is really quite restful, isn't it? It is. And also, um, in all of my kits, the first row is called the foundation row, mm -hmm. because with a strong foundation, we can build anything, can't we? We can. And so we're carrying on up. And so what you do is... Um, Follow the pattern mm -hmm. and go in there and then count up one, two, three, four, five, six and carry on along. And you can see already that even though we're taking our time with the stitching, we're building up quite quickly because we're on seven count canvas. Yeah. And we're moving right the way across and sort of striding along really. And the way that the pattern um, arrives is that you get a quarter because this is quite a large, I think, I can't remember how large the cushion is at the end of the day, but um, I think it may be over 40, 45 centimetres or more. Um, because it's quite large, you get the kit, and in the kit it will tell you how to stitch it, um, top quarter, bottom quarter, yeah. all the way round. So still always counting up, one, two, three, four, five, six and then push through. And then if you look across to the other side, you'll see that you start to, started to become symmetrical yeah. with the sides. And that's, it, a lot of um, people would also call Bargello Florentine work. Oh, nice. Because it's like almost, you see quite a lot of Florentine um, flame sort of like patterns and fla different, different patterns like that. But it's always on a grid and you're always counting up one, two, three, four, five, six and in you go mm -hmm. and you can see with this wall already it's got its own sort of color hasn't it really and it's, it's all it's really nice. each so each one of these that are stitched the pattern will be the same but it'll be unique because of the you know the wall that you're using and that you know where where the um, mall happens in the wall would you say would you call it variegated yeah, yeah. i think yeah variegated that's good that's variegated yarn yeah so, but, it, but it's within the line, and there's almost like a line of black running all the way through it as well yeah so always counting up six and move along and it, it works quite quickly and the idea behind um, this show was that it's stitched to gift really because uh. they, some of the um, items are quite small and you'll still be able to stitch them in time for um, if you're going to hand them over you know for a, as a festive gift yeah and this one it's it's a lot larger but you will be you know you you can get on with it really but I sort of think if you stitch to finish mm -hmm. It doesn't really um, have as good a result as if you're just stitching quietly and confidently. Yeah. yeah. Um, and what got you into this? Was it something you've done f since you were little? No, no, I, hadn't, I haven't done it. I didn't, you know, when when I was younger, I did have some um, little kits, but yeah. um, I used to be a computer programmer and software tester, 
and so that was always making things but people couldn't hold them yeah. so I wanted to make something that people could hold huh? and because I'm always on the grid it's pretty binary isn't it really yeah, I suppose. so there's either it's a stitch or there isn't so you know <laughs> my whole thing. life my whole life has been binary forever yeah <laughs> And um, how long have you sort of been um, doing this for and like having your company? So I've had my company for around, I think it might be around about eight years. Yeah. And I started off with the needlepoint. That's why some of the pincushion right. patterns are needlepoint. It's called needlepoint or tapestry as we would know it with tent stitch. So I started off with that because I really loved um, printing and screen yeah. printing. Lovely. And so I, you know, I, I loved creating my own kits that way. So... Um, just while you continue, yep. um, the pin cushions that you just mentioned actually are really busy. Yeah. Uh, so we can give you the details. The crisscross pattern, is this the one I'm on? Third one. The crisscross pattern, no, not that one. <laughs> this one. <Yeah. laughs> right. Uh, this one, 20% of the stock gone. I mean, it's a gorgeous little pin cushion, isn't it? I just love that. Or do you know what? It's a little, it's a little cushion for a doll. <laughs> shelf cushion. You yeah. can put it on your shelf and things like that. Love that could thing. I just mention about the felt that's in there? Please do. Yes. Um, the felt that's in there is from um, sample books um, because I get that felt from Birmingham Scrap Store right. and they divert waste from landfill. So the, a lot of architects or things like that will hand over their... Um, you know, they're sample books, right. and I use those, so I go into scrap store and buy a sample book, so it's quite random what type of felt you'll get on the back. But okay. it will, so the colours won't always be the same as what's shown, but you'll know that you, you've diverted that felt from landfill as well. So obviously I've paid them for it, but yeah. you know, it's, but it's a way of using scraps as well. You know, That's so brilliant. Nice, yeah, so, nice and ethical. Yeah, yeah, I think so, and it's just how everybody's helping each other out, aren't they, in yeah. that way? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. um, so how are you getting on there? I'm fine, yeah. I'm just, I've gone, so I've done the top of the peak all the way up to the bottom. Yeah. And so that would be, if we carried on with that, then we would be doing the first quarter. Right. Um, so how do you sort of, because you, are you coming to the end of your yarn there? Yeah, I am. Oh, so we're going to see you finish off. Yeah, yeah, so as you come to the end of your yarn, I'll just do this now. What you do is you turn it over. See that? Turn it over and then weave underneath. No knots. No knots. No <laughs> knots. Because sometimes if you put a knot into things, it will pull on the canvas. Because we right. use and we're using like an acrylic yarn on this, so we've just uh -huh. got to be a little bit slow with what you do. And then always snip off as you go along because sometimes if you don't, if you've got a long tail, sometimes it'll stitch its way back through to the front. Yeah. Snip that off. So we're already starting to get, and we're already, we've already got, gone quite far, really, haven't you we? You have, think, haven't you? That? And what about starting again? How do you, do you do the same thing where you thread it through the back? Yes, yes. So when you, st when you start again, I'll get a little bit, look at the... <laughs> I love that wool like so much. <laughs> <laughs> Just adore it. So, yeah, so thread your needle. You get a really big, chunky needle for this because it's chunky yarn and everything. Yep. And then all you do is you push it through from the back... Move it forward, put it through from the back, and hold on to the tail. See, there's a tail at the back. Yeah. If you hold on to that, and then stitch through, and then catch the tail as you're going. I and see. Yeah. So you've caught it. So you don't need to knot it in again. And then, as you look at the back, you will have caught it with your stitching. Right. And do you catch it? Catch it a couple of times. Yeah, catch it a couple of times, and then if you want to, so I'm coming back through there. If you want to, you can stick, you know, snip it off as you go along. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm doing things uh, the wrong handed here. <laughs> Say that again, sorry. I'm doing things the wrong handed. <laughs> I'm normally like doing left. Yeah, that's, I'm better now. I'm back on it. <laughs> no, you're fine. That's good. I know it's always difficult trying to show things to camera, isn't it? Yeah, yeah it yeah. is. And. Uh, at the moment, like lots of people doing things on like YouTube and things like that, it's just really hard to get the camera angle right, isn't it? But we've got the professionals here, so that's really great. Mm -hmm. So stitch along, and so you would stitch along, yep. and then you would get to the end, and then you'd start in your second colour. Excellent. All right, I'll do a quick recap then, if you, you want. Yes, lovely stuff. Um, oh.
let's have another look at these pin cushions. Jumper warm. Ah, excellent, right, that's the first one. I literally want clothes like this. <laughs> I literally, I just love the patterns. They're great, aren't they? I think it's because I really like geometric patterns as well. But that is a really, really nice one. Lovely colourways. Um, you've got the, the, that beautiful green particularly. I, lo I really like that because it's like a neon green. And then um, you've got that lovely, almost plummy colour. Then, there you go, those colours. Um, you get the felt. So as Tina said, it might not be this exact colour, but you get a nice piece of felt that would have ended up in landfill. So you're doing your bit. And then you've got your stuffing, which is made from recycled plastic. And then you also get your, um, I keep calling it a mesh, which it kind of is, uh, and also the needle. So have a little look, see if you like that particular one. Okay, then the next one along is called Step Up. Again, beautiful colourways. And then moving along, this one is the Crooked Flame. Fabulous, look at that. And then the next one, this one is your crisscross. Quarter of the stock gone here. Ah, oh, so this one is this one's the favourite so far. And then the next one is our um, what is it? Solar discs, solar discus. Excellent. There you go. That's a funky one as well. Liking those. Um, they're 19.99 each for the kits. Item number is 662682. No, it's not 689. <laughs> Um, another popular item is the book. Here it is for £9.99. Um, and you've got lots of fabulous projects in there that I'll, I'll have another little flick through. There you go, £9.99. Let's see. We've got um, 15 colourful projects in here. And let's have a look. You've got your colour chart. Talking about Bargello patterns. I have to say, it's a very reasonable price and you're getting a lot of knowledge in here. Um, oh, blended brooch and bangle. So we can do jewellery. Love that. Beautiful framed artwork. I, I'm loving the treasures box. Um, now, we're a third of the stock gone for our fabulous book. Look at these patterns. They're just delicious. Oh, hang on. Here we go. Really, look at that wall art. That is superb. Look at that. Zigzag cushions. There's so much in there. Yeah, uh, $9.99. Item number is 688380. Um, again, if you've got any questions for Tina, send them into studio at tachanda.com or pop them onto our Facebook page. Over to you then, Tina. Oh yeah. So we're gonna have a look little look at we was talking earlier on about what needle point is, and we were talking about it being a, a half cross stitch. And some of the um, Pin cushions, I think it's the um, solar discus and the step up and also crisscross, they are needle point. Um, so I'm just going to show you how you do needle point. Um, again, you follow the chart. Mm -hmm. um, sometimes needle point is printed onto the canvas and you go, go through a little bit like um, paint by numbers, you stitch in, which is really relaxing. We've got the charts on this, so it's a really great way if you're going to cross over from cross stitch into the wool, oh, wool work. Okay. You would be used to seeing a chart anyway. So again, I'm going to pull through and hold on to the back and hold on to the tail. I don't really knot anything because yeah. I suppose in one way I'm a little bit mean with yarn. <laughs> because a, a knot means, you know, money. <laughs> <laughs> Love that. And so what you do with um, needlepoint is you go from the bottom left to the top right. If you're left-handed, yeah. you can go from the right-hand side and go top right to bottom left. So it's, it's quite easy. And then what you do is you go in underneath where you've just come through and then bottom left to top right so I'm, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a line all the way across and with the um, solar discus and also the crisscross they're made up of um, squares that are 10 um, sort of 10 stitches wide and square right so you can so I'm not going to follow a particular pattern I'm just going to show you exactly how to do this type of stitch and so you're into the bottom left 
and top right so each time so whereas in cross stitch yeah you would be coming back now wouldn't you you'd be doing a line of halves mm -hmm. and then you would be coming back and going back in yeah but with um tapestry needlepoint really we never go back we're always, we we're always marching on. We're always marching on. And this is on, um, this canvas is um, called interlock canvas. Uh -huh. And it's um, cotton canvas. Right. And so um, it's a woven canvas. So it can, you know, when you first get it, it might feel, it feels quite stiff. Mm -hmm. And because we use doing such small designs, because it's sort of a stitch to gift idea, we don't need to use a frame um, because it's stiff enough. But, and it will soften up eventually. Right. So, and that, that's the difference. So with the plastic, obviously, it's always going to be, you know, as, as stiff as you like. And the um, seven count that's on the um, larger cushion, um, that's going to soften up straight away. So sometimes you might want to use a frame, but this is a great way of getting into needlepoint mm -hmm. um, with something small. And it's attainable as well, really, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. So I'm going to count across now and see how many I've done. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So I'm just going to show you how, so it's quite, relaxing really you'd be mm. following the chart so each one has got its own chart yep and i'm just going to show you how we do it and then sometimes with the um with the kits you might need to come down so you might the idea is that you finish off each sort of square mm -hmm. at you know at a go at, yep. I, I, at a go so i'll show you so you don't always have to go all the way across with some of these smaller patterns you can come down as well so i'm just going to stitch a whole square here sure um, now we've got queues on the phone lines if you can order online that is going to be your fastest way yep so see how i'm also going down and this way that i'm doing it here from top um right to bottom left is if you want to do it from the left hand side yep so you would be working out, I think I've got the camera right for my right hand, but you just go in and again, just bottom left to top right mm -hmm. and through. I'm using a huge needle here because we was <laughs> <laughs> it's the needle from the, um, using the acrylic yarns. But um, normally you would get sort of like a size, there's all different sizes of needles. Yeah. And in the kit you would get like, like a size 20 or a size 22. And so they're quite easy, they've got quite big eyes on tapestry needles, so you can thread them quite easily. What type of yarn do you like to use here? Um, this, so this, the yarn that are in, that's in the kits, and this is the yarn that I love. I love um, Anchor Tapestry wools okay. um, because they've just got such vibrant colours. Mm. And I love. We were talking a little bit about colour earlier. I like 1970s caravan sort of colours, really. <laughs> oh, <I> like, yeah, <laughs> brilliant. I do quite like a turquoise and a brown and a mustard. Yeah. So and they've got some really beautiful colourways, but. If you've already got some um, yarns at home, because a lot of people, we've got quite a lot of stash, haven't yeah. we, really? So if you've got a lot of stash at home, what you can do is, you know, get a kit and then you've got the pattern and then use the pattern again mm. with your own colours. So, yeah, so that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So I'm just going to show you how to do it. It's quite quick in a way, just stitching away. Then we're going to come back round. So we would have done like a, a ten, 10 square. Right. Stitch. And how do you come up with your designs? Would you just play? Yeah, I mean, I think because, look, you were saying earlier, I mean, I loved, I love a geometric design and I like order. I, you yeah. know, I like things to be symmetrical and I like order. But I love concrete and the sharpness of concrete. Oh, okay. And, yeah, so, but, and I also look, it's the texture, really, like with a lot of the um, variegated yarns as well. It really sort of, they almost inform your design mm -hmm. as well with what you've got. But, yeah, always looking, always seeing, always seeing shapes. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I think that's brilliant. <laughs> yeah, it's a really, it's a really... It's good to bring texture into different things, isn't it, really? Some, something that's flat, give it a bit of texture. Yeah. So, is the, did you say, is, is this a design you're just going freestyle with? Well, yeah, what I'm doing is, for the um, solar discus one, okay. you, for the solar discus, you've got, like, you're, you're doing um, 10 square, you know, it, it's, everything's right. based on 10 square rounds. So, you go around first and then you start to do the design. So, I'll be moving in to do the, the smaller parts of the design. Okay, cool. We're just having a little look at the solar discus one. There you go. Yeah. So you see how I'm doing? I'm doing like a turquoise. I'm almost doing like the one in the middle. So it's yeah. like a turquoise edging mm -hmm. going all the way around. Yeah, there's some great... Um, it's, it's a great way. Like I say, it's a great way to use up your wall. Yeah. But it's also a great way of, you know, learning different patterns. Mm. 
they're quite attainable, aren't they? Yeah. And with the pin cushions as well, the size of them means they're so nice and portable. Yes. So if yeah. you're going anywhere, maybe, you, you know, you are travelling by train somewhere. Yep. That's it. And you can then... Um, you can then have them, but also, I like I say, I do like them as like shelf objects. Yeah, objects. big objet, little <laughs> shelf <laughs> objet there, because um, it's just they're just really delicious to look at. And also, if you're thinking, well, I want to do a larger piece of work, mm. you can you know swatch it with a smaller pin cushion okay. pattern and yep. see exactly what you're doing. So they're quite um, quite versatile, really. Nice. So I'm going in there. Oh, the huge needle came off there. <laughs> Cool, so we've completed our square. Yes, yeah, so we've completed our square, and now what I'm doing is I'm going round and doing like a small little bit in the middle there. Okay. Three stitches, I think it is, from memory. <laughs> <laughs> going round like that. So you're sort of filling it. Filling yeah, you're it filling in it round. And if you can see, sort of already, you're, you've sort of made like a rounded yeah. shape there. That then, that's that, then that's why it's called discus because uh. it's got like it's almost like a little uh -huh. disc going on as well. So going into there like that. And then we're still, you know, we're still building up quite quickly, aren't yes, we? Yes, yeah, definitely. And because you know it, it's designed in little squares, you can say right, okay, the kettle's on. Yeah. Let's uh, let's make a cup of tea. Whilst the kettle's boiling, do a little square. Yeah, <laughs> I like that. <laughs> Stitch away. Uh huh. And you can see that now that has made a disc shape in the middle. Perfect. And then you would fill that in with the different colours as well. So you'd get a different colour of yarn. Yeah. And then you would f start filling in. So I've got some that I can carry on doing. Yeah, sure. But while you're. <laughs> while I'm doing my stuff. Yeah, yeah while you're doing your thing. <laughs> Excellent. Um, right, if you're just joining us, this is our sending you a hug cushion, and it is, it's very, like, mm, squishable. Um, and this is the Bargello stitch that I've been learning about since the start of the show, but it's a really lovely design. Again, the geometrics on it are brilliant. Look at that, it's beautiful, isn't it? And the yarn that's included is super soft. It's really nice, really tactile. And um, we have got all of your yarns here. Um, and of course you've got your, I can't think of the word. Canvas. Thank you, I yeah, couldn't think of the word then. Canvas. Seven count canvas. Question for you, Tina, yes. is, because um, it's a cushion, and we might have it on the sofa yeah. and we might accidentally spill something on it. How yeah. washable is it or is it... Yeah, I mean, you wouldn't, you would, it, you would be doing sort of like dabbing. You would dab, dab okay. cleaning. I mean, it is acrylic because, you know, you, it's something that you'd have all out all the time. Yeah. Um, so it is acrylic, so you could like, you know, wipe it down a little bit. But mm, it's yeah. with all of them, really, you would sort of, you know, dab it. And yes. You, you can also get um, the wool ones, you can get them sent to be specialist oh, clean. you can yeah. as well. Yeah. And so we choose our own material for the backing. Yes. Yeah. yeah. yeah you've chosen yeah. Fab fabulous material. Yeah, there. it's a lovely bit of, right. almost hessian-y at the back of my head. It is, look at that. It's really Really nice. So you choose your own material there, but oh, it's got a random thread on it. Let's oh, no. get rid of that. Let's get rid of that. Always there somewhere. Oops. There we go. Stay. Oh, well, I'm not going to get stuff. No, that's balance, it. Balance. Balance. <laughs> if you would like then to go for this lovely set, look at these beautiful colours of yarn. Um, then it's two payments of twenty-seven pounds and fifty pence. Or you can go for it outright at fifty-four pounds and ninety-nine pence. Three eight nine eight five three is the item number. Then we've got our frame kits. Um, remember, we've got queues on the phone lines. Fastest way to order is online. Um, so what you get in here is your lovely yarns and the, I love this silver. It's really lovely. It almost looks like uh, cha uh, chains itself, doesn't it? It looks beautiful. So you get all of that. You get your little mesh there and you also get your needle and you get a frame so you get literally got everything that you need in the kit which i love and full instructions everything comes with full instructions you've got two options this one is i think winter bright yeah lovely have a little look there and then we've got winter warm and this one has the gorgeous gold metallic thread in really nice i'll just show you the threads there you go let's pick this up it's all coming a little bit 
um, untangled there, but still, you get the idea. You can see those threads, see which ones you prefer to go for. Oh, look at that glistening. I love that. It's wonderful. $24.99 for either option. Item number is 347541. Uh, next, then, we've got the banner, which is behind me. It's a really nice banner, isn't it? Look at this. Very majestic. Um, very festive as well. But this reminds me of, um, as soon as I saw it, I was like, because, you know, most of you know that I used to work at Warwick Castle in the dungeons with the plague. <laughs> uh, I really must post some pictures of it anyway. Um, but this just reminds me of when I, we used to go to the castle and just seeing all of these banners up. They look really cool, don't they? Let's show you what's in the kit. Um, so you've got your grid there rolled up you've got your beautiful yarn which is super super soft you even get the little links there so that you can um, hang it up you get little rings hang on you've got the needle and you've got your lovely metallic thread plus full instructions 24 pounds and 99 pence 83 no 813929 then we've got our mural um, and this one, I'll just move out the way again, um, has like, it's almost like a, a metallic set of grids there. So there you go, you can just see that. It looks cool, doesn't it? Something a little bit different. Again, you'll get these rings so that you can hang them up. And beautiful designs, really, really nice. They look like ball balls, actually. Christmas yeah. ball balls, yeah. Mm -hmm. um, and then if I come forward, I can show you what you get. All of you lovely yarns. And then there you go. All right, £19.99. Item number is 969276. Then moving along, we have got our pin cushions. These have been very busy. They're such nice little pin cushions, aren't they? Um, so we have got our jumper warm. Have a look at that grid. Super cool. It's the, I, for me, it's actually not just the um, not not just the pattern, but I, for me, really makes it with that bright green. It's really good fun. You're also going to get the felt, like so, and then you've got the um, blah, 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 the stuffing made out of recycled plastic, and then you've also got your mesh. There you go. And so it's $9.99, uh, 19, sorry, $19.99, uh, and 20% of the jumper warm has now gone. Then moving along, this one is called our Step Up. Lovely colours there. <coughs> Excuse me. Lovely, like that design. Again, you get everything that you need in the kit. Uh, the Step Up is Needlepoint. Then the next one, the Crooked Flame. A quarter of the stock has gone on this one. This one's your Bargello technique. And then again, the next one that we've got is the uh, crisscross. Have a good look at that one. Um, this one is the needlepoint technique. Love that. Reminds me of a little game or something. Um, and then our final one is the solar discus. So this is the one that Tina's kind of going along with the theme of. And here we can see the lovely design. It's just a question of which one, if not several of them, you could do. And of course, once you've got the pattern, you can do it over again. Here's our lovely book. Now, this is proving really popular. 15 projects in here, loads of information. I mean, that is such a good price. This is a lovely gift, not only for yourself, but for somebody else for Christmas. Loads of projects there. Um, let me flick through them. Oh, Kim's done the maths. She says 66 pence per project. <laughs> Too cheap. She's done the maths. <laughs> I certainly couldn't do those maths. There we are. So it tells you about, it tells you the different projects. So we've got a blended brooch and bangle, Aztec accents, Florentine fancy, lilting lumber. Let's find the lilting lumber. What's that one? Um, 38. Let's have a little look. I'm curious. Lilting lumber. 38. 38. Oh, that's a nice one. 
Oh, so I think that's really pleasing to the eye. Fabulous. Um, that treasure box, adore that. What else do we have? Uh, the Florentine box. That's a. That's quite. That's. That's quite a big one, isn't it, Tina? Yeah, yeah, that's that's a huge one that you can put all your bits and pieces in, really. Not, oh, do you know what that would be good for? The kids' toys. Yeah, someone's made them for, for their kids' yeah. toys. Because, it's again, it's very tactile. I love that. Now, that's like an optical illusion. Yeah. Uh, brilliant. So the optical square. And then, you. Uh, oh, yeah, there's the banner that we've seen. And a zigzag cushion. Fabulous. Oh, bunting. <laughs> nice. That's cool, isn't it? 9 99 for this book is excellent value. 688-380 is the item number. Um, you can call us as ever, but your fastest way to order is still online. Okay, how are you getting on there, Tina? Yeah, well, I've been carrying on with the... Um discus pattern yeah i've stitched i've stitched away and i've almost finished like my first square cool so stitching away see i've just used the colors that i've got <coughs> and so i've done the turquoise and then it got green around it and now i'm putting pink in the middle so it's a really nice pattern to be able to and um, once you've got the idea of it you can carry on stitching really carry on stitching through so yeah it's quite gratifying really you can do even do it standing up <laughs> That's it. So just carrying on stitching in that. That's like the half cross stitch, yeah. or it's also called tent stitch. So you can see that I'm starting to build and build and build a really small disc as mm. we're going along. Looks very effective. Yeah, it is. It's and it fit. It's great because you know just do a little bit every now and again it's you know it's darker now isn't it a lot of the time so a lot of us you know if we're stitching away sometimes you know it's nice just to be able to stitch something in daylight quite quickly. Now, we've had a question from Amanda. Yep. So she's asking, so when you've finished doing that, how do you actually turn it into a cushion? Yeah, so you've got the felt, you've got the felt that's on the back that you've got over there. Yeah. And the instructions come with it as well. So in the instructions, it tells you how to turn your beautiful piece of stitching uh -huh. into a pin cushion. And you also get the um, thread that you stitch all around. So it's more hands hand stitching that you yeah. go you use a backing stitch all the way round and you you guided by the backing stitch by the actual canvas itself yeah so you can stitch in and out the canvas and back it and then you push it through uh -huh. and then stuff it with your recycled stuffing fabulous <laughs> um, she also says that she's loving the patterns and um, it's really nice to see something different oh that's really nice to yeah. know and I, I think i think it's good isn't it sometimes you see that that's the thing with color sometimes colors shout to you don't they yeah um but also it's nice to see something you can look at a pattern like a small pincushion pattern for example and you can think well do you know what i've got quite a lot of browns yeah browns and blues uh -huh. i'll do it in these colors you know yeah. and then carry on really and then get a different get a different pattern absolutely yeah so stitching away so you can see that it's it builds up quite quickly into your lovely little discus nice pattern yeah fabulous yeah Oh, are you right to... Oh, we, there we go. We can see it now. Okay. Lovely stuff. So you can see that you've started. And then you would have, I think it's five, five tens, I think 50 across. Mm -hmm. So you're stitching away. And because this is a um, 12 count canvas, you get quite a nice tight feeling on it as yes. well, really. Because sometimes if you're stitching on 10 count, it's, you know, it can be, get, get a bit looser. But as you can see, it's starting to build up my disc. Nice. For anybody who doesn't know what a count is... Yep. Are you able to tell yep. us? Yes, so um, all canvases are, are counts, and even though it's all woven in uh, Europe, this this um, canvas, um, it's per inch. Per so inch. what it means, it's like, you know, 10 holes per inch. Right. It's the same on with cross-stitch canvas as well. You know, you'll have something like 24 point. It's, it, that's exactly the same as what it means. Yep. Per inch, how many holes, so how many stitches you can get within that inch. Excellent. Thank you. Excellent. So carry on. Stitch away because we get yeah new viewers all the time yeah yeah and that's and that's the thing isn't it and it's yeah. um, this type of canvas with it being interlock it doesn't move as much there's a different canvas called mono canvas oh. and some people might you know do their kits using mono canvas but that moves quite a bit uh -huh. so you would need a frame for that but these are just so small that you can um, carry on so this is my final stitch of my first ten yeah. 
and again so I've just used the colours of walls that I've got over here uh -huh. but they are pretty similar to your ones <laughs> <laughs> and then what you would do is you would have more different colourways and so it's the same colours but they'll be in a different order right and then that and then you move it across and then that will build up your pin cushion excellent are you all right to then show us um the frame option yep okay. marvelous oh the gold <laughs> <laughs> are you like me a magpie i know i absolutely love it well i live in the jewelry quarter in birmingham so yep. you know <laughs> so yeah if you come through so we're going to fill in with the gold and you can see the yarn that we've used again is like a variegated yarn yeah so again each one will be unique and what I like about these is that you can almost make them as a card, you know, hand, you know, right on the back of the frame. Mm -hmm. And then it can come out every year then. It's like building a memory. Yeah. Stitching away. So we're still following, still following the, um, but the Bargello way of going across the canvas. And the way that you would have done, well, the way that you stitch this, is that you stitch row by row by row first of the um, variegated yarn, yeah. and then we're filling it in with the lovely liquid gold. <laughs> <laughs> and I think this is nice because it's nice, you know, to sort of get something, especially with the colour of the frame as well. The mm. frame is quite sort of, um, sort of browny, war a warm brown, isn't it? And yes. it's nice to have that makes it feel a little bit more traditional even though the yarns that we're using are not necessarily traditional um, stitch yarns that we would use so yes you've got that beautiful gold going on there and there's lots of gold in this yeah in this one do you want me to show you the silver as well because you love the silver oh why not I why not why not <laughs> let me just move on look <laughs> <laughs> it's so good so this one is b based on like the northern lights okay yeah it, it's a, like the northern lights so you've got the um the yarn the yarn is quite thick yeah so and you've got that beautiful yarn so you get three different even though you can't really see it you know when it's finished you get three different ways of color of this type of yarn right Let's stitch through how long a piece of yarn do you like to work with? I like to do fingertip to elbow, right? Um, because then it doesn't all twist around. Not if you if you have a really long piece, sort of like go la like that, it's, <laughs> it's you know you, it it might be easier because you don't have to thread it as often. Hmm. But <laughs> but it's um, see how it's changing from the browns to the blues there. It's yeah, lovely. that is yeah. Gorgeous. So you always you know sh a shorter piece of yarn is probably always better. Um, and then you're not pulling the canvas. It's not so important on the plastic canvas because you can't really pull that out of shape. Right. So I'll stitch away. So that's the pattern. Again, this is a Bargello pattern. Mm -hmm. So you, you are you going across. along one? Is it yeah. one and down? Yeah, so it's always in the middle. So this, the size of this um, stitch is four threads. So you count up one, two, three, four, and go through and then into the middle so you're almost making like zigzags yeah. going up and down zigzags so and i'm oh, sorry no carry on oh, i was just going to say so obviously with cross stitch we're often told to start in the middle but i notice with this we don't yeah have to. i mean i think you know traditionally you would have start you know you can start in the middle with bargello yeah um you know and stitch one side and stitch the other side but i think it gives you a great big boost of confidence if you see a full row yeah, starting okay. on if you sort of see like the and that's why i call it the foundation row yeah, because it's just about building up your confidence. So you can see this. This sort of looks like the Northern Lights, doesn't it? This one it does. Delish, right? Let's get the <laughs> silver on quick. <laughs> <laughs> I so love how passionate you are. I know. <laughs> I mean, I mean, I just love this. <laughs> this look. I mean, the thing is with Lurex yarn, it is like woven, so it's almost like a tube. Yeah, it is. Woven, isn't it? and so you know, sometimes there's quite there's more than enough wool in all of the kits, Good but stuff. sometimes it might fray a little bit, and then you know, so going in. So again, this is our second row. Yep carry on through again hold on to the back that's silver how it shines mm. and in and what happens is the stitch below yep. shares the bottom of so the bottom of the stitch above is the top of the stitch below okay and it's so nice that you've included the frames yeah and this the silver one comes with a black frame yeah so it's a really nice it's a nice contrast so but again, you know, twinkling away, like, and you can bring it out every year, put it on your mantelpiece, and you're sort of festive ready, aren't you? You are festive ready. <laughs> Stitching away. Uh -huh. And um, I suppose you, obviously you are counting, but you're not 
you can still you can still sort of have the telly on and listen yeah, to it. Yeah, you can. I mean, once you've got the foundation row in, like the first row at the top, all you're ever doing with Bargello after that is you're stitching up. Yeah. You know, you're, you're doing the same length of stitch, but you're stitching up to the top of the... Um, the top the bottom of the stitch below whereas sort of like with the needle point ones you're fighting when you're following a chart a lot more uh -huh. um it might be that you're sort of stopping looking and then but then once you've got especially with the pin cushion popcorn idea it's the same pattern repeated again and again so once you've got that in your head yep. you're off really but the charts for these are large as well so you can oh that's good oh in yeah. fact if i got one here yeah there should be one. Yeah, there yeah, be yeah. One it's in here. It's in here. That's nice. I can't. I can't stand um, small charts yeah, when you yeah. squint in. Yeah, that's it. So it shows that you shows that you across there. So there you go. You can see that's nice and large for yeah. you. And it shows you the first row, yeah. and then the next part of the pattern, and then on. And the, there's another chart that shows you the full pattern. Let's have a little look. Is it in here? Yep. This one? Yep. Excellent. And it shows you the full pattern as well. So you've got, it's, it's all, every, all the things, all the kits that I do, it's all processed from start to finish. So you've got, you know, three charts, whereas you may only have one chart in the book, for example. Right. In the kits, you've got step by step by step. Excellent. Yeah. Very good. And you've done it in colour for us. So yes, so we I know. can follow that as well. <laughs> I noticed that. Which is handy because, like, if you say, look, if you've done a lot of cross stitch, sometimes it's a lot of its symbols, isn't it? It is. It's a lot of black and white symbols, which is great. It's a great way to follow it, but sometimes it's quite nice just to be able to have the relaxing um, colour in front of you. Nice. Um, just a quick mention of the banner. This one is um, starting to get really busy if you would like it. Oh, the back is so neat as well. <laughs> but the thing is, it's always going to be against the wall, isn't it? Yeah, no, but it is neat. That's why I was doing a cheeky little peek there. Yeah, yeah. Um, and again, you've popped in some of the metallic threads. Yeah. It's really pretty. Oh, we've got gremlins in the system again, so apologies the details aren't on screen, but it's 24 99 Item number is 813-929. Lovely jubbly. Oh, sorry. <laughs> 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 totally walked into the shop there. How are you getting on there? Yeah, fine. I've just I've done a lot of my silver row going okay. across. So that's how it. And then you start building up with the different colours of um, walls. Yeah. So the next colour along, it's almost like it's almost got like tutti frutti colours going through it as well. And yep. so then you would Love mix those. that up. Do you? So are you just showing us for purposes? Like what I'm saying is. Do you leave those other threads dangling, or you? you no, I'm just. I've just left them. Okay, just that's Because right. it, it should be four put peaks across. Right. I'm just doing it with for three, just for because we haven't got that much. Yeah. Time and then carry on. So well, you can see this one, even though you've got a lot of the pinks coming through it. Yeah. You've got different colours. Mm -hmm. Different colours. So look at these beautiful oranges that are hopefully going to come out now yeah. as well. Yeah. Look at that. I love all these different yarns you can get now. They're so beautiful, aren't they? Amazing, beautiful colours. Yep. And you can, you know, make something really great out of not very much, you know. And again, so this is starting to take shape now Already, as the yeah. um, colours going across. Excellent. Um, so, should we have a little look at our two colourways again? Um, we've got your winter bright and your winter warm, and these are the gorgeous yarns and um, the metallic silver thread that you get here. You're right, the, t the metallic thread is almost like a tube, isn't it? It is, it's yeah. like a tube, like a woven tube. Yeah, and um, then you've got the mesh and you've got the needle. And this is what it looks like. Uh, you get the frame too, that's very important. You get the black frame. Yeah. And then with the winter warm, you'll get the gold um, material. And you can see this is a nice warm frame and it's 24.99 is the item number um are you if you if anybody's got any questions after the show where can we find you um i've got my the people can email me yeah, yeah okay. people can email me it's at tina francis mm -hmm. i think it's on, is it on the is it on your, your page on the which one oh, is it on the is it on your pages or should i just 
Um, well, no, just no. tell everybody. Yeah, so it's Tina Francis. So my um, website is tinafrancis.co.uk. Cool. And you can go on there. But you can also find me most of the time. Yeah. You can find me on Instagram, uh, which is a uh, Tina Francis Tapestry on Instagram. Tina Francis. And that's where I'm. That's where I mainly sort of live because I love all of the images that you yeah. can see on there, and it's a good community as well. Nice. Um, and then just for the last minute or so. Let's show you the book again. Um, 15 Colourful Projects by Tina. And I'll have a little flick through. Look at that. We can see. Oh, this, that's cool, isn't it? Yeah. In the frame. <laughs> Love that. Little cushion. Wall art. Bunting in fabulous colours. Tells you about tools and materials. The colour charts and patterns. Like so, tells you lots of different techniques, uh, basic stitching, and then so if a beginner got this, you, it, it, you yeah. they'll totally be fine. Yeah, they will. But and because it's because it's um, printed by published by Search Press, so yes. they are the masters at step they by are. step process in their publishing. That's great stuff. Um, Nine ninety nine. Then item number is six eight eight three eight zero. Tina, thank you very much. Thank you. So, um, will we see you before Christmas? Or? No, no. no. <laughs> we'll see you in the new year then. Yeah, that's um, it. And you have a fabulous Christmas. And you. Have a really good time. And thank you for dressing the same as the cushion. <laughs> the it, yeah, as it's the absolutely cushion. fantastic. It's your, it's your favourite colours. <laughs> <laughs> Love that. Thank you once again. Thank you. Right, don't go anywhere. As always, we've got more coming up after this short break. Stay tuned. Heartfelt Creations, the one day special, uh, followed by Best of Mama Makes. And after that, ah, now the gyro cut craft tool. If you haven't seen that, it's a brilliant piece of equipment. Hi, my name is Blanche Siegmann. I'm the owner of the company La Blanche. The company La Branche is a crafting company located in Germany. For over 20 years I'm designing and selling stamps, paper crafting products and home decoration. As a passionate crafter myself, I make sure all our products are of highest quality and easy to use. We produce a whole range of products. We produce paper products, we have also shrink sleeves, for your jars, glasses, we have home decoration products, paints and wall decals. Everything, the whole range of crafting we produce for you. I hope you enjoy watching us at Hochanda and Crafting with La Blanche. Hi, I'm Lucy from Sweet Poppy Stencils, the Craft Station Limited. We're a craft retailer and we specialise in stainless steel stencils. Our stencils are manufactured in metal. Uh, this allows us to have designs that are intricate. We also have new products coming on board. Um, our craft bonds, our uh, pole drops and our acrylic paints are joining us. We've recently joined Hachanda and we're really excited. This allows us to demonstrate and show our products. Um, we know customers like seeing um, the demonstrations. So make sure you tune in and don't miss the Sweet Poppy shows on Hachanda. Hi, I'm Lou from Studio Light. Studio Light has been around for about 40 years now. They're based in the Netherlands. It's a family run business with a great heritage. The products that Studio Light bring us are very diverse, fantastic dyes, great papers, but all round on trend. Over the 40 years, Studio Light have evolved. They listen to me, the demonstrator, and you, the customers, and really take our ideas on board. On the Echander Shows, we'll share with you the diverse techniques and products will inspire you 
to produce your own individual pieces of artwork. So make sure you don't miss the studio light shows on a chanda. Hello everyone, we're the Pink Ink Ladies. I'm Kathy, And I'm Mel. We've been with Hochanda right from the start and we've been crafting for 30 years. We're passionate about fabric, so our main thing is to stamp on fabric or stencil on fabric. We can't wait to show you all our new hand illustrated stamp and stencil designs, whether you're using them on cards or soft furnishings. Kathy and I get together at Pink Ink Towers and we can't wait to share our ideas. We choose all our subject matter together and then Kathy goes away and hand illustrates all our fantastic finished designs and we pride ourselves on the quality of our range. On our shows on Hachanda we're excited to share all our hints, tips and techniques for you to get the most out of our products. Please tune in to the Pink Ink Shows, get inspired on Hachanda. I just noticed something about our Christmas opener. You know, everybody's going like this and waving. If you look where everybody stood outside, there's the odd one that's just going. <laughs> I'm not giving no names. No names at all. But I am going to give a name of the guest, of course, from this show. It's the one day special. We've got the wonderful Nikki back with us as well. Hello. Oh, How it's been are you? a while since we've had a show. It has time. actually been a good few months. Yeah, I, I think, think it has. Yeah. Oh, so it's nice we'll to be back, back together, together again today. And of course, when it comes to the one day special, it's been busy. In fact, 60% of the stock has now gone. We've got things that people have been waiting for on this show as well. So if you haven't caught the earlier shows, do stay with us. Let's have a look at the one day special though because we've got an amazing bundle here. Now, everything that you can see in front of me is part of the one day special in fact. We've got of course stamps, we've got dies, we've got the paper pad in there as well. We've got an inspiration page and it all comes in a fabulous bag. I'm going to get that bag actually. It's under <laughs> the table. Here it is. I know people collect these, don't they Nikki? They do actually, yes. And Alex likes the fact that it reminds her of the old school swimming bags. <laughs> that is so true, actually. <laughs> that is so true. That but is the thing is, you could decorate it. Of course you I, could. You can beach bag. Yeah. Yeah, put your or you could just there keep you it. You want to know what you've got for your lunch? Or you could just <laughs> keep it and put your heartfelt collection in it. <laughs> That's what it's made for. Do store your collections in there. It's just a nice bonus, isn't it? Let's have a look, Nikki, because we've got, of course, hmm. when, we, when it comes to heartfelt, it's always about the paper pad, isn't it? We've got so many elements in there. They work with the dies, they work with the stamps, they work on their own. Can we go through this? They do. And what, what I always say the heart, um, heartfelt paper pads are, they're more like a paper kit than an actual paper, um, a paper pad, if that makes sense. These are absolutely paper kit. beautiful, I like, aren't they? I, like, I prefer paper kits. You know, I've got you? to thank Jimmy for this because he set this little easel oh, up I for see. me to make it easier. And then, you know, I started walking the wrong way because I can't get my left and my right. I don't even have to turn them over. I was just checking that. I don't even have to turn them around. Busy, they are double sided. He's done a great job. Hasn't what do you it? think to the colours, though? They are beautiful. Aren't they? Kind Absolutely of like soft beautiful. denim blues, that really nice soft red, the golds in there, the creams, the kind of sage green in there they are stunning and as always you get those individual elements in there you get different sized tags you get oh i love that one with the circle and you've got that band that ribbon yeah band you've got your through. matting and layering all done for you so you can make some really nice easy quick cards with the paper pad that's nice isn't it make a nice scrapbook layout definitely 
Oh, no. Yeah, we always think of albums as well when we come to Heartfelt, don't we? I think I've got two together there, actually. Just have a look. Oh, there we are. Look at that. Lots of elements on that one. Lots okay. of elements. Um, you could fussy cut them out. You could cut them all out, make a little note lip, um, gift set. You could use them for your scrapbooking. You could use them for your mini albums. Oh, these are nice. Aren't they? Doing life together. I've not seen many pages so like that before. They're really good, aren't they? They have. To, they've done quite a have few. They? Yeah, but they kind of like all the sentiments are always different. And what I love about this collection is that it is really for any occasion. I'm thinking you could do winter birthdays with it. You could do Christmas cards with it. Oh, that's nice as well. If you want something mm. a little bit, you know, a little bit more subtle in the background, that would work beautifully. It's I nice, loved the gate it? that we saw a moment ago as well. The gate, actually, because I was I've worked with in. you for a while. We actually launched those dies, the gateway dies, um, about two weeks ago, Catherine. So, if you did purchase those gateway dies, they will work beautifully with that this. Is lovely, isn't it? Absolutely gorgeous. Yes, I, I do wish that was my secret garden. Unfortunately, it's not. I'd love that. My fa one of my favourite books when I was little was The Secret Garden. It's been made into a film, hasn't it? It has, yeah. It's beautiful. Yeah. You've got all the pretty kind of backing papers in there as well. Lovely. As you say, the colourway, the colour palette is absolutely stunning. Those hints of gold in there with the mm. urn as well. Do you know, it just keeps going and going and going. Do you know, I'm just going to skip through a little bit faster, but there, I need to show you this one because, of course, you're going to be able to die cut these out. You've got the stamps that go with these as well, remember. But, you know, if you want those ready coloured images, they're also there in the paper pad as well. Now, a lot of people, I know this is true because we get emails in saying so, uh, a lot of people do like to go for the extra paper pad. They go for the one-day special, but they go for the extra pad as well. You can do that. Details at the bottom of the screen for the paper pad on its own. If you are going for the one-day special, details at the side of the screen. We've not even showed you the dies and the stamps yet. But there is a freedom price. Look at this and look at the saving. Wow! Without freedom, you're still saving £20, but freedom members, £29.49. If you're not already a member, you can join for £5.97 and you can make those savings today. That is beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Anything with script on and flourishes. And there's that gate again. You've got the quartets there. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. And it just keeps going. There's still more I haven't shown you, but we do need to sort of get to uh, the stamps and the dies as well, Nikki. So tell me about these. You know, Jimmy does such a lovely job of putting these out and then I make a complete hash of putting them back again. Not to worry, not to worry. Right, let's have a look at the stamps. Look at this, this is huge. Isn't that a big urn? And the nice thing about it is, is the fact that you can make a nice easy shape card using the stamp and the die together. Of course, so there is the die that goes with it. Beautiful flowers you can create with that. Lovely, so part of the one day special there, if you are going for the big bundle. There we are, and then we've got, this is a useful one, isn't it? You can build those sprays, those bouquets. Yeah, and the thing is with, with, with the florals that we've got in the floral shop is the fact that they will work alongside all the other floral, floral collections that we've brought out in the past. So they're nice fillers as well for any collection. Definitely. And you've, got you've got leaves, you've got berries dance. in there, you've got blossoms. And we did have a really, really nice lady that emailed in on the earlier show and did tell us the name of some of those, but I've forgotten. Oh, I forgot of oh. what we said. I I think I might have overheard this. Was it Kimberly? Kimberly, yes, it was, was that Kimberly right? that emailed in. And... Oh, look at these as well. Oh, now are these the oh, rose hip buds on this one. The, the, the rose hip buds were on the other one. On the other one. Yeah, so I'm you've got your rose hips. As well. That's it. Oh, I, yeah. Right. Let me just show you the stuff. Just stamps. needed you to jog my to memory well. a little bit. There we are. Beautiful. But the two that I've just shown you as well, of course, we have got them. We have got them yeah. for you. So again, the stamps and the corresponding die, all part of the one day special. There we are. Rhododendron. Yes, we do have some rhododendron buds. Perfect. Yes. Let's have a look at one or two samples as well while we're here. <laughs> So the really nice thing about Heartfelt is because you've got the stamps that coordinate with the dyes, you can make any colour. So you could do a vase full of bright red flowers if you wanted, use the colour palette from the paper pad, use other flowers that you've got in your collection. So the designer on that one has used the dahlia. 
You don't have to use the urn. You could just you use some of those florals along with one. some decorative dyes and a sentiment. Lovely. Oh, this is nice. The blue one. Let me just bring I went very one. bright with this one, which is quite unusual for me. Is it? <laughs> if it hasn't got a name on it, it's mine. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, I went very bright with that one. Oh, and I can see the cardinals in here, the birds. Yes, yeah, so even Christmas cards. You know, just think about all those Christmas collections that you've got. Maybe it's just a Christmas birthday or a winter birthday. Gorgeous. Use some of the papers to fussy cut out and create a nice large card. Oh, this is nice as well, Nikki, because the shape of the card, the urn itself, to create has that actually base created to the card. The card yeah. Lovely. Absolutely gorgeous. Well, we've got the details there for you. Three payments. We can split this down into £31.64. pence. With that huge saving for everybody. Now, Freedom members, let's just remind you there again, because you've got that biggest saving, of course. So your Freedom payments, £28.48 pence if you are a member. Remember, you can join today if you're not already. 60% of the stock has gone of the one-day special, 470252. Um, dispatch date is from the 15th of December. It's something else I'm just going to mention as well, Nikki. I know we've seen this here in the UK. Mm before anybody else. We have. So um, obviously Heartfelt have given some sneaky peeks out. You probably would have all seen it. Um, and Heartfelt don't actually um, launch it, I think, until tomorrow. Yeah. So yes, this is probably the first time that you've actually seen the full collection. Perfect. Well, we do have another collection as well because we do understand the time of the year. Perhaps you can't quite afford all of that or maybe you want to break it down a little bit further. So what we can offer is the paper pad that we've seen, exactly the same one, with the urn as well. Now, you are getting the stamp and the die. So not just one or you have to choose. You'll get both of those. You also get the inspiration sheet. You also get that fabulous bag as well. Look at the price again, still a saving fee, £5 saving, £46.97, 634929. Two payments of £23.49. And don't forget anything else that you're purchasing, once you've opened that flexi basket, you can still split the payments on other items as well. Now, it wouldn't be a heartfelt show for me now, I don't think, if I didn't see those beautifully shaped flowers. And, of course, we do see lots of moles. And I know, Nikki, because I heard, I did watch a little bit last night. When I got home, I managed to catch a little bit of the launch. Mm -hmm. um, I hear we've waited a long time for this. We have. have been it's got to, to probably be two months now. We have all been waiting for the Zinnia mould. So oh. if you did purchase the Zinnia collection, these are the moulds that coordinate with those flowers. Now, of course, your mould comes in two pieces, and you run this through your die cutting machine, don't you? Yes, it's you got do. the larger mouth, and yeah. it does shape those flowers for you. So I'm, I've got more samples here as well. Always worthwhile going for these, especially if you're going for the one-day special, the paper pad, because you've got those elements already printed. You can stamp out and die cut your own flowers as well. But what a difference it makes. Look at the dimension. Now, we'll have a look at the card, and then I'm going to tip this on its side so you can really see the dimension that we're getting. But it's not just about, you know, giving that dimension and the layers there, but it does put the veins of the petals on Nikki as well, doesn't it? You can it, feel the texture it does. in there. You, yeah, yeah, and you can just see beautiful. a big, big difference in when you use the flower shaping mould to when you're just using your flower shaping kit. You will still need your flower shaping kit. I will, will add that um, because what the mould does is gives you the basic kind of mould, the basic um, embossed design on those flower petals. It is truly beautiful, isn't it? Now, we're not just talking cards as well. We are talking those albums. Home decor, wreaths, you know, make nice sprays for your table. I can see this running right through the year, depending on the colour as well. £3 saving on this one, £18.99, 874.790, and approaching 60% of the stock gone on that one as well. And, you know, you can go through all those different size, sizes and the leaves as well. Let's have a look at the next one, though. We have got the small one for you. Look at this. Oh, so we can do various different sizes anyway, Nikki, can't we? Yes, but it's you can, nice yes. to have the option of going much smaller and layering together. Can we do that? As yeah, well you can layer one? them up. Um, I mean, in the Zinnia collection, there was, and I'm trying to think how many size petals, whatever holes we've got there is. So there was various different sizes. So you've got the larger ones going right down to the smaller one. And these, both these moulds, will you, you'll be able to use all those petals. Brilliant. In. Lovely stuff. And a saving yeah. again, a £3 saving on this one. 
60% gone again, 18.99. I should imagine most of you are going for both of these actually, so you've got that extra option of expanding on what you're making. 151485 is the item number. Now we'll pop over to the website briefly because of course you're going to find much more there. Now the flower shaping kit that Nick has mentioned, you can see it there. You can see the details, you know, look at the reviews as well. I know Nikki loves hers. It doesn't matter whether you've got the mold or not, you will use this as well. We've got all sorts of other items. We've got the dobers on the website for you. We've got the storage folders. We've got uh, the different sleeves as well. The magnetic panels are there. The storage folders are absolutely beautiful. Do you know, I do know, Nikki, a lot of people buy those each time there's a new collection. They keep each collection in the storage. They do. I mean, you They're can fabulous. hold seven stamp sets in there. But then if you purchase the magnetic stamp sheets that we have on the show, you can stamp, put your stamps on there and your dies. Amazing, amazing. Do you know, I'm just going to see if we can find one of those uh, folders because they are truly beautiful. I'm picking up a couple of things, actually. I mean, years ago, and I'm going back many, many years ago when I first started crafting, we used to just keep um, all our stamps and dies and everything in drawers and our craft rooms were a mess. But now we want our craft rooms to look stylish and this is a great way to store your stamps. It's beautiful whichever it way you look at it, isn't it? And then to open it up, it is magnetic, I believe, isn't it? it? Is. The little clasp on there. So there you can see you've got your mechanism already in there, your ring binder in there. It's really deep as well. Look at the depth of that. Yep, so it's, as I say, seven stamp sets. I love the little click it makes as well. And then if you do want to go for those clings as well, you'll find those under a different item number. But I've just picked one of those up so you can see what they look like. You can see they've already got the holes in them. Now, you do get 15 in total. You get three sets of these. There's five in this one, but I only picked up one packet. But you will get 15. Just 9 99 for those as well. We'll show you a picture so you can see exactly what you're getting. 021997. So that's the cling ones for your stamps. And then if you want to go for the magnetic ones, these are for your dies. Here we are, look. Stamp and die magnetic storage. You can use this for both. Twelve ninety nine nine three four seven two three. Well worth popping those into your basket if you can do because you are going to use them. You want to keep everything nice and neat, don't you? There we go. Lots of goodies available. But demonstration time, Nikki. What we're going to see first of we're all? We're going to make a urn shaped card. Now on the last show, I did do this one. Oh, I like the colours of that. And I did it so that it was like tent fold and it stands like that. And then I embossed it onto the paper as well. I even did a bit of fussy cutting look and layered that up. But on the one that we're going to do now, I'm going to do the card sort of like on the side. So you might think, well, that doesn't look like an urn. But it, trust me, it will look like an urn when you've done. So to create your card blank like this, what you want to do is you're going to take your die and you're going to have your card facing you with the um, spine just down there. And then you are just going to pop that just over the edge. So you could go over, which is what I did with part of this one, because what happens is, once you've die cut that out and you get this part, which is giving you your card base, you will die cut another urn out, which is the one that's going to be on the front, and that will cover that side up. Lovely. So it will look like that. So it, from the front, both cards will look the same, but they just open differently, which is really nice. So it's your choice on what um, you actually um, require. So that could be a very ornate fruit bowl as well. It could. In actual fact, you could actually cut that bottom off, couldn't you? You could. Do you know, I can think of something else I it could be. <laughs> Go on then. A potty. A potty. An old-fashioned potty. An old-fashioned potty That's all they that had. used to go. You yes, could, they yes. did. Yes, you know, in those days when they didn't have the proper flushing I toilets, remember that's what they had I would have bed. I would have only probably been about three or four, but I remember staying at my nan's house and she didn't have an upstairs toilet and to save us going down we had a potty underneath a nice china oh they were gorgeous that's what i mean one they of those beautiful. beautiful porcelain ones <laughs> so yes a potty <laughs> <laughs> right so i've already stamped and die cut out my urn but i've decided because i've got some pink and blue elements here that i want to pop in there i want to add some more pink well i want to add some pink to it so i've done it in gray but then I'm going to take my dauber, and I have no idea what this is going to look like, but I'm just going to do it. It's all about 
if it doesn't work, then start again. But not live on TV. So, but I'm sure it's going to work okay. because it will just blend. I don't want it to look like a mucky pink, though. Okay. Oh, look, and I've got it on my hand now, and I've made a bit of a mess Details already. Details on the screen for the 12 Stack and Store Precision Dorbers. Again, worth pop popping in your basket. Stock up on these. You see Nikki using these all of the time. 069154. Love my Dorbers. So, yeah, oh, look, yeah. I can just add a touch of pink. I mean, obviously, it's blending in with my grey that I put on there. And I've made a right base. I've got it on the end of my finger now. That's what it is. <laughs> And then just, and I can just add um, as much pink as I like, but then it's going to blend in, and I'm going to go real. I'm going to go for it. Nikki, we're all very Get jealous of your it. nails. They're only stick on nails, I, though. Jo, oh, they, <laughs> I I just can't seem to ever have nice nails because I, of what I do all the time. I'm always doing something, crafting, woodwork, whatever I'm doing, you know, and I look like I've been digging the garden with them half the time. But do you know what I did the other day? I changed the ink in my printer and I had a leaky ink and it got everywhere and it got right down the side of my nails and I've scrubbed and scrubbed and, <laughs> oh, it's awful. Well, do you awful. know, I cannot work without my nails on. Really? I, am, I've, I'm, I think I've been wearing nails now for about 10 years and um, they are actually, I think, getting longer. But um, yeah, if I go to try and work without, I can't do it. Not even flower making. I have, I have my oh, nails see, I'm on. I'm totally the opposite. The only time, the time I've ever had nails done, and I did it as a favour for a friend actually was training, but I was going on holidays. I thought, oh, God, I look nice for my holiday. I couldn't even pick anything up. It did it. Passport, keys, coins. I couldn't pick anything up. I ended up. Buying but some it's, acetone and soaking it, them off. It's like having a pair of tweezers on, on my fingertips. I suppose it's what you get used to, isn't it? It is. But I'm quite happy with that. Now, I know I have made a few splodges. Not splodges, but marks there. But it will cover up. I will put some glitter or something on it. But there is my vase, or urn, should I say. Really big as well. If I put a stamp pad, you can see... How big that is. That's a full size stamp pad. Isn't it big? It is huge. But it is nice as well to be able to have something in your crafty stash that you can create. And I actually think this is a card and gift all in one. And I like that because then we don't yeah, have to buy gifts. I agree with you. <laughs> and you can really go to town with what you put inside there. Of course. You know, the foliage, you can the put flowers. As much as you like in. So I'm actually using a mixture of a few of the blue from the paper pad. And then I've got some blues and some limey green colours in there. I've got my leaves in there. I've got some berries that I've done in pink. And then I've also shaped some. So I'm going to take my flower shaping tool, just pick up a few. So I want to... It's more the berries I actually wanted on this one that I want to add the dimension to because I think it really does bring them to life. So that one's flat and that one you know it just brings oh, it to life that. especially where um you've got the shading in there and basically what i'm doing is i'm kind of guessing where the berries are but just going around in a circular motion around where them berries are that makes such a difference and then you turn it? it over and it just, I don't know, it just brings it to life. I'm even going to do my pink one as well. Do you know, you've made, reminded me of something as well, watching this, uh, Nikki. And when it comes to, we've said this before, I know, but, you know, when people come to colour, if obviously these are, you know, you've already got the colour there, but if you're stamping out, colouring yourself, take inspiration from the paper pads for how to colour, where the highlights are. Definitely. Where to add the ink. It I always so take a look at the paper light. pad first. So if you look at one of the blue ones that was in the paper pad. You can see where the darker area yeah. is here. So when it came to me doing mine, I did exactly the same. Yeah. But I just did it in a different colour. So I did the darker pink down there and went to lighter on that side. Do you know, it's worth getting an extra paper pad just to keep it for reference for colour. I think then, it is. It? It? <laughs> one for using, one for reference for yourself. For and reference just and just to keep beautiful. looking at. And it's nice to have one, yeah. isn't it, that you haven't touched. That That is the hardest bit when, um, I, I get my, and I'm sure you, you, everyone at home is going to say exactly the same. You get your paper pad, I look through it, and then it's that first cut. Yeah. It's like, 
Oh, yeah, I don't hard. want to cut you. <laughs> so pretty. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add my urn to the front of the card. On this one. You know when I said that word, I'm thinking, you know, the potty. Oh I'm yes, the potty really, word. That wasn't the proper name. It was a chamber pot, wasn't it? Oh, well, yeah, I'm sure they didn't call it a potty. It was a chamber pot, because that's where you kept them under your bed, in your chamber, the lady's chamber, or the child's chamber. Um, ah, now, Sylvia's emailed in, and she says it's known as a gozander. I've heard that name before. A gozander. It, di it definitely... Goes on... <laughs> goes under. <laughs> goes under. <laughs> I heard that goes before. That was a posh. Goes under. An urn. The goes under. It goes under the bed. Yeah. Because if you want to be rather posh, the chamber pot. Yeah. Or just uh, potty. <laughs> it's the same thing that goes in it. <laughs> but obviously, we, we don't have them now. Oh, I don't think we were very posh. I remember my, my mum used to put a potty mm -hmm. under our bed because that's what we call it. Ours were plastic. <laughs> they were horrible. Oh, was it? <laughs> <laughs> there weren't posh ones that were made of porcelain. So just to interrupt Catherine and her potty, <laughs> what I did was I've glued up to the top and I didn't mean to. I wanted to leave a bit of a space, so I'm just holding my urn up slightly. And to be honest, you could put the urn on afterwards. You don't have to put it on like I did. And then I'm just going to add... I'm going to use my glue gun. I prefer using my glue gun when I'm adding the flowers because it lifts it up as well, so it adds like a little bit of um, foam tape, really. Oops. And then I'm just going to build it up. So I'm putting a few at the back. Then I'm going to add some leaves. That one's got to go there. And then... I'm going to put another leaf at the front. Now, Nikki, you've shown us elements from the paper pad, the stamps, the dies, but we do also have on the show some art foam, don't we? We do. So the art foam works really, really well with your foam, um, sorry, your foam, your flowers. So you can make your three-dimensional flowers with it. Ah, now it says foam paper. Is that because it's it's just nice and fine because it needs to be for it's, forming those flowers? Yes, yeah. And but then it is, it is a foam. I'm going to grab some so I can. And it you going? can even though it's white, Catherine, you can actually colour it up any colour Ooh. you like using your inks. It's nice to have just the white actually. So it comes in a pack of ten. I know you can't feel what I'm feeling, but this is an individual sheet, so you can see it's very, very soft. It's velvety soft. It's absolutely beautiful. Um, and you get two packs of ten, so you're getting 20 sheets in total. So 11 90 That's really good value, isn't it? Even without that saving, that's a really good buy. So you use your inks. Is there anything else we can put on it to colour? Um, I tend to use my inks. I know some people use their alcohol markers. I just gl I glued it down to the <laughs> I, was, I was hoping the camera wasn't on me then. I was just being so... No, I glued it on the back, look. Do we need to heat this at yes, all? Yes, I tend okay. to use my heat gun, but I know a lot of people do actually use an iron okay. to work with it. So I'm trying to think what shows I've got coming up where I can actually demonstrate that. You can and stretch I, it a little bit and get that yes, wave on the Yes, it's very stretchy. You can you? manipulate it, you can twist it, you can turn it, you can really um, shape, add, add some shape and dimension. And when you actually, and I don't have any flowers with me today, but um, you can make some absolutely stunning, you could and I would say this. really real life looking flowers. You could actually go for this even without the dies, couldn't you? Because you can cut with scissors. And you could cut with your scissors, own yeah. Shapes and things as well. That's a great value. Twenty sheets for eleven ninety nine. Six seven five four two four. You shouldn't have told me to pick that up. You know I'm going to be playing with this whole hour now. It's actually something that I really want to start getting into because I do love my flower shaping, yeah. as you, as you know. But with that, there's so many different ways and so much to learn that that is. I'm, I'm saying I'm going to give myself a goal 
2021, I am going to be the flower phone queen. <laughs> ah, I'm, I'm going to hold you to that now. Every time I see Catherine now, she's going to say, what else have you learnt, Nikki? <laughs> but there's so many videos on um, social media now and Heartfelt actually on their website um, actually have some great videos on there. Well, I'm going to hold you to that. And I'm going to mention something else that a lot of people are now aware of, that it's all Nikki's fault. Oh. And that's my crafter van. Oh, yes. Do you remember so, how that started? But you managed to get yours. I haven't got one. I've got a craft room. No, that's about as know, far as I've got. I've about my crafter van as well. I mean, I've, it's, it's winter now, so I'll continue on. You know, it, it is an ongoing project, but I, I've been using it for crafting in. Uh, but I got home the other day, and I've got a mailbox on the outside of my my premises it's not that grand it's only a cottage but i have got i have got gates i have got gates and a mailbox and uh, <laughs> i went to get the mail out of the mailbox and there was a, a little note in there from someone saying sorry this seems very rude but would you be interested in selling your caravan oh no so i must have done a rather <laughs> good job of it but I, yeah i left a, a mobile number so a little text went back no, I'm so sorry. I can't part with it. You can't. I can't. We, no. we were waiting for the finished um, finished product. <laughs> I just need another leaf, so I'm just going that, to... That show, it was you, Charlotte, wasn't it, producing? Charlotte, our producer today, was the lady that was uh, producing that show. And it all started because of a collection from Heartfelt with the campers and the caravans. It was the Happy Camper, wasn't it? Yeah. yeah. Gosh, so how long how long has that taken you to get um, to where I you are now? I got it last, not May 2020. I think I got it May. It, it was. It was May night. Yeah, yeah, May it 19. Was. And then it, it was a while before I got started with it really properly because of work. I've got, I've got, I've got to come to work. Yeah, I've got to keep coming to work and doing other things as well. So it has to fit in between everything else. So if you could see what I've done, I've layered that up. I've just pulled that one off, okay, and then I'm just going to turn that over because I want this one there, so I'm going to make sure I glue it there. Now, if you struggle a little bit, I mean, obviously, I've made loads of these now, so I'm kind of got the gist of how it needs to sit, but you can always put a pretty decorative die behind there, or you could put some acetate at the back, but that will all... I noticed glued. you'd done that on the sample one that we've got a little bit of acetate to support. Yeah, it just helps a little bit just to hold it. Look at this one here. There we are. But there you can see you the can just, just design your own flowers, flower arrangement, should I say? It's beautiful. But it's fun as well. This is. I mean, obviously we're making a card, but it isn't like making. A card. It's like flower arranging. It really it's is. Go, going are, back to my roots you are here. Going back to where you started. Nick. I you am. Again. <laughs> and then just adding some more blue in. Just bring that one down there, just to bend it a little bit. Just to bring a little bit of blue in. It's just getting all those colours. This is where it always shaping comes into its own, isn't it? To give that dimension, to give you know the That's difference right there. Then. And when you've got lots of layers as well, you want to see everything. And the thing is, when you've got your stamps and your dies, you could just keep going. You could yeah. just keep adding to this, filling it out. You could put some, I'll show you what we could, you could do in a second. In actual fact, you've got a card there, and I think it is the one that's right in front of you, the red one. That one, if you have a look, we've, I've put some stamens in there as well, and we do have some stamens. Oh, this, this is the one I showed with the acetate, actually. But yes, that was the one. We've got the stamens, stamens on there. the show. A little bit of glitter in there as well. Now, if you look at when you're checking your baskets out, everybody, that's where you'll find those end of calls. There's actually a few to choose from. There we are. You don't have to add anything onto your postage as well. Obviously, Freedom members, you don't pay anyway. But if you're not a Freedom member, these are free delivery add-ons. Uh, well worthwhile popping those into your baskets at the same time. We've got lots to choose from there. Really good value. Love those. Just going to... Almost done. You ha you could, honestly, sometimes the producer really has to shout at me and say, Nikki, you've just spent far too long on that. And how many more flowers can you really get in there? But look at that look. Doesn't You don't have to put in as many as what I did. Oh, and that's then the I've got the chamber pot I've ever seen. Oh, I mean, um... <laughs> I've got glue all over my hands. And every time I pull it away from the card, it pull, pulls the card. There we go. 
Oh, her <laughs> strings. That is lovely. I adore the colours. That is beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Thank you. Oh, fabulous. Well, let Nikki get ready for another demonstration. We'll have a bit of a recap. So, of course, when it comes to the one-day special, Nikki's just been using everything from there because the papers, you know, the dies, the stamps as well. We have got other options, but the value, of course, is in the one-day special. £20 saving there. That's if you're a non-Freedom member. We've got an even better deal for you if you're a Freedom member. So, of course, we have got that full paper pad there, double-sided, 24 24 sheets in there, isn't there? Lovely weight as well. All sorts of tags, phrases, the quartets there as well. Should we go back and have another flick? I don't know if I've put these back exactly how they should be, but we'll see. Uh, I didn't actually got all the way through the first time round. So you've got everything. You've got the quartets, as I said. You've got that beautiful script there. We've got tags in there as well and backgrounds already in six by sixes, which are perfect. That is lovely, isn't it? Another one with the, you can see sort of the flourish in the script in the background, but you've got that gold color there as well. Now, these are the pieces that you can die cut if you're going for the full collection. Of course, you're going to get the dies to cut these ready colored for you. If you're just going for the paper pad separately, you're still going to get these because it's the same paper pad. But as I say, the value is in this bundle. I love this because you've got really muted backgrounds there you've got very bright colorful backgrounds you've got so many individual elements remember what i said about keeping things as a reference for coloring as well this is ideal if you're going for the full collection stamp out and make sure that you do refer if you're not sure where to color it really will open up new opportunities for you it takes away the fear just see what you're seeing on the papers already printed. Same with the flowers. Colouring the flowers there, how Nikki uses her daubers. You know, take the inspiration. If you can't remember what Nikki's done or you've lost it on Rewind, then, of course, you can take the inspiration from these papers. That's really pretty, isn't it? Love the blues and the reds together. You've got that little hint of gold in there. You've got almost a contemporary look there as well with the chest of drawers. Lots of pieces that can be fussy cut. The very ornate gate. I really wish that was my secret garden. I do. One day, never mind. We'll see. I also adore postcards and anything with postage stamps on, so that's another must for this collection. Great scrapbook page, as Nikki said earlier. And it goes on and on and on. I just haven't shown you everything there as well. So let's have a look at a few more samples. Um, I'll try and find a few that I didn't show you the first time. Now, you get the stamps and you get the dies as well, of course. Let's have a look at a few more samples here. We may not have seen these the first time around like the colors of that one that's very nice do like that now you don't have to use the urn every time of course you can just use the flowers as well or just use dies that you've already got on the paper pad it's entirely up to you lots of different variations here lots of different colors have been used just for you oh this is nice did i show that the first time i can't remember i know i did have something with the uh drawers on, but i think this is a different one that is really nice isn't it absolutely gorgeous and then let's just grab one more i'm not going to go for one with the urn again i'm going to go for one without the urn so oh actually that's got half an urn on there it's just half an urn there we are 94 pounds and 93 pence two thirds of the stock has now gone you do get that inspiration sheet i'm going to show you this because i didn't actually show it uh, you get the inspiration sheet as well but just flip this around there you go Lots of information on there as well. You do get that bag as well that you can put everything in. I'll just grab the bag for you. There we are. Everything can be kept nicely in that bag so you don't mix them up with other ranges if you want to keep them separate. And look at this. Freedom members, a saving of £29.49. £85.44 is the price, but we're going to split that down for you. In fact, into three payments, not two, but three, £28.48, 470252. Anything else adding into there, you can split the cost as well. So maybe you're going for the moulds, for the flower forming moulds or the tools or the organisers or whatever. Now, there is a smaller bundle for you as well. So let's just give you a reminder of that. The paper pad, as we've just seen, exactly the same paper pad, but also the die and the stamp for the urn. So they will come in the smaller bundle. Five pounds saving on those, 46 pounds and 97 pence, two payments of 23 pounds and 49 pence. And half the stock has gone on that one as well. Six, three, four, nine, two, nine. And we'll have a little bit of a wander down the counter. I might have to bring something with me, actually. Uh, now, we've got the shaping molds again. 
Let's do the large one first of all. So you can see here, beautiful, beautiful detail that you're going to get. I think Nikki might be showing us this as well again this hour. Three pounds saving, 18.99. That's the price of this one. 60% of the stock has gone, 8.74.790. And then we've also got the smaller version for you as well. So we'll just have. I'm going to show you the difference between these two in a second, and we'll show you one or two more samples. 18.99 again, three pounds saving. One five one four eight five. Two thirds of the stock has gone on this one. Now, if I just show you the difference between the larger one and the smaller one. Now, you do get a top and a bottom for each, but you can see the difference of the size in the flowers there. So it is, you know, you can go for both of these because you can lay them together. Those leaves are so useful as well. And you will find other flowers that you can put into that mold and decorate as well. And, uh, you know, shape, put the veins and the shaping in there. They are beautiful. There we are. Now let's just mention one or two other things as well. We'll go to the website as well because we've got seven day savers. We've got some cracking ones again this week. Now, something that will be really lovely to go with your uh, heartfelt would be the rainbow card. Look, you've got all sorts of colours in there. Uh, what else have we got in there? Oh, the LED lights, always popular, the cork top ones. They're beautiful. We've got uh, more card there as well. We've got scissors, five-star reviews there for you as well. Oh, your ribbon would be a good one as well. Always nice to put a little bow or a bit of ribbon somewhere, isn't it? And do you know what? Everything goes hand in hand. Yes, it does. Even the vacuum cleaner, because if you keep that for your craft room, when you finish die cutting, you've got the perfect tool to pick up all those bits because it's got amazing suction on it. And our Adam will vouch for that because he's demoed with it. Got a little bit carried away. He couldn't, he couldn't put it down. Scott's done it as well. Genesis done it. All good reviews coming from our presenters as well. All of the seven-day savers there. Take advantage of the savings. You've still got four days and 19 hours, unless the stock goes first, of course, which it can do very often. Right, Nikki, we've got about 15 minutes. You look right. very busy over there. I am. I'm just shaping all the flowers that I'm putting in this one. And as you see, it is pink. So what I do when I've got a flourish... Um, a little stem of flowers like this. I do some facing me and then I turn it over and do it the other way so that when I hold that up, there we go. Yeah, it makes such a difference, doesn't it? You don't want them all curly it one way. It just brings it to life, yeah, I think. I mean, I don't know, some people may say I'm addicted to flower shaping, but <laughs> I just Nothing call it, I, I love it. I just really, really enjoy doing it. So, as I say, you've got lots of different elements in, in the um, actual stamps and die sets. So you've got your florals in here. So I'm kind of more focusing on the florals rather than some of the, like, buds that we've got in the, okay. um, in the collection, should I say. So I'm just going to make sure that this is the right pink, and it isn't. So I, I haven't got something the, else the right... That urn. What can if you, you see? With flowers, if you turn it the other way up... What have you seen? Turn it, turn it the other way up. That way. Now, put it... That's that way. it, yeah. Take the stand off. Take the stand off. Put a pom-pom on top. You've got it's a, a very hat. Ornate hat. <laughs> it's a very nice hat, isn't it? Lampshade. It could be a lampshade. Yes, it could. Yeah. <gasps> An umbrella or a parasol. Ooh. A canopy to a, a crib. A crinoline could. dress. A what, sorry? A crinoline dress. Oh, yeah. You see, they'd wear those yes. clean dresses and then they'd take them off and they'd go to bed and use their chamber pots for under the bed. <laughs> That's what it That's is. what they'd do. <laughs> oh, dear. So, I've got the right pink now. I'm using the Pink Frog cardstock that we have on her chander. So, I'm just adding my colour down the bottom of each of those petals. And this is a blending pen, but it's run out, so I'm just using water and it works really well. Ooh. And then I'm just going to blend so that darker pink just ends up at the bottom. And then if I want a bit more, I might go in and add a little bit more pink. But I'm actually going to because it isn't lovely. quite dark enough. Or, well, of course, you can use your daubers. But just blends well, it. You've in. got options, haven't you? And you've proven again. So many how options. Easy it is I mean, to be honest, I use a bit of both. I do some with my daubers, and sometimes I use um, daubers and my pens to colour in. 
and just going to go in there with a bit and then that needs some shaping so I'm going to bring my flower shaping mat and my tip which is a smallish one I think this is about an eight mil okay. and I'm going to go in with my image faced up see how that's crinkling up and because it's still a bit wet from the watercolour in shaping really nicely yeah and as it dries it really holds extra it does, strong, doesn't it yeah. and there you have a shaped flower so you're so using the flower shaping kit again there aren't you and you get the foam in the kit as well you do you will you? get your as mat as, as well as the tools a little bit embarrassed about my mat so it's I turned over right not so up yet. so <laughs> I've got about <laughs> 10 of these at home and I have an old I use the old ones on my craft desk and Paul was on the phone and I was doodling and I kind of doodled so we won't look but I heard you with Catherine and you've got a really nice up. new one you haven't <laughs> This is how it will arrive with you. Do you know, let me show you the front first again, because look, you've got a lovely box again there. And then you've got your, your little shape of... Have you been at this one as well, Nikki? I probably have, actually. <laughs> you have. You've been using that. You will honestly get one that Nikki's not had her mitts on. Uh, you've got another little foam piece here as well, that little small one, that deeper sponge there as well and then you get the handle to the tool and all the interchangeable heads as well it's a really really lovely kit you will not regret getting that because you see how much difference it makes changing the shape of those flowers it's a lovely lovely kit I like the fact that it can go on your shelf with all your storage boxes as well and it looks really smart that's Love it. lovely it makes a nice gift as well definitely so about two weeks ago i think it was i launched the gateway dies yeah and it makes a fabulous card using this urn and so I'm not sure which one this is but I've made it into a card and I'm just going to take my urn and I'm going to cut my urn in half and you would have seen Catherine showing you one that I did make in a cream color okay I know it looks like oh, but I am then going to oh. sit my urn so I going to use my archway so I'm going to bring that up to there so I'm going to glue each of my urn again just I'm gonna leave that top edge because I want to add some flowers in there that one so what you need to do is just make sure one they're straight and mine isn't <laughs> I can see there it's wonky and two that when you put your arch in there it comes to the edge so it's not seen through the decorative die there so I'm just which is why I do like to use my wet glue there we go that's effective it. isn't it so we found the original one as well, Nikki. We'll come back to you in a second, but just to show the different colour there. But I was, I was said to me, Demi, what are you doing? Because I was like looking inside. I noticed it said missing you, and I thought, I wonder if somebody sent this. And who's been missing who? I was just having a little peek, but it is blank inside. <laughs> <laughs> That's lovely, isn't it? Absolutely gorgeous. And then I'm going to glue down the arch. So I'm going to use my hot glue gun all the way around the edge okay so this is just showing you how to use your urn with all those decorative dies that you've got at home and that is going to go down there do you know you could even use you know the swag effect going around the urn if you this use part, that on its own that could actually be curtains as well couldn't it <laughs> could be curtains couldn't it yeah. Wow, <laughs> you did watch the oh, show last now, night, didn't you? <laughs> I need this. I need something like that in my craft Honestly, there is, but Swags the thing is, it is, it's looking at something that you've brought and purchased, and I do it all the time. And I always look at something and I think, right, how many ways can I use this? What can I use it for? If I come up with any more, I'll let you know. That'd be great. It's always nice to have a little bit more inspiration. So just bring that down. I did actually fussy cut one out on this morning show. So you can actually fussy cut that out, yeah, and use it as a curtain. 
Oh, I like that idea. I used to make slugs and tails for people. I did, did actually, you? yeah, when my children were younger, yes. I mean, you don't see them so much quite now, a few. Go to the stately homes, but there was, oh, how long ago am I going back again? It's a long time. They were really fashionable in they all were. houses at one point. Mm -hmm. And I used to make uh, home furnishings, and then when somebody saw the slugs, they said, well, can you make me some? So I set up a little bit of a business, but honestly, I got so fed up making slugs and tails. But you never get fed up with this craft, do you? you no, I wouldn't get fed up with the paper version. So I'm just take taking so that room glue down there. And then I'm just looking. Could, could you show me the one that I made <laughs> <laughs> at home? I'm going to show the screen I did so make it in, in all truthfulness, though. Oh, I yeah. did. We are, we are talking about two, three weeks ago that I made that. So I'm oh, just going so to... It's so effective, though, isn't it? Isn't it? Oh, do you and know what I it kind know. of looks like as well? It's almost like a very on it basket as well there with the um Yeah, it could be it could be very on it bath. Or bath if you're very oh, posh. Not. not from Yorkshire. No, it's it's me, Charlotte, because I'm from Yorkshire, I said bath. We're going in bath. I'm going <laughs> in the bath. I'm a bath, I'm a bit afraid. <laughs> And then the bath. And then, just to finish that off down the bottom, I've got a few flowers, so I'm going to add a rose. This is really pretty, Nikki. And then I've got this one is a petunia. And then I've got an one of the oh, what was that one? I think that was the wild rose. I can't remember, but I could just, honestly, I could actually really just keep going on this one. But it just goes to show again how you can mix these going collections to together and get something beautiful every single time. No wonder so many people collect these, Nikki. Because they're never going to date, are they? Never. They're, they're just no. timeless. No, I pieces. haven't got one heart, and I've got heartfelt creations um, collections going back about ten years, and none of them would go out of date at all. Have you been with them that long? Though? Is it, is so it I've been years? with them about ten years. Yes. So um, been doing TV for them for. Ooh, I can't remember now. I think you eight, need a seven, video. Seven, eight. I'm, I'm going to yes. say something now. When we see you on the advert, you say, I've been working with Heartfelt Creations for nine years, and we know. Oh, it's more. Well, I it's don't. More I forgot. Now. I don't know. I can't, no, honestly. No, it's because that was filmed a while ago, so we need a new one so you can update it. Just, it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just going to stick with. Um, I've run out of glue, so I'll go on to white. Oh, wet minutes, glue. Okay, we're doing really well. And now we haven't used the moulds, the flower moulds. Oh, this we hour. haven't. No. But you have used them at in the other hours, haven't you? So we can get those by eight o'clock this morning. And Nikki, can we use them at four o'clock in final? I call? will definitely use them at four o'clock. I've got lots of um, zinnia flowers with me, so. Okay. So if anybody's that. missed out on the earlier shows and hasn't seen the moulds in use, do tune in at four o'clock. I'll just keep adding. Those stamens really make a difference, don't they, in the centre of that flower there. Oh, so don't forget end of call for those, everybody. Before you check your basket out, you can pop those in, no extra postage cost. Just showing you what you can make. And you can put, but I've not, <laughs> I've not left a space now, so I'm not putting a sentiment on. I don't think it needs it. But there you have something that completely different using your urns. Oh, that is so, so pretty. Well done, Nikki. Absolutely Thank gorgeous. You. And of course, again, everything from the one-day special there, absolutely beautiful. Approaching 70% now of the one-day special gone. Freedom members, this is where the huge saving is. They've both, you know, whether you're a Freedom member or not, you've got huge savings. But look at this, £29 and 49 pence. If you're still not a member, you can still join. If you're not a member, you're saving £20.
join for 597 you're still saving more money it is a why not deal i've just noticed that there so you know you're still making those savings and you remember for at least a month if you want to opt out you can but i think if you're spending with us if you're buying more than a couple of times a month or a couple of times a month you're going to get that money back straight away that flexi buy payment if you're a freedom member 28 pounds and 48 pence when it's split three ways you're getting the paper pad you're getting um three die sets and the corresponding stamps as well but there's more dies than three because of course you've got multiples in each pack you're getting the inspiration sheet you're getting the bag as well it is just so beautiful isn't it and then if you want to pop anything else in like the moles or maybe the extra paper pad or maybe you're going for the foam paper then you can split the cost there as well do not forget if I put it back, it's here. Don't forget the storage as well, because if you are collecting, how beautiful to have this on your craft room shelf. I mean, it's, it's stunning, whichever way you look at it. You've got the ring binder in there as well. You can go for your cling stamp sheets as well, or you can go for the magnetic version, which go inside here. But of course, every time you go for the dies and the stamps, they're already on cling, so you can just open up more opportunities with how you store things. Beautiful, absolutely beautiful. The box there on the screen, 12.99374418. The one day special, we'll just bring those details up again before we go off air. Remember, there is a final call at four o'clock, but everything that you're seeing here, I mean, the value, I mean, the stamps, the dies, you can make endless amounts of flowers, foliage bouquets, the urns, the chamber pots, the double-ended baths, whatever you want to make. Crinoline dresses, it's all there. Chandelier lampshades, it doesn't matter. It's all there for you. 570252. Just a final reminder as well that extended delivery on this because of where they're coming from. The 15th of December. Not long to wait. First time they were seen was here at Tachanda. The, these weren't released anywhere else before we got them first, which is fabulous, isn't it, for us? And, of course, more inspiration from the wonderful Nikki at four as well. Nikki, thank you so, thank so you. much. Thank you. It's been lovely working with you lovely. again. Lovely. Oh, thank yes, you. it has been a joy. Do you know, I've had a lovely day again today. Yeah, hopefully it won't be too long. I'm going to keep checking on you, though. I am actually back on the 16th and the 20th of this okay. month. Okay, so. I want to be crowning you Queen of Foam next year. Oh, right. That's next year. That's after Christmas. Well, I'm a proper coronation. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes. Well, we were talking middle names, weren't we? Mm. Nikki's got a lovely middle name. Uh, but I, I'll be queen as I crown Nikki, Queen Catherine Anne, because that's my middle name. Coming up soon, I'm going to hand the crown over now to the wonderful Alex. I think it's Alex next anyway. Best of Mama Mates. Looking forward to that. Then we've got Gyro Cup Craft Tool. Don't miss that one. And then Daisy Bee are here. We've got Daisy Bee Crafts later on. Hi, I'm Emma. And I'm Pam. And we're from Quilters Trading Post. We've been open since 2007, so we're coming up to 10 years now. We started our business um, in Cambridge, really, with a long arm quilting machine. We decided we want to make a proper business of it, so we bought a shop in this area. We soon grew out of that because we became successful and we bought a school, and now we're in the school. We have four parts to our business. We have the quilting service, we run workshops, we sell patchwork and quilting threads, fabrics and notions, and we do patterns and books. That's our newest thing, and our favourite being our crafters' carry-all. We've really enjoyed being on Hachanda. It's um, made us famous, really. We've got lots of people who now come into the shop and tell us that they've seen us, and that they've enjoyed the demonstrations, and they've watched us over and over again. Make sure you don't miss our shows here on Hachanda. Have you heard of Hachanda Freedom? Did you know that as a Hachanda Freedom member, you could be making savings on every order you place? For just £5.97 a month, you will benefit from selected Freedom member discounts and complimentary standard delivery on every order you place. You will also receive our exclusive Hachanda Freedom members badge, regular newsletters, giveaways and crafty updates. If you shop with a Chanda more than twice a month, then Freedom is for you. 
Don't forget, your Freedom membership is flexible, so you can pause it if you're going away or you can cancel it at any time. So what are you waiting for? Give us a call or head to the website, quoting item number 888888 and join Hachanda Freedom today. Hi, I'm Matthew Palmer, professional artist with the SAA, the UK's largest and friendliest art community. The SAA exists to inform, encourage and inspire all who want to paint and that's exactly what you'll learn to do with me as your teacher. As a self-taught artist of 30 years ago, I know the challenges of a white piece of paper and learning how to paint. But with me, Achanda and the SAA, I'll show you how easy watercolour painting really is. I'm here on Achanda because I want to show you my watercolour painting techniques and I want to get you over that white paper fear and get you started and develop your watercolour painting. So whether you're a beginner or an advanced artist, I've got some fantastic watercolour techniques that will get you started and take you even further on your watercolour journey. So join me, Matthew Palmer, for my shows on Achanda. Hi, this is Els from Elizabeth Craft Designs. Elizabeth Craft Designs is a Colorado-based company. It's a family company, so husband, son, daughter all work at the company and then a fantastic team of designers because a company cannot exist without a great team around yourself. What we would like to share with you is my passion for crafts. We love all the concepts we have, so we have from cute till classic and beautiful designs. We love our journaling planner line and we are going to bring you our ideas, our passion, and we hope to transfer that passion to you. So please join Elizabeth Craft Designs here at Hochenda. Hi, I'm Hayley. Join me for some amazing Fabric Freedom shows. Fabric Freedom design all their fabrics here in the UK and they design them with quilters in mind. So they're really good at picking out those unidirectional prints. Really nice and small prints so you can work on smaller patchwork projects. And paste prints as well, which is one of their signature fabrics. They do lots more fabrics besides quilting cottons. So tune in to the Fabric Freedom shows here on Hachanda. Hello, good afternoon. We've got a fabulous show for you and we've got some amazing deals. They're all happy hour deals. So I would say go, oh sorry, not everything, apologies. Um, but you'll find some happy hour deals on the show and we've got such amazing prices as well and obviously beautiful stamps here. So without further ado, hi Lottie. Hello. Hello. Hi. Um, first off Lottie, yes. can you tell us a little bit about the stamp scription box that we yeah. have here? So we launched stamp scription this year and it is a monthly crafty happy mailbox with two A6 stamp sets in every month. Um, when we bring it to Hachanda, it is not a subscription. The subscribers have already had this box and this is the only way you can get the box. So it's a bit of a last chance on Hachanda. It's exclusive, it's not on my website, so this is your last chance if you're not a subscriber to grab these stamp sets. And let's have a look at these stamp sets. Oh, these are so cute! They are super cute, yeah. Oh, aren't they gorgeous? Um, now you're getting 21 stamps in total. They've all got real character. Yes, really <coughs> cute characters. And the way that they're drawn kind of reminds me of the lino cutting. Okay. And a little bit maybe Scandi. Yeah. Um, there's some sentiments there that I've designed as well. And yeah, just super cute characters. You've got a little rabbit. So if you're thinking ahead to next year, maybe Easter, springtime, you've got a cat. So if you've got a cat lover in the family, yep. you've got a little cat there. You've got a unicorn tiny dog tiny little characters um but i think they're kind of great for all occasions if you're just sending like a note to say a lot of people just want to send mail yeah. and just want company um so yeah these are great for that just cute little characters now i instantly went oh <gasps> look at this sample so this sample is by law she's made a little satchel uh, with a fabric handle little backpack 
when you open it up, you've got little note cards in there, so great for all occasions. And she's even decorated the envelopes on the <coughs> back of the envelopes. There's the little dog and the little motif of the rabbit. So yeah, that's a super cute sample. Isn't it lovely? Let me let me take out some of the work that she's done in here. Oh look, and here are oh, the little envelope that's got the sentiments in. So here, there's like just a note to say. That's so cute. And then the cards we've got in here. Let's have a little look. Oh, it's brilliant! This one <laughs> to put that back there. Look at these, so stunning. She's coloured them fantastically. Yeah, she's done a great job. Such really bright, vibrant colours. I think you can have fun with this set because they're <clears> such cute characters. You can go with your bold colours and your bold papers, yeah. Absolutely. What a lovely set. These could be thank you cards, little notes. That's marvellous. So I'll just pop that down there. And this is another fabulous sample. Yes, yeah, so Law made this as well. And this is a colouring book. So if you open it up, ah. all of the images are stamped. So you could give this as a gift as a mini colouring book, which is so cute. That is awesome. So lovely. And then, of course, decorated the front. Got a nice little shadow box. Oh, as a card. That's clever. Yeah, this is a really cute one. I think that's by Diane, um, using all of the characters there in a little scene. Beautiful. And then completely different, this one. That's got the Scandi feel, really, hasn't it? Yeah, so this is the Scandi winter vibe here with the craft card and the white embossing. Really gorgeous with the glitter as well. Absolutely. And for your stamp scription, I mean, you've got all of these really super cute stamps for just $14.99. Uh, 467 is the item number. Okay, then we've got our Hansi Garden collection. Right, these are four different stamp sets under different item numbers. So this one is the Be Yourself. What inspired these? So this is by uh, Hannah Rose. She goes under the name of Hansi. Yeah. Uh, and she illustrated these. So she's done the wreath. And then we took out of the wreath the little characters so you could add in the bugs and the ladybirds and butterflies and that kind of thing separately as well. Yeah. And then she has uh, hand-drawn the sentiments as well. So that is her handwriting. Mm -hmm. And she's chosen some gorgeous sentiments to fit into the middle of the wreaths. Uh, amazing. What's that? Change the world by being yourself. Gorgeous. Uh, so for that set of stamps, 999. Item number is 933377. Then we've got the beautiful butterfly. So again, I just, I love that it's so diddy in the centre. Really detailed as well, yeah. And, you know, it's going to look great heat embossed <coughs> with that kind of detail. Yeah. Really beautiful. Lovely. And again, we've got some nice sentiments here. What's that say? Just coming on. Uh, collect beautiful moments. Gorgeous. Once more, just nine ninety nine for these stamps. Um, eight four five eight seven one is the item number. Then we've got our dragonfly sunshine. Again, really cute. Right, seven stamps in this one. Yeah, fabulous. So you've got a lot of elements in the middle there to stamp uh, individually, maybe around the sentiment, and then you've got that gorgeous detailed wreath which will work lovely with your die cuts, maybe if you've got a die cut circle. Nice. Um, and then you've got, I hope you have the loveliest of days and create your own sunshine. Marvellous. <laughs> 999 And then we've got our lovely bugs. That's the last one in this collection. I would, if people can stretch to it, go for the full collection. Definitely, yeah. I mean, this size stamp set actually retails on my website for 16.99, so this is wow. a great price. Um, and this one was the most popular, actually. I think people oh. like the little ladybird. Yeah, who doesn't <laughs> love that? And then you've got the little butterflies too. Nine ninety nine. Item number is four three four six zero seven. Then we've got this lovely little stamp at the top. Um, Star shine. This one is a happy hour deal. Lovely. Let's have a look at the sentiments here. Um, what, so what sort of things have we? In fact, I might need to pick it up. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, if I may. Oh, oh. Unless. Okay. <laughs> no, let's do it here. Right, so we've got things like, the sky is not the limit, there are footprints on the moon. Yeah. That's beautiful. Uh, <clears throat> love you to the moon and back. Make a wish. Shoot for the moon. If you miss, you'll land among the stars. That's a gorgeous one. Very inspirational. Um, memories are the stars that brighten our dreams. And um, I love the little extras you've got here. Yeah, so that one at the top could be used as a border, but you could use them all individually. Um, and yeah, some lovely little motifs to go with the sentiments there. Stunning. Um, that again, 999. Item number is 913926. Uh, this one next is your snow place like home. Lovely. Again, <clears throat> more sentiments. Let me just show I can show you the actual 
I can show you the actual, I was looking for the black card that I had there. Have a little look at the, the size of them and then I'll read them out for you. Lovely, let's pop that down. Okay, so we've got things like, um, oh, what you've done here is like, um, what's the word, like definitions? Yes, yeah, dictionary definitions for Christmassy things. So some are a little bit cheeky, mistletoe one is my personal favourite. Um, but yes, little definitions, a great, different, quirky, contemporary Christmas card. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just reading the mistletoe one. <laughs> right, mistletoe, a plant hung in the home as an excuse for festive flings. Ooh, <laughs> a little bit cheeky. Um, Christmas tree, an evergreen tree decorated with lights and ornaments to bring festive joy. What's the hot chocolate? A warm chocolate liquid, oh, a warm chocolate liquid hug made from cocoa powder, sugar and milk. Lovely stuff. Do we, I wonder, do we have any samples for this one? There should one? be some, yeah, ones with the sentiments. Yeah, there should be some samples mm -hmm. behind there. The design team really loved the Snow Place Like Home collection. They went to town on the samples. So there's a lot behind there. Amazing. <laughs> There you go, look at this. So we've got the definitions one in the background. Lovely. Uh, here's another one with the definitions. So beautifully done, aren't they? I mean, that's just gorgeous. Yeah, really cute. And mm. the, the collection has kind of motifs to match that so you have got the hot chocolate and that if you're yeah. going for more than one today, yeah. Amazing. Um, so this one was Define Christmas, and that's another happy hour deal, uh, 999 004019. And then we've got the Winter Joy, which is, this is cute. There's the little jumpers and things. Yes, yeah, so these are the motifs to match. So we've got the hot chocolate, we've got the little gingerbread house. These were all designed, all these uh, illustrations, so the sentiments are by me, but the illustrations are by Colette Hill. Right. Uh, she owns a store called The Paper Lobster, and uh, we collaborated. Um, she normally draws planner stickers and that yep. kind of thing. And I was like, yeah, we need these illustrations as stamps. So yeah, she um, took a lot of inspiration from winter elements here. You've got the gloves, mm -hmm. you've got the, uh, the ice skate, a little piping bag. Somebody <laughs> did a sample, I think it was Lucy, put that next to the house so it looked like you'd pipe the house. Uh, yeah, really cute elements there and a lot of detail again. Absolutely. Here again are a few samples. So in that collection, and this is combining it with the, the definitions, we've got those really cute little ice skates, again beautifully coloured. Um, here we've got that little house, again teaming it with those definitions, love that. Um, and this one's so fun. Yeah, that's really cute. Look, the little gingerbread man in there. He looks so happy. <laughs> He's swimming in chocolate. I would be yes. too. Uh, 999 785 And then we've got the Snow Place Like Home cookie mix. Oh, right. You've done for us the stamp and stencil set. Yes. So this is where you can stencil through to put down your, uh, your kind of cookie background and then stamp over the top. Uh, with the detail as if you were icing it or decorating your biscuit. Nice. Yeah. Let's have a look. I've got a couple of samples here. Um, so this one's got the stars on. Love, I love how shiny that is. Gorgeous. And then this one, again, coloured so nicely. That's what your, st your stamps really lend themselves for that. Yeah, there, there's a lot of open space for yeah. a lot of colouring techniques if, it, if that's what you like, yeah. Um, look at that saving, eight pounds off. You're only paying nine pounds and ninety-eight pence. Four three 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 nine five is the item number. And then we've got the original snow place like home. Twelve stamps in this one. I can show you the size of these again. So you've got the snow globe here, and you've got the mason jar, which I think is great for any stamp set that you've got. It doesn't have to be Christmas. If you want to put a flower in a mason jar, it looks beautiful for Mother's Day, Easter, that kind of thing. Yep. So not just looking at Christmas here. We have got the background stamps as well, which Colette has designed to fit into the snow globe. So if you want to look like it's sparkling or snowy, uh, you know, you've got that kind of art deco background there for, mm -hmm. the, for the jar as well. And then the sentiments fit into the base of the snow globe as well. Cool. So it's been really well thought out. And so... Um, here you go, just so you can see the size. And this makes me very happy because... <laughs> shaker card! Someone send you a shaker. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Definitely a snow globe cries out for a shaker yeah. card. Uh, Lossie knows me extremely well <laughs> um, when it comes to shaker cards. Uh, I've got another one. Let's see. Oh, yeah. I think, I think this is the right one. Let's have a little look. There you go. That's so nicely done. Nice and subtle and soft there. 9 778 then we've got the Say It at Christmas stamp set. 
Um, 12 stamps, and these are really sweet sentiments. Yeah, lovely Christmassy sentiments uh, here. This was, we bring out a sentiment set for Christmas every year, so that it was this one. Um, they fit into the snow globe perfectly, if you've got that one from the previous sets. They match all of your kind of motifs from the Winter Joy set as well. Yeah. So this was a sentiment set to go with the collection. Wonderful. Um, have a holly dolly Christmas. There's snow one like you. That's cute. Uh, there's snow place like home <laughs> so they're really really lovely and then different fonts are so sweet yeah you've got the script for the more traditional cards and then yep. you've got more of a quirky brush letter in front for more of the uh, for more of the contemporary kind of look as well yeah wonderful 999 9000064 now do have a look at the website we've got so many more but obviously i know you want to see the demonstrations um and if you I've lost my train of thought then. If you do want to get ahead, yes, um, because we've got lots more. But we will see them a little bit later on. Uh, oh, there's also some glorious papers there. Absolutely stunning. We've got the Christmas Pals, Christmas Companions. There's alphabets there. Um, so many. We've got borders. We've got all sorts. If you've already got some of Mama Makes um, lovely stamps, then please feel free to send pictures of what you've been making into us because we always love to see. Now, without further ado, we've got Caroline. Hello, Caroline. Hello. Long time no see, it feels. I know. It's been a while. I've got... It has been a yes. while. Are you all right? I am good. You? Good. Yes, fine, thank you. Wonderful. Right, which set are you going to demo I'm with gonna first? I'm going to start with the December stamp scription. Got you. Um, it's a, a card that I'm going to be doing. <clears throat> a little bit of a background Wonderful. scene as well. So. So what I'm going to do first is just stamp one of the images to show you how well they do stamp. Cool. Uh, just to let you know, we are 40% of the stock gone of our stamp scription. Remember, it's exclusive to us here. Now, I did pick up my wrong ink pad. I didn't pick up my new one that's it's got the older dry one, but <clears throat> it'll be fine. So I'm going to... This is the little girl holding the rabbit's hand. Right. So what I'm going to do is just show you how easy they are to colour as well. I'm just using some um, watercolour pencils. Okay. Get my cloth and the pencils. Now there's a few ways that I colour in. Um, you can either scribble on the background yep. and then use that as a palette but then you can also just go in. So I'm just going to go in directly, just following the lines that are there for mm -hmm. us. Nice. I won't colour it all in, but you'll just get an idea. Yeah. She's got nice highlights you do yes. for us. I love she's got a little crown on. I That's know. adorable. Some glossy accents on there and it'll be lovely. So just using, just blending it with my water brush. And you're using a nice fine brush there, so yes. you get, get into all the detail. Yeah. I think this is a chocolate rock one. Oh, okay. So. And she's, she's very, uh, very wistful. Yes. She's got a little friend as a bunny. Bunny's got a little flower. It's, oh, no. it's gorgeous, you, isn't it? I think you could probably chop that flower off and then use what the heart balloon what one of the girls good idea the girl is using so yep. there's loads of ways that they can all mix and match i'll just <coughs> show you how i color in the face oh so we get a nice skin tone yeah yeah so i've just got a, a pink here and i'm just going around the outline around there uh-huh obviously at home you've got a bit more a bit more time mm -hmm. and I'm just going to blend that through. Almost a bit like you would with alcohol markers. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <coughs> just blend, bleed that through there. Mm -hmm. So that's like that. Very cute. So Very easy we, to do. Yeah, they are. The, yeah. There's a good, you've got a good area to mm -hmm. colour. You've, you've not got all little intricate pieces. Nice. So I won't colour the whole lot in because of time. Oh, I love that book. I saw that for the first <laughs> time. It's um, fab. <clears throat> now, apparently it's out of stock. It was so popular. Yeah, Lottie's yeah. hoping to bring them back in next nice. year. So, but they're ideal for 
if you just want a night sitting in front of the telly, cutting out and colouring, yep. then popping them in here. So as you can see, I've coloured all my images in. Yep. And all I've done is just attached a little bit of double-sided tape to the back. Right. That's all, nothing. And then they just sit in there and have travelled nice and safely here. Mm -hmm. So what I'm going to do now is the background. So I've just got a couple of oxides and I'm just squidging on the mat and find my brush and my cloth. So just a bit of water, mm -hmm. pick up the ink. There's no technique, all I'm doing is left to right. Yep. More water. Just to create that lovely yeah. nice scene. And I want it so there's like whiter, um, darker and lighter areas because then that gives the, uh, what's the impression word? of clouds. Yes, impression of clouds, yep. that's it. But you can go in um, and add some clouds if you so wish. Um, just while you're doing that, let's have a look at our Define Christmas. <coughs> this one is super busy. It's, very, it's a very clever one. It's 9 99 eight stamps in total, <clears throat> and we're a third of the stock gone, 004019, amazing prices and amazing stamps. So with the green, I'm going to just add a bit more water. I'm going to try and create some mound hills, if you like, just yep. in the background, just give that illusion. like that cool okay now on this one I've got in again and added um, some just some water and taken off some of the ink to give some clouds but I actually like that how that weights. sky is yeah. now so I'll just give that a quick blast dry so a bit while that's drying um, let's show you some samples that look <laughs> so cute um, of the December stamp scription so you've got your fabulous unicorns. Oh, they've done the reflection um, print, which looks wonderful. I love that there's little kids riding. That's so cute. And then um, all of that detail on the pom-poms there just really finish it off, don't they? Um, I've got another one here. That's really nice. You could make your own wrapping paper out of these. Brilliant stuff. Okay, back to you then. Okay. Hello. So I've just given that a dry, mm -hmm. and as you can see, you've given the impression of some Does hills it? really there. Good. Okay, so I'm just going to take a little micron pen. Now I'm no artist, but I'm just going to put some V's in the sky, so it looks like some birds. Right. Okay. Then I've coloured all my images, mm -hmm. and then I've um, <coughs> cut them out. So. Then you just put your scene together. I just do need a little bit more of the green. So when you decide where you put in each image, um, you don't want them so they're floating around. Mm -hmm. So I like to put, like I'll put a bit more green in and give them a base to sit on, yep. as I've done in this one. So I'm going to start at this bottom and just add some darker green there. Yeah. And then just in this area here. Fabulous. Another quick stock update for you. The Snow Place Like Home. A quarter of the stock has gone on this stamp set. Lovelies. And you've got the snow globe, the lovely um what's it, what's that type of jar again? Mason. Thank you. Mason jar. That's there. 9.99 Okay, so I'm just adding some glue onto the back of these that I've coloured. So I'm going to pop her there with her little bird, kneeling. Yep. And then there's her, what colour hair, that colour. And then there's a friend wearing a crown as well. Pop her opposite her. Like so. And then, I love this one, this is my favourite image. Which one's that one? Sorry. It's the little girl with the bunny. Oh, okay. Yeah. Great for Easter. 
practice, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. yeah. And then I'm going to pop her and him in this corner down here. I like to go over the side as well. Uh huh. And then <coughs> the little dog, which is so cute. I think it's a Dachshund. I'm pretending ah. it is. Well, I've got a Dachshund, so. I, they're my favourite dogs. Yeah, I've got one. I got love standard them. white hair. Oh, Doris. Because, what's the, Doris. Doris. Yes. Doris the Dachshund. Doris that's the gorgeous. Jackie. Right, so I then mat and layer that on here. Do you know why I like them so much, those dogs? It's because their legs are so short that when they walk, they're like flip-flopping. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. It just make, amuses the, me. The bum wiggles. Oh. <laughs> the um, postman come yesterday, and it was a, a new one, and he said, oh, he says, what's happened to her legs? <laughs> Did he? Yes. He's obviously never seen a sausage like, dog. Oh, they're there. <laughs> so then I'm going to pop these words now i'm using the words in the stamp description yeah i'm here for you and little one but i've chopped them up oh, just to yeah. spread them around in yeah, the cut. and it's it just showing you it's another way you don't have to use them as a whole you can just cut them up and yeah i like that effect yeah actually. um at the bottom of the screen we've got the snow Define Christmas, sorry, that's the one. Two thirds of the stock has gone. And then little one, which I'm putting near the little doggy. You can cut these wonky as well. They don't have to be straight. You can add angles to them. Yep. And distress around the edges. <laughs> so, yeah. I've got my card blank, so, but there we go. Fabulous! That's just showing you, you know, you don't have to, if you're not very good at making scenes, yeah. you don't have to stamp directly onto the card. You can sit and cut and then just add yeah. them on if you're not confident enough to do it that way. Nice, I really like that. Thank you. Righty ho. Um, we're going to show you the rest of the items um, that we haven't yet seen. We've got Christmas companions first. Have a little look at these. Um, you, you haven't got long to get your happy hour deals. Uh, there we go. Um, so Lottie, what Hi. inspired this one? So these are a bit of a golden oldie for us. So these are a couple of years old, but they are fantastic <coughs> illustrations by Laura. Um, she drew, I love this guy at the bottom actually, this reindeer. He's super cute. And they're actually quite large stamps. Yeah. I don't yeah. know if you have the stamps there. Um, oh, but yeah, if you so love your colouring techniques, if you love your alcohol markers, this is beautiful. Um, yeah, uh, Laura now draws for a very well-known author, uh, so she has oh. left us now. But she was fantastic, so I just wanted to bring back her work because I love it so much. Excellent. Yeah. Look at the size of those stamps. Um, I, I'm not sure we've got samples for this one. No, no, no not I don't one. think there are any samples for okay. this one. No worries. There you go, just having a closer look here. It's so cute. The turkey, perfect for this time of year. Yeah, definitely. And the little robin, <coughs> he's so detailed. He yeah. is. Because it's, it's all, it, like the feathers, he looks a bit scruffy, but I really like him yes. like that. It's and ruffled. she handed all of the sentiments as well. That's her handwriting. Yeah. Nice writing. Wish I had writing like that. <laughs> 9.99, item number is 558803. Next then, we have got Christmas Pals. So this is again by Laura. Um, if you look closely, the little Christmas tree has a tiny face, which is cute. Um, but again, oh, yeah. her quirky style, um, beautiful little kind of, some people say they're like guinea pigs dressed as reindeers, but they're just cute little characters here. Um, yeah, you can add the hat onto any of the characters. Yep. The Christmas tree is super quirky, but if you're doing wrapping paper this year, yeah. this is going to be super cute. I like that. And the stamps, again, they are bigger than the packaging. 999 930989. Next. Oh, is this the bear? Right. Very, very good. Yes. Very <laughs> good Christmas. So, again, by Laura. This was the most popular out of the collection. The bears are too cute. The guy in the little Christmas jumper, so much detail on him. Really gorgeous. Really fun to colour. 
Um, we've done wrapping paper in the past with these with my yep. kids and they just love those quirky little characters. Yeah. Look at the smile on the <laughs> reindeer. That is a cheesy grin or what? Yeah. <laughs> Um, now, you're saving £7 on these, only for the next half an hour. It's 9 99 item number is 484018. Next up then, mm, Sentimentally Christmas, beautiful brush lettering. Yes, so I designed these, mixing up my fonts again. Really nice, heartfelt Christmas sentiments, not just your usual Merry Christmas and all of that stuff. Yeah. Uh, you've got Friends I Like Snowflakes, Unique and Beautiful. A hug is the perfect gift, one size fits all. A smile is the perfect Christmas decoration. Baby, it's cold outside. Snowflakes are kisses from those who can't be with us, which is very fitting this yeah. year, I think. Yeah. Uh, believe in the magic of Christmas. Christmas is the happy ending to our family story each and every year. And finally, you've got happiness is you and me under the tree. That's gorgeous. And thank you for reading those because you know me and my eyesight. <laughs> yeah. 9 item number is 514517. Then we've got Bohemian Borders is the next one. That the, Now this is going to be useful, this yeah, one. Yeah, these are really popular with bullet journalers, people yeah. who love planning, because um, they really split up that page for you. But great for card making as well. Again, super detailed, look beautiful, heat embossed with that detail. Mm. Um, yeah, and a, a good mix of kind of florals and swags and that kind of thing. Uh, so that one is 9.99, What's the next one? Vintage tickets are coming up now. Uh, these are, again, so we've got, I love the circus. Yeah, yeah. so this, um, this stamp set was inspired by my dad. He's a huge circus fan, oh, collects fairground ornaments. And amazing. Kind of um, so this is inspired by my dad. Uh, there was a lot of vintage tickets and that kind of thing in his collection. And I took inspiration from that. Uh, there should be a lot of samples there. The design team went to town with these. Cool. It was amazing. Amazing. Um, yeah, and they were super busy earlier in the year. They were, they were. Look at that. Oh, I love those different fonts. Love that. The admit one. Now, look at this one, literally done as tickets. Isn't that fab? Great if you're making your own vintage ephemera and that kind of thing, mm. or maybe if you're memory keeping and you've got your memory journals and you know you're going to make the ticket as if you were going to the cinema again or whatever. You can write yep. what happened, journal on them. That, that one, thing. yeah, that's fabulous. Yeah, they have gone to town, haven't they, <laughs> with these samples? There's one that looks like a leather wallet. I don't know if ah, it's there. Uh, yes, it's I so think so. Clever. I think it was either Diane or Anne. I can't remember now. This one? Yes. This is awesome. That is really cool as maybe like a Father's Day card. That kind of thing. Yeah. It's really cool. Loving that. Nine ninety nine, and you're getting all twelve stamps. Item number is one five four eight six seven. Next, then we've got tiles alphabet. This is just coming onto the screen. These are super cute. Yes, this is another one really popular with the bullet journalers because yep. they want to write their own thing. They want to write January. They want to write habit tracker. That kind of thing. So um, yeah, a really fun alphabet for personalising if you're monogramming wedding stationery mm -hmm. great um i really like that well-known yeah. board game that they're from so yes. this was very self-indulgent this alphabet um when it was designed but yeah um you've also got little elements like a heart and a star uh, as the as tiles as well so if you are building a board you could add those as well kind of thing and cool maybe nest together two people's names or that kind of thing as uh -huh. if it was on a on a board but yeah Amazing. a really cute set a um, nice size as well. They're quite big. Yeah, lovely stuff. Uh, so that's 9.99.110530. Then we've got the tiled thoughts. Tiled, not tired. <laughs> um, again, very inspirational and very much like that well-known game. Yes. So uh, these are the sentiments. So if you didn't fancy building your own words, we've put some words together for you. Great for your journals, for your art journals, and that kind of thing. Because they're just really inspirational kind of words to go with those images. Um, but you've got hope and dream, smile, create, imagine. So uh, a really lovely set of words. Chop them up and put them on your, your cards and yep. your journals. Really lovely. Let's show you the size of them. Oh, I got these right way round. That's the size. There you go. Just so you can see. So if I tilt it, you can see the size. And you've got the heart and oh, the star yeah, sorry. in that one as well. Ah, the there you ones. are. Yeah, so if you wanted to use those too. Yeah. 9.99, item number is 863918. 
Then we've got the Swatch It. Is that what it's called? Swatch It? Yes. Oh. So this was um, Catherine from the design team. She really wanted uh, a stamp set to help swatch her pens, yep. her pencils, you know, polychromos and alcohol markers and that kind of thing. So we did a couple. So we've done the, the sets of three blocks are obviously for your three pen blends. So if you want to remember what pens you've used together mm -hmm. um, you could use it for that and um, the circles are a color wheel if you want to use it that way um, but yeah uh, just a great helpful set for your art journals if you're learning to color maybe um, yeah this is a great one nice um, there you go 999 137032 is the item number Oh, another stamp set. We couldn't fit it all out. <laughs> this one is the special delivery. Oh, this is perfect for Christmas, isn't it? It is, yeah. It's great for, as a little postmark on your envelopes. Really lovely. Um, a lot of people, this is really popular. Um, yeah, but a great price for the bundle because individually on my website there are a lot more than that. Oh, really? Excellent. There you go. 999 081224. There's also a paper collection next. At the back you can see some samples of the papers, so this is a Snow Place Like Home paper collection. You've got options of 6x6, 8x8 and 12x12, 12 12. Uh, but yeah, they're super lovely papers. Mm. They go with the Snow Place Like Home collection, the stamps, yeah. uh, all designed by Colette. Fabulous. So this is the 12x12, 12 12, 15 sheets at 9 99 um, And then we've also got the 8x8s 8 that you've done too. Yep, so there's an 8x8 8 8 option as well, so great for your memory books and that kind of thing. And they're all 9 99 these. Look at those. Lovely. And then we've got a 6x6, so they're all under a different item number. Here we go. So this is really cute for your cards yeah. and toppers and that kind of thing. Yeah. And they're good quality. Yeah, they're printed in the UK, local to here. Yeah. Uh, really beautiful quality. Almost glossy in finish. Really lovely. They are, aren't they? So we just see, you can see that, yeah, you can see that shine. Lovely. There we go. Um, thank you very much, Lottie. Um, we're going to hand back to Caroline now. I'm back. I'm back. <laughs> I'm back. <laughs> so I'm going to use a few of the stamps this time. I'm um, going to be still using the stamp scription, but some of the older ones as well. And we're going to be making something similar to this. Yep. Oh, it's, that's gorgeous. Okay. I've had to do a bit of prep beforehand, but all I've done, I'll just talk you through it. Um, I've got a bauble with a circle out of MDF and I've just got some blue paint and just brushed over it and then I've got some lilac, a little bit of that as well just so it gives it sort of northern light, see, and then some white. So, and it's, it's you know, it's quite easy and yep. then all I've done on the circle is used some um, texture paste and my favourite holographic gel medium nice okay so I'll just pop those to one side for the moment now we're going to use the the bear in the stamp description right so I think he's a polar bear yeah that's that's my interpretation of him oh yeah I agree so I think he's cool <laughs> so I'm not going to use the black I'm going to use a gray to stamp this time I'm using the Versafine Claire because again I'm going to be using the pencils. It's actually quite a bit of detail on him because mm. um, he's got all his flowers and his collar and there's the areas yeah. to showing bits of fur. I like that he's looking up so he could be looking up at a Christmas tree yeah. or the moon yeah. or anything. The northern light. Yes. So, right, what we're going to do is similar to what I did before. All I'm going to do is, all I'm putting the blue is on the areas that have got the little marks. Yes. So, and you don't need to go heavy with this at all because you're only wanting a little. Yeah. It's nice actually because you've got the the areas where you can shade. Like yeah. You, it helps you if you feel like you're not confident yeah. at shading. Yeah. It's it's there for you. It's the guide is there, mm -hmm. and I'm not going to go all the way in the middle with this ink and it is only going to be very subtle but I just didn't want him not to have any colour yeah. at all so don't need to be an artist to colour these in because I'm not me neither <laughs> <laughs> but it just it, 
it makes them a bit more three-dimensional rather than just plain white. So that's his body, as yep. much as I'm going to do. And then I'm going to put, what colour is this? This is a red. And I'm going to put that quite dark on that collar. Mm -hmm. And then I'm going to pull that through into the ruffly bits as well. Oh, he could be a circus bear too, yeah. I reckon. Yeah, you can paint, you can, you know, you could colour him in brown, yeah. pink, blue. Anything you want. For, pink for, bear. For children's cards yeah. as well, yeah. and for new babies. So that's him coloured nice. as much as we're going to do. You can, you know, you don't want it too in your face. Mm -hmm. So pop him to one side, grab the frame. So I've got a piece of, scrap piece of white card, and I'm just going to randomly tear don't want that bit. I like those colours that you've used for the globe. Thank yeah. you. Yeah, I like those. Yeah. It just breaks it. You don't want it just blue. Yeah. I just thought it would be nice to... I mean, you could put green and pinks mm -hmm. and all sorts in there. So, I'm just going to chop a bit of that off. As you can see, I'm not measuring just guesstimating. Now, because this is at the background, mm -hmm. I'm going to pop that on flat and then this bit will be raised forward. Right. Yeah. So that's then ready. Now I'm now going to grab the snow globe stamp set and there's a stamp in there that has like little snowflakes on a circle so I'm just popping that on there and then I'm going to use an ink dauber dabber and this is in silver just to give a little bit of a twinkle in the background. Lovely. And actually, let's have another look at the stamps that you get in your stamp scription box. Um, <clears throat> and I, so I love the packaging as well. L Lottie's packaging is just awesome. Um, so you can see those little figures. There's our polar bear. We've got sentiments as well. Um, and also the cat that's been given a hug. It's absolutely adorable. 14 467 -617. So you can get two or three generations out of that. So that just adds a bit of background. Just a bit of a yeah. sparkle. Nice. Um, and um, Caroline's now using that snow globe, snow place like snow home place like stamp home. set. 12 stamps, 9.99, 778, 498. So then I'm just gonna place this. Now, I'm not bothering if there's any gaps around the edges because you're going to put the frame around it and then we can put some paste on it as well. So that one's going to go flat. Yep. And then this one. Using, I'm going to use the new pop. Or oh, treat oh, yourself to open well, the new pop. You've, okay. you've gone through the other one yeah, though, haven't you? Yeah. <laughs> very um, little left. Another item that's getting really busy is the tiled alphabet. 30 stamps. I love these. Like, like we said, like that well-known board game. Now, after this hour, because this is a happy hour deal, you're going to be paying an extra £7. I don't want you to do that. Get it at 9 110530 So, I'm just popping some gel medium more in the middle than around the outside. Just to add that depth. There we go. Lovely. And then you up that scene. Then get some you could always put this on first, but what's that? This is the holographic gel medium. Oh yeah, I love that I love stuff. This. I use my fingers. <laughs> get right in there with <laughs> yeah, the fingers. Get in with your fingers. Yeah. Um yeah I 
pop that on um, and then it just adds interest again mm. and also put big blobs on just to yeah. get lots of peaks yeah but it just makes it that much more Christmassy yeah um, at the bottom of the screen define Christmas now 80% of the stock gone 999 004 019. Oops. Okie dokie. Looking cool. And then I've got a silver marker, which I'm just going to colour this top bit in. Cool, that's a chunky marker. <laughs> cool. Nice. I forgot I'd got it. <laughs> there we go. And don't worry about that because that'll all be hidden. And then I'm just going to use a, this glue because I know it works well on MDF on MDF. Lovely. It just shows that they're not just for cards. Mm -hmm. You can use them for home decor, the stamps. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, this is so pretty is a, to give us a gift. Yeah. Yeah. I was. Like, he laughed when I told her this. What? I had intended on doing a shaker. Okay. It's a shaker, mm. but I thought live on telly. <laughs> <laughs> it'll Glitter go wrong. Everywhere. Yeah, it'll go yeah. wrong. So, yeah, that was my plan anyway. Okay. So, come back to my book. Got everything ready. Excellent. So, these are so easy to cut out, obviously. Good. So, get my <clears throat> gel medium again. Nice. Je um, I was going to say gel medium is now lit. No, no. <laughs> what's, li what's gone limited is the Define Christmas. Nine ninety nine. Details on screen. So you're really liking that one. So place these where you want. Mm -hmm. Try to follow the rough lines that I've done. And then oh. I've done one. I like he's just slightly tucked, so he's yeah. literally his paws yeah. have sunk into the snow. This That's one, deep snow I drift. do it so he looks like he's almost sat. Yeah, yeah. So pop him like there. And then, I mean, you could do these for a family. Yeah. yeah. So like, like my friend, she's got three boys. Mm -hmm. um, so you could have five of for her and husband and the, the boys. That's and you adorable. Could name them, name all. them Yeah. Let's pop that bit there. Yeah, I always like it when pop things actually on the frame, then it gives it even more dimension. Yeah, mm -hmm. exactly. So that's using them. Like I say, you can go as much as you want. Mm -hmm. And then also, where have I popped it? I'm going to pop. What are like you using I there? Like I said earlier, yeah. this is the um, texture paste. Because when um, I was cutting the card, I said it didn't matter if you had gaps like you've got here, mm -hmm. just down there. All I'm going to do, I'm take him off, just add a bit more yep. around this edge. Lovely stuff. Um, our Define Christmas, that has now technically sold out, but... We can get you some more, but it's going to have to be on extended delivery from the 15th of December. Nice. How this you is why there? I like to use gel medium, because you can take them off. True. Yeah, you've not got quite how you want it. <clears throat> yeah, you've got loads of wiggle room, but then it does... Sticks. Yeah. Sticks. <laughs> I was joking the other day and saying that you could um, stick down floor tiles with it. Yeah, probably, <laughs> <good>. <laughs> probably good. So, when that's dry that um, um, texture paste I've just put on. I will then go over again with some more of the holographic yep, gel. Lovely. So then I'm going to bring in the tiled alphabet. Righty ho. And what I've done, um, I've stamped these onto watercolour card, which I shall show you again. Just grab an E. These ones are 80% gone. So useful. Mm. So useful. You know, you've got um, names, you need to personalise a card. Absolutely. Ideal. So all I did with this, with some watercolour card, mm -hmm. just stamped, this is going to say family, 
and then I just got my upside again. Uh huh. That's a tiny bit. Don't need a lot. <laughs> Google. And then I, I, I stamped the whole words, mm -hmm. and then I just went over the whole lot. With, you know, very easy. Saves. Do you don't want to do one each individual because no. it's life's too short. So that's family, and then I will use glue on this one just for time. I always start in the middle and work my way out when I'm doing words. Right. And I tend to do them wonky on purpose because I, if I try to do it straight, that's not going to work. If I try and do it straight, yeah, I know, it, it, I'm it, the same. It, it never just works. doesn't look right. Let's change this and have a 3D glit gel. So, like I say, I always start with the middle letters first. Nice. Uh, we are approaching limited now on the tiled alphabet. It's been a really busy show. Yeah, an amazing happy hour price, and you've got that seven pound saving there. One one zero uh, five three zero. Okay. So I'm just popping these on all one key <coughs> on purpose. And again, if I'm not quite where I want them, I've got that wiggle. I quite like them wonky. Yeah. Yeah. Gives it a bit of character. Exactly. And then once that's dry, yep. again, I'll go over with the holographic paste. Uh, our tiles have now technically sold out. All the stock is in baskets. OK, we can get some more, but again, we need to give Lottie time to make and, and, and packaging and everything. So it'll be from the 15th of December, obviously. So I've Stamped, don't stop dreaming. Just go around the edge. With What's the sentiment? Don't stop dreaming. Yeah. Out of the stamp scription. And to be honest, because they're all looking up to the sky, yeah, aren't they? Exactly. Yeah. So that's just gone around the edge. Yep. And again, I can you use this. So I'll keep putting the lid on. How long does your gel medium take to dry, would you say? Do you have to leave it overnight? I leave it overnight, yeah. just to be sure. Yeah. Because there's nothing worse, is there, that you get a project done and then you try and do something and you ruin it. So, yeah. No, I just always leave it overnight. And also, it depends on what thickness mm -hmm. um, you put it on. So... Right, I'm going to pop that up there. Mm, that looks so adorable. And it really feels, it really looks so festive. Yeah. Obviously, you know, you can put, like I say, gel medium, add all that, and you can add more sentiments. And then that's the two of them. Done there like you that. go. Fabulous. That looks beautiful. Thank you so much, Thank Caroline. Thank you. Okie dokie. Just for the last couple of minutes then, uh, we're going to have a quick recap. It's been a fabulous, uh, fabulously busy hour. We have got our stamp scription set. Um, we are 70% of the stock gone. And for anybody just joining us, Lottie, these yes. are exclusive for us at the moment. Yes, yeah, so stamp scription is a monthly subscription box that I run. But now the subscribers already have this box. This yep. is December's box. So this is your last chance and exclusive chance to get this box. Oh, amazing. A uh, few samples. Look at these. We've got our lovely little girl. She's holding the bunny rabbit. We've got the cat with uh, giving a little girl a hug. Uh, we've got our gorgeous unicorns. I love that he's sort of riding backwards. Yes, he's just, <laughs> he's got to where he wants to be. He's just chilling on the back. Yeah. <laughs> it's cool. <laughs> Um, only $14.99. Item number is 467617. And then we've got the Be Yourself. Again, I mean, the wreath um, is a nice size. Yeah, it's a lovely size and it fits the sentiments in the middle, which was really important to us. Yeah. And um, these are designed by Hannah Rose's Hansie's Garden. Um, 
but yeah, a really lovely set, and the sentiments are hand drawn as well as all of the images. Yeah. Wow, great handwriting. She has then. phenomenal brush lettering skills. Oh, yeah. jealous. <laughs> well, yeah. Jill. Nine ninety nine. Item number is nine three 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 seven seven. Next, then we've got the beautiful butterflies. I just love those little diddy ones in there. You know, those lovely little. Um, Bird, not birds. We've got the butterfly in there. Yeah. and the little, yeah, uh, the little florals. The design team, they were actually designed without that, and the design team came back to me and said, can we have the elements individually to kind of embellish around? And, and we made it happen, yeah. Nice. That's 9 99 seven stamps in total. 845871. Right, we're going to show you some of the most popular items on the show. Uh, so this one is Star Shine. Um, and I love the extra elements. I love the shooting stars. Yeah, there's a border there, but you can chop it up, use it as individual elements, um, but some lovely sentiments in some great fonts as Excellent. well. Excellent. Yeah. 9 99 <laughs> for that. Um, the next one is the snow place like home. I love the globe. Yeah, the mason jar is really versatile as well, not just for Christmas. Put a floral in there, put a, a sentiment in there. Yeah, the mason jar is super super cool for that and you've only got now oh gosh seven minutes to get it at that price the defined Christmas is on extended delivery it's sold out but now 30% of the extended delivery stock fabulous yeah it's a quirky fun set definitions for different Christmas but really different definitions not the actual dictionary definitions. Yep, yeah lovely and that one's 9.99 then the tiled alphabet just coming up onto the screen this one also back on extended delivery and um, it, they're both the ones I just said they'll be um, dispatched from the 15th of December but I just you can go to town with these yeah personalizing monographing wedding stationery uh, fitting together words so they look like they're on a board Great. Yeah. 9.99 again and then we've got our tiled thoughts very busy oh sorry I just stifled a sneeze <laughs> <laughs> Okay, happiness, believe, inspire, and you've popped in those two little extras. Yeah, lovely journaling words, and then the two little tiles, stars, and hearts as well to embellish. Nice, nine ninety nine. One more, we can just about squeeze in. Here is your sentimentally Christmas, beautiful. Yeah, really different Christmas sentiments here, heartfelt ones, and some that are really fitting for the year that we've had as well. Nice, and. Our stamp description has now gone limited. Remember, it's exclusive to us here. Uh, there you go. Just fourteen ninety nine, four six seven six one seven. Thank you very much, Lottie. Thanks very much. Do you know when you're next back? I am back next Saturday for the rest of the bargains on uh, Happy Hour. Amazing. Yes. Please make sure you shop ahead. Thank you very much as well. Caroline, there we are. Um, so please check out your basket. Fantastic deals. And if you put your happy hours in your basket now and check out, we will honour that price. But you've only got five minutes. We will see you very shortly. Next, we've got the gyro cut craft tool. I have one of these. They are amazing. After that, Daisy Bee Crafts. And finally, well not finally, we're still going, we've got the ODS. Hi there, my name's Leona. I'm a presenter, a guest and a crafter here at Achanda. I got into crafting years ago, ever since I've been crafting since I was a child and I absolutely love it. I love my job, I love the presenting side because I get to meet loads of really inspirational people and that's just the beauty of this, there's always something new to learn, there's always something that you want to get into, it's fabulous. My Let Leone Loose show on Achanda is also fantastic. It's my weekly highlight. I get to work with loads of really cool brands, loads of fantastic products, and again, I'm always learning. And I do get loads of wonderful viewers getting in touch as well, which is obviously a highlight of our job. I hope you can join me on my Let Leone Loose shows every Wednesday, 11 a.m. and 2 p.m.
Hi, I'm Ali from Ali Stitch Fingers. Um, I've been sewing most of my life. I absolutely love sewing. I've been with the Chanda now from the very beginning, really. That's when I started to go there. The Chanda family are lovely people to work with, and I'm really enjoying my time with them. Designing is a big part of the journey uh, for me as well. I, I love going out and finding the fabrics to use in the projects and bringing them to you. I love the designing process from start to finish and then the finished project is just the icing on the cake. So make sure you don't miss out, come and sew with me on a chanda. Hi, I'm Lucy from Sweet Poppy Stencils, the Craft Station Limited. We're a craft retailer and we specialise in stainless steel stencils. Our stencils are manufactured in metal. Uh, this allows us to have designs that are intricate. We also have new products coming on board. Um, our craft bonds, our uh, pole drops and acrylic paints are joining us. We've recently joined Hachanda and we're really excited. This allows us to demonstrate and show our products. Um, we know customers like seeing um, the demonstrations. So make sure you tune in and don't miss the Sweet Poppy shows on Hachanda. My name is Catherine Sturrock and I bring to a chanda my company Character Crafts. Character Crafts brings to you our laser cut designs. Each design is designed by myself. We cut them on the laser machines here in Doncaster and bring the products to you at home. Character Crafts is suitable for all ages and all abilities. So I hope that I can inspire you and help you along with your crafting. I'd like to show you how to use different paint techniques and different techniques to bring the characters alive and use various mediums to decorate um, and I also use air dry clay for decorating with the flowers. So make sure you look out for the character craft shows on Achanda. I hope to see you soon. Now, in seconds, wow, that is amazing. Um, really looking forward to this show. We are talking about the gyro cut. I mean, look at that, the precision, the delicacy, uh, but the speed. No, that is so impressive, isn't it? It is, thank you, yep. That is so impressive. Very, very easy to use, yep. So. It's amazing. Um, now, we have got a, a fabulous show. We've got new products coming up, new blades, um, but kits for absolutely everybody. Whether you're wanting to do paper crafting, whether you're actually um, using this for your sewing, or whether, of course, um, you're migrating both together. Um, and Noel, obviously, this is such an incredible product. Oh, and we've got the lovely Karen there as well. I couldn't see you there. <laughs> um, and we will say to everyone, you are in the same household so it's yes. all okay right. for yeah 
Yeah, so don't panic, everyone. We're, we're, we're sticking to the rules. Um, it's lovely to see you both. How are you both, first you of all? Too. Yeah, very well, thank you. Good. Long time, yeah, no you? see. It has been ages, hasn't it? Yeah, too it's long. It's been too long. ages. And I love it because when, you, when I don't have a show for ages, you forget how good a product is. Do you know what I mean? And you forget just how um, how easy and effective that product in particular, the, it is such a good tool. Do you want to tell us a bit more thank about you. it, Olive Linnell? Yeah, sure. So, um, oh, thank you, Karen. Thanks. This is a new GyroCut Pro tool. Um, it's a development of the original GyroCut tool. Um, the, the original tool was blue. This one is obviously orange in colour, so easy to find in your toolkit. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> it's the same principle. The... Uh, blade rotates hopefully you can see that on the close-up oh, yeah. easy okay and um, it's the, all of the angles are designed into the product yeah to enable the, the the blade to cut properly when you're using it on paper thin card and a whole range of uh, other materials that we can now cut using the uh, add-on tungsten carbide blades that we're offering here today. Amazing, amazing. And that's it, isn't it? I mean, what I love about this, you're not buying a new, the whole new tool every single time. You get your little range of blades, but they'll all fit into the same housing unit, won't they? That's right. The, the original tool, the gyro cut, um, only had the one blade for cutting paper and thin card. <clears throat> this one, we've now developed a range of blades for. Um, this is it's fitted with a standard cut blade yeah. at the moment for paper but we're offering the medium cut and deep cut tungsten carbide blades as add-on blades today. Perfect. And that, we're going to go through the different materials that you can cut with those blades. Yeah. But it takes you right up to and including sort of three millimetre leather, which is quite impressive. Wow. Um, so, yeah, we've done a lot of work on developing the blade technology um, to make it as easy as possible to use. That's amazing. Um, I'm going to show the kit because <coughs> obviously see what you're, you're actually going to get for your pennies. And it is important as well, the first 50 people checking out your basket today, you are getting your magic... Hey, I need tons of this. I need this in, like... I need yeah. this in, <laughs> in huge vats, I think, um, the cleaner. So would you use this, no before or after your, your adhesive... Okay, so out. Matte Magic is a very new product. We're just, just releasing it now. Um, the idea is that if you have a, a heavily sort of soiled mat that's got mm -hmm. lots of bits of paper, yeah, um, dust and, you know, <laughs> pet fur or whatever it might be on there, you can easily <laughs> clean it off with Matte Magic before you yeah. then treat your mat with our sticky mat adhesive. Amazing. Um, so it means it's kind of a, a, a refurbishing of your, of your existing mat rather that's, than buying a new one. That's very handy. Very Absolutely. handy indeed. The first 50 people checking out their baskets are getting this free. And so that's a little gift. Um, so please check your baskets out. Now, this is our very first kit. So what you're getting, of course, is the, um, the actual uh, gyro cut. So what I love about this, whether you're left-handed or right-handed, it's easy. It's nice and lightweight as well, isn't it? That's right. I mean, that is, isn't going to take... It, it's, not, um, it's not a horrible heavy tool to work with. No, it's, it's like using a pen or a pencil. Yeah. Um, it works, as you say, right or left hand. That's, that everything's been designed into the product for, for that purpose. And because of the way the, 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 the tool is configured, you hold it on the pinch point and your hand can't slip down the, the rest yeah. of the tool. So, so um, it makes it very, very comfortable to hold. But also, if you're doing a big project, you can use it for, for hours without any, any sort of fatigue or problems. Yeah, I like that. I like the way it's been designed so it won't slip down. I think yeah. that is really clever. Yeah, yeah. And so my, my dad actually invented the product and he, uh. had, he had lots of fantastic ideas to, to, to actually go into the design of the product. And it looks quite straightforward, quite simple, but every single thing about it is crucial to the way that it works. Yeah. If, if anything was changed, it wouldn't work. Yeah, yeah, isn't that fabulous? It and is. your dad yep. cut, did, that's really yeah, lovely. Lesson. <laughs> yeah, that is so cool and it's so nice that, you know, it's you're still bringing, um, and not only not bringing it to us, but introducing new blades and things. I think that's fabulous. Yeah. Um, so, you've got the, the actual tool. You've then got your blade, of course. Remember, this is a steel blade. It's a really good, strong blade. Um, really versatile. I mean, you can cut and you can see there just some of the materials that you can cut. Um, so, you've got there, um, I'll read this because I can't read it on screen. <laughs> so, you've got things like a plate it decoupage and I mean things like your, your decoupage where you've got detail 
which is amazing. Um, patchwork, quilting, um, cutting around templates, cutting stencils, masks, decals, I mean, which is absolutely amazing. Uh, leather craft, really, really amazing little product. You've also got, which is really important, um, the adhesive. Now, the adhesive is going to allow you to make your mat nice and sticky. So, of course, your material bill will be held properly. That's absolutely crucial. And you can see just a little blade there and that's a little steel blade that's going to go in i mean look at that look at how detailed this is that karen's done and that i mean she is amazing but look at all the layers and that's all been cut with the blade isn't that phenomenal? Uh, £25.99 pence is your price if you'd love to go for that. Uh, 905610 is your item number. And I suppose I'm going to ask you, obviously, how long does a blade last? But that's a bit of a silly question because it's going to be dependent on what you use it for and how often you use it, I suppose, isn't it? That's right, yeah. I mean, if you're using the, the standard cut hardened steel blade, which is the paper blade, if you're using that sort of regularly, let's say, on a daily basis, um, you're going to get at least three to six months um, life out of the blade, depending wow. on the type of things you're cutting. Yeah. Um, so it lasts far longer than, for example, a scalpel blade or, or, in, or even scissors. Um, the, the blade, this, this particular blade, the, the hardened steel blade for, for paper, is actually skin friendly. So I'll, I'll demonstrate this, but please do not try this at home. Right. It's designed not to cut your skin in normal use. So. Obviously, if you did that with a scalpel, you'd be uh, off yeah, to A&E. Um, yeah, yeah. But, you know, this, this is a, a skin-friendly blade. But the idea is that, that if you're using it in, in normal sort of everyday crafting use, yeah. it won't sort of cut your skin That's really unless you try hard. really hard. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. Um, so the, the, the kit that we're doing today uh, for, for paper is the, the Gyrocut Pro, as Leonie rightly said, with the hardened steel blade, um, uh, the, the, the standard cut blade. Now, you also get, with the, with the starter kit, the sticky mat adhesive. Now, I'm just going to show you how to use that because yeah. we get quite a few sort of uh, messages about the sticky mat adhesive and its applications. There are lots of applications, but the main one is to make your cutting mat sticky. Now, some people have a natural resistance to having a sticky mat, and I can understand <laughs> yeah. that totally. But once you've tried it and you, you get used to it, it's like having an extra pair of hands yeah. to stop the paper or, or, or the card or whatever you're working on from moving sideways when, when you're working. I'll just demonstrate the, the, the tool again. Um, unlike any other tool, we're using quite a lot of sideways motion with the GyroCut Pro. Yeah. So if you, if you use the tool without the sticky mat, the paper would quite easily move and it would spoil your artwork. Yeah. So if I just, if I just show you a basic cut... The blade is just following the direction of my hand and it's cut the paper perfectly. If I did that without the sticky mat, you wouldn't get that sort of crisp, clean result because the paper would move. Of course. It might move microscopically or it might move a lot, but it, it would spoil your artwork. Yeah. So, what I'm going to do is just show you how to actually use your sticky mat adhesive. If we take a, a, just a, a straightforward self healing cutting mat, this is a brand new mat, they are actually quite slippery when they're brand new and uh, when they haven't been treated. So that's, that's actually quite a, a slippery surface yeah. now. Yeah. And we want, we want to make it sticky. So we just take our sticky mat adhesive, obviously open the lid, and you'll see that there's a nozzle on the bottle, okay. quite a, a precise uh, narrow nozzle, and that allows you to apply a small amount of the adhesive to the surface of the mat. And then we just take a piece of just ordinary kitchen sponge. We use it dry, so you have no need to wet it. And then you just smooth the uh, adhesive over the surface of your mat. Now, as you can probably see on the shot there, it's white when it's wet, yeah. but it dries completely clear. So and it's great that you can actually see where you've applied it because yeah. it's white. And then let it dry for sort of 20 minutes, half an hour. and. It'll, it'll be clear. And you now, don't need much. I mean, you don't you need much. I mean, I've used a very small amount there. Yeah. In fact, I've used actually a little bit too much. You, know, you don't even need that much. But let it dry. Yeah. Then it depends on what you're cutting as to how sticky you need your mat. If, you, if you're going to be cutting tissue paper, for example, yeah. which the Gyrocut Pro, uh, hardened, the hardened steel standard cut blade will cut tissue paper beautifully, you don't need it, the mat to be very sticky. Yeah. But if you were cutting, um, say, uh, you know, 300 GSM card, yeah then you need more, more of a stickiness on it, yeah. on it. So you can, after half an hour, you can give it a second coat if you need to. Yeah. But bear in mind that it's not to hold the paper down 
it's more about stopping the paper going sideways. Yes, so yeah. some people say, oh, well, the paper comes off really easily. Well, it's not supposed to stick too, yeah. uh, you know, um, permanently, otherwise you couldn't get it back off again. Absolutely. So and ju just to stop it going sideways. When you take the paper off, I mean, there's no residue on there no, whatsoever. No, it, it stays on the mat. That's right. That's so, really good. Yeah. So whether you're cutting paper um, with, the, with the standard cut blade or leather with the uh, deep cut blade, yeah. um, you always make your mat sticky. Now, once we've treated the mat with the, with the sticky mat adhesive, it'll stay sticky for many, many months. Excellent. You only need to treat it the once. When it gets dusty or bits of paper or bits of fabric or any sort of residue on it, you give it a wash with a wet microfiber cloth. Right. That, that's what's, what works best. Yeah. You can use other cloths, but we use a microfiber cloth. Rub the surface with a wet microfiber cloth. That'll get all of the debris off the mat. If it's really heavily soiled, then obviously you use our Mat Magic Cleaner, and that'll get yeah. it, it, um, even the, the heavily soiled mats clean. And then when it's dry, it'll be sticky again. Yeah, perfect. That's so, amazing. Yeah, it is, it is amazing. It's quite like a magic sort of um, uh, uh, glue. Yeah. You can also use the adhesive for making things like acrylic stamping blocks sticky again. Oh, that's good. For holding good. your stamps. Yeah. We use That's it. really handy. So if you've yeah. got unmounted rubber stamps, you can use this for your unmounted That's rubber right. stamps. And we, we use it for things like stencils. So if you, if you want to make a stencil sticky, if you make, make an acetate stencil or a mylar stencil yeah. or even a, a cardboard stencil, you can put the sticky mat adhesive on there with your sponge, let it dry, and that'll be sticky for many, many months. So That's you can, amazing. You can position your stencil, paint through yeah. it, take it back off, reposition it, paint through it again yeah. and it, it can be used over and over again. And what about storage? Like with our mat, would we cover it with a plastic sheet or something to storage? Well, you can you, if you've got a plastic sheet available. Well, all I do is just use a bit of grease, grease proof paper. Perfect. That's Even a better. cheap option. Just put it, yeah. put it over the mat, store it away. It doesn't really matter if it does get dusty because you can just clean it very yeah. quickly with, yeah. a, with your wet microfiber cloth. So it, it depends on your storage facilities, really. If you have yeah. got a place to store it, then great, put your Brilliant grease Brilliant for paper stencils over it. and things. For stencils, that is absolute genius. And I suppose if you've got um, a cricket machine or, you know, any of your electronic cutting machines where you need a sticky mat, will this work on that it's, as well? It's perfect for your cricket, silhouette, scanner cut mats, all of those machine mats. And uh, there are other machines available, obviously, not just those ones. But, yeah, any, any sort of machine mat, um, you can re-sticky it, refurbish it with our sticky mat adhesive. It'll be better than when it was new, according to me, yeah. and um, it'll, it'll last longer. So it's uh, it's a win-win, really. Um, it's certainly much cheaper than buying a new yeah. mat. Yeah. Um, we sell it all over the world. It's amazing that, you know, we get orders from America amazing. regularly for sticky mat adhesive, which is, you know, crazy yeah. because the shipping cost is is about one and a half times the cost of the product. But, but it's, yeah, they, they but just they need want, they it. Just, and it's going to yeah. last ages. I think stencils for home decor, it's amazing. If you do want the adhesive, remember the fifth, fifth, first 50 orders to go through, do get the cleaner as well, which is amazing. If you want just two bottles of this, 50 ml each, 10.99. I mean, think about where you're going to use this. You'll obviously use it with your gyro cutter, but of course, you are going to use it with um, with your stencils. With even I'm thinking like with your stamps. You know, when you're stamping, sometimes you can be all over the place on your mat. This paper isn't. There's no residue. So it's great for a multitude of crafting. Um, that's the adhesive, 512723. Right, shall we have a cut? And show, yes, is that definitely. your next plan of action? Yeah, so I've got a, uh, well, we've made our mat sticky, obviously. Yes. Um, we've got a, a, a new piece of paper um, on the mat. It's just regular um, 90 GSM paper, nothing special. You can use photocopy paper, that's perfect. It's nice and cheap to buy as well. This is obviously colored stuff, but it's, it's uh, easy to cut. So. We, we hold the Jara Cut Pro tool with, on the pinch point, mm -hmm. like so. It's very important to keep the, the head of the tool, the, the blade part, vertical. Yeah. So if you imagine a, a cricket machine where the, the blade is going around, the blade is always vertical in the cricket or the cinema yes. or the scanning cut machine. And we work in the same way. We, we keep that blade absolutely vertical if we can. If you tip it over, it changes the angle of the blade and it won't cut as efficiently. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so... The other thing that's important is to, to maintain sort of medium downward pressure yeah. when, you, when you're cutting. So if I put the, the blade on the, on the paper now, I can just turn the blade like that. You can see it rotating. Yeah. And it, it's only cutting on the very point of the blade. Now, some people uh, unfortunately uh, yeah. get that wrong, and they try to tip it over and yeah. make it work on, like a normal blade. But this just works on the very point of the blade. Yeah. Okay, so you can see me rotating that around the point. Yeah. So if I put that on the edge of the paper now and push down and just pull it towards me, 
You can go slowly or you can go quickly, it doesn't matter. But that's cut a sort of reasonably straight line there very quickly and easily. Yeah, that's really quick. If you want yeah. a perfectly straight line, you can use a plastic rule. Um, and in this case, we're, we're using one of ours, but you can just run the blade along the edge of the plastic. It won't damage the plastic, and you get a perfectly straight cut. Oh, that's brilliant. Now, you'll notice that on my um, Easy Trim device, we've got uh, a wiggly edge. So if we put that on the paper, we can then run the blade along the wiggly edge, and the blade will naturally follow that shape yeah. and reproduce that wiggly edge over and over again. So that's great for putting a nice edge on a, on a Christmas card or a birthday card that's, that's you know, eminently reproducible. So um, very useful. But it'll work with other templates as well. Obviously, if you have a really complex template, it may not be um, suitable. But for, 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 for sort of straightforward templates, it's perfect. Yeah, perfect. OK, so once we take our paper off the mat, there's no glue on the mat. It stays, it, sorry, there's no glue on the paper. It stays on the mat, so it won't contaminate your workpiece. Yeah. Um, we'll just uh, put that in the recycling bin for a moment. OK, so if I take another sheet of paper, um, we, we have uh, the uh, circular template here. This is a, a plywood template. And we can just run the blade around the inside because we use the inside because your, otherwise your other hand would get in the way. But I can go around in a complete circle and it's cut the circle oh, wow. instantly like that. That's so impressive. It's so satisfying yeah, as well. That is cutting, a, I'm cutting looking right now for a difficult. butt roller sellotape, but I'm really, it's like, oh, I want to have a go. That <laughs> looks so impressive yeah. and easy. It's very easy to cut circles with a gyro cut pro or the gyro cut. Um, it, it really is instantaneous and uh, you can cut any sort of size circle you um, can cut around the outside of something if you use uh, for example a, a, a plate or a saucer yeah but as I said if I, if I demonstrate that if I get um, a different size circle here I don't want to waste too much paper so I put it on the same piece of paper if I try to go around the outside it's great until I get to there and uh, I hit my yeah. other hand so you've got to then move your hand and you're likely to move the, the template and you won't get a perfect circle. Oh, I see. So I'm that's trying you that. See inside, yeah, that's what you're trying to do. Yeah. Really. You can yeah. do it. But it's tricky. But it's a it? bit fiddly because your other hand gets in the way. Yeah. So uh, that's why we designed, well, that's why we work with a, a disc that where we actually cut on the inside of it. Yeah, yeah, I see You've what you mean. You've done a pretty good job there, though, to be honest I with you. I tell you what, I tell <laughs> you what. Look, look, I have been playing, folks. I have been playing. Well, well I've done. I've been doing wiggly lines. And I'm left-handed. And the yep. lovely thing is, it just doesn't matter, does it? It doesn't make any difference, And it's no. easy to get to grips. No, obviously, sorry, the pun. But it's easy to get to grips with, isn't it? I mean, yeah. I know. I've been learning, I've been learning, so don't go straight. I've been listening to Noel and watch your blade. So if you need to do, look. And now I'm going to go into my little circle. But look at that for, boom, pristine cut. Isn't that fabulous? And then obviously I've got my circle there. Okay, well, you've now qualified to be one of our demonstrators. <laughs> so, well done. The pay's rubbish, but uh, it's a great fun job. I tell you what, it's, uh, I love it because it's actually quite addictive just cutting bits of paper. Yeah. You'll end up just cutting bits of paper just it because is, it's it fun. It is addictive, and, and that's why, you know, you're better off using photocopy paper because it's, uh, it's quite a cheap way of buying <laughs> paper. <laughs> And, and, uh, and I love it because, you know, we've got loads of lovely finished samples, like decoupage, like obviously cutting your own stencils. OK, I mean, now you're just showing off. Now that's, I'm showing that, off. That's, that's, the, that's the advanced lesson you've just done there. <laughs> <laughs> very good. Typical me, that. That's, Typical me. It's very, ni very nice job. It's a good heart. <laughs> so, um, stop taking the limelight off me over there, you. Right, so if we, um, if we just do a, a bigger circle now... <laughs> Um, but I still haven't, I haven't got the circles yet, though, no. You're still ahead. Oh, no, I'm not letting you have them. <laughs> um, so we'll just do a big circle and then leave that on the mat. And if you can uh, see the circle that I'm left with, I'm going to just do a spiral. Oh, yeah. Now, basically, if you wanted to do, um, for example, a, a rose, you could make your spiral 
that that quickly and easily. Boom! Look at that. And then you can you can quill that with a quilling tool into a perfect of rose. Course. It's amazing. Yeah. And it's so quick and easy. It's incredible. But the end result is amazing. Yeah. They look good just on Christmas tree. Yeah. And it's it's a great magic trick for a party. Well, yeah. We don't have parties anymore. But when we when we eventually get back to having parties, <laughs> that's a great crowd pleaser. Yeah. yeah. That looks so good. <laughs> I love that. I love that. That's brilliant. Okay. Oh, so. So I'm going to do. I'm going to do one more thing before we hand cool. over to the very talented Karen because she's much more artistic than me. <laughs> and uh, this is just um, a quick uh, decoupage exercise. Um, it, so Christmas theme. I've got the candy canes here. I'm just going to literally cut round the shape. And uh, when you're yeah. doing decoupage, um, well, with with a gyro cut, you actually need quite a lot of light. So um, I always recommend that you use a craft light of some sort, um, otherwise you get shadows, and then it's, um, it's not so easy to see where yes. you're going. Yeah. But the good, other good thing about the Gyro Cut Pro is that um, you've got this offset um, on the end of the handle, so you can actually see the point of cutting um, the whole time, whether you're right or left-handed. And that's, it, that's useful because otherwise, you're sort of working in the dark and you can't see the, the blade, the blade. Yeah. but in this case you can see the blade very, very efficiently, very effectively rather. I mean, that is absolutely pristine. I mean, I'm doing this and I'm talking at the same time and being mm. a bloke, we can't normally multitask, so I'm going off the line <laughs> a bit. <laughs> I can't even remember where I started now, but it's some, somewhere about. So there is the candy canes Amazing. cut out that quickly and easily. Yeah. And then you, can, you could use that to make a card, for example. Yeah. Um, Etc. That's about the limit of my artistic ability now. <laughs> All right, we've so reached the limit. We have reached the limit, so we're going to have to ha ha hand over to Karen in a minute. And, <laughs> no uh, problem. See what no. she can do. I'm going to give a bit of a recap, and then obviously we'll show. Um, we've got a, a lovely um, little reminder of what the different blades do. Thank you ever so much, Noel. It's a really good tool. Let like, me first remind you of the actual paper cutting tool. So you were talking about the gyro cut. It's a brilliantly engineered tool. I mean, the ease of use, I guarantee the ease of use is incredible. I mean, all you need to do is remember just to hold it vertical. It does feel comfortable, whether you're left-handed or you're right-handed, because you've got those grooves in the actual tool. It's super lightweight, so it doesn't feel, you know, clumbersome or hard to get, get to grips with. Um, and obviously, the blades then, they'll fit easily into the housing unit. The lovely thing is, one housing unit, to go across all blades, which is so, so handy. Um, you've, of course, got the steel blade with the actual um, kit, obviously, and your steel blade is going to allow you to cut so many different things, and it's intricate things as well. I mean, the freehand uh, cutting is amazing, but think of all your different stencils that you've got. You know, think of all your different templates that you've got that you might want to cut out. Your decoupage, maybe your rice paper. I was thinking rice paper earlier on, because I do, you know, all the fussy cutting of the rice paper. Your stamps, fussy cutting your stamps. Now, in the kit, you're also getting the adhesive now. This in its own right is always popular because it's a ridiculously handy product. Of course, when you're using it with, um, in conjunction with a gyro cut, you're able to make your adhesive, um, your matte adhesive. So it's, it gives you that permanent stick, but it's, a, it's not going to give you any residue on the actual paper. It means the paper, it's repositionable. It's going to allow me to peel that paper off nice and easily easily um you know and that's important it's just enough stick to actually hold the paper but as soon as you need to lift it it's absolutely perfect not just for your your gyro cut of course think about your stencils i mean it's brilliant for your stencils think about um your other mats that you've got for your, um, your electronic cutting machines. Maybe not even your electronic cutting machines. What about your, your ones that you, you, know, you use with your manual cutting machine and we're always putting loads of tape down? There might even be a way of sticking, you know, making mats. That might work. I haven't tried it yet. I, I sound like one of those politicians. And that might work. We'll look into that. That might work. Shut up, lay on it. Don't do bad, bad uh, impressions. Um, we've then, I mean, have a look at that. I mean, what I love about um, about this is the amount of different things you can do with it. I mean, decoupage is amazing. But let me show you this, because this was Karen's first ever go with the gyro cut. And I mean, how ridiculously good is that? Isn't that beautiful? And that's all paper cutting. It's amazing. That is amazing. So imagine your possibilities. I mean, we've got so many beautiful things here. Have a look at this. That elephant 
has been caught with the gyro cut. Uh-huh, way, way are, Kim. Isn't that amazing? Look at the detail. And it's not just the, around the edge, but it's inside here. All that detail. Because it cuts, and this is an important point, because it cuts on the actual tip of the blade, it allows you to go right in. You know when you're trying to do things like that with your scissors? You have to puncture the hole first, don't you? And the hole sometimes is bigger than that. But because it's the blade, it's only cutting on the edge of the blade, it allows you to get right in to cut those teeny tiny little elements. That is phenomenal. Now, if you'd love this first kit, £25.99 is your price. The first 50 people are going to get um, some of the, the Mac Cleaner. That's, again, a really cracking product, so please make sure you check your baskets out. First 50 people to check your baskets out, so please remember to do that. 905610. I know what a lot of you are doing. A lot of you are waiting until I tell you about this kit. I know what's occurring because we haven't touched on the fabric side of it either. Now, Karen's going to be taking us through this kit. Um, I'll whip through what we get first of all, and then we're going to ask Karen in more detail because obviously we want to know about this one. So first of all, you can see there um, the fabric grip. So, of course, we're talking adhesive again. I'm just going to run through, pass over to Karen. We've then got um, the wonderful gyro cut for fabric. So, again, this is going to give you even more possibilities, which I absolutely love. You have got the, um, the actual gyro cut uh, tool there. And in this kit, we've mm -hmm. even got the sticky mat adhesive as well. So again, very interesting gift. Um, well, it could be a gift, actually. A brilliant gift, actually. Let me show you some of the stuff you've got here that's been cut. That's, um, we've got denim there. We've got felt there. And then we've got a beautiful motif that's uh, fabric. All these lovely fabric elements. Actually, that, that is um, a stencil that's been cut from Mylar. Oh, yeah. Even your Mylar, which is amazing. And then the last one, look at the little Christmas trees. That's all fabric. They're all fabric, Christmas. Do you know what? Karen has even cut the words. Yes, yeah, she has. All that, all that, Karen's actually cut with the gyro cut. We better, we've been chatting about her tons. <laughs> she is waiting in the wings. I mean, <laughs> your work <laughs> is amazing. Yeah, yeah. Oh, so, left one though, left for love. Um, <laughs> It is. I mean, your work is amazing. Um, have you found it? Because we showed the paper cut, the first one you ever did. Have you found it really easy to use? I have, yeah. It, it, it's addictive, like you said. So yeah. when I got in, obviously I had a couple of little practices like you did, what have you, and then I thought, right, I want to try something a, yes. bit, a bit fun. And yeah. I, it's not something I've ever done. Yeah. Because, um, yeah, it's not part of my normal life, as it were. It's just, just a bit of fun. But I really loved doing that. Yeah. And I, I, I kind of... I've hung on to it because of that, really. Yes. It's, it's, uh, yeah, I, I just I love really that. enjoyed it. I love it because, yeah, I can see how you get addicted. It's just so satisfying. It is, and you keep thinking of different bits and pieces yeah. you can have a go Literally. Yeah. And that's why I was thinking, uh, yeah, my, my rice paper, because that's one of those that's yeah. really fine and, and things. And parchment paper as well, yeah. we've got to treat with. Yeah, oh, so, you know, yeah. Yeah. And that, yeah, slice lovely through parchment. I bet it sounds good. <laughs> um, what have you got there then, Karen? Is well, that fabric? Yeah, so I have, I have the tool from the fabric kit here. Super. Tungsten carbide. Um, and yeah, to show you the little trees that I've used in the, in the, the card there. But first of all, I'm just quickly going to run through the preparation. Yes, please. Because you still need your, your sticky mat. Yeah. So you've, you've seen how that works. But also there's this, some of this some fab grip here. Right. And that is a fine powder. Ah. And what you do is you put your fabric face down on your ironing board. Yeah. You've got to shake it and shake a bit. Yeah. You like do a light, and, and it is light, light even coverage over the back of your paper. Yeah. And then you can use just normal photocopy papers, fine. That's what we've used. Yeah. Put it on and then a hot iron to make them bond to turn the glue into in, oh sticking. Oh, my word. That gives you a really lovely firm surface for cutting because although your mat is tacky it's not quite yeah. enough to hold the fiber because yes. they're very fine fibers yes yeah, yeah you don't want to make your mat so tacky that it's, it's so this works a treat then. that's amazing it's, it's handy and then afterwards you can 
Just take it away. There's nothing left on your fabric. That is a, Do you know what? I bet you get a lot of people, sewers, who buy that just on its own as well, don't yeah, you? Yeah, they need to be persuaded that it doesn't leave it sticky, and then once yeah. they're happy with it... Yeah, they're, I they're, bet they come back time really and time useful. again, because that is really it's handy. handy. Yeah. Very handy indeed. So showing you this in action, it, 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 you know, it's a similar sort of thing to the paper. Mm. Just firm that onto there. And then I'm going to go for one right near the middle so you can see clearly. Okay. Again, you can start where you like, and it's a bit like tracing around the edge. And again, you see that blade moving with you. Yeah. And it's lovely because it doesn't and it's seem just, it's hard. It's nice and smooth. Yes. You know, this is the thing. When you get to a corner, I'll show you that with a denim more because you can see it easily. You just stop, let the blade turn, and move on. And you'll have a lovely crisp corner as well. Look at that. And literally... Boom, look at done. that. That is perfect. Okay. So, so that's to make your own applique. Yeah. So um, that picture that Noel's done there. Yes. The, the card I've done. That's all there is to it. That's amazing. Apply it. Obviously that will work for putting on lampshades or cushions yes. or whatever you, whatever you like. Literally anything. Yeah. And it's I love it because there's no little fibres or anything. That is such a clean cut. It is, and you can leave it on there to apply to to cards yeah. and stuff that just makes it easy really. that's fantastic and the the powder adhesive that is a that's a fantastic product it's useful yeah i mean it's um it's, it's useful as well for quilters if they want to yeah. attach their wadding and such it's safe for, for oh, leaving of course on. yeah for, um for and for kiddies. um our kim and Mied said um english paper piece and brilliant for yeah. that yeah absolutely yeah oh it's a cracking product do we have that separate Oh, Kim, the idiot. No, you don't. It is in the kit, though. If it you is. do want it in this kit, thirty-one ninety-nine. Right. What's next then, oh, Karen? Well, basically, I want to show you lots of bits and pieces that you can cut with it, because cool. that's what people need to do. Yeah. Know. Yeah. So denim's next. Lovely bit of denim. Even got some grass stain. Bless. Right. Ah. <laughs> Again. <laughs> Recycle we've... jeans. Yeah, of course. <laughs> got, to, got to look after things. Um, so make the most of it all. Again, yeah. we have used the the um, fab grip there to put it on some paper just to hold it in place perfect firm that onto the board again and it really does just cut through it wow look at that that's denim right. oh my word and this is with the fabric blade isn't it so the tungsten yep. the i can't one, say yep. that word in the kit tungsten carbide tungsten yeah, it takes carbide. a bit of getting used to it. yeah yeah <laughs> so i get the tungsten but after that i'm, yeah. I'm lost I tungsten know. carbide so that's a, a tungsten carbide blade that's yes. a really good quality really, blade yeah, isn't absolutely. it absolutely it's really hard wearing metal mm. lasts ages yeah yeah um, and again so just to show your corners to get a nice clear view you take it down to wherever you want your corner, lift a little pressure but not to, to lose contact with the board, let it turn, you see how that will? Yeah. And move on to get a nice sharp corner. Look at that, that is right. spot on. And that's denim. Yeah. And, exactly. it, that, and that is easy, it doesn't, that doesn't look like a struggle at all. No, no, it's a lovely blade that slices through it really nicely yeah and it's great i mean it's great for making little patch pockets yes. and you know yeah. little fancy bits and again on. you can work around your templates yes oh yeah mm. definitely because all them circle templates just working around those yeah I, I, yeah that is so clever show you that with some felt in a minute oh yes please yeah. um yeah please check your baskets out folks uh, we aren't losing karen she's still there she's going to talk through but if you do want to go for this for 31 pounds and 99 pence you've got i mean that is so clever i love it because when you see how a product's used and what you know what it can do it's like oh my word you know your your brain it starts really ticking doesn't it sprinkling that on the fabric then put your uh, picard or paper whatever you need to pop on the back um iron over the top it'll give you that addition it'll glue the fabric to the uh, the paper or card but it does peel off with no adhesive sticking to the fabric again that is absolutely amazing you've got the gyro cut you've got the blade for fabric as well and um, the tungsten carb uh, carb i've forgotten it carbide, carbide. <laughs> but end it short i might have nailed it i read it so many times before as well tungsten carbide that really good quality blade and then of course you've got the adhesive oops uh, for the mat remember if you are one of the first 50 people to get hold of this oh sorry that's gone that's gone the audit that's gone yeah 
Yeah, sorry, it's free. This time's gone. Uh, but well done, folks, whoever were first. Um, please make sure you check your baskets out on this. Let me show you this as well because this is fabulous. Look at all of these fantastic little elements. They're all cut out of fabric. How cool is that? So you've got all those wonderful little characters and more all from fabric. But again, look at the, the details. You know, look at how fine. That is, that is just fantastic. That was Noel getting crafty, that was. Hey! Yeah. Do you know, it is, it is those fine details that you can cut. That yeah. actually, a pair of scissors are really difficult. That's right. You that is fabulous. Well. Thirty one ninety nine. Um, I'm just going to remind you really quickly, um, the two um, sticky mat adhesives, because these are really busy. If you do want both of these, ten ninety nine. Uh, yeah, for your crafting mat, but do think about your stencils and all your other your goodies for your unmounted rubber stamps. Absolutely fantastic. So boring does it get trying to... Um, I'm trying to stamp with them. Uh, 512732 is your item number. Honestly, I'm, I'm, yeah, big fan. 1099. Right, you've got more goodies there, haven't you? Yeah, I was going to show you another one. Um, Mylar. Fabulous. Favourite for lots of people. We've already stickied this one up. Right, okay. Just to show you the usage of it. Yeah. And basically, I don't know about you, but I troll through magazines to get ideas and things yeah. like that. Yeah. And, and this, the one with the card, the card there that's, um, uh, yes. the white one, you've got it, that's it. Uh, that was basically, I just saw on an advert, a stag for yeah. a Christmas card. I thought, right, okay. Um, so just use the, the magazine page to, to and some mylar to cut through. What a good so, idea. But you can print stuff out as well. Yeah. You've already got the ideas, it's just I usually like to yeah. work, work ideas from that. Um, so we printed out a stag there. We've got some tacky on the, on the mylar. Amazing. Firm the stag onto the page and then the mylar on top. So and which shift. blade are you using this time? Still then, that same blade. Amazing. I'm going to go through. So, so the one for it's in the, the fabric, fabric one. Yeah. Um, for the mylar, if you wanted to use thicker acetate, we'd move that on with the medium bl depth blade. Really. Perfect. All right. So, literally, you can go right round. Again, all these all these fine details. And it's stuff like that. I mean, look at that. The fine details, but also through a plastic, you'd you'd be quite nervous about getting a decent cut wouldn't you you would you would but and if you just take your time yeah follow it and around. it is just allowing the blade just to to pivot rather than forcing it you can see it you can actually feel the blade move properly can't you absolutely now rather than take you right the whole thing I'm got, I've taken it far enough so you can see yeah from detail like the legs and things and I can show you when I cut out already don't know if you can, you know, it's not easy we to see, is it? We'll be able to. We'll get there, we'll get Bear there. You hold it in I'll place do. and we'll get there. I did one for that card just yesterday. And if, I don't know, does it help to... Yeah, if you just there? hold it, we will get there for it. Oh, yeah, it's... it's it, it does. Tiny. There it is. He tried to run away and we could see him then. I put it against that's the green. It. Just, yes, it, just, that's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. All his perfect. antlers and everything. Wow, <laughs> that's amazing. Yeah, so that's it. That's the process. And then I did the, the trees freehand, and basically, then the tacky on the back will hold it in place yes. when you want to do your sponging. But the tree, I mean, the trees are just as simple as anything. You're just keeping it nice and simple. But if you're not, you know, if you're not um, confident with doing anything freehand, yeah. and I don't blame you. Yeah. That's about the limit of mine. Again, it will hold in place on the card yeah. to do your to do your um, And because sponging. you've got the adhesive now, yeah. and, and that's the brilliant thing about it, keep that adhesive on the back of it because you're using that for a stencil, yeah. you know, so the adhesive, that's, an, that's a must-have. And yeah. that's why you want to use it on all your, your stencils. Absolutely. So just put the trees on, mm. sponge around those, and then I use the, the whole sheet yeah. and took the silhouette from there of course to do the, yeah, and to, because to you've done there. it from like the middle of a sheet it means you've not you know if you use a pair of scissors you have to cut into that's right with that you've not got the the puncture hole that you no. have to do with a pair of scissors or the, or the line that you line. take yourself so in you don't have to worry your sponging's going to yeah. show that up or anything yeah. either yeah. yeah no that's really good 
that's it's, really good. It's fun and it gets yeah. your mind working. Yeah, it as does well. get your mind working. And uh, as I'm standing here, right, it is like, oh yeah, you could do this, you could do this, you could do this. Yeah. Um, there are cues on the phones. If you do want to get ahead of those cues, you can get on the website achanda.com. Um, obviously, check your baskets out there. Uh, please. Please check those baskets out. I will very quickly just give you a bit of a shout out about the other two blades as well. Um, because obviously we've got so much choice. If you are going for the middle kit, so then if you've got the middle kit, you've got your fabric, you've got your adhesive for the paper. Obviously that blade is going to cut all your lighter weight as well. But then you could get the heavier weight blades and then you're looking at even more possibilities. So now we've got your medium cut blade. Now and the deep cut, sorry, you are getting both of these together for $24.99. That is 653988, your item number. So this is where you can cut some really heavyweight cool stuff, isn't it? What kind of things can we do now on this one, our Karen? I mean, well, that's really chunky. The funky foam, yeah, exactly. Yeah. It's, it's great fun. Um, you can make all sorts with it. Yeah. Um, you can even do 3D shapes with it, you know, if you slot, if you can slot or glue them together. Yes. It's oh, quite, my gosh, it could yeah, build. Yeah, it's really adaptable. But I thought that the tags or baubles or anything like that, really quick and easy. Yeah. So you can ring the changes, make things personal. Yeah. It's, it's really nice little little effect. I know you've got loads of different things with these two as well, haven't we, in a little while. Yeah, um, And absolutely. with something like this, we will finish guys' demonstrations, don't panic, but 24 99 <laughs> And we will show you what these cuts as well 653988 because I know you've got something else there as well haven't we you have Karen? We have lots of bits and pieces I'm moving over now to the, to the medium cut blade. Amazing. And I thought I'd show you some um, foiled card. Perfect. So this is, let me just double check here, 250 GSM. Excellent All and right. because it's got that coating on it yeah. Again, you know, that could be the bit that's making it tricky. And what I love about this as well, I mean, you've cut all sorts already on your, your mat. You yeah. haven't needed to re-glue the mat or anything. No, that's absolutely perfect. It stays nice and tacky. Yeah. So I'll firm that down. I've just marked it with my ring, but we'll ignore that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so this is simple. Again, if I just do a simple wiggle to show you. Amazing. Look how quick. And then I'm just going to cut this shape, which I'm going to use in a minute. So I'm doing a Blue Peter, come back to it, job. Superb, okay. yeah. Nice perfect. and easy, straight round, and that's out of the way. Then I'm going to show you some felt that we've spoken about before. Again, it's going, it's it's been stabilised with the fab grip. Amazing. So nice and firm. Yeah, yeah, because felt is really fibrous, isn't well, it? Well, this is the thing, yeah. And not only does it then, you know, some of the very thin. Um, felt you can or the thinner felt you can use just on your mat yeah. if you're using a template then to hold it as well yes but the majority of it is better stabilized yeah yeah um, and again you, you can excuse me I'm just taking that away so it doesn't go with my board you can take it away afterwards yeah. as well and there's no residue no on there no whatsoever. residue on there you, you can almost see I don't know you can almost see the crystals on the pet on the sheet hopefully yeah. it's hard to Hard to see on the camera, obviously. Oh yeah, I can. Then. You see what I mean? Yeah. So it, the, 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 the iron will heat it enough to turn it into sort of glue, but then it'll crystallise more on the paper. It's a weird thing. But yeah, it works. that's so clever. <laughs> it's clever. Yeah, yeah absolutely. So if I firm that down again, and you can see I've got another one of the rings there to yeah. have a go with, and medium cut blade, straight round. And I'm going to just because of the fibres, just. Double do it to make sure. Boom. That and looks nice. so effective. It really is. And it's so handy. Because sometimes die cutting stuff like that, when you have to drag all your stuff out, find the actual dies. But if you can do it quick and easy like that. Yeah. That's amazing. Nice corner again. And free hands fine. Yeah. So yeah. that's your felt. And again, lots of stuff we can, people do with, with yes. felt. It's great stuff. Yeah, I definitely. We've got about 10 minutes, Karen. Okay, so... Uh, you can also obviously cut things out of out of old cards yes. to reuse, but I'll move on to the deep cut blade because I'm sure you yes. want to see some of that. Funky and the lovely phone. thing is, if you have got the full blade. Um, you know, all the blades you do, at least then, if you have got a project, you just give it a go, don't you? Yeah. You oh, know. yeah. Have some fun, play about. Mm. Absolutely. Yeah, I think it's, that's really good. It is, it's great. 
Um, we it? have got actually, while well, you're checking out your baskets, mm -hmm. it will say, oh, do you want this? And that is your standard blade. So actually, if you were going for the middle kit with the fabric um, adhesive as well, you will be able to check your basket out and just get the standard blade on its own. Then you've got the, um, the fabric cutting blade as well. And then if you've got your heavier weight products in mind that you'd like to cut, you could actually get the other two as well. I must admit, just one of these have made such a good gift. Of course, with the middle kit or the first kit, you are getting the actual handle. You are getting the gyro cut and the others will give you the blades. Okay, back to you then, lovely Right, Karen. the funky foam. Popular stuff at the minute. So again, firm it onto the board, yeah. and literally, I'm going to do this one because I've, I've got a shape handy, I can remember what I'm doing. <laughs> nice, sort of that big U shape. It is, sorry, that's me being silly. Ear, out the side, okay. and then you can go straight into the antlers. Oh. Up and round. And down. Go over to the other ear so I know I can fit things in properly. <laughs> Wouldn't like a one ear. Freehand, have you got it drawn? I'm doing it freehand this time. Oh, well done. But have you done it that many times you can remember? Well, yeah. I've just, I'm, I'm, I'm cheating, I'll be honest. I've just got a copy here because ah, I've put it up there to remind me of what I'm doing. Yeah. And that, that's it. I'm good at copying rather than creating me. Give me Whoops. two to the fair. I've taken out the hand, didn't meet up. There we go. Perfect. And then that, you kind of, because it's quite thick stuff, you just have to sort of separate it carefully from the main sheet, she says, pull, pull, pull. I suppose if there's any stubborn bits, you can just go back in with your blade, can't you? Oh, yeah, if absolutely. If hasn't cut. But to be honest, with this funky foam, it's just a matter of sort of persuading it, because it's quite thick. Yeah, yeah. It's cut, but it's it still sits there. Oh, look at him. And then... You got him there, and I go back to that bit I did earlier for his nose. Hey, perfect. All right, so just oh. the one more thing to show you from me. Yeah. And I think Noel's got a couple of bits more to show you as well. Superb. I love that. <laughs> that it's makes just a bit of a laugh, such good it? Christmas tree ornaments. It really would. <laughs> um, if you do want that kit with. Um, the, the deep cut. Now, with this one, you've got the medium and the deep cut blade. Uh, remember, extremely good br uh, blades. Uh, they are the, I'm going to read it, the Tunstone Carbide, <laughs> um, which is such Ooh, well good. Qu I, I'm reading it, Karen. <laughs> I'm reading it. I'm all right if I can see it, and I don't have to rely on my memory. Um, you're getting both of those blades for £24.99. pence. Very good quality indeed. 653988 is your item number. Please remember the adhesive because you can get the two bottles of adhesive uh, together. Um, I've managed to get one, oh there they are. Uh, so you are getting two bottles of adhesive together and that has been so busy. £10.99 is your price. And uh, 512732. Right, I will hand back to Karen because I know you've got a couple of more bits and bobs to show us. What have you got there the then? This is leather. Right, so that's heavyweight, isn't it's, it? It is, yeah. It's, it's good, good firm stuff, basically. I've put it on a different board just for this demo yeah. because you can put that directly onto the board, but it does leave a fair bit of residue. Right. So I didn't want to mess the board up for when Noel comes back to do his bits. Oh, I've thought um, <laughs> <laughs> So, um, but obviously, again, the uh, microfiber cloth and drop of water will take that right off. Perfect. Um, and when it dries, it will be sticky again. Amazing. So it won't be a problem. So firm it down, and again, just long, deep cut blade. Yeah. Give it a good swish. Wow. And got a perfect cut out Look of that. at that. And what a love. I mean, it's exactly the same gyro cut. You don't need That's any it. other tool. It's literally just swapping the blades yeah. and Bob's your uncle. Yeah, it's fantastic as well. I mean, if you're popping to yeah. a friends for a bit or yes. whatever to take with you if you're going to do some things together. That is do some crafting together or whatever. That's so it's, effective, yeah, isn't it? That is so portable. effective. Um, I know you're going to be you and Nola swapping places we again, are. aren't we? <laughs> so we're going to give you have a little look at this because this is showing you uh, the different types of blades and of course the different things that you can cut. So we're talking um, the standard blade. If you're going for the standard, you've got things like um, your paper thin card, vinyl. And foil see I love that vinyls thin marlar um, stroke acetate photographs 
Imagine cutting out like you know you could be you could be cutting people. Oh, I could do all sorts of that. Um, model covering films, masking materials, that medium blade. Uh, remember that is the tungsten carbide, and that is going to cut the thin fabrics. You've got thin felt, and um, the medium mylar straw cassettes. So again, thinking of making your own stencils. Thin leather, balsa wood, thin balsa wood, medium card, um, vehicle wrapping vinyls, sign writing vinyls. So imagine, I mean, this is a professional tool. And then the deep cut blade, you've got thick fabrics, felt up to three millimeters, sugar paste, paste, medium balsa wood, thin leathers, thicker cardstock, cereal cartons, polymer clay, and thin foam. So a host of different things that you can cut with the medium and the heavy blade. I mean, this is a thing. Within these kits, you really are um, cutting a wealth of products and it gives you that professional finish. Now, I know we haven't tons of time and I know Noel um, has a couple more goodies uh, that he wants to talk about. If you do want the medium and the deep cut, that are there for you, 24.99-653-988. Right, or Noel, I know there are a couple more bits you wanted to take us yep, through, wasn't there? Very briefly, um, just showing you how to change the blade. Okay. It's obviously an important aspect. So. We recommend that you use a pair of pliers. It doesn't really matter what sort of pliers. I've got great big pliers here, and Karen's <laughs> yeah. got some small pliers. But just get hold of the blade um, with the pliers. Yeah. Hold the blade carrier. That's the bit that the blade goes into between your finger and your thumb. Right. And you can just pull the blade out with the pliers. Oh, that's easy. It's, it's just an interference fit. It's not a tight fit. Yeah. To put a new blade in, you hold it on, on the end, but across the, the, the cutting bit, so yeah. it doesn't actually cut you. And then just push it into the holder and that's ready to go. Oh, that's you so easy. You don't even need to push it in all the way because when you actually push it down onto the mat, that will fully engage the blade if necessary. I love that. That's ridiculously okay, so easy. I know we're very short on time now, so I'm just going to show you, um, this is a deep cut blade cutting balsa wood oh, just wow. to prove that it works and it is amazing that it Yay. cuts balsa wood that easily. That's so cool. Okay. Oh, I bet that's satisfying to it's do as well, isn't it? It's very satisfying because I build model aeroplanes and it makes it really, really easy to, yes. build, to, to cut different uh, funky shapes. So the other thing is I've got a bit of cereal packet here. I can't advertise which, yes. which make it is obviously, so I've got it upside down. But um, quite a lot of people actually use um, the, yes. the card from cereal packets yeah. for, for their art. So um, I can use the medium cut blade for that. But if it's thicker, um, if it's thicker uh, card, you can use the, the deep cut blade if you wish. But okay. again, it's just really easy to cut shapes out. Now the, you can use that that card for wow. for, for uh, stencils and stuff as yes. well if you want to paint through. Yeah, um, great for doing things for kids as great well. Great for isn't making it? things for kids. You know, you can make little houses. You can yeah. make all sorts of things, trees and stuff. Um, but it's a cheap medium, so yeah. uh, I, I'm all for that to, to keep the price down as much as possible. Yeah. And, and then uh, one last thing is we would, Karen was talking about stabilizing fabric with a pa uh, powder adhesive. Yes. That's a really useful powder adhesive. So we, you can also bond wadding to the back of your fabric. Wow. So um, rather than sort of um, using other glues, you just sprinkle a light coat on the back of the fabric, put the wadding over, iron it with a, with a high temperature, and that is a permanent bond that's washproof. That is amazing. Okay, so really useful. That's yeah. really useful stuff. And that one bottle will do about... Um, 100 A4 sheets of fabric, so it goes wow. a long way. You're only using a very small amount of it. Yeah, that is a okay. really clever product. And the elves are all very, really busy back at the grotto <laughs> making the glues up for you and bottling it. So um, oh. get your order in now because it, it, it's, you know, we haven't got that much of it. So. Yeah, yeah, excellent. That right. is brilliant. And I love the fact it's machine washable. Exactly. That's fantastic. Okay, I'm going to do you the quickest reminder. There's <laughs> so many different products for you to. But, but, the Stars Kit, what a fantastic place to start. And the detail that you can do, I mean, that elephant is phenomenal. This is what we are talking about, that kind of detail, that kind of precision, but it's easy. The kind of stuff that you aren't going to be able, that looks like it's been done on an electronic cutting machine, doesn't it? It hasn't. That has actually been done uh, with the gyro cut. So if you do want the, the first one, you start to get brilliant gift ideas. They're gorgeously packaged as well. So if you are giving us a gift, they look good. You've got the gyro cut, you've got the blade, the steel blade, and of course, you've got the adhesive. 
905610. If you do want the fabric one, remember that, brilliant product. Oh, I need longer time. You've got the blade, you've got, of course, uh, the uh, matte adhesive and the gyro cut. You can also get two bottles of the adhesive yourself. I need to say goodbye um, to, to lovely Karen and Noel. Thank you ever so much. Have we got Thank another you. show today? No, 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 yeah. no, this is it. So oh, buy it now while it's still there. Yeah? <laughs> Thank you very much. Happy Christmas. Bye-bye. Um, the wonderful Days of E-Crafts are up and ready to go. We've then got Heartfelt Creations and the beautiful Floral Shopping and then the Happy Puzzle Company. Did you know you can continue watching Hochanda 24 hours a day, 7 days a week, for free, using your smart TV? It's just like watching us on your computer or tablet, only now we'll be on your large screen smart TV. Follow these easy steps to get your smart TV set up. Firstly, make sure your smart TV is connected to the internet, either through a wireless connection, if your TV supports it, or via the Ethernet port on the back of your TV. If you're not already connected, use your remote control and select network settings through your TV's menu and follow the instructions to set this up. Remember to have your router's password to hand, whether you're using a wired or wireless connection. This should be on the side or bottom of your router. You can always refer to your TV's help menu or instruction booklet for more information. Once you are set up, press the Smart Hub dedicated button on your remote. This will vary between brands, but it's usually located at the center of the remote. This is where you'll find your internet web browser app. Select this to open and then type hochanda.com into the search bar. And this will take you to our website homepage, which includes our live broadcast and access to previous shows. So now you can watch, purchase and catch up with your favorite shows 24 hours a day, seven days a week on your TV, whenever you feel crafty. Hello, I'm Sue Trangmar and I started Daisy Chain Designs 20 years ago. Back in the day there were very few quilt patterns in the marketplace and so uh, I started to bring patterns into the UK from America and Australia and along the way I've been lucky enough to work with some fantastic British designers and that is what really the essence of Daisy Chain Designs are. At Daisy Chain Designs, we're passionate about sewing and quilting. We design projects that hopefully will inspire you to pick up your needle and thread and have a go. Uh, we have great fun in designing things from the very start and then the end product is always very exciting when you actually see it made. So don't miss the Daisy Chain Design shows on Hochanda. Hi, my name is Maggie and I'm from Impressions Crafts. Um, I've been running my business now for 15 years. It's a small family run business in the south of Cheshire. We have a large craft shop and we sell all sorts of beading and jewellery supplies. Um, I have a passion for making jewellery. I love working with um, the loose seat style flower beads and we make thousands and thousands of angels and have been doing so for the last few years. We've been bringing uh, to Hachanda lots of lovely beading kits, jewellery uh, for necklaces and bracelets and earrings and we also bring a wide range of angels and accessories, beading accessories like bookmarks and we also have our range of laser cut, uh, sun catchers and mobiles, all the lovely crafty beads. Hope you can tune into my shows and looking forward to seeing you on Hachanda. Hi, I'm Nikki Hassan. I've been working with Heartfelt Creations for about nine years now. Heartfelt Creations as a company launched the company back in 1994. They have been in the industry for a very, very long time. They are crafters, so they know what you crafters want and they listen to us crafters too. Their products range from stamps that coordinate with dyes that then coordinate with a paper pad. But then we also have storage folders, we have decorative dies, we have colouring daubers, we have Insta albums. One of the products that really make 
heartfelt unique are their flower shaping molds where you can make easy quick three-dimensional flowers which are absolutely stunning so i hope you can join heartfelt creations here on agenda everyone how are you glad to have your company and glad so glad to have the company of Nina and Josie both of you together bubbling Hello. up yes bubbling up yes <laughs> Got the old cool sophisticated bubble going on here well you're both looking very well how are you very well yeah we're good yeah, good. good thank you very much now if anyone at home hasn't seen you before I don't know where you've been but if you've not seen the girls before can you tell us a little bit about Daisy Bee Crafts go on Jo you. And you'll she throw it to me. Yeah, you have this one. Um, so we're a small family-run company. We manufacture and design all polymer stamps themselves. So, uh, your images are designed by Nina and Dad, and then I'm your sentiments gal. Um, but yeah, they're all manufactured in-house. Um, huh? Hotels? Well-oiled. Well-oiled machine, machine and fear, thing. fear runs, fear runs the shit. Do you know, for a moment I thought you said that you're well-oiled for the show. <laughs> well, you know, that no. doesn't matter. <laughs> that brain did not come across no. then yet, so yeah. We just work really, really well really together, well, a big yeah. family unit, aren't we? Yeah, yeah you do. And we have seen your dad, Roy, on the show with his own designs as well, yes, which has been yeah. lovely. His birthday um, tomorrow, Janice. Is he coming tomorrow? No, no it's, it's his birthday. birthday. Oh, it's his birthday tomorrow. Yes, happy happy birthday, birthday, Roy, for tomorrow. Yes. Happy birthday. Is he watching? Uh, let's hope so. Yeah, yeah. let's yeah. support him. It'll be in big trouble if you're not. <laughs> <laughs> if you're watching it on repeat, oh, the girls are there with you now. You're in big yeah. trouble. Um, <laughs> happy birthday for tomorrow, Roy. Um, so that's nice. How lovely. Um, now, we do have some new today stamps. Yes, we yeah. do. And we've got some returning favourites as well. But they might be brand new to you. So do stay with us throughout the show. Let's start with what I think would be the perfect Christmas gift, either to yourself or to a family member or someone that you know that's really into their crafting. We have a stencil for you, a stamp set and a scrapbook album and glitter as well now these all go perfectly together don't they Nina yeah they do they're they're amazing and I, the design is just obviously I designed it myself so I don't want to be like <laughs> blowing her own tongue out of this world <laughs> listen if you can't big yourself up <laughs> yeah that's then my motto yeah you've got to exactly but I just think it is a really lovely one and I don't know, I'd, I'd love to receive a card that With I've some got. cracking sentiments in there as well. well it's I, was, I was just getting there, Josie. <laughs> don't hold <laughs> no, <laughs> <laughs> your <laughs> horses. <laughs> We're getting there. We're getting there. Yes, there are some lovely sentiments. Yeah. And lovely fonts as well. And that runs throughout the whole collection that we've got. So if you're going for this today, then the other stamps that we've got and the other sentiments really work well with this collection, don't they? They do, and as you can see, we've used Everly um, in the little um, photo there. And because I like to keep my designs very similar, um, you know, you've got the uh, a lot of eyelash girls that we've done yes. now. Um, you know, they'd make perfect little centrepieces for inside your photograph as well. Now, I've got the stamps right here to show you some good size stamps. I love this one. I love that instant photo, which is yes. absolutely fabulous, yes. isn't it? Yeah. Because you could stamp an image in there if you've already got stamps at home. But I'm just thinking if you've got photographs to go in there inside that album, yes. how fantastic is that going to be? I think for him, sorry. No, go on. I'm going to say for like a scrapbooking, it's, I'm, I'm demoing with this particular set later and I think it's such a, when we were like deciding who we're going to demo what, Nina like, well, I think you should go for that one, it's your area. And I'm like, oh, thank you. And because it's such a, a beautiful set that Nina would trust me to do it justice. Aww. I think he's really nice. Aww. And I, I do, I love it, it's beautiful and I think, Putting your, your images, your cards, sending to people, putting it in your scrapbook and your journals. The, for this, I think the, the uses are like 
endless. You can use them for loads of different things. Yeah. Um, so I've just showed you the stamps and the size of them there. So they're really good, beautiful stamps to work with. Um, just showing you on the card here, if you want to go for the capture stamp set only, then that's at the bottom of the screen. £26.99. pence. Ten stamps in that particular collection. But when you have a look at the bundle, when you're getting the stencil and the glitter, as well as that album as well, it's a really nice snazzy album with craft card inside. It's acid and lignum free, which of course is great for your photographs. For that, we're going to give you a flexi payment of just £20. So if you go for that, it's less today than to buy the stamp on its own. We'll take another payment in a month's time, but what we're doing is we're dividing the cost, not dividing the stamps and the products, which is fabulous. So you get everything in one sending out, but we'll divide the cost into two for you. Now look, now yes, that's a beautiful colour with the glitter. Yes. Why, is there any reason why it's purple? Is it your favourite colour? It is. I mean, you definitely use it oh, in all yeah, oh, your demos. Uh, purple is actually my favourite colour. But it's such a... What we've tried to do is we've actually brought two of our favourite glitters yes. and thrown them together. Oh. And that's, I think, the, the shade of purple with the, the iridescent sparkle it looks beautiful with anything. You can put it with another colour yeah, and does. you're not worried about it clashing or anything like that because you've got that iridescent that sort of brings the whole mm. it around. Well, purple is a very creative colour. Did you know that? Oh, oh, is it? Yes, it's very inspiring for creatives. There you oh, go. Yeah. Um, it's also a Why Not deal, which means if you're not a Freedom member already, you can become a Freedom member today for £5.97. All your P&P will be sorted for a whole month. You won't have to pay any postage and packaging. And you also get some great discounts like this one today. So if you are a Freedom member, you've got your discount already when you purchase from us. But if you do want to go for that deal as a Freedom member, become a Freedom member today and all of the T's and C's will be on the website. That's terms and conditions by the way, not tea and cake. Right, we've got another bundle for you. Um, love this. Now we've got two stamp sets here and another stencil. I've, every night when I've driven home this week, this is the image that I've been seeing with the big moon yeah. in the sky. Yeah. So to have something like this, it's absolutely beautiful and you've got those sparkles as well. Oh yeah, it's, I've been popping these sparkles on my work for probably a year on Have different you? things and it was dad and he just said when are you going to actually bring that out as a stamp because you're doing it and other people might want to be able to do it and you've not sort of sorted it out for them so now we have well, you know, that's wise words from your dad. Yes. Uh, we've also got that beautiful meadow as well. How lovely is that? And what I like about that as well is that just the image as it is there, if you were to emboss that, it would look incredible yes. without even mm -hmm. colouring it in. Yeah, it does. It definitely does. And if you've got a really long, you know, the, the big frames. Yes. It's kind of never-ending. You could continue of course, all yeah. the way along. That yeah. would look really gorgeous. Isn't that lovely? And it, it's not, at the moment, when it's cold outside, it's nice to think of the meadows and the summer months, isn't it? But you could turn that into a winter scene as well. So you've got your stencil in there included as well. And... Uh, this is going to enable you, I've got this right here in my hand to show you, so you can put the moon in there and then you've got all the little dots which of course are the stars. This is our first ever stencil. Is it? Yes. yes. This is dipping well, out. Well congratulations. Toe. Thank you very much. We're <laughs> proud, proud parents yeah. <laughs> of our new stencil. Well, it's written. Do you know what I like about this as well? Yes, you know, you've got the aperture there. That could be the moon. They could be the stars. But it could be anything you want it to be. And that's the beauty of using stencils in such a way. Let me show you the stamps and the size of the stamps because it's a really good size. So $25.99 for the stamp on its own, that would definitely be an excellent price. But you're getting more than that with this particular deal. And let me show you what that stamp stamps out to look like. Isn't that absolutely gorgeous? And then, of course, you can add your own designs behind there and maybe make some backing um, paper or patterns in the background as well. I have a lot of fun with that particular collection. Just £25.99 for your stencil and for your two stamp sets. 949 849. We're getting busy for that already. Now, we've got a set of three stamp sets for you at an incredible price. Just take a look. I can't believe this price, ladies. It's crazy, isn't it? It is. It is. Crazy. We're not choosing here. It's not a pick and mix. It's all of the stamps that we're going to take a look at now. And these are your lovely ladies that you've created. Yes, they are lovely ladies. And this one is particularly special because she is um, in homage to somebody, uh, one of our lovely um, oh, is it me? crafters. Oh, 
She's called Ellie. I'm so, so sorry, maybe Ellie. not. Yeah, I, I feel, I'll, I do guess, you, I'll do you one. I'll I do guess a little Janice. I'll do you a Janice walking a little dog. <laughs> yes, yeah, little yes. Janice walking a little, little dog, that'll little, do. And that sounds terrible, a little Janice walking a dog. <laughs> I'm not mean derogatory. It either. would be better, it would be, <laughs> it'd be worse if it was the other way around, a little dog walking Janice. Yes, it would. <laughs> <laughs> oh, these are beautiful, though, aren't they? Yes. Um, but you're also getting the sentiments as well. And Josie, you, you, again, you've excelled yourself here. Aren't these wonderful? They are, and and I just took my own horn. Just this one is probably the best I've ever done. Is it? You're yeah. proud of this one? I am, actually. I do feel like a proud mother because it is the only one that I've actually looked at and done it really quickly and thought, yes, that is the one. And yeah. now I want to use it. I want Nina to use it on everything. Oh, do you know what I like as well with the with love that you can see just here? If you didn't want to use the with and just go for the love, how lovely would that be on a card I've to colour in the heart? I've cut it. Have you? I cut the stamp into two pieces, ah. and if you cut it in such a way that yes. it's kind of like a jigsaw when you put it back, you yes. know exactly where it's going. Yes. Um, but yeah, it does look really nice split up as well yeah it does and this is the stamp uh, as it comes but yes you can carefully cut into that yes and then you can have that as two words and then you can have it in different compositions which is fabulous we are getting busy the best way to order would be the website but if you are on the phones do bear with us we'll get through your calls uh, 895 155 is your item number that sweet pea flourish as well absolutely adore that and we were talking earlier about how the sweet pea goes with that lovely flourish underneath it that could then just flow into your sentiments yes yeah it does definitely I mean I, you got to hand it to Josie it's it is a cracking sentiment that goes and she's one of my favorite of the lash girls that I've done is she she, yeah. she is beautiful she is absolutely amazing this here with the sweet pea that you can see there just going around you see how that joins up with the with love it's fabulous isn't it um, you can make and create some beautiful cards and backgrounds don't forget your backgrounds with your sentiments uh, which always look lovely and whether you're using them on the front of your card or whether you're using them inside they're going to look absolutely amazing that is stunning thank you I left dad to his own devices to actually finish the with love bit Aww, oh and he's one. put it in the oh just ever so wonky and then the the little bit above it but do you know we're gonna <laughs> i'm not picking him to bits because it's his birthday tomorrow but try a little bit harder next time dad will you you've been crafting a very long time I thought that looked quite, I thought that no, looked really nice. I thought it just it. noticed it. It really lovely. Oh dear. I've... Right, let's <laughs> not show you that one. And let's move on. Let's move on. Uh, don't worry, Roy. Everything is okay. No, it's gorgeous. Uh, right. Um, apparently I've got lovely legs next. Oh, yes. sorry. It's the sounds <laughs> again. <laughs> keep thinking I'm getting these compliments. Um, now we have seen these before haven't we Nina? Yes they were on last time and we loved them so we wanted to bring them back for everybody to see the lovely legs one more time. Absolutely fantastic. What was your inspiration for these Nina? Really crazy shoes. Yeah. I like, I like the whole you know really flamboyant heels that yeah. I would you know probably break something wearing <laughs> um, so instead of me wearing them I've got uh, this lovely lady with the pins and uh, these gorgeous shoes I just love them I think the very the fantasy you know you could yeah. team them with things that have got um, yeah. fairies you know your little fairy background or something that, or very they floral. could be a fairy's legs yeah pixie legs pixie legs anything pizza legs pixie oh pixie <laughs> sorry i thought you said pizza i thought pepperoni legs <laughs> well, I think ham ham you'd have a job legs. on wouldn't you if they were trying to put some i mean i've ham had and legs in my time but i've never had pizza legs uh, they are absolutely fantastic and and like the girls are saying you know to use these as a, as a fantasy element to your styles with those beautiful butterflies as well and you have lots of fuller uh, fuller fun colouring those in and the sentiment again Josie thanks yeah. I'm here for it I'm, I'm here for the praise <laughs> yeah it, lo it does look really nice and the whole stand out it know, does I think it, it matches quite well I don't always do Nina's like I want this I'm like right okay how, how are you wanting this and it's so it's a team effort yes. just by my hand well, I just think it's fantastic. And this uh, sample is lovely because we've got the glitter paper, which really makes the lovely legs stand out. Yes. And then the, I'm a bit nervous. I don't know whether you, has your dad done that one as well? No, I did that one. Janice. I think that is marvellous. That one's me. 
And I like, you, do, you know, do you know what I like about that? How you've got the colour just going around the edge yes. of the legs that makes them stand out. Well, that is, um, they call them Carbacello pastel pencils. Oh. Um, so if you just pop a little bit of that, especially on the craft card, it really yeah. does adhere to the craft card and yeah. just rub it slightly in it kind of gives a bit of a cloudy effect i love that that is lovely um 13 pounds and 99 pence that is an incredible price for both of those stamps there the sentiment and the lovely legs if you want to pop those into your basket then please do if you're going for the first item on the show which is on a flexi buy which means you can divide the cost into two payments anything else now that you ask to your basket will be able to be uh, divided into two payments, which is fabulous, isn't it? And you can do that to the next set that we've got right here. £15.99, 457621. This really is amazing. Now, if I just get that, or oh, you can see that sample there. Yes, yeah, she's the right way round. Now, is this a self-portrait, Nina, by any chance? Uh, it'd be nice, wouldn't it? But no, mine would probably have, like, Spoons and rice bits and <laughs> stuff stuck to me. Mine was a, and definitely wearing pajamas. <laughs> 100% Can not we just explain to people at home why you'd have spoons and rice in your hair, just in case they're wondering? I've got three children. <laughs> and the, the, the last one... Oh, and there's Josie as well, don't forget. Oh, yes. yeah, yeah. Yeah, but the, the last one, the last one, he's, he's a real tester. He's a tester. <laughs> he's amazing. He's, yeah. But he, it's like... Have you ever seen the Tasmanian Devil? Yes. Yeah. yeah that yeah. kid whips through a room. Oh, yeah. I've mm -hmm. never seen anybody move as, as quick and yeah. cause as much carnage. Really? Yeah. yeah. Absolutely yeah. fantastic. It's a talent. <laughs> I can't An wait for him to come talent. back to Hachanda again. Oh, yeah. oh, my word, yes. He'd love it. <laughs> you yeah. haven't seen him for a while. I bet he's grown. He's massive. Yeah. I mean, he's a big lad. Is it? He's going to... That's... When you're in... Uh, when you're up north, you know, that's what they'll say. They always see him in his prime and go, Oh, he's a big lad. <laughs> It's like when you see dogs with big paws, always going to be a big one, that yeah, one. Yeah, that's exactly. His feet are huge. That's <laughs> Bless him. Uh, right, we are going to have some demonstrations, but it's yes. always lovely to chat with the ladies. It really is. Um, if you want any of the stamp sets, uh, don't delay. Get them in your basket, but also check out as well. Make sure you check out, because if they, last, if they stay in your basket for 10 minutes or more, that's the time period, and then they come out again, and we don't want that to happen. Now, in order to use the stamps, you might need some paper and card. We've got some for you here. It's part of the Seven Days Saver. It's 100 sheets of rainbow card. And if you want to pop that into your basket, the item number is 904455. I've got some lovely colours there. It's excellent quality as well. I've seen these. Um, it's really good quality. So... $9.99 for 100 sheets. And if you want to go for two sets, you're more than welcome to do so. Stock up whilst you can at that great price with a seven-day saver. We've also got a crafting essentials kit. Um, this is brilliant. Oh, my word. You've got three pairs of scissors, all ergonomically designed. You've got two craft knives, different sizes, with the snappable blades so that when you've used one, you can snap it and continue. And you've got that great ruler. Um, it's, uh, it's a metal ruler, but on the back you've got the conversion of well, as well from centimetres to inches. So that's really, really handy. So now you've got a pair of scissors for your card, a pair of scissors for your material, and a pair of scissors for doing something else with. I don't know. Uh, 244359 is your item number if you want to go for that. Right, let's head back to Nina for our first demonstration. What are we having a look at first? Uh, we are going to do the... Um enchanting set oh lovely yes so this is the card that we're going to make and uh, i've got a little one you know that i've prepared earlier so if you want to take too long we can get plenty of demos in okay so i shall get cracking we're going to use the stencil which i'm so i'm so pleased about and this is having. your first stencil yes first stencil that you've made yeah definitely i mean it, we don't want to have lots and lots of different things you know yes. under his belt but definitely a couple more um crafty things are definitely don't think would go amiss yes so i'm just using the world's smallest sponge okay um but you can you know use a stipple brush yeah normal brush um and i've got some acrylic paint here so normally if i was you know back at home i'd be um using some low tack uh masking tape to yeah. stick it into place first but i'm just going to hold it down because You've got enough room around the edge of the stencil to hold it down. That's the beauty yes. of this one, isn't it? Yeah, definitely. Um, and plus, with this one, I wanted the um, that sort of hit and miss. I didn't want a block of colour, block yeah. of white, because the moon isn't just white. Is it? No, not really. No. no. All I'm sorts of different colours. Definitely going to 
actually do a realist a uh, hyper-realism drawing of um, the moon soon as well. Oh, will you? Do you know, I'm absolutely yeah. fascinated with the moon. I you like the moon? Oh, yeah. I'm there. Whenever there's a moon, I'm just outside taking pictures of it. I, sometimes I'll share the photos or I'll just keep taking them and taking them. The best picture I took of the moon this year, I was quite proud of myself. It was just at the beginning... Of, well, just a little bit into the first lockdown we had uh, when people where all the planes came to the ground and nobody was allowed to fly we were bringing everyone back from all the different countries and I managed to get a picture of the moon with a carrier plane just going through the middle of it Wow! when there was only very few planes in the air I just thought that was really cool so I'm fascinated by the moon I think your photos are fabulous Jean. oh thank you you're a very talented photographer Wow. So anybody who doesn't have Janice on the old Facebook, you need to get her on because she's got fabulous photography oh, skills. Oh, thanks, Nina. You're welcome, Janice. I'm feeling, you know, feeling the need to project some, you know, Aww. some warmth and some good vibes. We've had an email from Steve-O who wants to project some love on <laughs> Hello, Steve-O. He says, good afternoon, everybody. Uh, he's loving all the new stamps. And he's got a huge collection of Daisy Bee crafts, but it, there's always room for more, he says. He That's does fun. have a huge collection of Daisy Bee. And it's very, very amazing that he's so supportive, you know, and we absolutely love that. And he, he shares his makes as well with us um, and joins in when we do have, like, little um, crafting parties. Yes. So it's well, lovely. He's missed seeing you girls this year and Roy, yes. your dad, so he's really missed that. So thank you, Steve-O. Thank you for the email. Thank you. So this is one that is dry. Okay. Uh, and what I'm going to do is then take... So you've got your um, stencil here that's the moon and the stars, and now you've got this that goes over the top. Ah. Um, so this is creating the craters on the moon. Okay. So we're just going to use some Versamark and stamp that out. Now you could moon. use the stamp without the stencil if you wanted to. Yes, oh yeah, definitely. Um, yeah, it would still look just as good because then you could go in, like I said before, with the, um, the Carbothello as yeah. well, or, or chalk. This is a oh, great nice. idea, I love that stamp. Because oh, yes, it's the moon and the craters, but you can also use it for like mixed media, grungy backgrounds as well. Yes. Yeah, yeah, definitely. I need to get more grungy. Do you? I need to Do get more. I need to get me grunge on. Do you know what? That could be a little. Yeah, that could getting be your grunge on. A, yeah, getting your grunge on. Yeah. Could you do some grungy sentiments, Josie? Stuff. Yeah, I've been worded and told not to. Let's well, let's You've go been grungy. Worded and told Dad, not to. Yeah, Dad says that uh, there is not grungy. So he's I, not grungy, but he's not down with kids. Is he's he? not he down with kids. No, Dad looked not... like Geppetto when we left him today. So. Oh, he did, yeah. <laughs> with his little his little mittens on and his <laughs> woolly hat. <so. laughs> did you not turn the heating on for he's him? Not, he's not. Down we don't with have the kids. heating. Oh, does he not? Oh. No, no, not in the unit, Janice. Oh. It's cold. <laughs> it is very cold, actually. I thought I got hypothermia yesterday. I couldn't even bend my fingers. It oh, was that cold. Dear. Oh, well, Roy, if you're working, just get back to work. Just you, might, jog. you might get warm. Jog. Jog on the spot, do some star jumps. So what I'm going to do is, whilst I'm here, before I just do all the drying in one yes. go, I'm going to use the Versamark and just ink up this. Now, it is a really large stamp, but the way I've designed it, is also, it really lends itself well to a six by six card. Okay. You know, because I know a lot of people, they do tend to send six by six because it's easier post-wise. Yeah. Um, but it does it does work well on a six by six. There's a, just a little one near you, Janice Tiar, that's the one. This one, yeah. yeah. Now, it's a sizable stamp, but as Nina said, you can extend it, but you could also draw it in as well. Yes. And it's also going to give you the chance, maybe you've got some other stamps, maybe you do some doodles, for example. Yep. You could doodle some dragonflies and maybe some little fairies and elves in there. It's, it's oh, a beautiful yeah. stamp. It really, really is. And it's a fabulous deal, $25.99. And that gets you the stencil. It gets you the flower stamps. It also gets you the moon. And it gets you the uh, fabulous... Oh, I mentioned the stencil, yeah, with that. And they all work together, but you can also use them separately. So if you wanted that meadow in the moonlight, you can see a sample right there. If you wanted the moon separately, maybe you've got some other stamps to go with that. Or maybe just have the moon and a single image uh, of a, a silhouette of an animal or something like that would look incredible. Incredible. The value for money here is fabulous. 949849. We only have one show today. 
so it's not back later on so here's the idea pop it into your basket make sure that you get your stamp set because as we head through the winter months and as we go through into the spring isn't this going to be a lovely stamp set to start using also when you do get it home give an element of winter to it as well um, going out on a frosty morning for example the plants are still with us um, which is amazing really for this time of year and a lot of them have frost on them so this is going to give you the chance to build and create so we're getting very busy for this stamp set now for how much 40% of the stock has gone. 40% of the stock has gone. They are loving it. We don't want you to miss out. Please pop them into your basket and check out as well. So we'll head back to Nina. Um, but well done, everyone, for getting hold of that. Don't wait too long to check out your baskets either. Yes. Well, it's popular. I just had a bit of an epiphany. Have you? Yes. Do you know what it would be awesome with? So I once did it in my um, little girl's bedroom, and I, had, um, I got a blind and stamped onto a blind. Yes. How awesome would that look, stamped onto the bottom of a blind? And fabric. If you've got fabric yep. ink, building uh, maybe the, like the bottom of a quilt Ooh, or the top yes. of a quilt, down the side of the pillowcases. Tote bag. Tote bag would be fantastic. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. They def I definitely think because they, you have that um, ability to continue the pattern, yes. you're, real, you're winning. Even, oh my goodness, we're approaching half the stock now of this set. Maybe if you've got a room, you've painted the walls, you could get some masking tape and then you could do like a, a little border going all the way around the room, the top, mm -hmm. the bottom or the middle, which would be ace. Be furniture, amazing. oh my word. Bags, furniture, clothes, home decor. It's got it all really. It is endless. Well, half the stock has gone. I'm afraid this isn't endless because half the stock has gone. There's your uh, warning, really, to pop that into your basket to make sure you are getting yours along with everyone else. So, what I'm doing now, I've got these nifty little... Well, I thought they were your lunch, to be fair. I thought you bought some yoghurt onto the show and you might be eating in between demos. Yeah, they do look a bit gauche. Yeah, they do. Gouache, gouache, ganache, ganache, gooey stuff. Yeah, gauche. Oh, gauche. Ooh, <laughs> gauche. 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 It's definitely not northern, is it? <laughs> gauche. So, I am going to just do a little bit. Now, I'm using this because um, I'm a watercolour gal. Yeah. And this is in between watercolours and acrylics. Now we're approaching 60% of the stock. I'm sorry for all these updates that I keep giving you, but I, I understand that people come into the show different times, you know, and I don't want anyone missing out. So. Now we're up to 60% of the stock gone. So if you have just joined us, we're having a very busy show on this stamp set. If you want it, go and have a look on the website. Give us a call. Get it into your basket like everyone else is doing. So I'm just adding some colour. Now, obviously, I'm using the black um, card. So it is um, definitely worthwhile using your acrylics or your Prismacolors that look really nice on it as well. Um, it's really effective. I love it on that black. It does look really good, yeah. doesn't it? And even when it's dried, it still stands out, but it sort of gives a bit more of a dreamy look. What's the, what colour embossing powder did you use? I used, wow, metallic silver sparkle. Ah, uh, yeah, that looks fab. Yeah, it's... Because it matches the moon. Yes. So it's the moonlight on the plants. That's very clever. Yes. I'm going to say, I totally did it on a purpose, Janice. Absolutely. I'll take your compliments. Yes, you're welcome. Yeah, and only me and you... And everybody at home will know that I'm totally lying. Yeah. <laughs> and it was an accident. But it does look like the moonlight, doesn't it? Yes, on? So it, does. it works so well. So anybody that has purchased it, there you go. That's a, a brilliant idea of how to use it. Well, they are because 70% of the stock oh, is now gone. 70%. Oh, my goodness. It's a case of what's going to end first, the stock or your demo. I Approaching know. three quarters. Oh, my word. I'm trying my hardest to work. Uh, no, you to take your time. Finished. You take your time. I've left the lids on, you see, because I didn't want them to dry out, but it's really fiddly now. But they're, I, I like them, though. They are they're very good. I like to try out different uh, mediums. Yeah, they seem to be working really well. Yeah, they're nice. And it doesn't matter that you're going over some of the embossed detail, because, it, no. it, because the whole plant needs to be coloured, so it works really well. No, it's kind of almost really avoiding that, you know, because I've got still a lot, quite a bit of water yeah. on the brush. Um, it's going off, so I'm just going to go straight in with the deep purple because I'm not colouring everything in. We're just sort of, it was more of a, a hint because it's night time, you know, on the, on the picture. 
I feel we're like very, we're very lucky at the moment because lots of plants are still flourishing. And it's amazing when you go and have a look in gardens. Well, I really got into a particular gardening program over lockdown. Did you? Yeah, so we 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 grew some stuff. As it, we grew um, plants. <laughs> did you grow some plants? I don't did well. We yeah. grew. I would have thought you were growing potatoes. anything else. Potatoes. Yes. 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 Grew potatoes and the children really enjoyed it. Although it was a bit tricky when you try to get the old potatoes up and you stab them with the fork. Yeah, that that is a bit tricky. We lost quite a few good potatoes. Have that. you heard of a tom tato? No. Tomatoes oh. at the root. Okay. No, sorry. Tomatoes on the stem and potatoes at the root. Tom tato. Oh it's a thing. It's is a that thing. A thing it's, I'm going to Google it. It's 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 an it's an. I'm sure it's tom. I'm sure it's called tom tato, but it's tom tomato. It's a tomato potato plant. Right. Okay. I mean, I'm intrigued. Yeah. Oh, we, we are approaching limited as we talk about tom tatoes <laughs> and growing stuff in your garden. Yeah. Limited stock now. It's the it's, see, it's the potatoes that have done it. There we go. Look. So. That's just your little nod. Oh, that's the, fantastic! Isn't it look so pretty? That moon, that moon really is amazing. You've captured it so well. Thank and you. And the, the stamp. I love the way that you put the sponge on because for me, that's showing part of the craters of the yes. moon, isn't it? Yeah. But the stamp. Wow. Did you study the moon to get the craters in the right place, or is that your? That's just my inside, wow. inside the mind, just wow. going for it, thinking, okay, that'll just look good. Wow! I keep saying that a lot. Wow! I'll look in the dictionary and find another word for later. Uh, right, I've got an email for you. I've put Lovely. the specs on. Uh, hi all. There are only cheap specs off the internet. Uh, hi all. I came across Daisy Bee by accident early in the year and instantly fell in love with their stamps. This is from Lynn, by the way. Oh, hi, Lynn. At first, I wasn't confident to use them, as I'm really no colourist, but I took the plunge. My confidence has grown. Not only is the stamps, stamps so clean and are big, that's a very good point, uh, but they also are simple to colour using various mediums and techniques that Roy, Nina and Josie have taught me. Aww. I enjoy the craft-alongs and the Daisy Bee family make you feel as part of their own family. Now have a huge stash of Daisy Bee. Love, Lynn. Oh, thank you, Lynn. Oh, we're now technically sold out of <gasps> that stamp set, really? everyone. If it is in your basket, please check out. If any bounce back... We will let you know, uh, and if we can get any more, we will also let you know that. Good right. news, we have got some back, seven day extended delivery, so 15th of December, that's not too long to wait. It means you're going to get this fabulous set, along with everyone else that's already got it. So keep popping it into your basket. If you want it for a gift for anybody, uh, 949 849 is your item number. So big stamp let me show you the stamp first of all because the card that uh, nina's just made there is absolutely divine and with the stamp you can actually have this as a continuation uh, which means you can have a very very long meadow or you could just take out the center of it and bring it together and that's the beauty of this particular stamp set if you want to get hold of it along with everyone else pop it into your basket it's already sold out once it's back on extended delivery dispatching on the 15th of december December 949849 is your item number. Thanks for that, Nina. Thank you. It's a lovely demo. I love that moon. Thank it's you. absolutely fantastic. Uh, right, let's have a recap of all the stamps that we've got for you on the show. And then we've got another demonstration coming up from the lovely Josie. Right, I think this is excellent value for money because so many people are starting to journal at the moment lots of scrapbooking going on and even though maybe we've not been on a lot of holidays and days out this year we're still capturing moments of our lives especially spending that time at home we've actually done more things i think at home so whether it be out in the garden or inside or maybe you have been out walking it's always nice to capture those moments maybe you've got a new member to the family maybe you have Capture those moments and then now you have got your scrapbook to put all the photos in there. It's a fabulous scrapbook. We're going to have a look at this in a moment's time. But you've got lovely craft card 
in there. Let me just tilt that forward. I don't want to open this one up, but you've got 40 pages in there. And uh, it's all acid and lignin free, which means it's not going to affect your photographs if you put them in there. Now, popping your photographs in there, you've got a fun way of doing that because the stamp set itself, not only have you got the beautiful sentiments of smile that you can put in there, and you can also use these on your cards, by the way. It's not all about scrapbooking, but you've also got that lovely instant picture stamp. So you can put a photograph in there or maybe doodle in there if you want to. Maybe you could put some sentiments in there and have a lot of fun with that. Have a lot of fun with this particular set and you've also got down the front you've also got that fabulous stencil as well uh, and that is your scattered speckles again perfect for a snowy scene perfect for a star scene perfect for adding detail to the corners of your designs or just getting a little bit grungy with it in mixed media style so it's a fabulous set to get and we've divided the cost into two payments of 20 pounds but if you're a freedom member you get a 10% off. Um, so being a Freedom member means you have got even more money off this particular deal. If you want to become a Freedom member, it's a why not deal because you're saving more than your membership costs you. Uh, so two payments of £18 if you're a Freedom member. Freedom membership is £5.97 a month. And it means you get all your PMP included. So it's an excellent way of becoming a Freedom member, taking advantage of that discount and getting this wonderful set of stamp stencils and your scrapbook. 660005 is your item number. So it does work out to be an excellent deal for you. Right. Oh, it's not sold out again. We've sold out once, but we've bought it back on extended delivery dispatching on the 15th of December. This is a gorgeous set, it really is. If you missed the demonstration, don't worry, you can watch the show again and see how Nina put this together with the moon. Now you've got your stencil, you've got your stamp that gives you the craters of the moon, or perhaps uh, a nice grungy style pattern if you're doing your mixed media or different uh, pattern building. So you can use it as a moon or you could use it as a pattern. You've also got your sparkles in there as well. And you've got that beautiful meadow that can be in the daytime or it could be a moonlit scene as well. You can extend it by using the stamp again and again and again. You can also just use part of the stamp. It's going to be entirely up to you. 949-849 is your item number. Superb value for money, only 25 99 for that whole package. Now we've got a set of three stamp sets for you. Um, this is an incredible price. £20.99. It's not a pick and mix, everyone. You're getting all three of the stamps that you can see down the bottom. Uh, the sentiment that we have here with love, Josie has said this is her best work to date. I think it is. It is a marvellous, marvellous set. And if you wanted to, you can cut the with love into two so you can have it in different compositions on your design works. So that beautiful lady there, gorgeous. Is it Ella? L. Ellie. Ellie. Ellie, yeah. Ellie. I'm still trying to get it called Janice, but it's not. It's Ellie. So you're getting Ellie uh, and you're getting with love. It's a beautiful sentiment and you're also getting your sweet pea flourish as well. You can have a lot of fun with this, extending that image out and also extending uh, that sentiment out as well. If you wanted to use the sentiment on its own and maybe then have that going down into the sweet pea and the flourish is there, look how beautiful that is. And doesn't it work well? It really does. Just having the sentiment on the front of your card also looks fantastic. And this is the stencil from the previous collection yes, yes. Uh, so that's what that looks like and doesn't that look fabulous because you can make the same card again and again and again you can batch make you can have the background in different colors if you want to but you've got that beautiful sentiment on the front which would look great on a card on a tag uh, maybe on some wrapping paper, make and create some wrapping paper with love on there, which is absolutely marvellous, isn't it? 895155 is your item number. Getting busy for that now. Um, now, we've got three minute queues on the phones. The best way to order would be the website, but do bear with us because we will get through all of your calls. And I'm sure the call centre would love to have a chat with you. Um, and I'm sure, I think, yeah, do we have some hold music? I think we have. I think we have. And if you can't get through, I think it's my voice saying, please wait on the phone. Um, I think it is. I think it is. All right. So really stand out with these. You've got your lovely legs and you've got stand out as well. This is an incredible deal. 13 99 gets you both stamp sets. It's amazing, isn't it? 333-075. Remember, if you're going for any of these stamp sets alongside the first set, which is available on Flexi, you can divide the cost of everything into two. So this would be £7.50 today. 
if you were going for the first collection. 333075 is your item number. They are absolutely fantastic. Nice fantasy style image there and you can have lots of fun colouring those in. And then the Everly set, uh, again, another fantastic price for you. And if it is difficult to choose between all the sets, if you are going for all of them to treat yourself, again, we'll divide the cost into two payments, so it makes it affordable for you. So we're not dividing, you're not waiting for each uh, set of the stamps, they're all going to come at the same time. So make today amazing, and you can do that by adding this to your basket. £15.99, a beautiful stamp made here in the UK by the girls uh, and you can see the detail that's in there as well that is going to look gorgeous embossed isn't it um, and all the different colors that you can use uh, to color in the dress right 15.99 brilliant price there pop that into your basket if you want that we've got something else to show you the in all oh, the enchanting set that sold out once Half the stock of the extended stock has now gone. If you have just joined us, this has proven to be very, very popular. Go and have a look at that on the website if you've not already seen it, or just put it straight into your basket, because I know you're going to love it when you get it home. You've got your stencil, you've got your two stamp sets there at 25 dollars is your item number. Right, Josie, what are we going to see now? So, I... Oh, I've just kicked a basket under That's there. all right. Yeah, That's very all sorry right. about that. So, it's because I'm all legs. I'm not. I'm really short legs. So, I digress. I'm going for a journal page today. Okay. Um, just because I think that's, that's what it lends itself to with, and I think it's just what I saw. So, what I've done, I've used the stencil already, um, like and all I've done, the same way that Nina did, so we didn't need to see it twice. I've just used the acrylic paints, and I've just gone through that, and what I wanted it to look like a little bit like a burst, but yeah. just going from this area basically like if you put it next to your camera lens it's like a burst of of colors I love that so I'll, I'll move with that for now so what I've got here I've lost all the ear inside me is this the card from the journal it is yes, yes. all I've done is um, I've basically removed a page yes to bring it to you here excellent. to then put it back in the journal on a separate page excellent like so that. you can see that the card works but it's easier to the journal itself He's here, he's this one. So you can see that, no, that way around. So you can see, it's well used, I've got these in there. <laughs> but it's a really nice, it's really thick yeah. craft card, so it's yeah. really nice to work on. Um, with like your inks and stuff, you've got a lot of like backbone to yes. your card. Yeah. That, it makes sense in my head. So I've got my stamp here, and I'm going to go in. This is the little. Um, like Polaroid picture yeah, frame. Yeah, your instant picture. Instant picture, that's yeah. that's the one I meant. I'm they're glad you're here. Do you know those instant cameras are making a huge comeback? Oh, I've been, I, I'd love one. Yeah, they I've, are I've they are definitely um, been thinking about one. I'll just keep I know where it. you can get a really good deal on them, so I'll, um, if anybody wants one, I'll let you know. Oh. I found somewhere to get, yeah, half price they were. Oh, Ma okay. Amazing deal. I'm here for it, you'll have to... Uh, but this is the beauty of having a stamp. You don't need to invest in a camera because no. your pictures that you've got, you just cut them out and you've got the stamp to go around it. Well, it is. And obviously with the extra little flowers and, yeah. and butterflies. But the only thing with working on this craft card is you've got to make sure your ink's really, really juicy. Yeah. Because it's so dry yeah like the card that you're working on sometimes y y your image can look a little bit yeah like not as bright so you've got to i'm just pressing on as it's a bit like that with my makeup you know i'm, I'm very dry <laughs> i need a lot of makeup to soak in these days oh no uh, my... mind you i forgot all my makeup today so i'm shiny most of the time so right. someone just said to me who am i wearing i'm not wearing anyone <laughs> anyway uh, the stamp set on its own is available if you want to go for that. And it's a great stamp set because you've got the camera in there with all the detail. You've got the sentiment in there. You've got the beautiful worker stamps as well. Uh, 26 99 if you want to go for this on its own. Ten stamps. But, of course, the value is in the bundle if you want to go for that. And that's the one that uh, Josie is using in her demonstration mm -hmm. with the book. I'm throwing it about. So I'm just going to, because I'm going to emboss at the same time. I'm just going in with my first mark, and I'm going in with the say cheese. I also really like the sentiments in this set. Yes. I like the say cheese. I think it's 
it's it's fun. Yeah, it is. So I'm gonna put that. Where are we gonna? I wonder who came up with that. Not that sentiment there. No, that was you. But I wonder yeah. who came up with say cheese. Who, I wonder, Cheers. It does, but I wonder who cheese. first thought of cheese. Mm. Cheese. It'll be somewhere on the big web. Yes. Oh, well, apparently it comes from former ambassador Joseph E. Davis. Oh, like that time you called me Joseph. That's right. <laughs> well, you are Joseph to me. You'll always be a Joseph to me, Josie. <laughs> <laughs> so why did he do it again, Molly? Well... Ah, oh, it's guaranteed to make you look pleasant no matter what you're thinking. Interesting. <laughs> I, I can see it. And say prunes as well. Prunes. Prunes. Oh, that Pr would be for the pound. Oh, prunes. 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 <laughs> prunes. <laughs> I like prunes. it. Prunes. I like prunes it. make me feel confused, really. Prunes. <laughs> uh, it makes me look a little bit now, it? Shut up, Janice. Oh dear, the things you learn, the things you learn. Well, I didn't know that earlier, so I feel smarter today than I did yesterday. Oh, Because I have learnt something. There you go, every day's a school day. It is. It is when you're around me dad, because he's always one for the lessons. Is he? Oh, yeah. Yeah. He likes to teach me new things all the time. Oh. But it's like being at school, because I don't really listen, so... <laughs> Remember, Roy could be watching, Josie. Oh, I know, he knows that I don't listen to him. Yeah. He's got are a you... really comfy swivel chair, Janice, so oh. I'm not quite sure. Are you, are you the rebel of the family, Josie? No, I would probably say neither. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm actually, I'm, I'm really, really boring. I am, honestly... I would not call you boring. I, you will find me with a cup of tea. Or on a on a winter walk with my partner. And oh. like, honestly, I, I sit on the sofa on a Saturday night. We are brewing some uh, half coast, and I'm like, yes, this is the life that I always wanted. That well, you know what? That is a fabulous life. Yeah, I just don't like the taste of alcohol. Unfortunately, it's not. You do. You do not have to apologise. So I'm using my. I got sidetracked then, but I just want to say how lovely the. Open it that way. That how nice that colour is. I've yeah. sort of gone for the same same area of colours. I'm trying not to put me. So that's it. embossing powder that you've used there, and just with that white. Is it a pencil? Is it grey? This one. Yeah, yeah, it's a Prisma colour. That looks really good. I don't think. To be honest, I've, I've seen a lot of people use them in different ways. People like, oh, you don't you don't press on with them. Whereas I like, I press on as hard as I can so that I get the strongest. Yeah. Colour from it because I love the fact that you're colouring on craft card, yeah, but you wouldn't know. So, you know, like colouring over that with the grey, yeah, like you can just see your grey through it, yeah. So, I just like to, it does, it looks really effective. I love that. Just add just a little bit of extra depth. I'm just going in with different grey. We've had another email in. Oh, I feel it. Uh, oh, very there's, popular. there's two. Oh, <clears throat> Madame Joe and Sir Mark Channon have uh, emailed in. It says, Hi Janice. I love Daisy B's stamps and designs. The quality is fabulous and designs so different. Would you be so kind to wish the gorgeous Nina, Josie and Roy a, happy, a very happy Christmas and hope to see them in the studio in January. And then it's a little two dots and a big smile. Lots Aww. of Christmas wishes. Aww. Joe and Mark Channon. Well, Merry Christmas. They they to see you again so lovely. Yeah. Lovely people ever. What they look. They We'd like to make them honorary Higginbottoms, I think. Yeah. Like if we could have them as an actual Higginbottom family member, we would. Oh. You know you've adopted me, by the way, don't you? The, oh, pa yeah. the papers are going through. Janice dance. Yeah. Every Janice time. Dance. Every time there's a little like, oh, oh have we got Janice. Yeah, Janice dance. <laughs> a little Janice dance. We'll have to make that a thing. Yeah. We'll have to make that a thing. <laughs> uh, right. Uh, hi, Janice, Nina, Nina, and Josie. Uh, I have used Daisy B stamps earlier. Uh, sorry, I've used Daisy B stamps since the early days and if you haven't given them a try please do so i love them and have lost count of how many i have the quality is amazing and so is the company crafty hugs from joanne oh, oh and joanne oh joanne, joanne was a, she she was a, a lady that came to our stand and lost it uh, she left just a credit left card. a bank card yeah Did and she? then we, we were running around uh, doncaster trying to find uh, the lovely joanne and she yeah. just came up and went 
Well, I know you want to nick it. Oh, and that, you that keep it safe. Oh, and she's literally been, since. yeah, she's, she's one of my best friends. Oh, I how absolutely lovely. adore Joanne. Yeah. How lovely. Oh, yeah. Thank you for all your emails, by the way. If anyone else wants to email in and you're thinking, oh, how can I do that? It's studio at hochanda.com. We've only got about six minutes left of the show. I don't know where the time goes. Ooh. It always flies when we're having fun, doesn't it, girls? It does, and we oh. have had lots of fun. We Good. have had lots of fun. I'm, I'm, I'm moving as quick as I could. And no, Nina's you take not going to get a don't second rush. demo in. Don't rush. I need some... I need some. Oh, it's all gone, Pete Tom. I needed some glue. Glue. Um, no, you're not right. Right, I don't need glue. It's fine. We'll yeah, wing yeah, it. You'll be fine. This is the glitter that you would get, guys, and this is the glitter yes. that I would be showing you. And it is fab. I've got it on this one, so I'll just show you really quick before I move on. This is what I would be putting on, and I've just oh, added wow. like the little, the littlest of glittery sparkles. Oh, that looks lovely. Isn't that pretty? They'd also look nice with some glossy accents on as well, those butterflies, wouldn't they? They would, yeah. yeah. Well, what I'd done on my... So, pulling my... Here's what I made earlier, is my camera. So, I'm going to bob that on and just put it together. I'll tell you something else. Because of the size of the stamps that you get in here, because they're fabulous size stamps, shrink plastic, they'd go really well. There's yeah. a charm of a, of a camera like that. I think On a so. key ring, key fob, or a travel tag or maybe a necklace or some earrings for Christmas. Yeah, think about your shrink plastic. It's amazing stuff. I think it's something that we'll have to look at doing mm. because somebody else, I think it was the uh, producer or one of the ladies from the last show that we yeah. did with Dad's travel stamps. Yes. She said the, um, the, like the Eiffel Tower in shrink plastic would look. It certainly would. And it, it really would. You, the possibilities are... And, this, and it's just nice to colour. It's like having a colouring book that you stamp yeah. yourself. Yeah, and it just makes great. It makes great gifts, you know, having a little charm that then you could, you know, the other stamps that you buy from the, the girls, you could then you shrink plastic for them. You could have a whole collection, which would be really good. Right, so, just bob my camera down. I want to keep some of my stencil there so you can see it. And then I'm just going to... And my brain's going to... To fudge now. Right. I'm using Nina's up thingy card that she stamped on earlier okay. because I ruined it. Uh, forgot my black card. So I just want to put it together so that you can see that it goes in again nice in your scrapbook. Yeah. And the black really makes it pop, doesn't it? it yeah, works really and I well. I think that's why I like the this scrapbook's really good as well because you're Binding's quite big, if that yes. makes sense. So yeah. you can add extra pages on top of your thickness. Yeah, like little pockets and things. Yeah, and, tags. and it, it does work rather yeah. than just having one, like one flat piece, which looks fine either way. Yeah, I think I've had that wrong around, but we'll work with it. That's a good point. Just to show you the spine here, uh, this is what Josie means. You can see how big that is. How. Um, Thick it, is. it means that you can add more to the pages. You can see just turning it to the side there. And then you've got that lovely gold look, which is uh, beautiful, isn't it? As a Christmas present, oh my word, absolutely incredible. But remember, this comes as part of the set with the Capture the Moment stamp set. And you've also got that wonderful, I love, 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 love um, the glitter that comes with this and also that stencil as well that just adds that sparkle detail if you want it. Or you can start building up your patterns two flexi payments if you're a freedom member you save even more as a freedom member it's just 18 pounds a day and another 18 pounds in a month's time if you want to become a freedom member as it's a why not deal your freedom membership costs less uh, than your set or your saving is more than your freedom membership should i say become a freedom member today your membership will start today and then you can get that great discount and many more discounts on items and also your PMP will be included. Right, back to Josie. So that's it, I'm done now. I just want to, I've done it again. I keep kicking the box <laughs> underneath. It's just been one of them days. Don't worry. So, uh, yeah, I just wanted to show you what it looks like. I've yeah. not stuck it in because obviously I've used it. Doesn't that look But you can just amazing. see how you've got your, your black on there yeah. and it makes the black on your stamp stand out. Yeah. And I just think it's nice and... We want to see your journal creations and things like that. So whatever you do, whatever project it is, we've got a, a group on Facebook, yes. the Daisy Bees. So you can be part of that and you can show us your crafty makes. And there's lo always loads of inspiration on there as well.
Excellent. That's a great idea, isn't it? And I love the black and the gold and the white and the colours that have been used there. You'll use, of course, your own colours and you'll put what you want into your fabulous uh, scrapbooks or memory books. And it gives you a chance then, of course, uh, to give somebody a wonderful gift for Christmas. Now, something that's proven to be very, very popular is our wonderful Enchanted uh, stamp set. This is gorgeous. We saw this demonstration at the top of the hour uh, with Nina. So you've got your fabulous stencil, and in the stencils you've got those little dots in there that could be your stars or sparkle. You've also got your stamp set that gives you the craters on the moon, or you can create some amazing backgrounds, um, and also those sparkles as well. So you can place them on your projects wherever you like, and it just adds those extra details to it. I love that floral stamp. It is a good size stamp, just showing you that here, so that you can extend this and make it bigger and longer and fuller. You've got that beautiful menu, and of course, meadow, should I say, and you can, of course um, include that with other stamps that you have maybe use that at the bottom of your um, memory book your your um, scrapbook you could just take the top and that could be along the bottom of every page which would look amazing don't you think um, please do check out your baskets make sure you get what you want this is the only show that we've got here today with Daisy B crafts uh, let me say a huge thank you to Nina and Josie always a pleasure thank, thank you, you. Oh, yeah, we're at <laughs> twinning. <laughs> Unison. <laughs> I feel like we're at one of those zoos where you're between the perspex. <laughs> am, I, am I the animal, though? No, I'm the animal. Uh -oh. Yes, okay. yes, yeah, yeah. You, you've, you've paid to see me, I'm afraid. Oh, no. You can get your money on the way out. You can get it back. It's fine. I didn't do any tricks for you today. Uh, it's been an absolute pleasure. Thank have you. a lovely Christmas. You too. Happy birthday to Roy for tomorrow and have a great Christmas. So we'll see you hopefully the other side of Christmas. Yes, yeah. January. Excellent. Uh, and we'll see you guys in a moment's time. Check out your baskets. <laughs> Right, coming up next, we've got Heartfelt Creations Floral Shop and the Happy Puzzle Company. After that, oh, I'm looking forward to that show. So Totally Trisha is here with a brand new one-day special at 6 p.m. Hi, my name is Blanche Siegmann. I'm the owner of the company La Blanche. The company La Blanche is a crafting company located in Germany. For over 20 years, I'm designing and selling stamps paper crafting products and home decoration. As a passionate crafter myself, I make sure all our products are of highest quality and easy to use. We produce a whole range of products. We produce paper products. We have also shrink sleeves for your jars, glasses. We have home decoration products, paints and wall decals. Everything, the whole range of crafting we produce for you. I hope you enjoy watching us at Hochanda and crafting with La Blanche. Did you know you can watch Hochanda 24 hours a day, 7 days a week for free using our app on Roku? Just like your smartphone accesses an app store to add new applications, your Roku streaming player or Roku TV accesses the Roku channel store to add new channels. By downloading the Hochanda channel, you'll be able to access your favorite craft channel on your TV anytime you want to watch. Here's how to do it. Turn on your TV and connect your Roku device. Next, turn the power on and press the home button on your Roku remote. Scroll up or down to select settings. Select your network and select setup connection. Roku uses a wireless connection, so select your router name and add your password. This should be on the side or the bottom of your router. If this is the first time using Roku, then you'll need to set up an account on the device or by going to the Roku website. That's it. Now it's time to add the Hochanda app. Simply press the home button on the Roku remote. Scroll up or down using the arrows on your remote to select streaming channels. Then open the channel store. At the top of the channel store, you'll find a list of featured, new and popular categories to explore. Enter Hochanda into the search bar and this will take you to the Hochanda app. Now simply select Add Channel. When you see the Added Channel screen, press OK and return to the home page. Now scroll down to the Hochanda app and press the star button on your remote. You can then use the arrow buttons to move Hochanda to the top of the screen for quick and easy access. And that's it. You can now watch, purchase and catch up with your favorite shows 24 hours a day, seven days a week on your TV whenever you feel crafty. 
Hi, I'm Anna and I'm a founder of Craftbox UK. Craftbox is a box full of craft supplies that we send to our customers monthly. It's ribbon tied and we hope that by receiving this box you will feel like it's Christmas every month. Make sure you don't miss the Craftbox shows on Hochanda. Hi everyone, I'm Phil Martin. I've been a paper crafter for well over 20 years now and a designer for just over 10 years. Sentimentally Yours is my multi-award winning brand of clear stamps, rubber stamps. I've now also introduced lots of craft dyes in there, designer papers. I have my mediums where we've introduced the Flawless Media brand into the Sentimentally Yours family. So on our Hope Chanda shows, we aim to inspire you to be educational and to teach you how to get the most from the products that we're bringing to you. The Sentimentally Yours family has grown uh, to include my good friend Julia Watts and our new designer Trudy Howard. Hopefully we're all going to bring something different to the show so you're going to be enriched with lots of different ideas and inspiration. Be sure to join us for our Sentimentally Yours shows on Hope Chanda. We're chatting away. It's lovely to have your company. It's lovely to have our Nikki's company. We were just saying we don't think we've worked with each other. No. Do you reckon it's only been twice this oh, year? I reckon, honestly, t two or three times max. Wow. Last year, we were together a lot. Tons. What's this year? I don't know. It's funny, isn't it? It has yeah, been a funny all year, though, hasn't it? Has it has been very funny, hasn't yeah. it? And I've been getting mixed up which hat I've got on because I've been doing lots of guesting, so that's probably why. That's what it Swear. is, you see, you've been busy. I've been a busy bumblebee. Well, oh. it's lovely to have this hat on. I like yes. my presenting hat. And this is a beautiful collection. I mean, we were just talking about it and a heartfelt... It's sometimes yeah, they'll do a collection it's like, that is just so heartfelt. It is. I you know. know it's instantly recognisable. Florals, pretty. Yes. What more can you want from a heartfelt collection? Absolutely. Uh, yeah. They, they're yeah. spot on when they do it when they do that right gosh don't they just do it and the right. thing with this one is you as you can see what the design team and myself have done we've mixed and matched it with mm. other collections you know you look at this and it isn't specifically any occasion yeah you yeah. can use it for christmas you can use it for spring summer autumn winter weddings birthdays sympathy anything yes yeah absolutely especially with those flowers it's beautiful i like in this one as well like when you look at the flowers for instance if i just i'm just going to spin this round so you can see like this is really interesting because look at the the design on the the actual foliage that's mm. really different. It's very different, isn't it? And these make great fillers for yeah. any of the other floral collections that you have because they're not specifically tulip or carnation yes, yes. or a specific flower. I mean, they are, but they're buds, yeah. they're um, blossoms, they're berries, they're leaves. You've got yeah. every, all the fillers yeah. to go with all those other collections as well. I think it's very clever for them to do that. Yes. Because this is it. I can't necessarily think that I've seen um, sort of floral buds mm. like that. I think that's really good, which means I could add this to any of my stamps yes. or dyes and I'm going to have something mm -hmm. different. And you will. And then you add it to that urn. Yes. And you've got an amazing... <laughs> absolutely floral gift yeah. stroke card because that's what it is it is a gift yes. within a card that is amazing i mean the stamp is huge and the thing is it's heartfelt so these are quality they're all form mounted stamps they're really beautiful when you look at the detail of that stamp that is absolutely is. beautiful deep red rubber stamps yeah. deeply etched yeah so you've got all that detail in there 
and you can see how it's going to stamp out but obviously way bigger and of course again then you've got the foliage you've got the berries you know you've got the is that a little um thingy clock <laughs> um, what is it a called? Do you know one of the, the, the clocks that you blow? The, oh, the, the seed the, head. The seed head. I think yeah. it may be, yes. Look, 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 if I spin it, it right. It is. Look, do you know what I mean? Yeah. Like a dandelion, dandelion seed head. clock, yeah. Which is super pretty. Um, the lovely thing is, obviously, you get your stamps, you also get your dies. So you get everything that mix and match. Now, that's if you wanted to go for individuals. You've got loads of different individuals. The stamp set on its own, only £13.99. If you wanted to go for that one, uh, 371086. Obviously, you might want to go for stamps and dies. You can get the dies on their own as well. Uh, they're 19 aren't they? I do believe. So if you just wanted that set, you could get it. So I love that about these bundles. I love that you've got so many options. I think that is so important. Absolutely. And, of course, you do get the dies that coordinate yeah. with the stamps and that uh, yeah. to me that is a big thing yes. because when I stamp and die cut them I do a batch of them which means I've got them to go to I've basically got my own floral shop at home yes. in my craft room absolutely it makes it so quick and easy it does doesn't it they are really I love this set I really like those stamps I've just shown it's <clears> just <throat> stunning it's kind of got like a um, kind of contemporary feel with it, I think, but then you mix it in with the urn yeah. that you're getting, and it's kind of like, yes. well, well, is this contemporary? Is yeah. this is this kind of vintage looking? Yeah. But the, it's up to you how you yeah. color your how how you color your images, what color you do your urn, Absolutely. and how you use it. Because that urn, I mean that. You could bring that into like mixed media pieces because you know yes. you could do it like real stone and have all moss on I'd, it and you, everything. Yeah, you? your crackle glaze on yeah. there. You could do a lot of different techniques with it. You were talking about earlier mm. shaped cards. It mm. is beautiful for shaped it cards. Is. It's just something different. We don't have to think about it. Yeah. And this is what I'm loving about Heartfelt at the moment because they're bringing us something different to make our life easier in the craft room. Doesn't necessarily mean that we can tell yeah. husband that we're only going to be half an hour <laughs> instead of an hour because we're going to make a card. Yeah. It means that we enjoy it more because we're not yeah. the thought process out of um, has been taken away and we can just enjoy what we're doing now. Yeah. Oh, I just think the fabulous and different. The yes. flowers and the buds and the berries and things are really different. I mean, look at this. Look at all those fantastic flowers and things cascading from it. And I love, can you see this one here? I love that you've got to die for that. Because yeah. I'm oh. not good. I, there's no way I'd be cutting <laughs> no, that. Absolutely not. no way. And yet, and yet, that is one of the most handy stamp stroke die sets to Definitely. have. Definitely. Because yes. that you will put with everything. Foliage. I, I'm a right sucker for, for foliage dies, you know, and stamps. Yes. Because yeah. they'll, they'll go with everything. I love the colour combinations as well. That's beautiful. Yes, this is, all the flowers in there is used purely from the paper pad. Oh, wow. So what I did with the urn, I actually stamped it on the red paper first from the paper pad. Yeah. Then I stamped it on the white, fussy cut it and then put it together to yeah. create that bottom. But all of that foliage and the flowers are all from the paper pad. Oh, that is beautiful. Right, we better talk paper because obviously you want a special. It's not just those beautiful stamps. This is quality stamps. It's not just the dies that you can cut every single image out without the faff. And when you are talking, things like that, things like that, Mm -hmm. Without the faff, yes, please, because that is yes. marvellous. Yes, please, we I'd, like that. I'd actually love to see what you would do with them oh, with your I'd mixed media. Yeah. I would love to yeah. have a go with this. <laughs> and that's the thing, isn't it? You know, as soon as you start looking at it, you get inspired. But yeah. then you've got the paper pad. Now, of course, we are talking heartfelt, which means the paper's beautiful. Now, just bear with, I'm moving a few bits and bobs um, so I can show you this. Have a little look at this. I'll roll my sleeves up because it's always <laughs> worth it. Um, these are beautiful. Now, you are, of course, getting double-sided papers with these. And I do need to give them a, a bit of a spin so you can see both sides. See, that's really clever design because obviously open, so it means you can die cut them if of you course, want to. Of course, yeah. Use all those um, decorative dies, circles, ovals in there. You could just cut them out. 
yeah. and a bit of everything. As I say, there isn't a specific occasion for this. Yeah, yeah, no, there isn't. And there's lots of uh, the papers that, I mean, you could do anything with, couldn't you? That is so pretty. You've got so little hearts pretty. in there, look. Oh, that is it's so really pretty. really pretty. Yeah, they're beautiful. I love the colour palette this. I tell you why. Um, that looks like, are they cornflowers? They look like they're not, but they could be. They could be. Are one of my they could be, yeah. I mean, I was thinking they may be dahlias that we yes. had a few months back, but it's the colours. That I, I've kind of described it as like a soft denim blue. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Like a faded jeans colour. Yeah. And then you look got, at and that. Then the red as well. It is, it's. It's like a pinky red. I yeah. don't know, but it's a lovely. The shades are absolutely beautiful. Yeah, and when the papers are soft like that, that is so handy because obviously loads you can do. But then yeah. you've got all of those that you can die cut out. That really shows you the size of that urn as it well. It does. I know. It? It's it is a big urn. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. There's so much you can do with that. I love that colour as well. Remember, they're all double sided. You have got within the paper pad. 20 of these so you are sorry 24 of these um and they're just beautiful i love mm. always love these because obviously you can make a car straight away you've got if you're doing all your beautiful books you've got toppers you can do so much with it i love that there's two of each as well yes because that's always mm -hmm. really handy isn't it they're brilliant for your car toppers straight away as yeah. ever i mean i mean as i say you've got your six by sixes then you've got your larger images which I actually have made a card with this one. I just fussy cut it out. Use those sentiments. You've got all the sentiments, all those, um, you know, I mean, you can use those in your journal, in, in your scrapbooking. Yeah, yeah absolutely. I do apologise. Some are right way around. Some have been spun. I will sort this out when uh, Nick is demoing because it hasn't been, it hasn't been redone. So I'll have, I'll have a little sort of that. But what I love about Heartfelt as well is that they do all this. They give you every last little bit, look. And I adore that. They use every piece of the paper. I will sort these out so I can show you proper next time. But yeah, that is a beautiful paper pad. Uh, two of each design, good quality papers. If you just wanted the paper pad, again, you've got that option. And that's just sitting there at the bottom, £17.99 pence. if you just wanted the paper pad. But of course, we're talking one day special. The one day special is giving you all those papers. It's giving you those very beautiful, fine cut, detailed, rubber mounted stamps quality. And then all your dies as well. Now, you should be paying for this. We've got different deals on the show, which means we, um, when we add it together to show you what you're saving there, we have to go, and this is, so it's the law, it's, we're sticking to the rules, but that £20 saving is when you take into account the other deal that we've got, which gives you the papers and it gives you the urn and the die cut. So there is a saving on that. That saving is carried forward. Um, and then on top of that, so it's a £5 saving there. So you're actually saving, if you were buying all these elements separately, it'd be £119.93. You're actually saving £25 because that £5 carried forward. You've also got Freedom members. So Freedom members, that's saving £29.49, it's got that other saving as well. So you're actually saving £34.51. So it is actually more that it says on there because of that other saving that's carried forward. And you've got your Flexi as well. So if you're a, uh, a Freedom member, it does mean you can split that payment up. Three months, today, 28.48. 2848 and you can get that whole one day special delivered to your door you know exactly what you're paying the next couple of months um and i forgot about the bag and the inspiration sheet as well um and these are really handy i bet you collect these now don't you well, and, do you know i think all heartfelt fans now collect yeah. them yeah um they're great for keeping your collection in but yeah. they could <laughs> That's just really um, handy, Alex aren't makes me laugh. She says it reminds her of the old swimming bags that we used to have uh, at school. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it is, isn't it? Oh, my word. It's a really good bag. It's a really good bag. I actually remember. I don't 
having a jacket. Can you remember the jackets that we, yeah, we do. They, they were quite yeah, yeah they, they had pink cool. and blue ones, yeah. didn't we? But they were plastic like the bags. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. And I mean they didn't breathe. I won't say what we used to no. call them. But they weren't they weren't breathable material that they were, were not, they? but they kept us dry on the yeah. way to school. Yeah, they did. But yeah, it didn't make you feel good, did it? It no. kinda Yeah. No, I'm glad they did away with them. But you're welcome to do anything yeah. with your bag. Yeah, I mean, if you really want to, again, you know, you could cut a little hole in it, make it your own little shield. <laughs> or not, just don't just stick it over your head. I mean, I know it is COVID times, but, you know. Um, but, yeah, if you do want to get a hold of this, it's your one-day special. So you get your bag, you do get your inspiration sheet, you're getting all you can see here, here and it's beautiful. We're over 70% of the stock gone. Remember, uh, is this, this isn't the last show. Oh, it is the last show. This is, is the last show. Sorry, folks, I have no idea where I'm at today. When I'm on late, I get proper confused with time. I mean, I like to blame late. You know I'm just confused with time. Um, do not miss out on this deal. Saving £25, everybody. That is, um, if you're not a Freedom member, definitely a why not deal. Join Freedom today and make a massive... 3451 saving plus you save your postage as well so it's actually going to be more like 36 pounds 37 pounds saving um 470252 now the smaller bundle that we're babbling on about because of that other saving the smaller bundle is going to give you beautiful papers it's then going to give you that fantastic urn stamp with is coordinating die set and you see her saying that five pounds saving on this one you still get the bag you still get the inspiration sheets and um, just 46.97 um and we get a flexi on this one as well don't we and you do get a flexi on this as well so two payments 23.49 Obviously, if you're going for your full bundle, your first flex is just £28, so there's not that much in it. But if you do want to just go for the smaller one, then that is, again, a fantastic deal. 634929. Now, have a little perusal on the website. Uh, you'll be able to see all the other gorgeous goodies. We've got the moulds, which I know are really, really popular from Heartfelt because they'll give you all the shape to all those flowers and I know we've been waiting for those because I know they have been held up a bit because of the uh, the good old Covid. We've also got um, the beautiful um, deluxe shaping tools and I know that our Nikki uses this loads. All the packaging's amazing as well with Heartfelt. They really think about the packaging. Um, it's beautiful is that. Talking packaging, obviously we have got the folder. You know, these have looked so pretty when they're full of of all your gorgeous goodies and um, so if you do want the folder it'll fit your wonderful uh, packaging in there but but we have got the extra um, inserts that you can get in there really good idea and they do look beautiful if you have any questions email in studio at a chanter.com uh, but just enjoy the demonstrations over to you lovely Nikki what we're we doing today on Nikki we're going to do something quite kind of I think regal okay oh, lovely. okay because yeah, it suits that it does, it doesn't does, it? Yeah, it reminds me of, yeah, the, all the beautiful stately homes and things, doesn't well, it? Well, I did one earlier using, well, yesterday I think I'd stamped an, an embossed and earning copper. Oh, no. And then I've done a gold one, yeah. which was is over there somewhere. <laughs> but now we're going to do a silver one. But what I love about Heartfelt paper pad is you can actually stamp heat emboss on it, colour it, ink it up Beautiful. and um, do lots of different techniques on it so I am using a mixture of the papers and also some cream card as well so I'll just put my berries so when you stamp you always stamp your image first add your die and it will fit perfectly so if I just show you this die here it will fit perfectly over my stamped image Oh, yeah. See, I love that. There's perfect. no faff, is there? No faff. And the thing is, I tend to sort of like spend a good few hours doing nothing but stamping and die cutting when I first get yeah. my collection. Yeah. Which it's means nice that because then you've got all those gorgeous elements to, to, to use. To just for play with. Embellishing. And then my inspiration yeah. starts coming because I cut my paper yeah. pad up, ready to make cards. But look how easy. That has done that look. It's Just nice pop as well. Out. Oh, look at that. Nikki. No colouring on that leaf. No colouring on. That oh. Gorgeous berries. And see, your embossing is still just spot on, isn't it? Does work beautifully. So before I get on with the colouring, I am going to 
stamp my urn. So, <clears throat> excuse me, I'm going to use some of that really nice golden kind of distressed paper that's in the paper pad. Beautiful. It has got a script on it, so just make sure you do have it the right way up, because oh, if you're yeah. like me, I've done it before, late at night, and then looked at it next morning and thought, <laughs> well, that's upside down. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, I've done that. <laughs> just using my um, anti-static bag, taking my Versa ink, and then my stamp. Now, this is where you'll really see the size of that stamp. It is wow, a lovely that. size. It's as big as your stamping platform. It is, isn't it? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's amazing. And the reason I'm using my stamping platform is because when I use a large stamp like this, it means that if I don't quite catch an area, because it isn't quite big and I've only got small hands, I can go back in. Yeah, um, I like that, especially when you're embossing, because sometimes, because you can't quite see where the ink's going either, it's just... Peace of you mind, could, isn't it? I mean, you might see where the ink's going, because I did ink this up earlier with black, so let's have a look. <laughs> so it might be a bit mucky. Might just be. The um, the stamps from Heartfelt are such good quality. Look oh, at that. Yeah. But it has stamped it, and Perfect. I can see I'm quite happy with that. So then I will take my silver embossing powder, which is here. Fine detailed embossing powder is what I like to use. Yeah. And then, I'll tell you what, we'll use the inside of my card to collect. You kind of want to, don't you? Because colour. that urn has got so much, all the little bits of detail in there. I think when that. you're heat embossing like this and you're using it, this is where you you work out whether this is a quality stamp yeah. or not. Yeah. Because you can lose a lot of the detail when you're embossing. Yeah, you can. But with this... Yeah, it's a very, it's a very stately home piece, is It that? is, isn't it? But... Yes. Myself and Catherine decided yes. we could see more than just an urn. Oh, what were you seeing? <laughs> well, I, <laughs> I could see just a nice um, decorative pot. Yeah. A minute, I've lost for some reason. Oh, well, go on then. So, what else were you so seeing? I could just see a decorative pot by taking the bottom of the urn off. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, now, different Now, Catherine... Bowls. What could Catherine say? Saw <laughs> the old fashioned potties that we used to have, and I didn't have one, but <laughs> grandmas and old, <laughs> older generation used to have them. <laughs> I, yeah, you could definitely the pots, see that. The really I mean, I'm not pretty lie, decorative but ones. Who'd want to, but yeah, I, I could see that. Put two together, you could make a really pretty bauble. You, yes. Cutting the end off. A lampshade, upside down. Upside down lampshade. Umbrella, a parasol, bottom of a dress. Yes, yeah, so if you I turn like that. that up, yeah, that way, look. Yeah, yeah. You've got a dress. Fruit bowl, fruit bowl would work. Yeah. Jimmy was seeing chandeliers. I don't know who's seen that, but that's all right. We'll let him have that. I mean, the the other bit, you could um, you could almost turn it into a doorbell. I mean, oh, what, I'm not sorry? quite sure you actually want a doorbell. You know, a other doorbell. bit, <laughs> like that, a little door ringer. Uh, I can actually see a chandelier, to be honest, because if you cut around that part, yeah, that would go up, and then you could put all pearly bits. Oh, you bits. could put all your dangly bits off. I, c I could see that. I, yeah. I, I, You're all right, then. I'll, I'll give him that. I, I'm I'll with him, him that. on that one. And obviously, I mean, the, the swag and things, I mean, that in itself, that swag in itself, if you cut it away from the actual pot, that is a really pretty image in itself, isn't it? Is, it is, yeah. Um, I think Catherine said swags, swag and tails. Yeah, yeah. I didn't actually quite yeah. eat that properly. Oh. I've got the swag and tails. Did she used so, to make them? She did, yeah. She, she used to do it as a business. I just tails. used to do it, and then I used to start doing it for friends, and then it got to a bit like all through the summer holiday. I never used to see the children when they were little because I was too busy <laughs> making curtains. <laughs> <laughs> so I soon gave that one up. <laughs> yeah, that so doesn't sound like fun at all, Nicky. Down there. You've done all sorts. So you used to do uh, your, uh, your swag and tails, and then you have yeah, Boris. knitting. I haven't quite mastered crochet. I right. haven't done knitting for about 10 years, but I used really? to do a lot of knitting. Um, crochet is something that, unfortunately, my nan passed away just before she oh, really taught me. Um, but shame. sewing, a bit of everything, tapestry, wow. embroidery. And your floristry. Floristry, but card making is 
yeah. where it's kind of just got me, I think. Yeah, Never yeah, really yeah. get bored of it. Never, you know, sometimes, you know when you think, I'll have a day off today, but then yeah. I wander in the craft room. Yeah, yeah. And that's it. Yeah, I, you don't there, see me for the, the rest, rest of the, the day. day. <laughs> I mean, look at that now. That is lovely. Again, no colouring. So I've done it. It's on. all on there with the paper. Yeah. I mean, the lining up, that is just spot on. Like, you've still Beautiful. got all the embossing around the edges. And I have, actually, on some of the samples that I've made, actually fussy cut this part out and yeah. then layered it up again. Yeah, the beautiful slides. So there is a lot of things that you could do with it. So the next thing is, I have coloured, as I say, I've done some in cream, so I have coloured some of these up. Oh, still embossed them. Yeah. Coloured them up. See, I think I'm, I'm really impressed with the flower selection they've put in because it's so different, unusual. It is very, it's very so different. so unique. Yeah. So There's those lovely little flower pod type things. What flowers are those? See, I, know, I bet the, you've been playing that game and all, haven't you? We have, and you'd think <laughs> I would know. Yeah. And I have, to be honest, these, I, I do know what, but I can't think. They're they're from the Brom Brominade family or something. I can't remember. <laughs> it's a long time ago, but... I wonder if someone will email in, because that will bug me. We did... We had an email from a lady called Kimberly, and she said the which smaller was, buds... was... I don't think I've got that one here, have I? The small bud, which was... Oh, that the one. rose hip bud. That's the rose bud. Ah, um, rose, rose hip. hip. OK. And which the was these buds. ones. Oh, and that's a rhododendron. How oh, fantastic. I'm Rose kind hips. of seeing the um, adalia bud as well in there. Yeah. I know or rose peony. Hip. I do know about rose hip, so obviously because you can make um, your rose hip syrup. But you have to be dead careful because inside the rose hip, that's what they use for itching powder. Oh. I know that fact. Boom, I've got facts in. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Just so, yeah, if there's someone you need to pop itching powder and you can make it yourself through rose hips. Just blending <laughs> that green in look. Don't have to worry about the lines because it's embossing powder, so it's just going to hold that colour. Ah, uh, yeah, beautiful. And then here, just going to add a bit of dark blue. So this is a similar blue that was in the papers. Which is a lovely colour. Like a denim blue. Yeah, it's so pretty. But then when I just blend that in, and this isn't even watercolored card, this is, I wanted cream, so it's just cream card. Lovely. It's not even card, I think it's paper. Really? But look, yeah. it just blends. Beautiful. And just yeah, a really nice those. effect with it. And then this one, which is Leona's favourite. Yes. Because look at that, how really it's Really nice cut. filler. Cracking that. You so you're obviously going to get a little so bit of an much. edge on it because obviously you'd lose your stamped yeah. um, image if it was exactly. But when you colour it in like this, just add that bit of blue. That's lovely. It's so impressive. And of course, you can use your daubers for this. Yeah. And we have got the daubers on the show, actually, everybody. And we do indeed it. The details are there 12, 12 little old daubers. And they are very handy, those. Only $13.99. They're great because they stack. So it means they're dead easy for, um, for keeping all together as well. So yeah, that's a cracking die and stamp set. Pop them there. So I've got all of my elements here. So. You can use your flower shaping tool. I will do on this one because I have. I think I've done it on every show now on the, on the berries. But it just finishes it off. Yeah. So in actual fact, I'm going to do the berries. <laughs> the berries again. It. Flower um, shaping kit is out again. To be honest, there's certain things that I have out on my desk all the time. Yeah. Yeah. One being my flower shaping yeah. kit. I've always got that. It's a on hand. cracking kit, though, isn't it? And again, I love heartfelt storage. I mean, the box it comes in, they really think about that, don't they? Because that's going to go on your shelf. You know, so when you're not using it, you can put it with all your beautiful, um, your, you know, your other dyes and mm -hmm. things. Now, you do get, so you've got one mat that squids you, then you've got, and it's a real, do you not just sit and squid the mat <laughs> squid sometimes? It. You say, <laughs> it feels lovely, doesn't it? <laughs> 
It's a really nice little mat, and that's a mat there that'll pop out. You've then got your main shaping, so your main tool, and then all of the different ends will fit in there. So that you've got your super massive um, embossing bowl there, but they will come down until you get... Look at that, and so you get that super fine, almost like a needle tool there. It's a really handy set, is this one, it's isn't it, I mean, Nikki? already I've used both sides of my tips that I've got. So you've got ten there, so you haven't got ten different tools yeah. sitting on your craft mat. You're just using one, and it just it's magnetic so you just take one out pop it back in and you've also because of the way they've designed the packaging you've got a slot to put each tip in which means that if you do happen to drop one and lose one and then get carried away and forget that you drop when you go to pack away yeah. you can see oh, yeah I've lost that one so where's that yeah yeah I love it I love the storage it's great I bet that's happened a fair few times on it love it's like, oh, bear with, something's missing, go through the bins. Oh, I've done that before. <laughs> yeah, me too. And he's always, I mean, normally if you try and chuck something in the bin, it never goes in. But when you're actually dropping things, it... It, it just happens yes. to, yeah. It's like, Honestly, well, it's like the bin's bin. all of a sudden magnetic. It's ridiculous. I'll tell you what I've done before as well, is that I'm sure every, a lot of crafters out there will relate. I'm busy doing all my die cutting and stamping and I get carried away and I look and I think I've just thrown the last five dies in the bin instead of the <laughs> rubbish paper. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we've all, yeah. Yeah, that was proper annoying. Oh, the bits that you've cut out you end up chucking away by accident. See, that's yeah. a racking. Just brings them to life. Yeah. And you then need that movement, don't you? I've got a slightly larger tip for this one. Because if you don't, when they're all flat, it, well, they look, flat you know straight in the obvious but <laughs> that movement really does make it, a difference it does and the thing is you, you've got the you can have them flat so if you're posting out and you don't want to add dimension yes. then you can keep them flat but if you want to make something absolutely lavish with lots of dimension then perfect. use your flower shaping tool. Yeah, that is perfect. And that, to be honest, that didn't take long, did no, it? No, didn't Two, take three long minutes, and, and I've done all my shaping. Yeah. yeah, no, that's lovely. So the next part is, I've got my card stock. So I've gone for the really decorative part for the oh, front. Yeah. Which, I've again, it's got that regal look. Has, and there is a right way, and or not a right way. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I've just tried to work out. Right, image is going that way, so... This would have been one of the six by six panels that I've actually ah, cut down. Amazing. Because I can tell by the size of the pattern because the 12 by 12 would have been a lot bigger. Of course. Yeah, the, uh, the little panels are really, really handy. And of and course, you can, more designs. You could really vintage these up. You could shabby them up. Yeah. Use all your, all your gorgeous inks, inks and everything. On them. But what I'm using, I'm going to do the front in the middle, um, sorry, front, middle, uh, the inside <laughs> of the card as well. Because we do tend to forget the inside of our card. Yeah, we do, and it's really pretty when you do the inside of a card. I think That's it just finishes it pretty. off. It's like it doesn't, because I know, uh, do you know, a lot of people look down at a handmade card. Do How you have rude. that? How rude. They, they like, well, it's handmade. Yeah. I but, don't know, yeah. You know, you can't, can you do. don't walk into a shop and all the, all um, the cards are all finished off in the inside yeah. like that. Yeah. And that it coordinates it, absolutely beautifully I mean, as well. I mean, it does look, yeah, really pretty. Now, this die is from the Gateway dies that we've launched only two weeks ago, I think Fabulous. it was. Fabulous. Wow, that's so a new one. So, you all should start receiving yours any time now. And it's just going to come over the top a little bit. This is another thing I like about Heartfelt. You know, they all seem to sit together beautifully, the collections, don't they? They do. And you Mix can and dig match them all together out. beautifully. Yeah. And then I've got my urn. So what I'm doing is I'm pulling it round to give it a rounded shape. And then for some reason everything's falling on the floor today. <laughs> 
using my glue gun I'm just going to go down that edge and down this edge and leave the center open I'm going to pop it down the bottom oh look at that fits perfectly and lift that up so all you can see is just a touch of that decorative die yeah and then when I start let oh sorry <laughs> layering them up everything's <laughs> running away from me so you know are you just kind of chucking them in it looks like I'm chucking them in, but I think <laughs> I've made so many now, it's kind of... You've got a plan. I've got a plan. And I'm only adding a little bit of glue. Yeah. So that the actual flowers don't sit flat. Yes. And that will really let the dimension that you've put... It does, yeah. ...put them on, put on them really sure. And then... See, it doesn't take long for it to look really full, does it? I mean, some of them I've really filled to, like, the max. I probably couldn't get much more in if I tried, but with this one, I'm, I am going to try, she says. <laughs> uh -huh. um, just to pop these in. Oh, that's pretty. Bit. Yeah, that's nice. Because you don't need that many, but it's just nice when you've got well, everything there. Ha, 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 Just pop that there. Oh, yes, so you do. I've got the three... And then these little... Oh, <laughs> I've got these. <laughs> and then I'm going to bring this one at the top a little bit. That's really nice. Oops, that was hot. <laughs> and if you want to, you can bring them so they come over the urn. Oh, yeah. So if you wanted a leaf to come over, you would just... Oh, look at that. Bring that, bend that over slightly. So the glue is going to go all the way around that bend. I've just got to make sure I don't burn myself. Oh, look at just that. Just bring that down. And just, I am going to just... <laughs> 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 there we go. That's look. beautiful. I love it. <laughs> Oh, Charlotte in my head is good. It's beautiful. It's finished. It's finished. <laughs> I've Nick got is, one more, Charlotte. Nick is going oh, I won't. For it. I won't. Oh, one more. <laughs> but it, you've got all the elements there. Yeah. And the thing is, they've got die cuts. You don't even need to hand cut them. No. Yeah, they there look really go. good. Let's all have a look from coordinating front. with the papers. Oh, Nicky, that's so pretty. Look at that. Yeah, that's amazing, isn't it? I'll just move it a little. You could just look at that. Beautiful. Yeah. And I love Thank the you. way it cascades over the card. That yeah. is stunning, Thank you. Okay. Um, Right. OK. This is it. How long have you got? So you've only got about 25 minutes of this show. Then you've got, obviously, the other hour, and then the price is going to go up. Now, remember that price. Um, we're saying £20 saving, but that £5 is carried forward. So actually, it's a £25 saving on this. If you were to buy all the um, the wonderful saving, uh, the wonderful kits independently, and it's a lovely kit. It is so heartfelt. The papers, all the stamps, good quality stamps that will match perfectly with the dies so it means you aren't fussy cutting let me show you some of the lovely cards and i just i love looking at all the cards and because this is the first time i've done this show it does mean that you know you you, you get to treat yourself and have a look, a look at them have a look at the variations you know look at the different styles the different style you're going to color the earning the different things that you're going to use with this you know the different papers that you've already got in your collection that you're then going to combine this with or of course different ways of using that urn now that i mean that looks so effective and what's lovely about this you've got that big beautiful parchment flower in the center which is obviously you know different dyes different stamps but all of the gorgeous foliage with the um, with the seed head there, that will match beautifully for this. And I think that's what's really impressive. The fact that those dyes that they've given this time, they are such handy dyes. Look at that on mirror card. And it is a shaped card. And if you look at that, look for Christmas with all the poinsettias. That is so nice for Christmas. Oh, it could be a massive punch bowl, couldn't it? You could have your... 
Hey, you could have your punch in that. Um, couldn't you, your Christmas punch? What am I thinking? Mold wine. Posh mold wine. Um, look at that. See, so many different types of flowers. Again, now with that, different flower, but all your foliage. The beautiful urn. And I think this is a lovely thing. It will become one of those that you use time and time again with all your collections. You will be digging all your collections out. For, look at that. That one is one of my favourites. That blue is just beautiful. Yeah, it is so Grecian. And the flowers in that. Oh, that is so pretty. Okay, we are 80% of the stock has gone. This is your one day special. That price is going to go up by £25. But Freedom members, it's actually going to go up by £34.51. It is a huge saving. It's absolutely a why not deal. You're making a £34 saving and then you're not paying for postage for Freedom members. Your first flexi today is only £28.48. That's today you know exactly what you're paying no postage no interest 470-252 is your item number now gorgeous collection from heartfelt you've got the smaller options if you want oh i didn't even show you your inspiration sheet did i the inspiration sheet is lovely as well it's got loads of ideas and inspiration on there so again really really pretty and um, if you do want your one day special you know what to do please check your baskets out and um, we have got the molds now i know we've been chatting about these in all the shows but these are so handy because what you've got with the molds i mean have a little look look um which one am i picking up so you got the large one now these are look at that chunky molds and what you've got when i open it up so you've obviously got your your in and your out if you will so you'll put your die cut there you pop that under stick it through your machine and it'll actually emboss your dies for you so it gives you that that we've seen Nikki doing with the shaping tool, it shapes it for you. So you don't need to. It does all that work for you. And I know with these, Nikki, you've used um, like smaller flowers in the, the big ones, haven't you? Yes, you can. Yeah, there's a lot of other flowers, not just the zinnias that would actually fit yeah. zinnia moulds. These have obviously been made specifically to fit the zinnia flowers that we brought out a few months ago. But yes, you can put some smaller ones in them. Yeah, I think they're such a good yeah. idea. And they look fabulous. Have you, uh, did they work, you know, if you've got like an air dry clay, have you squished your air dry I clay in I haven't tried it, but I'm sure they would work. They were yeah. just a different, um, Sorry, we're obviously paper craft. Yes, yes, but yes. But I, I do know people that have brought yeah. them and used them for their air, air, yeah. air clay dry. Yeah. Um, air clay dry. Air clay dry. <laughs> air clay dry. <laughs> yeah. That's something new coming tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I bet. And your, your polymer clays. Mm. I'd absolutely yes. love to give that a go. Um, really like them. So that's your big one. They feel good as well, don't they? They feel right mm. substantial. They are. Right, chunky. Um, so if you do want to get the big one, £18.90. Pence. I know we've been waiting for those, so please check your baskets out there. That's 874790. We've then got for you um, the other size, and again, I will show you that one. Have a look. It, yeah, it's small, but not small. I mean, look at that. Again, for your zin... How do I say that? Zinnia. Zinnia. <laughs> zinnia, for the zinnia. Um, and, of course, different size flowers, but... Um, absolutely gorgeous. Only eighteen ninety nine, and yet the finished effects are brilliant because they can save you so much time, can't they, Nikki? Can the moulds? Yeah, and the thing is, you still will need your flower shaping tool. It doesn't ever take yeah. that away, but what it does take away is time. Yeah. And to be perfectly honest, the amount of detail you get from them moulds. Yes. You know, you Incredible. would be spending a lot of time doing it by hand. Yeah. I love them. Absolutely genius idea. Um, £18.99 pence is your price. That's 151485, your item number. Now, do check the website. Uh, you're going to see the shaping tools. You're going to see the, in de um, the independence, the, um, the singles as well. So, like the dies, like the stamps, like the papers. So, it does mean if there's something you want specifically, or of course, if you're, um, you know, if you're stocking up, maybe you're getting extra papers, you've got that option. Really, really lovely collections. Um, now, how long have we got? 
About 12 minutes, that's not too bad, is that's it? That's not too bad, but I have realised that I've kind of left both my demos that are very similar. <laughs> However, they're similar but not similar because completely different colours. Lovely. Using a completely different dry. Um, dry? <laughs> a completely different dye. <laughs> But also, <laughs> the actual vase, what I've done with this one is I wanted to sit it different. Okay. 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 So I folded. You can use, obviously, your um, scoreboard if you've got one. But what I've done is I've gone to add dimension to it. That's nice Rather idea. than gluing it just like that, what I yeah. wanted to do was give it three-dimensional effect at the bottom oh yeah so i will i'll tell you what we'll use the glue gun because that's a little bit more instant so i will glue that one down the bottom I and then that. lift that up there until that goes down so i'm quite happy with the way that's sitting that's really and nice then i like that glue that And then just make sure, sit it on. So, just making sure you've got it sat. Oh, I like that. You want. Yeah, that does shape it And I'm going to be really, really rude. I'm going to have to, I've got to sneeze. Yeah. You need to sneeze. Sorry, yes. That's all right. You've got to sneeze. She's going to have a little sneeze. Um, right, well, well, she's sorting herself out. Uh, let me show you some more beautiful cards. Because, in fact, I'm going to read these now so I can show you these in more detail. I mean, look at that. That is absolutely stunning. That was very polite of you, lovely. Look at that. How pretty is that? You've got you've got the beautiful papers. These are from the papers. Those are stunning. Some of those are from the papers as well, remember, because you do get the sheets that you can cut up that are the right size so they're ready to go. That, that it'll, obviously, it's got your, your elements for you to cut up, but it's also got the colouring in inspiration. Oh, oh, I'll sort that out. It's got the colouring in inspiration as well. Are you right then, Annika? I bat it. I could. I was trying to hold it, and I thought I can't hold the <laughs> sneeze anymore. Sorry. You can never hold sneezers. Oh, they're, right. they're demanding little monkey chaps, so, aren't they? We just take that glue off. I just thought I've got to get this sat there now because uh -huh. I've got the glue on it. And then it's just basically arranging those flowers. But with this one, I want to put them quite a lot lower. So I just want to bring them around the top. And because I've got that opening there that means that it doesn't look like your flowers are actually just sitting That's on this. top of your vase they're actually coming out of your vase yeah it's got such good movement to it hasn't it i've gone really different colors with this one it's sort of like your purples and your bright yellows oh it looks fabulous and with it being the bright yellows as well that just looks doesn't tropical. want to go down or even maybe um am i thinking tuscan i oh, know i'm not Ooh. am i well, i don't know yeah, I think. yeah you're th you're thinking wine grapes yeah are you thinking grapes is that where you've got that kind of thing that kind of i can't think i'm thinking of i tell you what i'm thinking of we had some papers on that were um italian and oh. they had those kind of looks in them. And that's what I'm thinking of, because that really does have that real, you know, that beautiful sort of Mediterranean freshness with all the wonderful um, the citrus tones with the yellows. I mean, obviously, this is a little bit like flower arranging. So if you've never yes. done flower arranging before and you're thinking, yeah, but I wouldn't have a clue. Basically, what my, this, these are my main flowers. So these were my fillers. These were my main flowers. Yeah. And with my main flowers, I tend to work in threes or fives. And then these are all fillers. So base, I glued that the wrong way, so I'll put that down there. So basically, you've, once you've got a few fillers in, then yeah. you add your main flower. And then again, you go back then to your fillers. So Perfect. now I'm using, what did we call these? The um, little buds. Oh. oh, I can't think what. Ro was it rose hips? Is it rose hips? So we think these are rose yeah, hips. I think so. But yeah. ouch, basically they are ouch. whatever that you ever <laughs> yeah, ouch. Ow. They are ev whatever you want them to yeah. be. I like that because they don't need specifically to be anything. No. But like you said for fillers, they're cracking. 
just fill those in. You'll use them all the time. You can add your roses that you have in your collection, yep. your zinnia, anything. Literally. Literally. This will go with all of your collections because, I mean, those kind of berries and things, they go in your Christmas ones. They will. You know, that's the thing. It's, it's such a handy and set. A few of my demo... Um, yeah, I did a de demo, I think, this morning, which was a Christmas one. Yeah. Using exactly the same as what we've got. Yeah. The only thing that I put in there was two red cardinals from Fabulous. one of my Christmas collections. Yeah. yeah, beautiful. So it just goes to show... Could be anything. I love those make yellows. Into anything. Can. Then I'm just going to add one more of those little tiny blue... I'm not quite sure why I've got the pink background. I think I changed my mind when I started colouring, but it works. But there you go. And using your decorative dies as well. So you don't have to do your standalone vases. Yeah, that's lovely. You use them with your decorative dies. If I could just show you one as well that I did, because I, I really kind like of thought that. this was quite... So I wanted to do an easel card. Oh, that's a okay. Nice. So I was thinking on this one christmas wedding or christmas oh, birthday yeah, that's posh. but because obviously i wanted my vase to close it i thought it's not going to close yeah. if i put my flowers in the top so yeah. i just used some acetate oh. to hold that vase and then when i open it up oh, that's so good. it opens up but then i can lay it all flat like that oh. to put in a card that is so, so nice. So and, and, and the Open papers it again as for well. Us, the, that looks really the good. The papers just finish it off. Oh, look at that, Nikki. That is real. And then That's I just coloured that in the green. That's to lovely. Match the papers. Gosh, I love this because you must have die cut so many flowers for this show. <laughs> I have spent many of night <laughs> die cutting stamping. In actual fact. <laughs> What I like to say is just come to my flower shop because that's what I do. Yeah. Just stamp and die Nikki, cut oh, so I've got them to this. go to. Nikki comes so yeah. prepared with all them cut out. It's ridiculous. But honestly, the amount of flowers you use to do the cards, but they look But you don't fantastic. have to use loads because obviously I've used what's from the paper pad in yeah. this one. The only thing that, um, sorry, the... Um, the collection i've used some stamens which we do have on the show ah. don't we so i've you they look Ooh. absolutely stunning just popping a few stamens oh in they there. do they do they're real nice in fact that's as you check your basket out it'll say oh would you like these definitely do that because look look there's your hour about hold on bear with do 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 so all your little lovely stamens you can see the clothes. trying to look they're to see which ones idea. i used not the pearl, the pastel. Pastel? I think it was the um, the top ones, I think. Amazing. From what I can see oh, up there. They're the really, the that's a good it's idea, at stamens, because they give it a different yeah, texture. Just completely, yeah. Yeah, I love them. I love them, Nikki. We've had a really nice email. What were, what were the lady's name? Michelle. And Michelle says, the way I say earn, um, earn. reminds her Markham and Wise. I weren't Markham and Wise. I earn. Earn. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Early. Earn. Uh, oh, thank you ever oh. so much. Okay, this is it. You've only got a few minutes now before the end of the show, and we're approaching Limited. Um, now, remember, you've still got an hour to get that deal after the show. A reminder of the deal. You're getting those beautiful papers. Um, the papers, could I show those beautiful papers? Uh, remember, you're getting two each of the designs. Look at all these ready to die cut. You know, you've got gorgeous, gorgeous soft palettes on here. And you've got that beautiful red, which is a really nice, rich red. Um, you've got so many different embellishments. And the wonderful thing is all the extras. Heartfelt, absolutely crammed their pages. I mean, look at that colour palette. You know, as Nikki was saying, the blue that they've used on here is just exquisite. And it's so inspirational because then when you do die cut your flowers out, you've got something that you're looking at to, to actually work off for colouring them in. They give you big open spaces to die cut those. Look at that page. Remember, you can do easy double page spreads of using them for your, your scrapbooking. You'll be cutting these up. You'll be using these for your beautiful memory books. Um, but yeah, really, really pretty. And I do love the pages 
that are quartered as well. Just so, so gorgeous. Now, if you would like your papers, you've got all of the papers. Look at all those to actually die cut. So quick and easy to do that. Um, and then look at all of those as well. I mean, honestly, it's so handy to have those papers. Beautiful, aren't they? Beautiful. If you want your paper pod, you can get it on its own, $17.99. You can get it in the bundle where you're getting five pounds, but your best saving, the why not deal, is absolutely your one day special. Freedom members saving £34.51 and no postage. And you've got your Flexit as well, 470252. Anyone thinking of this beautiful collection, Nikki? Why have you loved working with it? Why have you found it fabulous? I think because it will go with all of my other collections. Yeah. You've got the urn, which is something very, very different. And I mm. struggle sometimes doing shape cards. Yeah. And that just gives it for, to me. Yes. I'm doing a gift and a card all in one. Yeah. And the papers, well... Are yeah. just absolutely stunning. I think that card that you showed us, the easel card, yeah. that is one of those cards and, that's a proper but, but wow. But it's achievable because yeah. you've got everything in the, the full collection yeah. to, I mean, a, to create yeah. it. I mean, I've used roses there. We've got one of the design team of used some poinsettias. Yeah. You know, think about all the other th the, um, flowers that you have got yeah. that you can work alongside this or just use what you have yeah. in the collection because it works. I mean, when you look at those, those cards are stunning absolutely stunning um okay don't forget you have got that inspiration sheet and your bag Hooray! don't forget the bag <laughs> <laughs> yeah don't forget the bag um everyone's going to get that with the inspiration sheet as well but yeah i just think they're truly truly gorgeous when you look at cards like that it's just a proper wow card and de yeah. putting this in is fun and the thing is because you've got the die cuts to do all of these you can get carried away you're Absolutely not going to be sat in there for hours no. cutting those out i no, mean it is not. it's more joyous than um painful if you have to cut them um right check your baskets out Thank it you. is so busy nikki we will see you very soon then won't we my love? that's been brilliant i've had a great show and i'll yeah. be back on the 16th amazing thank you nikki love seeing your cards absolutely stunning work as ever um check your baskets out folks do not miss out on that saving it is heartfelt creations and it is a beautiful collection <laughs> Next, oh, I'm dying to have a look at this. The Happy Puzzle Company. Um, we've then got so totally Trisha. She's in the building, and it's our one day special. And then the lovely Julie's here with Sentimentally Yours. <laughs> Hi, I'm Abs from Orange Create. I've been crafting for over 10 years now and I love stamping, stenciling, creating layers, colours, textures and creating depth and dimension. Orange Create was established in October 2016, collaborating with a group of designers and artists from all over the world, bringing different designs and products in different styles. We proud ourselves of high quality photopolymer clear stamp sets, dyes, stencils, washi tapes and acrylic blocks, all in different size and formats. In my shows at Hachanda, I hope to bring you inspiration and different ways of using your craft products. Make sure you don't miss the Holland Create shows on Hachanda. Did you know you can watch Hochanda 24 hours a day, 7 days a week using the Hochanda app on your Amazon Fire Stick for free? Just like your smartphone accesses an app store to add new applications, your Amazon Fire Stick accesses the Amazon App Store to add new applications. By downloading the Hochanda app, you'll be able to access your favourite craft channel on your TV anytime you want to watch. Here's how to do it. Simply turn on your TV and connect your Amazon Fire Stick. If this is your first time using the device, follow the on-screen instructions to connect to the internet and log into your Amazon account. Once set up, you'll need to open the search bar. To do so, simply use your remote circular directional dial to scroll to the search icon and select it. Now simply type Hochanda into the search bar and this will take you to the Hochanda app. 
All you need to do now is select download. And remember, it's free. Once this is added to your Fire Stick, you can move the app for easy access. Press and hold your home button on any app and then select apps from the menu that appears. Scroll down to the Hochander app and press the button with the three horizontal lines on your remote and select Move to Front. And that's it. You can now watch, purchase and catch up with your favourite shows 24 hours a day, 7 days a week on your TV whenever you feel crafty. Hi, I'm Lou from Studio Light. Studio Light has been around for about 40 years now. They're based in the Netherlands. It's a family-run business with a great heritage. The products that Studio Light bring us are very diverse, fantastic dyes, great papers, but all round on trend. Over the 40 years Studio Light have evolved, they listen to me, the demonstrator, and you, the customers, and really take our ideas on board. On the Echanda shows, we'll share with you the diverse techniques and products will inspire you to produce your own individual pieces of artwork. So make sure you don't miss the studio light shows on Echanda. Hi, I'm Julie. And I'm Paula. And together we are Julie Hickey Designs. We formed our partnership after many years of friendship, after both of us being in the craft industry for well over 20 years. We have a great partnership. I do all the day-to-day -day business side and Julie does all the designing. Our range of stamps and dies are made to the highest quality. Our stamps are the deepest etch that are available and they are made in the UK and they give you beautiful, clean, crisp impressions every time and our dies cut like a dream. The thing I love to do most is to share my ideas, hints and tips with you, the Hachanda viewers, so I can inspire you to pick up a stamp and get creating. So be sure to tune in for the Julie Hickey Design Shows on Hachanda. everyone good evening good afternoon I'm so excited about this show do you love playing games do you love puzzles do you like to activate the gray matter do you like to play with other people as well sit around with your friends and your family or you could even play these games I guess over your video calls if you buy one for yourself and one for your friends yes you can now we're really excited because we've got three brand new puzzle games for you and some returning favorites you can shop ahead on the website i would recommend that because i think we're gonna have a busy show i want to introduce you to the game master himself it's our gavin Hi everyone, hello Hachanda world, how are you all doing? It's lovely to be back, lovely to see you again and lovely to get to work with you Janice as well. Yeah, I'm super excited about this show. Can you tell us a little bit about the Happy Puzzle Company? Sure, the Happy Puzzle Company has been in existence now for 28 years and we've got around about 200,000 customers in the UK but our puzzles and games are available all over the world, 25 different countries. Um, but we're based here in the UK and a lot of our puzzles and games are designed by young uh, UK inventors. We try to give opportunities uh, to young people who've never had the opportunity to have something out on the shelves before. Uh, and it's been a lovely journey. I'm really excited about these three new games that we've got as well. How exciting. And you're quite right, Gavin, these are international because most of the games that we have here is all about placing elements on a board and bringing together the end result. And that truly is international because we're working with numbers more than anything else. Now, of course, you can shop ahead if you want to. I do advise it. We've got some fantastic prices on these games. This is your Christmas list. It's all sorted right here. And if you're a Freedom member, there's no P&P to pay. Right, we've 
we've got all of you returning favourites and you might have spied some brand new ones. I'm really interested in that Illusion Cubes. So excited about that. We have got your Zooligans as well. Now these are for all ages. We'll take you through what each game does. We'll also give you a suggestion of age range and these are a suggestion because you might have a genius in your family. We might say it's age 3 up to 16 but you might have a genius person in the family who can play this game before and beyond those years. It really is exciting. Now, can we start with our first brand new today? Gavin, you're very proud of this one, aren't you? I, I can't tell you how excited I am because this is the first time these are going to be seen publicly in this way. Wow. And we've worked so hard to get these absolutely right. We've done something that's never been done before. And you'll sort of look at it and think, how is it possible that no one's ever actually done this before? These are the illusion cubes. Now, what you get inside your pack is you get 24 of these illusion cubes. Now, I'm going to show you what they are, what they're made up of. They are layered things. And I hope you can see this uh, very carefully, that they've actually got three layers of these things that are put together by different chevrons at different heights. And that means that you can create optical illusions with them and build all sorts of patterns. So what's so different about these? This is the first kit ever that would allow you to create your own optical illusions. This has never been done before. Now what I've done here is I've actually put together um, a few little examples and I'll tell you afterwards how I've gotten to stay in position but you can see from the examples here and these are just built from one set here. Can you see there you've got the staircase which keeps on changing perspective as you go through. There are some very, very famous puzzles uh, made out of optical illusions, like the famous uh, Isha puzzle, which is called a Penrose Staircase. Yes. The never-ending staircase. And it's that type of thing, similar things to that, which you can build out of these. Now, what you get is you get this lovely book. And as you go through the book, you'll be able to see you've got 120 challenges to start you off. I'll hold some of those up there so you can see the type of thing you've got to do. And as you go through the different challenges, they use more and more cubes and get more and more exciting and intricate until you get towards the very end where you will see you've got some really complex patterns that you're able to build wow. all with one set like this. You can see those types of things. They are proper optical illusions. And as you can see on the board here from the overhead, you'll see that we've actually put some together here. Now what I've done with these is a little side idea. They're not necessarily intended to be done in this way because of course they can be done flat. But what I've done is I've been up to a local well-known craft shop and I've got some magnetic tape uh, and I cut out some little squares and put those on the back of each of the illusion cubes and this is a magnetic board and it makes it easier for you to hold things into position when you want to. And you don't have to do it like that, but of course what it does mean is you can also do it on the fridge and things like that. So you get 24 of these cubes. They are phenomenally well built. They won't come apart at all. Uh, with the three different colours that are shaded in such a way so that you get the different types of perspectives. You can see the reflections and so on and so forth. And um, the 120 puzzles and you build this whole thing together. Nothing like this has ever been done before. And it's a real must-have because you'll sit down together as a family. And as you'll see in the video that we're going to show you shortly, you'll see just how much fun these can be. This just, is going to be the hit of oh, 2021. Do you know what? It really is. And crafters out there, you know yourself when you're picking up your pens, you're picking up your paints, you all love to shadow. You all love to bring items out from the card to create your own optical illusions. And I think this could help you when you're building and creating those illusions. It will give you a better perception of different colours and different ways. Now, I don't have an overhead camera here, but trust me, I've made some brilliant delusions. I really have. Instantly, as soon as Gavin started to talk about them, I just started to put them together. I just moved them around. And that's the beauty. Follow the illusions in the book, but then make your own. And if you've got uh, a camera, a digital camera, take pictures of them. Because sometimes when you take the pictures of the illusions that you're making, they look even more incredible. You can share those with your family and friends. Take a look at this.
Isn't that amazing? Already we are busy for the Illusion Cubes. 10% of the stock already gone. It's a fabulous gift and we've got some amazing prices for you. Right, we're moving on. We're moving on to something else that's brand new today. This is your colour block and it's 650578. That's your item number, £19.99. Everything is going to be dispatched on the 15th of December. So you can give us a call or head to the website. Now tell us about this game, Gavin, and tell us about the age range as well. Well, I'm going to tell you the story of this game. Yes. This is something which is suitable, first of all, for eight to adults. It's okay. an individual game which you can play by yourself or you can play with others. The story is absolutely beautiful behind this. This game was invented 20 years ago by a lovely couple from Suffolk called Ian and Penny Jenkins. Yes. And they devised the game for their children. Um, and then when their children were older, they put it away in the attic. Uh, I never thought anything else um, about it. And then uh, a couple of years ago, they noticed the Genius Square being advertised somewhere, and they thought, gosh, I wonder whether our game might be something which could be like the Genius Square. It takes a lot for me to say this, because I've played thousands and thousands of games and done thousands of puzzles. This is my new favourite. Is it? I'm in love with this thing. Now, I'm going to tell you exactly how it works. I'm going to show you one of the cards. I'll show you a few of the cards. Now... These are the different challenge cards. You've got 45 different challenges. And what you'll see here is that you've got 100 coloured dots on each of the cards. There are 10 different colours and there are 10 of each of the colours. And they all sit inside a square, as you'll see in the moment. Now, with each of the challenges, your job is to cover 90 of the 100 colours so that you are left just with the 10 that you need. And the way that you cover them is with these shapes that you see here. There are all different types of shapes. There are 18 in total. And together they cover 90 of the circles. So your job is to make sure that you're left with the 10 that you need. Now, as you go through, you get less and less help and it gets harder and harder. So, for example, if we look here at challenge 14, you'll see at the top what your challenge is. Your challenge is to be left with 10 yellows. But what you'll also notice is you'll see the greyed out sections. And those are clues. Those will tell you where some of the 18 blocks will actually go. You've got to work out where the rest of them go. If I flip this over, you'll see on this particular challenge, you've got to be left with one of each colour. So just one of all 10 of the colours. In a different type of puzzle, you'll, be, you'll find yourself needing to have five of one colour and five of another colour. And if I flip this around, the fourth type of puzzle is where you've got two lots of five colours. One of them, you'll know what the colour is. The other one, you'll have to work out. And the conclusion of this game is magnificent because the last challenge card is challenge card 24. You get no help at all and it is possible to build this in 10 different ways so that each time you are left with 10 of the same colours. So you're left with 10 orange, 10 red, 10 green, 10 white, and so on and so forth. Now, what you do is you take your challenge card. And we've got this stylish board here, as you can see here, which opens up and stores all of the cards inside there. So I put those all together like this. The card that you need then slots very neatly uh, inside the actual frame itself. Let's put those in there like that. And then when you close this, it will clock into place like that. And we've got the frame on top there. Now what we do is we fill on top of here the pieces that we know are going to go in certain places. So this goes here, this goes here, and of course this is level one, uh, which makes it an easier one for us to start with, and it makes it an easier one for me to demonstrate to you. So as you go through the challenges, you're going to find you've got less and less clues to actually help you. But at this stage, we are giving you plenty to do. This is a truly magnificent puzzle. I know that the inventors, Ian and Penny, are watching, and I hope they're feeling incredibly proud of what they've achieved, because we love it, and I I'm equally as proud of this as well. Right, we're nearly there. With that one, we'll put this letter T1 in here. We'll put this one in here like so. And we'll put this one in here like so. And the last one in here like that. So, in this puzzle, as you can see, we've got to be left with one of each colour. Now, you can already see that we've isolated a pink and a yellow and a purple and a green and a white and an orange and a dark green. We've only got two pieces left.
So we've got to work out where to put these so that we cover the ones that we've already got and leave ourselves with the ones that we still need. And to just give you a demonstration, if we put that one on there like that, and then if we put this one on here like that, you'll see that it leaves us with the remaining colours that we need and we're left with one of each colour. And as you go through, the number of clues you're given will reduce. This is a lifetime of puzzles. This is the most magnificent puzzle I have played this year. It's I, truly amazing. I think it's marvellous, I really do. Because you can play this with friends, you can play this on your own, it gives you those moments where you just need a bit of time out just to sit there and think about something else other than maybe your next crafting project or when to do the shopping, or when are you going to take the dog out, or when are the kids coming from home. And it gives you that moment of clarity. For me, that's what puzzle games like this are all about. It helps that grey matter. I'm talking about the grey matter inside your head. Play this on your own. You can play this in competition with someone else, and you have all of those Zoom. puzzles in there. On Zoom, it's going to be perfect. £19.99. And, and Janice, yes. as well to say to you that this is a really good idea for somebody that likes to be stretched by puzzles. Somebody who would love to do a Rubik's Cube yes. or something like that, this will really tickle them. The easy puzzles are really straightforward. When you get to the end, my goodness me, this is hard. Wow. It can take you days to do one puzzle. So for somebody who loves their crosswords, their Rubik's Cubes, their really difficult puzzles, this yeah. is the perfect Christmas present. I think if you like Sudoku and things like that, you will love this puzzle as well because it's a, of a similar uh, um, skill level yes, of having to absolutely. put the different blocks in and find the different areas. If you want to get hold of this, it's brand new today. 650578 is your item number. Now, come on, you Zooligans. Let's be having ya. Um, now, this is fantastic. This is another brand new game today. It's very colourful, very vibrant, and I can see that this is going to be very interesting to play already by seeing the cover right there. Zooligans, I'm intrigued. And £16.99 is a fabulous price to pay. What have we got here, Gavin? So, this is uh, a game which has been designed by a serial inventor from Wales called Dr Adam Porter. Very, very talented guy. Zooligans is an abbreviation for Zoo Hooligans. Ooh. And the game works around a story, which is that at 6 o'clock every night, the zoo closes. And once the zoo is closed, some of the animals managed to escape from you know, their cages. Do you know something? It's a bit like Ho-Chandra at 10 o'clock at night when we close here for live <laughs> shows. <laughs> some of the animals managed to escape from their cages and they start running amok. And all sorts of things happen and go wrong. And what you have to do with each of the challenges is work out who was responsible for which thing and what they used. So let me show you some of the challenge cards so you can see the sort of thing that we're doing here. Now here is an example here. Here's the challenge card here. You can see that nice and clearly. And what this tells us is that we need to use three of our main tiles. So we've got these tiles down here, okay? This, this is uh, from section A, so we'll only need to use the tiles that come from section A. And what we have to do is work out what goes where, which animal and what were they using to cause the problems. So, in this particular case, what we do know is that they all go in a row like this. We know that the football is going to go at the top. One second, I'm just looking around for it. Here we go. Hang on one second. There's the football. So the football's going to go at the top. We know the elephant's going to go in the middle, and we know that the monkey is going to go at the bottom. We also know that the cafeteria is going to go below the toilets. Okay, so we'll now put the elephant in the cafeteria, and we know that the toilets are going to go above this over here. And we also know that the water pistol was used uh, to cause chaos uh, in the cafeteria. And so you work through the clues until eventually you work out exactly what goes there. We know here that the, uh, at the end of the day it's going to be the uh, gift shop that goes at the bottom. The monkey's in there with the water pistol. And we've got the lion with the football at the top. And then the elephant causing chaos with the paint there. And then when we're finished... 
we turn over the card and you can see your solution. Now, as you go through the 60 challenges, they get much, much more difficult. You're given all different types of uh, information that you have to work your way through. And this is a game which is going to last you for years and years and years. And to be honest with you, even if you manage to complete all 60 of the challenges, it's highly unlikely you'll remember what you did at the beginning, so you'll want to start <laughs> all over again. It's a lovely family game, this. It really is, and it's a great one to play Christmas evening or maybe in the afternoon after you've had your dinner. Uh, age range for this is... Age eight range for this one is plus. eight plus as well. Yep, so you can play it with your grandma, with your mum, with your dad, and you can have the kids playing it as well. Sixteen pounds and ninety-nine pence, three three five seven zero five. Let's have a look at those zooligans. We've got a returning favourite that always, always proves popular. And I know many, many people here at uh, Ochanda have bought this one as well. It's intriguing. It's addictive in the right way. £16.99. That is a fabulous price. It really is. And I believe there are 62,208 ways we can play this game, Gavin. This is true, and I have a solution for every single one. You do not. I do. Do you? Yeah, but it was done by a computer rather than me, if I'm being <laughs> honest. This is the greatest game ever invented, bar none, and every single time this has been on Hotchanda, which is basically every time I'm on now, uh, this goes absolutely nuts. If you buy one game in the whole of the rest of your life, this is the game to buy. Now, I do want to make clear that what I'm holding here uh, is a giant version which we've got for display purposes so that Janice and I can play against each other. What you've got over with Janice is the regular size one, and you get two of these boards, so you have two people playing together. And again, it's another game which you can play over Zoom against other people and so on and so forth. Now, this is how the Genius Square works, and it really is genius. You've got these nine different pentomino pieces here, and you've got the grid which goes from A to F down the side and from 1 to 6 uh, along the top. And we've got seven dice. And we roll the dice. And whatever number comes up on the dice, it will always be possible to complete the solution. What we're going to do is we're going to block out the coordinates that have come up. So we're blocking out F1 and F2 and C1 and C6. And we've got B1 and B4 and E5. So those are our coordinates in there and what we'll now be doing against the clock uh, I think, are you ready to play Janice? Uh, do you want to play? Yeah, I I'll show this one and then you want to get yours. your other one, the big one show ready. Show me yours and then I'll show you That's mine. That's fine. Okay, fair enough. Alright, so what I'm going to do now is simply racing against somebody else, find one of what is normally one of the many ways of actually putting this together. And the beauty of this is that you can play together equally with somebody who is young, with somebody who's old. So grandparents playing against grandchildren and so on and so forth. This game is beyond magnificent and as I said, if you buy one game in the whole of the rest of your life this is the game to buy and if you can see there I've got that in place there so each game only takes a few seconds to play but the first thing that you want to do once you've finished is to play it all over again so shall we do it we should let's do it, do it. Definitely. Right. let's so see how we uh, I'm on the big one over here and I've got okay. the die so I've seven die one two three yep 62,208 possible different games that you've got to play here just by rolling the dice together and it is always possible, always at least one solution. So we've got our giant dice here. I've rolled mine. Oh uh, no, we've got to roll the same oh, dice. So uh, oh, I'm going to roll sorry. the dice for both of us here. Oh, you're going to roll? Yeah, oh, I absolutely. See. We're going to race against each other. Oh, okay. So let's roll the dice here. Yep. And we have got yep. uh, B1. B1. Uh, and uh, A6. A6. 
and a four. A four. And E2. E2. And uh, A5 as a, well. Look at a5. that. A5. D4. D4. Uh, and what is the last coordinate? Uh, B1, we've got E5, D4, A4, A5, E2. E2, E5. There e5. you go. E5, e5. is the last okay. one. All right, have you got yours in position? Yes. You ready to race? Yes. Here we go. Okay, let's go. Let's see how we can do this. And of course, at home, while you're watching this, you'll also be able to have a look at this and see how you would do it. Would you do it the same way as we're doing it? Or would you find a completely different way of doing it? The only way you're ever going to know is if you actually buy one of these. This game is beyond amazing and beyond magnificent. And one of the things which I'm proving here is that I cannot multitask. So even though I'm trying to do this at the same time as actually talking to you, I'm going to be beaten hollow here by Janice. No, I because, don't think so. Oh, I think I'm, probably, I'm yes. I'm, I'm uh, is, oh, dear, oh, dear, I've messed it up again. I'll go there. Dear, oh, dear, oh, let's no, try. No, no, you see, here. I've got a really difficult one but here. this could be oh, hours it could, of endless Well, it's fun. not going to take you hours. It's only going to take um, a few seconds each time. But I would thoroughly recommend to everybody who's playing this that they don't that try and present there. on a TV programme at the same time. That will go there. Because I can that rather hamper there. things. Have I done that it this time? That will go there. Oh, my Lord, I've still got this wrong. Oh, what am I doing here? What is the point of me doing this? Da, 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 da. Oh, no, Let's try I've this way. It. Have you done it? I've done it. 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 I win. I win. I win. I win. Oh, sorry. Was that a bit much? <laughs> I was just behind. But um, there you go. Uh, I'm not that competitive, but I win. And um, the first thing that you want to do whenever you play this is to play again straight through. Are we going to play one more? Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Come on then. Um, just to tell you a little bit about this game, it has won awards now all over the world. It is I the did. current game of the year in Australia. It's also product of the year in Australia. Uh, it is in the final of game of the year in the United States of America for 2021, which hasn't been announced yet. It was named as game of the year in Spain last week. Really? It's also got the second highest rating ever given to uh, a game by the Good Toy Guide in the UK. Wow. So uh, it's universally loved. If you haven't got one of these already, then definitely buy one if you have got one. This is everyone's Christmas present. Let's roll the dice again. Okay. Here we go. This okay. time we have got A6 has come up again. A6. A1. A1. And A2. And Lots A2. of A's coming up at the moment. F5. F5. Uh, F for C3. Freddy. C for Charlie. B6. You say C3? I said C3. C3. And C6. Uh, C6, yeah. And B6. And B6. B6. Are you okay. in place? You ready? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, here we go. Go. Now again, if you're watching at home, see what you would do with the same pieces. Would you do it the same way as I'm doing it? Would you do it the same way that Janice is doing it? Mm -hmm. Would you try and present on a TV programme while you're doing it? I suspect the answer for anyone sane is probably no, but we're having fun as we do it. Uh, hopefully I'm going to make some progress with this one this time. That's going to go in there that time. I've been beaten by Janice once already and I have no intention of, oh my goodness me, look at that, I've done it again. Dear, oh dear, I just cannot multitask. I wonder why that might be. Uh, right, have a look. Put that one in there this there. time like that. Put that I'll one in there, there, that one I'll in there. there. And we're done. On. I know, I know. Well, well, to be fair, I have played more often. The than, thing is, uh, the instructions Janice. through my ear just then was, let Gavin win to make it fair. So I did. Of I did. <laughs> of course. This is fabulous. I know. It's a brilliant, it gets the adrenaline brilliant game. going, and it also gets your mind thinking. I think the more you play this as well, the more you sh you will get to the different shapes. But you've got so many different combinations. Uh, can I tell you the beautiful uh, backstory to this? Yes, this was please. invented by an Algerian mathematician called really? Salim Bergish. Yes. Uh, who, uh, if I put it like this, at the time when he first sent the game to us, the only way he had access to the internet. Uh, was to go to an internet cafe oh, wow. and this has been life-changing for him because of course he gets the royalties and uh, we've sold over 300,000 copies uh, in the wow. first two years. That is amazing. This is a fantastic, as Kevin said, if you're going to buy any game, buy this one. It is wonderful. You can play this on your own, play it with a friend. You get two of the boards. We're using the giant boards so we can show you. It is a marvellous game. And the great thing is, Gavin, you can take it with you. You can take it on your travels when we're allowed to travel again. Um, so you can play this out in the garden, in the home. You don't need batteries. You don't need electricity. You just need the electrodes up there um, moving. Now, 30% of the stock has gone. It is flying. Out. If you've already bought it before, why don't you? There's a great idea. 
buy another set and then four of you can play at the same time it is the ideal gift to give people this Christmas it really is it gives them something to play on Christmas night it gives them something to play with you as well because you already will have one and if you haven't buy one for yourself 16 pounds and 99 pence it is a fabulous price five four nine six five two is your item number we're gonna have a best out of three of course we are 100 percent let's take the pieces apart here okay as much as I love you, Janice, I can't let you win. Right. You ready? Okay, so... Let's roll the dice roll here. Roll that dice. Roll okay, that dice. Okay, let's have a look and see what we've got. F1. F1. And C3. C3. E4. E4. And B5. B5. And A2. A2. Uh, B6. B6. And F3. F3. Okie dokie. Ready? Yep. Okay, the decider. Go. Okay. Right. Go in there. Um, oh. That can go there. That At the end there. of a long day, when you want to there. unwind, there is no better fun way of doing there. so uh, than no, playing with your that. genius square. And I win. What? What can you do? Well, again, I was having instructions on <laughs> how to do some. No, I was. I what? They were they were telling me something. So I just I just went yes, and I was listening then. As oh, you won again. I know. 40% of the stock has gone. I've got to get myself one of these. This is amazing. It really is. Do you is. know uh, a couple of things? Last time this was on Hachanda, it broke records. Did it really? It broke all sorts of records. And also, if you actually go onto the Hachanda website, yes. uh, you'll see that every single review which is on there of this game is five stars. There is not a single review that doesn't give it five stars. So the people in Hachanda world absolutely love this game to bits. Yeah, as we... do I. And as do I. Let's have a look at the reviews because you love it as well. Yes, here are the views. So it was a gift for my grandchildren. They love it. The puzzle is great for grandchildren. Something different. Kids love it. I bought four. Oh my goodness. The Genius Square has been most played with has been the most played game for all the family age range from five years to 70 years I'd say and beyond uh, as soon as the grandchildren arrive the game is being played and I already have ordered two more games and my son-in-law ordered two games uh, it's bright and colorful and easy to play it certainly is again we're playing on the giant boards here in the studio you get two included in your kit if you have just joined us can I go and grab it or can I just just to show you the size of it we've got a VT have a look at this Yeah, just a minute, just a minute. I just want to finish this one because if I put that there, now I can put that one there. And, oh, sorry. <laughs> you see how addictive this becomes. I don't like people beating me. I don't know whether you know that about me yet. Um, I don't like to be beaten, Gavin. Uh, so this is a fabulous game. Here it is. You've got two squares here for you to play. Uh, you get to play with your friends. This is going to be so entertaining this Christmas and beyond. These games aren't just for Christmas. And I think this is going to be a great way to spend my time in between shows as well. Just exercising that grey matter and trying to become masterful in this game for when Gavin comes back. £16.99, 549652 is your item number. Um, I don't think you'll ever get to play every single combination of this game because there are over 62,000 of them. It's amazing, it really is. Uh, so that's your genius square, 549652. How about a star? You know, I like my stars. Uh, we've got the genius star. Now, the genius star, Gavin, is it the same principle, different shape? So it's the same principle. The shapes are completely different, and it is significantly harder than the genius square. 
So if you find that you want to stretch yourself further, the Genius Star is much more complicated. Um, again, this one is an 8 plus game. You get two of everything inside there as well. And this one has 165,888 different possible puzzles. And these are made up of uh, seven dice again but you've got four normal dice and you've got three octagonal dice which increases the possibilities now you've got a little twist in this one as well because I don't know whether you can see here but you've got these two pieces here that are half hexagons and on one side they're plain and on the other side they've got a golden star now, in just over 50% of the challenges, you will be able to complete the challenge having the star all together in one piece. But you won't know whether or not you're able to do that until you try. So the question is, do you go for a double win against your opponent by having the star all in one piece? Or do you play safe and not risk doing that? Now, the beautiful thing is that we have a wonderful website which will give you the answer as to whether or not it's possible to do your particular puzzle uh, with the hexagon intact, with the golden star intact. So this is more challenging. It has got a lot more puzzles to it. There's a much wider uh, breadth of levels of difficulty that you've got. Uh, and again, we've got a solution for all 165,888 puzzles. And Janice, I'll tell you something. We, um, we got that checked out by a computer program. Did you? Uh, and it took, the computer was able to play one version every three seconds. And it took six days mm. to play all of them. Wow. That's that quite seems, something. That is quite something. That is incredible. You're not going to get bored of this game. Um, you could play this just on your own if you want to, but playing it with a friend. Again, you can play these over Zoom. Of course you can. Buy one for you, buy one for your friends. What a wonderful gift this Christmas time. Something different, something you've not seen before, maybe you've heard of before, but now you're going to have your very own. 836-370 is your item number. And I think when you buy games like this, Gavin, I think it really does help you as well well um, you know to learn about different shapes about different tactics as well and planning your game which I think is a genius idea I'll tell you something once you get used to playing you'll start to see things in advance of positioning them yes and that's part of the skills that you get from doing it now if you're working with a younger person the skills that they have in understanding how shapes fit together and things like that are huge. And in a moment, we'll show you the junior version of this as well. But this is magnificent. It's every bit as good as the Genius Square, but it is more complex. Hence, the Genius Square is 6 plus and this is 8 plus. I really like the idea of this one, though, and I like the idea of having the option to have that star within your completed star or not. Like you say, go for the easy option or go for the harder option. I think that's something that you will develop when you get this home. You might go directly into the game saying, right, that's it, I want the star every single time. Or it might be something that you develop to and give yourself a big pat on the back. 836-370 is your item number if you want to go for the genius star at £18.99. Now, I know we're very beesy, and we've got a game that has lots of bees on it. Now, this looks intriguing. Uh, this is the Bee Genius, and this is age three to eight. So this is a great game for the younger members of the family, uh, which I think is, is great to actually sit down with younger members of the family and being able uh, to play a game like this. Uh, so tell us about B Genius, Gabby. So B Genius is the junior version of the Genius Collection. So we've got the Genius Square, which is the medium difficulty. We've got the Genius Star, which is a harder one. And now we've got B Genius, which is a version for children aged from three to eight. Now, interestingly enough, there are very few games on the market that will actually help children uh, of that sort of age to develop their logical deduction skills and their spatial awareness skills. The principle is the same, but everything is much more straightforward. So what you see here is rather than having the complex coordinates, what we've got here is the numbers from one to six in six different colors. And when I roll the dice, you'll see what comes up nice and easy for a younger child to actually recognize the characters that are here. The queen bee always goes in the center like that. And then we block off with the worker bees. As you can see here, we've got a yellow number six, 
and we've got a purple number two, which is over there, and we've got an orange number two, which is over there, and we've got a green number four, which is over here, and a blue number one, uh, which is over here, and an, uh, which one have I missed out on? Oh, the red number two. The red number two from the last one over here. And then it's the same principle, but the difference here is this is non-competitive for younger children. So instead of them competing about everybody, with everybody else, what they're doing here is they're simply strengthening their skills as they go. And I'm going to show you now exactly how we can do it. And again, for most of these puzzles, there's lots of solutions. These pieces are lovely and chunky. Beautifully well made, so they're not going to fall apart anytime soon, and they're obviously able to withstand normal wear and tear that you would get from younger children. And the puzzles are really nice and straightforward. Uh, and as you can see here, without a huge amount of difficulty, as a 51 and a half year old adult, I have managed to put that together like that. And that's how it works. And you've got over 40,000 possible. Uh, puzzles to solve on this as well so again it's something which is going to really last for years and years and these pieces are beautifully made out of wood so they're going to last forever and ever and can be passed on to future generations helping them to develop their thinking skills and their logical skills. I think it's absolutely fantastic, isn't it? It's so beautifully coloured as well. Something bright, something vibrant, something with all those colours as well is intriguing. The kids are going to love this. And you don't have to remember to go and buy the batteries. So you can play this directly out of the box. There's nothing worse. I remember Christmas Day getting all those games and then no batteries not included. You don't need batteries for this. You just need that power of your mind. Uh, 092492 is your item number, £16.99. Now, we do have some more games available for you. These are featuring in the 9 o'clock hour because we are back at 9 o'clock tonight. Um, this is Hit the Hat. I love Hit the Hat. I love Hit the Hat and I've not even played it yet. Can we play this in the 9 o'clock show? Of course. Excellent. So £16.99 for Hit the Hat, 292994. We've also got the Quazzle. There you go, the Quazzle. Now that looks intriguing. And we've got a giant one of that that we'll be able to play Have together we? as well. Excellent. Quazzle is an abbreviation for quick puzzle. Quick it's a puzzle. very quick puzzle. Takes um, about 30 seconds. I like it. Uh, £16.99, uh, 30 cubes in that particular uh, game. Oh, I can't wait to play that. How exciting. And then the last one featured at 9 o'clock is the 30 cubed jigsaw. Oh, that's intriguing. Uh, that's only £19.99. Now, uh, we have got some news for you. The Illusion Cube is 40% of the stock gone. This is brand new um, Illusion Puzzle Games. Absolutely fantastic. Um, and if you want to get a hold of this, I would pop it into your basket because we're getting very, very busy for this now. 664-699 is your item number if you want to go for that one. Right, Gavin, can we play again? Can of we course play we again? can play can again. Play I shall again? move myself back into position and put the Bee Genius down there. And we shall have another game. Now, if we remember where we left off, I was winning. <laughs> I was winning 2-1. So, a little bit of revenge coming your way? Uh, y yes, of course, unless the gallery have to talk to me halfway through the game. And then, you know, I possibly might oh, not you win. see, though, I'm having to talk to the viewers while we play. And there's more <laughs> of them than there are in the gallery. <laughs> well, that is true. That is true, Ready Gavin. Ready for me to roll the dice? I will keep coming up with excuse after excuse. Here we go. I'm going to roll the dice again. Again, this is the genius square suitable for ages six to adult, and that really does mean for adults as well. A3. A3. F2. F2. E2. E2. E4. Uh, E2, E4, yeah. Yep. C5. C5. A6. A6. And, uh, and one more, which I seem to have. Uh, e, no, we've got the two E's there. F2, we've got A6, C4. And oh, C5, C4 and C5. C4 yeah, that's it C5. there. We've okay. got them there. Okay, you ready? Yep. Here we go. Okay. And again, when I said this, I really meant it. If you buy one game in the whole of the rest of your life, 
buy this game. You will not regret it. You will never really seriously find yourself playing the same game twice. And it is just a must-have for every single family in the entire universe. And guess what, Janice? Oh, no, don't. I win. No, no, no. That's because you play this more than me, <sighs> well, Gavin. Well, that, to be fair, is true. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So that's my excuse for this one. Let's play again. Let's play again. Let's and play let me again. tell you that we've had so many of our customers have told us stories of how they've bought a set and they've bought a set for their grandchildren and they've simply been playing on Zoom. You roll one set of dice, everyone starts at the same time. You can play this beautifully on Zoom. It's a real, real boredom buster, but you also gain so many skills from it. And even if you play by yourself, it's still just as much yeah. fun. You ready? Ready. Half okay. the stock is gone, everyone. OK, we've got C1. C1. A5. A5. Uh, A6, which A6. keeps on coming up for some reason. Yeah. C3. C3. Uh, and B2. B2. F6. F6. And F5. Wow, this F6 is an odd combination. F5. Okay. OK, are we ready? Yep. OK, let's give it a go right now. OK, now, I am I didn't cheat. Three I know I started before, I'm three one. Gavin, but it doesn't matter. Can everyone. I just tell you, I happen to know, because I talk to an awful lot of Hachanda viewers, because they're also our customers, uh, they talk about this game the entire time. That's all they want to talk about. Um, and we're so proud of it. We're so proud of what we've managed to achieve. Done it! 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 Wow, look at I that. Mean, three, two. Sorry, let me compose myself. Um, I finished before you, Gavin. So it would seem. <laughs> Well Sorry. Uh, can we just confirm to the camera by looking down the lens that you didn't let me win then? I did not let you win, okay, but great. I was let's only a again. millisecond behind. Let's play again. OK, let's play again. Let's play again. How are we doing on the stock? Uh, oh, half the stock has gone, Gavin. OK, that's the way it should be. There should be no stock left at the end. Buy this as the gift for Christmas for everybody you know. And, by the way, playing this on Christmas Day will make your day so special. It certainly special. will. OK, let's go. Here we go. So we have got F1. F1. And D2. D2. Uh, and B3. B3. Uh, and A5. A5. And F5. F5. Uh, and uh, ba, 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 ba. I've got D2 there, F5, D2, F1, we've got F1, uh, goodness me, F5 we've got, yep. B3 we've got, yes, uh, B3 we've got. A5, why yep. am I losing the plot here on, F5 and F1, C4, C4, yep. uh, and what is the last one that I'm not looking at here, B5, B5, there you go, uh, B5, okie dokie, this is for you to draw level, are you ready, uh, yes, yes, I think you probably started no, already, no, I'm not, have you started, no, what? Yes, now. Go. 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 Ah, <laughs> oh, brilliant. I could do this all day. I really do love this as much as it looks like I'm enjoying it as well. Nearly there, but I have to win. I have to win. No, I messed it up again. Um, mm -mm. Mess it up again if I put it in there no, like that. that. If I put this in here like, no, this, like this, like this, like this, and I win. Oh, no, you haven't. Oh. Oh. We are back in Which charge is the noise I make when I 4 things. 2. Yeah. Oh, I should go again. Yes, of course we'll play again. One I want everyone okay, one, at home to play as time. well. One Can we not time. have one? Do you know, by the way, there was, uh, on Zoom, I heard about this a few weeks ago, there was an international tournament of was people there? all playing this together. And I think the biggest challenge they had was because with so many people, how do you see who's actually won first? So they had an adjudicator yeah. who had to judge. And I think it was quite controversial at times because oh. there was literally a millisecond wow. between people. OK, here um, we go. I was going to say, if you've got this game at home, get it out and play with us. Absolutely. Okay. So if yep. you've got it in front of you, it's... Yep. F1. F1. A2. A2. A5. A5. C6. C6. D3. D3. F4. F4. Uh, and, uh, yeah, and E2. 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 Okay. You ready? Yep. OK, let's go for okay. it. OK, 60% of the stock is gone, by the way, everyone. If you do want to get hold of your genius square, it is a good idea to place it into your baskets. 549. 652 is your item number. That can't go there. That's got to go there. Um, that can oh, go you there. Know, you quickly start to drive um, yourself mad because there. you think you can um, see what you're supposed to, to be there. doing. That needs to go there. Oh, and it no. just doesn't uh, yang, want yang, to go yang, where you want to it there. to go. Um, and of course this... Go oh, there. goodness me. Aye, that needs Come to on, go Gavin. There. Ha, la, 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 I win. Go. No, you don't. Yes, you do. I do. Just. Just. They well, that's, want, that's they want me to good. go and tell everybody about the games. I just want to stay here and play and play and play, but I can't. And I'm going to just throw my toys out the pram. Um, I'll be back to this in a moment's time.
Oh my goodness. It gets the adrenaline going, doesn't it? It does. And, and it I gets think... your mind ticking instantly. I'll tell you one thing that you'll never find. You'll never find somebody playing one game and then stopping. No. It doesn't work like that. You have to uh, keep playing best of 11, best of 23, best of 127, best of <laughs> 1,343. You just I'll go on and on and on. the early hours of the morning. Again, 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 again. But the beauty of this is that age is not a barrier. So no. it doesn't matter whether you're six or whether you're... 76 or 86 or 96 or whatever it is you've got the same chances here it's simply a question of seeing something yep. that's so simple in front of you just with these pentomino shapes yeah and also Gavin it doesn't have to be a game if you want to sit there by yourself and just take your time you can do you can take your time and you can put the shapes down it doesn't have to be a race you can time yourself as well yeah you can time yourself so it's a good way of playing by yourself or with friends right let's take a look at the other items we've got in the show 60 percent of the genius square has gone remember we also have a genius star as well which takes the level of skill up a <coughs> notch more so do go, go and check that out right let's have a look at the uh, illusion cubes this is fascinating these have been very very popular I think everybody loves to create an illusion don't they uh, whether you're doing that via your paints whether you're doing that via the different fabrics that you're using especially if you're putting together quilts there are lots of different patterns and blocks that you can build and shape and then when you step back from that quilt you go wow that's an incredible illusion so this could help you uh, in your quilting you never know actually to make and create some blocks now we've been very busy for this approaching half the stock gone 16 pounds and 99 pence we've got two minute queues on the phones do bear with us we will uh, get through your calls the fastest way um to purchase is via the website i'm going to hand you over to gavin because he has the overhead camera and you'll be able to see the illusions build up so much better with gavin this is extraordinary i know it's the most wonderful creation so if i just show you how these work what you've got here is basically chevrons that are built on top of each other and they create the cube which is on layers which allows you to overlap them what i've done here just for the purposes of the show but i thought it was a good idea to show you anyway is i went to a local craft store and got some magnetic tape uh, and you literally just uh, cut a little bit of it off there and remove the self-adhesive bit uh, at the back uh, and then attach it to the bit that you don't necessarily need to use in the pattern that you're doing and then it will remove itself afterwards and then it is magnetic like that and that's how I've built this staircase here I hope it comes across nice and clearly uh, on, yes, on the TV does. when you can when you can see that. And I've done a little one here as well. But what you actually get with this is you get the book which gives you um, 120 uh, different designs. We can get the overhead just to have a look at the uh, at the book as we go through. You'll Marcus see here coming. you've got overheads oh, coming. Uh, you'll see here some of the amazing patterns that are inside here. And as you go through, they use more and more cubes until you get to the end of the uh, book and you'll see that by the finish of it you've got these intricate patterns which you build by overlapping uh, the pieces together and they really do make three-dimensional optical illusions but at the other end of the spectrum the really easy ones that you can start off with here are very very straightforward and will allow even the youngest uh, of hands to have a go at building really nice optical illusion shapes things that are actually impossible when you actually look at them and once you've finished uh, with the 24 cubes that you get inside here uh, you've got those 120 possible puzzles and then you can start with your own creations and of course as we have uh, seen you can buy more than one set and make even bigger uh, creations as well if you do decide to make them magnetic of course you can do them on the fridge if you've got a magnetic fridge uh, but you want to use them to make illusion patterns you don't really want to use them to keep post-it notes up and stuff like that do you it's a great idea it really is and buying two yeah didn't think about that buy two make even bigger illusions um half the stock has gone brand new today this really is incredible be amongst the first people to buy this six six four six nine nine is your item number six plus is the age range on here you can of course play it by yourself you could just sit there with someone else building and creating those illusions they are double-sided as well so do bear that in mind when you're going 
going through all your different combinations of building those illusions. You're going to be amazed when you put them together. Go via the book, have a look at the patterns that are in there, and then start to create your own. It really is amazing. Uh, right, your genius square, very, very busy for that. Very, very busy. Uh, we've been playing this throughout the show. It is addictive. What I love about this is that you've got a chance to take this with you from room to room, uh, from area to area, play it out in the garden. How nice would that be in the summer months? Uh, play this inside in the winter months as well. Not just for Christmas evening. No, this is going to take you all the way through Boxing Day and beyond. And if you get it before and it's not a Christmas gift, then you'll be playing it up until Christmas. And then when your friends and family who you're bubbling with can come in over the Christmas period, have a bit of an advantage on them maybe. Um, there are so many different combinations I don't think you'll get through all of them they're over 62,000 and of course it's all down to the roll of the dice. 549652 is your item number. Uh, now the colour block also busy for that uh, wonderful story that goes alongside this with the people that have created this. Um, inside the colour block you get all of the blocks but just take those off like here and like so, put those to the side. When you open this up, you'll see you've got all the different combinations inside. So you can take those out and you can place them underneath the board. So it's fantastic. They're double sided as well. You get the full instructions on how to use this. Again, you can challenge your friends and your family with this or you can sit there and have it as a solo game for yourself. 650578 is your item number. Uh, again, I think it's an ideal Christmas gift. This is the ideal show to get Christmas gifts for people. Those are uh, Christmas boxes or something for the family you know you buy a gift you know something for the whole family this is it which is perfect Janice, now can, yes. I, can I just say to you because I, I know obviously the viewers know me as coming on and showing lots of games this is a brand new game is a personal recommendation I honestly have had so much fun with this it is the most remarkable creation and it really stretches you so the easier puzzles for somebody who maybe wants to spend a little bit more time um, getting used to it that's great but the harder puzzles are seriously deliciously challenging I, I cannot recommend this highly enough it's the most brilliant game that's color block now, can you tell us a little bit, Gavin, about the games coming up at 9 o'clock? Just as a sneaky peek uh, to the 9 o'clock show. I shall tell you about Hit the Hat. Yes. Uh, Hit the Hat is a wonderful game which has been around for a few years, but we've bought it exclusively into the UK now. Um, it's won lots of awards all over the world, and it's a very straightforward game that you can play as a whole family, and that's suitable for ages 4 and up as well. So it's got a wide age range. Then we've got Quazzle, which will appeal to the real enthusiasts of the uh, Genius Square. It's a similar genre of puzzle uh, where you have to race against the other person to recreate various patterns. And we've got a giant one of those that we'll be able to do as well. And the third game that we've got on then is 30 Cubes, um, which is my proudest moment in inventing because I got to do that with Ivan Moscovich, who's the world's most famous puzzle inventor as well. That's all coming up at nine o'clock. How exciting. Right, we're going to play some more games and what we're going to do is roll that dice and try and beat one another again. Make sure you check out your baskets. Don't be beaten by anyone else by getting those games before you. Don't miss out. We have been very, very busy. We will be back at nine o'clock tonight with some more games featuring in the show. But in the meantime, head to the, bas uh, head to the website and uh, check out your baskets. Gavin, thank you very much. That's okay. Uh, do you want to roll that dice? Have we got time yeah. to play one more quickly? Uh, roll the dice and we'll keep playing okay. as we Abs head uh, uh, everyone absolutely. Okay. to Okay, what have break. we got here? We've got F1. Lovely. And E2. Excellent. A5. We'll see you after the break, everybody. Yes, excellent. <laughs> Right, we're still getting those numbers out. We're going to have a game. But in the meantime, we've got a brand new one-day special being launched with Trisha. She's here. So totally Trisha one-day special. Sentimentally yours next after that with our lovely Julia Watts. I am Matthew Palmer, a professional artist with the SAA, the UK's largest and friendliest art community. The SAA exists to inform, encourage and inspire all who want to paint and that's exactly what you'll learn to do with me as your teacher. As a self-taught artist of 30 years ago, I know the challenges of a white piece of paper and learning how to paint, but with me, Achanda and the SAA, I'll show you how easy watercolour painting really is. 
I'm here on a channel because I want to show you my watercolour painting techniques and I want to get you over that white paper fear and get you started and develop your watercolour painting. So whether you're a beginner or an advanced artist, I've got some fantastic watercolour techniques that will get you started and take you even further on your watercolour journey. So join me, Matthew Palmer, for my shows on Achenda. Hello, I'm Hayley, and you might have seen me presenting here at Hachanda. Well, I've always been an avid crafter behind the scenes and have been given the opportunity to share some of my favourite products with you in a monthly show called Handmade by Hayley. I'll be covering lots of areas of soft crafts like quilting, dressmaking, sewing, knitting, even printing your own fabrics. I'll even be bringing some items from my own handmade by Haley range. So I hope you'll join me, let me inspire you, and maybe you will discover a new craft in the process. Have you heard of Hachanda Freedom? Did you know that as a Hachanda Freedom member, you could be making savings on every order you place? For just £5.97 a month, you will benefit from selected Freedom member discounts and complimentary standard delivery on every order you place. You will also receive our exclusive Hachanda Freedom members badge, regular newsletters, giveaways and crafty updates. If you shop with a Chanda more than twice a month, then Freedom is for you. Don't forget, your Freedom membership is flexible, so you can pause it if you're going away, or you can cancel it at any time. So what are you waiting for? Give us a call or head to the website, quoting item number 888888, and join her Chanda Freedom today. Hi, I'm Emma. And I'm Pam. And we're from Quilters Trading Post. We've been open since 2007, so we're coming up to 10 years now. We started our business um, in Cambridge, really, with a long arm quilting machine. We decided we want to make a proper business of it, so we bought a shop in this area. We soon grew out of that because we became successful and we bought a school, and now we're in the school. We have four parts to our business. We have the quilting service, we run workshops, we sell patchwork and quilting threads, fabrics and notions, and we do patterns and books. That's our newest thing, and our favourite being our crafters carry-on. We've really enjoyed being on Hachanda. It's um, made us famous, really. We've got lots of people who now come into the shop and tell us that they've seen us, and that they've enjoyed the demonstrations, and they've watched us over and over again. Make sure you don't miss our shows here on Hachanda. Hello and welcome. Good evening. It is indeed the launch of a brand new one day special. Bing! There it is. I'm very looking forward to this show. It's been such a long time since I've worked with our lovely Trish over there. It has. Ooh, it's got to be at least a year. I bet it is. Uh, yeah. I bet I haven't worked with her this year. No. No, Isn't not at it all. ridiculous? I always find that ridiculous about yeah. it. Like, you know, we can literally see people knocking yeah. about the building, but... Yeah, not yeah. working for no, ages. No. And you I know you have got so many new things. We've got new things to show tomorrow as well, haven't we? Have, we have, yeah. There's too much yeah. for one show. You but must have been a fine. very busy lady, love. Oh 
<laughs> Tell me about it. <laughs> do you make a rod for your own back? Yes. Yeah, of course absolutely you do. do. I don't think I've had a break, um, even all day today before I came here. Really? All day yesterday. It's just non-stop. Just but absolute, I love it. I love yeah. it. And I must admit, I mean, the fabrics that you've chosen, the, the, they are sensational. I mean, let's talk about your one-day special. Talking of beautiful fabrics, look at this now. First of all, we've got beautiful fabrics, but really the star of the show is this little beauty, the fringe roulette. Now, so when we were prepping the show, our Molly went, you know fringe right? And I'm like, no, 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 I don't. And it literally, Molly's like, where have you been? It feels like it's summer that it's down with the kids and I've missed out. Um, but what is it? What's a fringe then, our Trish? Because this is your fault, isn't it? Yeah, it is my fault, yes. <laughs> it was a... A sudden inspiration um, waking up and thinking Frenchies they are four inch squares okay and uh, I've said once or twice before but from paper crafting days when they yes. somebody produced one inch stamps and yes. called them inches yeah they were popular so they brought out two inch stamps and called them twinchies <laughs> Fabulous. so something just sprung into my head as they're four inch squares take out the O and the U and call them Frenchies. Amazing. And um, that is where it started. Fabulous. Absolutely fabulous. It is getting ridiculously busy. So the actual tool then. Mm. So this is going to allow me to to do what? Because I can see the different squares within there. That's right. Um, this was like because I wanted to build on the Frenchies because they were becoming so popular. Yeah. I thought what can I have to make life easy which is what I'm all about making life easy easy for yeah. those that want to sew um, and the ruler itself allows you um, there, there's one particular technique yeah. that saves time and also this tool helps you save even more time but there's many other uses to it as well I didn't Amazing. want it to be for just one thing yes but yeah. the actual one I'm going to show you with a few other um, alterations differences yeah. um, will show you it, it is very very useful a really versatile yes. tool yes. so you've got on that one obviously the template for your your fringe for your four inch square yeah have got and I'm presuming then it's an eight inch square and then your two inch yes. square so they all fit in together That's right yes. beautiful and um, you can get this on its own just 24 pounds and 99 pence if you want absolutely brand new 10% of the uh, the fringe tool has already gone on its own brand brand new you've then got in this whole collection I mean look at the colors of these oh these are lovely so it's they modern are. and modern is such good quality and these are the modern rouge uh, fringes now that fabric this They're, is delightful yeah the French general and who doesn't love French General? Yeah. La Rose Rouge. That um, is beautiful. So you get the whole a whole pack of Frenchies in La Rose Rouge, wow. as as along with two eight inch widths of fabric. So you can see how it's working. You've got yes. your eight inch widths of fabric, but with the tool, you can easily cut your eight inch squares to work with. Oh, so, as well as that, you get um, some Rue grip tape. Yes. Uh, which will help with all of your rulers and it stops your ruler slipping when you pop it onto the fabric. It feels really textured as yes, that. It is and you don't need that much so there's two half meters in this although you can buy it separately yeah it will last your lifetime I mean yeah. I've got a lot of rulers and I'm sure a lot of others have got loads so of rulers So you'll be using too. that again and again and again? Yes. Amazing. Yes, you will. Uh, 10% of the stock of your one day special has already gone. If you did want the uh, grip tape let me find that. Um, if you did want the ruler grip tape, we do have a two metre one, um, 9.99. That's at the bottom of your screen, so you co could pop that into your basket. 8.99361. So then you get, and Trisha, I know she yes. mentioned these, but let me show them the actual uh, beautiful eight inch width of fabric. I mean, yeah, look at these. Also, Moda, of course, isn't that, I don't want to knock all these off, otherwise that will absolutely ruin everything. But I'm going to show you that fabric, because look at, doesn't it feel yes, stunning? Yeah, that's the look thing. I that. mean, I say so many times how when I'm cutting it, when I'm 
you know, I, mm. I lay it out and I stroke it and it yeah. feels beautiful. I stitch with it and I'm looking at something wonderful yeah. at the same time as feeling it as it goes through. It makes the world of difference yes. to work with motor fabric. I can absolutely believe it because that's the thing, isn't it? It's, it's like, it's a, almost like a sensory moment because you it have is. got the the colors and then the quality and yeah it just feels divine um, what a fantastic kit but you're also getting your pattern now your pattern is going to be and you can see that beautiful quilt next to us uh, the pattern is going to be for that so essentially mm. you're using your your fringes yes you're then using your wonderful the bigger pieces of modern That's fabric right. To make that gorgeous cut. So literally, is all we need for the back of that, like yeah, your well, backing fabric? Yes, just need your backing fabric and some wadding. Yeah. You'll have uh, plenty of fringes left over because you've only actually used nine in there. Wow. You'll have some of the widths of fabric left over as well because, again, you will get five eight-inch squares out of the uh, one width. Yeah. So you'll get ten in total. So you'll have one of those left. You'll have uh, eleven uh, four-inch square, the fringes left over. And from what, um, no, no, you won't be. So you'll just need your binding fabric, yeah. your backing fabric and wadding. Amazing. Or Amazing. make different things, which I may show you um, during the shows. That's really beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. It's one of those collections. That fabric is just so exquisite. I think e whatever you make, even if that were nearly all plain, we just mm. couple them, it would look divine. Yes. Oh, my good grief. 20. Okay, we are approaching 20% of the one day special. This is absolutely flying out the door. I know the image that you're going to see on your um, on the website, so when you look, yes. it isn't this one. It's a different one. It's not that. The instructions that you get are for this one that we're showing. We are going to get that changed as soon as possible. Okay, it is flying folks you're saving 10 pounds on your one day special 20 percent of the stock has gone you've got a flexor with this so if there's any other goodies that you want pop them in that flexi basket two payments 21 pounds 47 pence we don't charge you interest 603 565 is your item number now i am definitely thinking a lot of this is going to be busy get ahead of us on the website because we've got so many things we're not showing you everything this evening so if there's something you're looking at and thinking ah that's going to be gone in 24 well in two hours uh, please <laughs> check your baskets out because it is really busy so the actual the actual photograph that you'll see on your one day special is the, this photograph but it relates to this so you're actually getting let me show you the the runner because this is just gorgeous again yes. and of course it matches perfectly it is again it's french general la rose rouge by moda and it's the charm pack Beautiful. along with so you get 42 five inch squares wow and you can make that runner with some leftover but you will need to add your backing and your wadding. So Wonderful. it's the instruction pack you're getting to make that. Saying that, Leone, you can use the fringes in the one day special yes. and the fabric to do that. It just will work out on a smaller scale. Oh, the fabric. Yeah, of course. That would yeah. be really pretty, wouldn't it? Yeah. Really pretty. So again, same fabrics, but oh my gosh. So they these are charm pack this time. So as you can see, bigger. You've got actually, I've got different uh, fabrics in here as well, haven't you? Yes, different to because there is a whole. Let me see. There are. We have got obviously fringes coming later, and there's six sets of five, which is thirty. I think there's about thirty-four fabrics in the range. Wow. So in your charm pack, you've got all of those with half a dozen duplications. Amazing. That is just lovely. Mm. That is absolutely beautiful. Only £19.99 pence is your price. 10% of the stock has already gone there. Told you it's going to be busy. Um, 985-627 is your item number. Now, next. Yeah. This is so cute. The bag is really pretty. That is lovely. Obviously, the, the, you know, the fabric you're getting is for that midsection because we are talking about that mini charm pack. But how exquisite. And I love that everything matches. Thing is with this, I love how you've teamed it with that really natural fabric. Yes. That works so well with it. It does. It, well, it sets off those colours, doesn't it? Um, but the, so this one, these are two and a half inch squares. So with your charm pack, 
which is the five inch squares, is actually a quarter of, your ch of a charm pack. Uh -huh. So if you so loved mini charms and wanted more, you could buy the charm pack and cut it into four, yeah. and you'd have five charm mini charms in total. Yeah, yeah. Absolutely. So mm. you've got loads of options. Oh, it's so pretty. It's lovely, yeah. Yeah, I love it because every time we look through, I'm sure we see some that I haven't seen yet. Yeah. There's it's that many beautiful prints, and this just feels gorgeous. Oh, it's yeah. so, so busy. 10% of the stock has gone. Yeah, that is so pretty. Um, obviously, if you do want that charm pack um, and the instruction pack, of course, to make that beautiful bag, only twelve ninety nine. Really good prizes. Presents. No. Uh, prices. <laughs> Sorry. Gosh, I had to actually think of the word then. That's a worry, <laughs> innit? <gasps> oh, my brain. Um, okay, 390302. Did you even see it going through my brain then? You could see it. Like, oh. Okay, now I really like these, uh, Trish. Oh, right. These are lovely. Well, Your messenger bag. That yeah. is brand new. This is great. I love this in grey. This looks absolutely stunning. Well, I, I brought that one purely because um, so many times gentlemen had said, you know, there's never any bags for us. Yeah, yeah. So it's a unisex bag, basically, isn't yeah. it? But oh. I thought also listening to feedback from customers, a lot of people have um, followed me over the year to 18 months and their abilities are growing greatly. Amazing. They're just... And sometimes they don't particularly like a kit that's cut to size. Yeah. And they like to have the fabrics and have a little bit left over yeah. or alter things. So with this one, that's exactly what I've done. So you, I think, what did I put? A half a metre of the grey canvas. Yeah. And half a metre of lining fabric. Ah. And half a metre of the wadding. So we, you want it the other way about, so the light, the light uh, greys yes. on the top, you can do that. Yeah. I really like it when you open it and yes. you see the pocket. I think that looks really beautiful. Yeah. Oh, I like this a lot. Yes. Uh, do you know what? I do like those really nice and um, simpler, you know, the yes. block colours. Yes. I just think that looks very classy. Oh, Jimmy in my head said he'd like this. It is lovely. It's good size, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, it's well. a re I love messenger bags, though. I love them because I and I like this because you give us pockets yes. as well and, and a really good pocket inside and the zipped one inside as well. Yeah, yeah. I like that. Yeah, because you have to, uh, you know, you need a zip pocket. Yeah, it feels so professional. Yeah, it looks beautiful. So you, you do need to add your own bag hardware, right? But of course, Trisha's thought about that, hasn't she? Yes. Because there's a bag hardware you can mix on the uh, website. In fact, it's on the screen for you. I am Aww. stuffing this in again so you can see it properly. Um, obviously, you don't need to carry around loads of packaging. Can you imagine? What have you got in your bag? Well, just, just a bit of packaging. Um, on the bottom, if you do want your pick and mix hardware, you have got that. Yeah, it's lovely as this. That fabric is gorgeous as well. Um, and you've got the wadding. So it's up to you which is your outside fabric, which is your lining, because they both look good. But that is beautiful quality. Uh, 1999919128. Now, next. And remember, you are getting your instructions um, from our Trish as well. So we have got, if I just show you, if you just want your instructions, then, of course, you've got that option. You can get them available individually. But you can see photographed instructions that are going to take you through step by step. Now, this is pretty. Look at that yes. fabric. So with this one, you've given us everything, That's haven't right. you? So this is a kit that will be cut to size, and there is everything in there for you to make that bag. So as soon as it lands on your doorstep, you can go to the sewing machine and start sewing. Beautiful. Beautiful. Um, and of course, you've got all your lovely pockets. You've got the pocket inside as well, uh, that zip pocket. You've got, yeah, that metallic fabric is really pretty. And you can yes. just see the metallic shimmering away. And the hardware, really good quality hardware. Because yes. that's what really finishes it off and makes it look professional, yes, doesn't yeah. it? And that's all in the instructions. I will at some point, whether it be tonight or tomorrow, show you how to put all of that bag hardware on but it's Amazing. all in the instructions so 
you yeah. know, for any other time that you may have forgotten or need to do. Perfect, really beautiful. And yeah, again, really nice quality fabrics. That, um, the navy blue, what yeah. is that? I mean, it's a canvas. It's a canvas, yes. cotton canvas. That is lovely. It is, yes. It feels really nice, yeah. does that? And it, it's a lovely navy. I yeah. mean, sometimes they're quite dull, but that has got... Um, a real depth of colour to it. Yes, yeah, um, it's really rich, like that a lot, and it makes that so uh, that kind of marble. But it almost looks like the cosmos, doesn't it? Makes yeah. that just pop. Twenty two ninety nine. You've got a full kit there, and um, that is one eight zero eight two seven. Where well, with a little diamond bag again, a full <laughs> kit. This is so pretty. <laughs> it's isn't dinky, it? Isn't pretty. It? Um, so yes. So with this. Um, as I've also said before, I like to add a, a, a slightly different technique in everything I bring. So with this, uh, I used Quilter's Grid. Wonderful. And also using Frinches, but cut into four, ah. which obviously the tool will help you to do easily yes. as well. But um, so made it into, and it's a new um, bag, well, a, a different style of bag as well, although I've done cross bodies before, but it's just put together differently, but very, very easily. It looks dead effective. And yeah. the white on white is just beautiful. So you've got your white on white. You've yeah. then, of course, got, look at these. These are so pretty. They just, that looks so fresh, doesn't yes. it? Yes, yes. So you've yeah. got two packs of Frenchies within this kit, you see. Beautiful. Um, plus the instructions, which that would take it immediately to just under 20 pounds yeah and then yeah. you've got the quilters grid and the wadding as well so but it just gives you um uh -huh. an insight into doing it the feel of it all yes yeah that is so pretty Plus the love zip. it yes. love that fabric okay um 17 pounds 99 pence that's nine five zero zero five six okay the the okay. free she picker mix du, du, du. are you ready um You've got 16 new options. These are always really busy, so please, if there's something you want, check your baskets out. You're picking any three for 14.99. If you want to pick any six for 14.99, you've got that option. So, do you want to talk us through what we got, will, Artrish? Well, we have along the top row. Yes. Now, I only know that number four and number six are in the right place because. <laughs> Because they're a similar colouring, when I put the sets together, yeah. I've numbered them at home, so I know which ones go in the sets. But, um, and I think that's number one as well. I think I got number one right, but okay. they're numbered one to six, so it would be best you look for what you like and then look on the website to see Amazing. the actual picture. So check the website out to see yes. all the different names. But they're all, there's no um, duplication of fabric. Wow. It is all from the range, uh, yeah. La Rose Rouge, and they're put together in sort of the similar because there's a there's a base um, background of either a cream or a linen or even a, um, a lighter mm. like an ivory okay so they get are, it. but whatever if you chose three of those they would all work together if you chose six they will all work together yes yes oh they are beautiful so your first six are the rose rouge so again it's up to you and you can see the different backgrounds so you can see what uh, Trish means with, with mm. that, you know, popping them together so they're in the right kind of family. So that's your first six that you can choose from. And um, the next row that we've got for you, oh, look at the bloom. Yes. Oh, that's so lovely. Mm. How many pieces of fabric are we getting? You're in getting 20 four-inch squares. Each pack. That's right. And there's five different fabrics. Wow. With, or five designs with four of each. Beautiful. So Ooh, that one's blue. Nice. I do know those ones. That's yes, the blue. That's the blue. Um, that one is the cream blue, this next one. Oh, that's As you can pretty. see, because it's mainly cream with blue on. Yeah, gosh, these are so gorgeous. They are beautiful. Now, the, these are Macawa, but Macawa, when I was cutting those, yeah. oh, I probably shouldn't say it, but they're as good as. Yeah. They feel, they I, I must beautiful. admit, I'm standing here thinking they yeah. were the same. And they're also, they're Adita Sitar. If a lot of people have heard of Adita Sitar, she actually does some dyes as well, doesn't she? Really? Yes, yeah, it's physics ones, yeah. Oh my gosh! Yeah, yeah, because yeah, so, these are beautiful. Yes, they absolutely are, they are, are beautiful. Um, and the range is called Super Bloom, but I just thought I'd shorten it to Bloom. Yeah. So that one is cream pink. Stunning. So Look as you at can them. see there, yeah. Oh, they're so pretty. Okay, I won't show you all of them, obviously, for time. Yeah. Last one. And that one is pink. 
That's that's a proper pink pink. So that's all your pink. Yeah, the yeah. fabric is beautiful. Remember, because you are picking three of these, you're essentially getting thir um, yeah, thir uh, 60 lots of fabric, obviously 20 in each one. Okay, next, look at the purples. So yes. these are your different colour palettes in here. So that's your right. purples, but of course like you've got a shot of pink in yes, there as well. Yes, yes. That goes beautifully. That's my colour. Next, look oh. at this one. So yes, this those. is your blues, but you've got mm -hmm. all sorts of different yes. tones in there. Yes which is just sensational. Next, so these are our greens? Yes. But you obviously oh, different a, um, shots of the, the indigo there. There's a yeah. peacocky one, isn't there? That is, oh, has that gone on the wrong pile? Might be on a different pile. Yeah, that, perhaps, that top one perhaps should have gone in the bottom. <laughs> <laughs> and then the neutral. Yes. And that's handy. Yes. Yeah, that's lovely. And you've got some of the greys and the black there as well, which yeah. is really effective. And then that lovely yellow. The yellow's yeah. nice because you've got bright tones in there. Yes. But you've got you've some got... muted as well, you haven't have. we? Which looks really pretty. So that's all your colours. Then at the bottom, the white on white. I know it's always a bit tricky to see, but look at those. I mean, they are just beautiful. They always yes. look seriously classy, don't yes. they? Yes. Yeah, they that's are. really pretty. Yeah, so you've got five different designs of the white lacquer on the uh, white background. Beautiful. And then we've got the cream on white. Oh, white on cream. The white on cream. I yes. think that were the white on cream and that's the white on white, actually. Yes, for sure. Yes, yeah. Look it's, at that. Beautiful. Yes. Okay, folks. Um, only $14.99. You're picking any three, which means you're getting t uh, 60 um, lots of fabric there for $14.99. The choice is yours. You might be just going for three at the same one, or you might be mixing it up. And the way these all mix and match beautifully means that is an absolute possibility. 572380. Now, check out the website because there is um, a, well, it's a lucky dip one, and that lucky dip one is phenomenal. In fact, look at that. So now, you are getting five packs there. Remember, each pack has 20 lots of fabric in there. That is a mega lucky dip. So if you do want that, that'll fly. Well, they will be different. The pictures there, that was from these, but the, yeah. it, it will be any. Um, so it could include those. Yeah. But some of the previous ones I've had as well. Amazing. But mostly Moda and Macawa fabric, yeah. so you know you're getting quality. Amazing. And obviously, obviously, the colours that you put in there, they're going to match. Yes. You yes. know. Oh, we like the lucky dip. Uh, right, I need to get back to it one day special because... 30% of the stock has gone. It is 23 minutes past and 30% of the stock has gone. If you want it, you need to check your basket out. I mean, look what you're making. The fabrics are stunning. And of course, you've got that tool forever. Um, okay, Trish, okay. where are we going to start today? Thank you so much, um, everybody that's buying this, because it was something that I thought, I, I liked it, but will everybody else? So... Um, we have the basic 8 inch square. It's hard to see. I don't know if you can see it well on there. But within that, you've got the little pop out of your 4 inch square with also an aperture in the middle in which fits your 2 inch square. Um, and believe you me, there's more than one use for this, uh, this tool. It will come in handy. I shall have it on my uh, my table all the time because it's not cumbersome. It's not like your 24 inch rulers when you're wanting to cut a four inch or a two inch. You've got plenty of, you've got your three parts here which will be able, you'll be able to use for many, many uh, reasons and tasks. So the main, um, the main th reason I brought uh, this to you is for centering fabric. Okay. Now, I thought paper crafters as well, actually, with an 8-inch eight, eight inch square card, yeah. wanting to put their uh, topper, their decoupage, their whatever, in yeah. the middle, you'd have to do a lot of measuring. So, for, let me firstly, if I do a little bit of cutting, so like with the One Day Special, you'll get a strip of fabric, I'll cut this one to start off with, uh, that is 8 inches wide. And... I've actually got, I've actually brought with me a rotary one so that it makes life easier. Okay. So it's eight inches square, your fabric's eight inches wide, so all we need to do is line up the outer edges with the edges of the fabric. Now I am going to stand up because I do like to stand over the fabric. 
Four. So line those edges up, just like you would any other ruler. Hold your hand on there to hold it firm and cut that away. And then, because I can rotate it rather than moving the mat. Oh, we like that. Yes. That's good. Um, again, put your hands down and trim along the side. So I have my 8-inch square. Perfect. Now, I want to put my Frinchy in the middle. So I have a stack of Frinchies here. And one thing I look at when I'm doing this, and to make the quilt that comes in with the One Day Special, is I like to use a lighter fabric on a dark fabric and yeah. a dark fabric on a light fabric. It just gives it a little bit of dimension and interest to whatever you're making. So let me pick a light one here. Oh. You can see the contrast there. Yeah. Now, without this tool, let's see what we need to do. Okay, I'll get a ruler out. And if I want it centered, no, what I could do, okay, I could fold my Frinchy in half and fold it in half again and whether I put a pin in the middle or just I'll just pinch it there so that I can find that center spot okay um, and then I'll get me a pin and I'll put it in the center then with my 8 inch square I will fold that in half and line that up carefully and fold it in half again and line that up give it a little pinch in the middle and open it up get my pin then I can't see where that center is or just about there pop that in and make sure that is in the center now it's twiddled a little yeah. do I know that's right no that's too much of a faff sorry yeah. I had to show you what you had to do or we can start measuring is that two inches there no that's not quite move it a little bit yeah. So instead, this tool, you've obviously seen it already, is pop your square on there and then just centre your Frinchy in the hole. That's so much easier, isn't it? And then you just take this off. Boom. Now, you can either pin. So what I would suggest here is your flat, your um, flower head pins and just to hold it in place because we're going to do a little bit of folding. Um, the other option which I use more, in fact there are flower head pins on the website, but I use um, fabric glue. So before I put my Frinchy on, I put a bit of fabric glue, pop it in and it holds where it is. Perfect. Now what we're going to do is fold the raw edge, I'm just going to put my iron on, I'm going to fold the raw edge up to the center. Now I don't, I can either feel, or I can feel that is there. Yeah. If you then want to measure, you can pop the ruler on top and you can see that is exactly the right amount, Perfect. the right piece. Yeah. So, and then we will fold the other edge into the middle just so that they butt up don't want them to overlap but just so that they butt up now what I would do from here is um, you you can pin and then go to sew but I just like to do one extra little bit because we saved all that time yeah for um, for finding that center so why why shouldn't we do a little bit more um, ironing just line those up get my iron and then I'm just going to iron onto that fold okay okay so you've and saved then, time so we can now play a bit. That's the thing, isn't it? It is. It's now the play bit. So if you were making, say, the quilt within the the bundle, yeah. I would actually do all of my pieces at the same time. So I would lay, line them all up, um, iron them, and so that I'm ready to go to the sewing machine and sew. So I what suppose, I, yeah, rather than having to keep breaking off, go and keep, yeah, that makes that's sense. That's right. So I'm just going to sew down that folded edge. So oh. I'm sewing with a quarter of an inch seam allowance. Okay. Um, I'm using my standard foot. Um, so I've actually moved the needle position, and if you can on your machine, move it to 5.5, and then with your standard foot, it will give you a quarter of an inch seam. Right. You don't need to put on your patchwork foot. But if you have a patchwork foot, you'd use that. Okay. And cool. I'm just keeping the edge of the foot.
and you can see those pins are not getting in the way. Yeah. But if you use a, a pin that's got a round head, it actually makes the fabric bobble up, obviously, because there's like a little bump in it. So I just sewed down that side, and then we'll just go down the other side. If I'd got all my pieces ready um, ironed, I would just carry on sewing down another one. So I'm just doing all the one side and not both sides. And then I won't cut my thread in between. Ah, uh, good idea, yeah. So that's, that's your chain piecing, and that also saves thread and time. Perfect. Okay, so I have, let's just trim that little bit. It always off there. intrigues me how, how you fabulous sewers come up with ideas. Because they always seem different every time. It's like, how do you do that? Yeah, so. As you can see now, um, I've actually covered those raw edges because they're enclosed within that seam. So I've still got my iron there. So I'm just going to iron that. I've put it right side up and I'm just ironing that seam so it actually goes underneath your yeah. edges. Looks really pretty. Looks really neat, doesn't it? It does. But as you can also see, there's still two raw edges here. Yes. Of course, so, unless you're creating an pocket. You can guess what one does here. We're going to, my, my seams are down here, so it's the opposite ones. I'm going to fold up from the bottom. Now, the only thing I'm looking for here, I can feel where that Frenchie finishes. Yeah. Um, the only thing I'm looking for is my stitch line. I want to carry on in line, make one of these, in line with the seam that's already there. Ah, and yes. that these raw edges line up because that's how you know that's perfectly square. Excellent. So again, we can put a pin just to hold that while we then fold in the other edge to the middle just so that they butt up. And again, those seams line up perfectly. That is really So, let's say so you can put a pin or not bother on that occasion, but I can just then hold that while I take the iron again and just press that. And just the pressing, as I say, you don't have to, but it just makes it a lot easier when you go to the machine because it's exactly in the right place and it's a bit like when you use Quilter's Grid. Um, that really helps as well because yeah. it just falls into the right place. Yeah, So because yeah, otherwise you can end up fighting with it a little bit. Yes, yeah. Um, go on, sorry. Sorry, love. No, it's all right. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to stitch down these sides just like we did before. Amazing. I am then going to remind people about this one-day special because it's ridiculously busy. In fact, we're approaching already, like 33 minutes in, a third over a third of the stock has gone. That literally changed in my head. Um, it is so busy. I am not surprised. I mean, it's beautiful. You get that stunning mode of fabric. You've also got the ruler. And I, that's brilliant, what Trish has just shown us. How ridiculously easy is it to centre your square now, which is obviously the beginning of a lot, a lot of designs. Um, yeah, really, really full, perfect uh, kit for you. And of course, the instructions to make that beautiful quilt. You are saving £10, £42, £94, and of course you have got your flexi on that as well, 603565. Now you might want to pop into your flexi, this beauty, because this you've got in this fantastic bundle. Now, contents will vary, um, but you've got five packs here. Remember, your packs contain 20 lots of fabric. So when you look at this, you are going to be getting 100 um, lots of fabric with this one. And I'm not being funny, but they all feel, I know it's going to be contents of vary, but let's face it, it's Trish. She's going to give you lovely fabric. You know, she's not going to give you anything you, you know, you look at and think, oh, I can't even move this. And we, um, we're working it out. Our mall thinks it's 21 pence, let me say, yeah, uh, 22 pence, bring the thing you forward, um, for these, I mean, aren't they beautiful? They're beautiful. This is such a pack. Trish, do you put all these together? Yes. <laughs> I bet that in itself is ever time consuming, but be really fun. Yeah. Well, I do all the cutting, husband does the packing. Wow. He doesn't, he doesn't enjoy it. You actually <laughs> cut all these? Yes. Oh my gosh! I know. And people are getting a hundred in each pack, and they've all been hand cut. 
my gosh. Okay, if you do want these, you need to be checking out your baskets. I mean, labour of love, uh, but but also very beautiful. Then you know Trish loves the quality, and obviously she's got an eye for putting all the colours together. Uh, do not miss out on these. Twenty-one nine six. Um, beautiful, beautiful little looky dup, looky dup pack uh, for this mm. side and a two for that side. Stitch it, then press it, and then do a, a cut another long strip that goes the whole way and the other side. So that all takes time, whereas that yeah. was done in, what, minutes really? Yeah, absolutely. And it's perfect. Yes, and it is absolutely perfect. So from there, um, you could then go on to make nine, you could make more, you, you know, you could make a much bigger or a whole bed quilt yeah. by just putting lots of these together. Yeah. And that's it, they'd look absolutely mm. gorgeous. Absolutely would. And also, if you use a lot of different fabrics, you know, so that, yeah. I don't know, 20, 30, just raid your stash bag yes. and just put two together. And as I say, either totally different colours or a lighter and a darker, yeah. just to give um, that interest to yeah. it. It's that contrast in it, it's that pop. That's that you right. want going on. I mean, yeah, when you look at um, the lovely pack here, you know, you could be picking up your fabrics and you could say, um, want that, that beautiful blue there, that blue with the cream. But then you'd be, have a little rummage and maybe try and find another blue or maybe pop it with a, um, a green on there. You know, you've got so many that will mix and match, so definitely play with your colours. Because that makes it, well, I mean, look at those. That makes it such, um, well, fun, but obviously the finished effect is going to look phenomenal. Um, now, if you do want that one, I know I keep talking about that one, but if you do want that one, a um, hundred pieces of fabric. It is your lucky dip, and it's just sat at the bottom of the screen there. 21.96. Okay, our Trish. Okay, so I'll just show you, before I go on to the next little step with one of these, um, so... I've had some help this time from two lovely ladies um, oh. who've, Lindsay, my friend up north or northwards, um, has used the Frinchy tool and she found it so, so easy to use. And she made this lovely cushion quickly Beautiful. and easily and perfectly. And then the other thing, which I'm sure there'll have to be a pattern coming up, look at this amazing wow. bag. That's lovely. Um, along the lines of my Christmas Eve box that I did yeah but using the bigger squares and she's used um, mode of fabrics again so I think it was Chafacani and Beau Papillon but doesn't it look like the yeah. Rose Rouge yeah it really does doesn't it look yeah. so you could get a very similar effect using the fabrics we have today yeah. oh, um, I love it even the bottom of the bags done that's yes. so pretty yeah. Absolutely beautiful. Yeah, that um, is amazing. So, and then another little thing that Tracy has done. How about for your starters to oh. make it into a mug rug? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. And, and w what she actually used um, or found really good about the tool is that um, you can actually fussy cut. So using your smaller or your larger um, tool, but even the smaller one, you can put, I think she used the bigger one actually, um, you can put your ruler over where you want your fabric to be. Yeah. And then if you slot your four inch one in and take it out, you then just cut around the edge of your four inch square. Of course. To get yeah. that totally in the center. But that, as I say, is just two of these, which you saw how quickly I made it, yeah. Yeah. and pop together to make into a mug rug. That which is so pretty. Are, are always handy. Love that. Um, what? Okay, what? so is that the tool on its own? The one day special. Right, the one day special, we are over 40% of the stock gone. Oh I mean, goodness. it is absolutely flying. The tool on its own, half of the stock has gone. Uh, but yeah, nearly everybody's wanting the tool with the, the fabrics and the instructions. I am not surprised. Right, I'll do a really quick recap and then we will come back with our Trish. So, the tool, obviously, brand new. This is being launched here, isn't it, Trish? This is, this is brand new, brand, brand exclusive new. 
yes, never seen before. That's amazing. That mm. is amazing. And it is ridiculously handy. Even if it is, as Trish has been showing us, even if it's literally first centre in that square without any faff. But obviously, you're going to be able to do so much with this. Um, OK, the one-day special is now approaching half of the stock gone. You've then got all these beautiful, beautiful fabrics. I mean, they are just exquisite. Um, it is uh, a rouge rose, um, and it is just adorable. I mean, Trish has put us together the most exquisitely pretty pack. And those prints... I mean, they use so many gorgeous colours. I love it, because when you look at it, it matches perfectly. But then you notice, like, the browns and the, you know, the other tones that are running through that and the creams. You've then got two pieces of your 18-inch um, your width fabric, and these, again, stunning. I mean, look at the design. Sorry? 18-inch. I think I said 18-inch. I meant to say 18-inch. Well... What I say and what I think often is very different. And it surprises me sometimes what actually does pop out my mouth. Um, they are 8 inch width. Because obviously, because it's the tool, so I know it, I know it worked with tool, but, uh, but who knows what I said. Uh, but yeah, if you do want to get hold of them, the two fabrics as well. And then, of course, you are getting the pattern to make the beautiful quilt. And the quilt, you're going to have enough of your decorative fabrics to make that. And then, of course, you're just going to need the, uh, the binding, the backing and the wadding. But look at that. That is just exquisite. We're over half the stock now gone. It is the first hour at the launch of this one day special. Brand new tool from our Trish and two payments. £21.47. 603 Five six five. That ruler on its own is absolutely going to sell out this evening. Seventy percent of the stock has gone. Please make sure you check your baskets out if you haven't got this one already. Twenty four ninety nine. Now. Next, we have got for you the little quilt running. Now, they match. I love that. They all match. They all go together. And, I mean, on your table, can you imagine your, your quilt runner with then maybe in the centre, the big square, which is your one-day special? I mean, that would look so beautiful on a table, wouldn't it? Absolutely beautiful. 30% uh, of the stock has gone here. So it is the same fabrics. Obviously, this time it is your charm bundle with this one. And you get your instructions to make that absolutely beautiful quilt. Only $19.99. And look at your charm bundle. I mean, it just, it feels lovely. When you pick them up, it's just got that real luxurious feel to it. And look at the colour tones again in there. Really pretty, just pretty. Look at that, so many prints. So that's your charm pack uh, with your instructions, 1999. Um, that is 985627. We've then got for you the little baby ones. 30% <laughs> of the stock has gone. I mean, they're just ridiculously cute, aren't they? Oh, I love it. Look at them, they're really, really pretty. And again, you'll see something different every time we flick through. Very gorgeous. Only twelve ninety nine. The design of the bag that you're going to get, uh, the instructions for that. That is such a nice little bag as well. Only twelve pounds and ninety nine pence. Three nine zero three zero two is your item number. Now I'm going to whip over to the charm pack, and I'm going to get my um, my little thingy one as well. The lucky dip. Hold on, bear with. Hold on, bear with. She's gone. I'm here. Um, so, now, this is busy, okay, really busy. Check the website out for the different numbers, because obviously we're not 100% sure. Go on, what? In fact, what? Shall we show them website? Let's do that, our moles. Let's do it. Um, so on the website, you will be able to go into uh, your, you're picking any three of these five star reviews. People love them. And then all you need to do is, oh, right. If I'm shopping, love, well, I really love those. Because uh, obviously I'll have already bought the one day special of. So I love the blues, both of these two. The, uh, what are they called? Yemi yeah, Bloom. No, it's the Bloom. Love both of them. I'm having both my blooms, because they're proper pretty. And then I'm going to have my uh, white on cream, because I think that will match perfectly with my blooms. Will that match perfectly? Beautifully. So all you have to do then is check out your basket. 
40. Look at them. Oh, they go so nice together. Look at those. Mm -mm -mm. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's a treat, is that? Yes. Absolutely gorgeous. Um, check your basket out, whichever you want, because obviously you've got so much choice there. Yeah. The one day special is approaching two thirds of the <gasps> stock gone. Oof, it is busy. Six zero three uh, five six five. That's your item number. Ah, Trish. It's <laughs> proper grinning. busy. Oh my goodness! You don't know how nervous I was. And really, you know, when my first one came through, and I thought, yeah, I, I love it. But and then I thought, yeah, yeah, you yeah. know. Yeah, it is scary. It is scary. It is. But I tell you what, when you see what you can do with it and the fabrics that you've put together with it as yeah, well are yeah. just divine. Yeah, yeah. For me, yeah, I look at that and it's like, yeah, yes. it's a no-brainer. That's, no. that's going to fly. <laughs> but no, when it's yeah. your own, when it's your own, it's like, oh, my word. I know. But there was a huge stop. I've never brought as many of one thing yeah. to the TV. So, so you, that's, <gasps> yeah. Yeah, thank that's you mass, everybody yeah. for it believing in me. Mm. Such a big investment as well, isn't it? Well yeah, done, our Trish. But... Well, the ruler on its own is approaching limited, oh my so goodness. that is absolutely going to sell it this evening. Yeah, oh, I'm wow. so pleased, our wow. Trish. I'm thank so you, pleased for you. you. You've done such a lot of work, though. I mean, we can see it. This is such a lot of work. It is. So you I do love it. doing it, yeah. and I do it for. For my ladies, for all the customers yeah. um, on her chanda, yeah. um, absolutely wonderful. It comes and through. It absolutely yeah. comes through that you yeah. love it. Yeah. And, and they are so patient because I like to get all my orders out as quickly as possible. But yeah. they appreciate the fact that it is hand, you know, it's bespoke yeah. almost, isn't it? Yeah. Um, and so they allow... Um, and I don't get moans and Isn't that it's, no, it is lovely. You've just got really nice customers. Yes. I yes. think though these days, I think when we know that so much work's going in behind the scenes, you mm. absolutely appreciate it. Yes. You know, you have the the sort of nameless, faceless companies, and we don't no. we don't re, you know see no. behind it. But when they see and they know, yes. Yes. So I think it. And when it, it's me. Yeah. It is just me it's just little that design. And you um, poor rubbish sticking and things in all the packaging. Yes, <laughs> or, or all those things which I could do, but I yeah. get husband to do. And yeah, I wrote my daughter in a little bit, but obviously she works as well. Oh, so, um, oh it's a full family team. It is. It yeah, is. our little it baby's going to have to grow yes. up really quick and help as well. I know. <laughs> all my little grandchildren. <laughs> <laughs> the one day special is now approaching 70% of the one day strong. Oh, I'm not wow. being funny. I said the uh, ruler were going to sell out in this hour. I'm absolutely, oh, in fact, the ruler did sell out in this hour. Uh, that has technically gone. Please, please, please check your baskets out. Um, now, we have got extended delivery on that, but it is seven days. So it will be going out from the 15th. Obviously, everything else um, is going out as soon as our Trish can get it in the, yeah. those, uh, those bags. Yeah, and so I don't, I don't make back. those, Leonie. I no. don't make those. <laughs> <laughs> Yay! <laughs> uh, right, then. Back over to you, our okay. lovely Trish. Last about six minutes, did you say? About six minutes, Trish. About six minutes. Oh, yes, we'll be fine. So... Um, we've now, when, um, when this ruler was designed, I didn't just want to have an outer piece because what about the rest of this um, perspex or acrylic, whatever it's made from, um, in the middle? So the four inch square then is why I wanted the two inch square in the center so that we can do exactly the same thing with centering a two inch on yeah. a four inch. Now, a lot of us really don't like working with small pieces, but this makes life so, so easy. So I want to cut, so I've got two fringes again, and I'm going to use that as my base one, and I want to cut this one into four pieces, four exact two inch squares. So I'm gonna use my ruler, easy to pick up, and I'm just going to lay that down, so that inner edge of the aperture is my edge, which is going next to um, the raw edge there and I will stand up because I like to see where I am cutting okay. and I can see my lines on the edge here line up as well so they it's all all the angles are there to line it up and then I'm just going to cut now this is where as I said I do like the rotating mat uh, yeah. because I need to cut in the opposite direction as well and I don't want to move the fabric particularly. Not a problem if you do, you'll just put it back together again. Yeah. But all I'm going to do now is line up, that's what I nearly thought I should, that edge and again 
just cut down. So I now have four perfect two inch squares. Perfect. So take my Frinchy, my original Frinchy. I'm going to put my four inch square on the top there. Spot on. And I've got a bit of a, or a bit of, I've got a glue pen here and I'm just going to do two little glue bits there. Because as I say, that is, um, I find easy. Oh yeah, and then that's a just, good idea actually, isn't it? Yeah. When you work with it. Just holds it in place, lift it up. Now you see, if I'd lifted that up then, it would have moved if I hadn't had the glue yes. in place. So again, we just want to fold that up to the center. Measure if you like. Yeah. Or, but I'm looking at those raw edges um, at the sides, lining up with the raw edges there. And then fold that one over. And I'll just do a little um, finger press along there to start off with. Then I will drag in my pressing mat and just hold those back down again. And I'm just going to iron. So I won't bother on a small piece to put a pin in it. Yeah. But if we have it on that way, so that Perfect. I can iron up there, swivel it around, and just make sure they line perfectly. So no overlapping. It just butts up one to the other, or the most minute gap. And then again, straight to the sewing machine. Wasn't difficult because we've lined it up easily. Yeah. And we've got our folded edge. Whoops, and we've um, we've stitched down one side, flip it round to the other. Um, but I, I just think who, who, some people do like doing miniatures, but in the real world, most of us like to work on something a little bit bigger. Yeah. So having stitched that very quickly and just pressing that out and you just push it because you want the seams to be totally exposed. You don't want any little pleats there. So again, we have that nice and neat, and then I'm going to fold that up. As I say, either measure or, but you can feel where that uh, raw edge is, and then fold the other.